Before I drop this beat, listen to my soul weep. It be crying sometimes. But not a tear fall down my eye. It's a blood drop. Ain't let nobody take me away from me. Nobody take me away from these millions Everybody gon' die before I go, oh Everybody gon' die before I go, whoa Everybody gon' die before I go, whoa Everybody gon' die before I go, whoa Everybody gon' die before I leave I know about the heart of war and I know how it got to be Well, you take me out of the game, I'ma make you find me from the three I'ma make you stand up in the pain, I'ma make it harder than you think They be hating on the nigga, it don't matter cause I'm heaven seen They waiting on the nigga, but I know it's out of jealousy Shooters on the roof, my residence just like the president And shooter in the cool, step on shit, all he keep telling me, yeah, yeah I'm in the water, but I don't know how to swim Got all these problems, I don't know how to deal with them I'm in my mama's face, I'm still your kid Everything my mama say, I try to remember My youngin' father say he dying to live I don't know why, but they be plotting to kill me Can't let nobody take me away from my children Can't let nobody take me away from these millions Everybody gon' die before I go Everybody gon' die before I go oh. Everybody gon' die before I go oh. Everybody gon' die before I go oh. I've been going way through all the pills Seems like that's the only way I can feel sometimes If I could, I'd fill my cup up with tears I know my haters love to hear how a vulture crack Be so hot today, I go and be so fucking fresh I pray to God to take it slow and call my number next I don't know why these niggas hate me and they want my flesh All the real niggas appreciate me and what I tell for this I'm in these walls and I feel myself sinking I never die no more, I already told my basement All of my pain be on display because I'm famous These niggas scared of me so they gon' have to snake me I don't wanna die for love, please let them get the best of me I'm a big ol' step, I don't need no step, cause I'm a step for me Even though I'm a thug, I listen to mama and she lets to me I keep the fire when I lay down, cause I can't rest in peace I'm in these waters, but I don't know how to swim Got all these problems, but I don't know how to deal with it. I miss my mama face and see all the kids Everything my mama say, I try to remember My young and five, he say he dying to live I don't know why, but they be plotting to kill me Can't let nobody take me away from my children Can't let nobody take me away from these millions Everybody gon' die before I go, oh Everybody gon' die before I go, oh Everybody gon' die before I go, oh Everybody gon' die before I go, oh
FYF Sports, man. So my way, we back with another one, y'all. L- stream is a little later tonight than I-, I anticipated it to be. I know for some of you guys on the East Coast, um, I know for some of you guys on the East Coast, it's probably around nine o'clock at night. A little, a little later, you know that's all right. Um, uh, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, we had to get this stream in tonight because um. I've been making community posts and I just been kind of seeing certain comments and I'm just seeing the comments about certain players, comments about Kobe, comments about LeBron. A lot of people who have Kobe over LeBron because of emotional reasons. A lot of people who have LeBron over Kobe because of illogical reasons. You never know. It says your stream is running into a playoff game. I got to watch both. All right. Salute, man. Do what you got to do, but we here. Um, you know, and you know, out of all the debates that we've had on this channel, I cannot really recollect a time that we really sat down and had this conversation. And and one of the main reasons why I never felt like Kobe versus LeBron was a conversation is because. I never had Kobe Bryant in my top 10. Prior to Kobe Bryant's death, and, you know, obviously we ran the tribute for Kobe, man, RIP to Kobe, man, you know. You know, he he was an athlete whose death changed the world. But prior to his death, I had Kobe around 10 to 15 on my all-time list. And... There was a consensus. I mean, I mean, whether you look at some of these other sites as credible, whether you look at ESPN, whether you look at Bleacher Report, uh, Fade Away World, where you can look at all of these sites prior to Kobe Bryant's death. Everybody, including myself, had Kobe Bryant around 10 to 15. And I felt comfortable putting Kobe Bryant there because I wasn't one of the people out here slandering the man throughout his career. I wasn't trying to tear him down. I I wasn't calling him the villain of the NBA. I wasn't vilifying him towards the end of his career because he was taking a ton of shots on bad teams. And as we see with older players, their impact becomes less and less as they get older. And so because I because I wasn't one of those people over critiquing or over criticizing Kobe for the, some of the things that we saw when he didn't have a great team, some of the things that we saw after his injury, because I didn't, I didn't feel the need to panic once he passed away and then overcompensate and elevate him into my top 10 to make up for all the slander. And so the one thing that I noticed, and this is something that I did some research on, is that prior to Kobe Bryant's death, across, and this the one thing that I researched is across 25 sites, 25 of the most popular basketball sites on, on Google had Kobe Bryant 10 to 15. After his death, these same sites elevated him anywhere between 2 to 10. And The crazy thing is, is the crazy thing is, is I'm thinking, why, why elevate him? And he hasn't picked up a basketball to play another game. His career was what it was once he retired. BX said, that's a lie. It's not a lie, BX. I've done the research. I I have a video dropping detailing all of this, but I just wanted to talk about this ahead of that video drop. That's what I wanted to talk about. I want to know why people, and this is one thing I believe, I want to know why people feel the need now to overcompensate Kobe Bryant's career, elevate him into even the top 10. Some people are even putting him in the top five, all because he passed. And I think it's because, remember, you look toward Kobe Bryant's, especially the last 10 years of his career, he was one of the most hated players in the NBA. 
a lot of the people that are claiming to be these exuberant Kobe Bryant fans now were the same ones tearing the man down, calling him a ball hog. Tell, you know, all these same sentiments that we see around players like LeBron, they were doing that to Kobe times 10. Calling them selfish, saying that the Lakers were stupid to signing them to that one last big contract. He wasn't worth the money. He should retire after injuries. But but y'all act like y'all weren't doing these things. I'm just sitting to the side like, oh, y'all want to flip because the man passed? But I now understand. See, in, this, in the same potential thing can happen with LeBron. See, what's going to happen is all of these people with these negative sentiments and connotations and conversations about LeBron James. Oh, what he's doing isn't that impressive. And that's why... Does it really have does it really take for a player to actually pass before you actually give him his flowers? Is that what it takes? You can't just be honest about what we're seeing right now. All I'm trying to do, and Matt, and Matt says, stop lying, Lamar. Even before he died, he was better than him. But Matt, what you're saying is a lie. And the reason why it's a lie, because I've done the research on this. I always had, it was always in the back of my mind. I've been saying this for the last two years, ever since I've had this channel. Anybody that's been here from day one, I've always thought it was very odd that all of a sudden there's this conversation that Kobe is now in the top five. And I never really heard that until after he passed. And Matt, I've done the research already. The research is documented across 25 major sports media sites. Prior to Kobe's death, they had him below the top 10 from 11 to 20, which which is where I always figured he would land. After his death, he's been now elevated in on most of these sites to 2 to 10. I want to know why elevate him. Is it because you feel bad? Some of the some of the negative articles, the negative press that was pushed um, by some of these by some of these media sites, these aggregate media sites like Clutch Points like Bleacher Report, like Fadeaway World, they took part in a lot of the Kobe slander. It's true. And just like they took part in a lot of the Kobe Bryant slander, just like you guys go dig up these articles and start pushing these aggregate media narratives about LeBron, y'all were pushing those same narratives about Kobe. You guys were. And now that he's passed, you're overcompensating because you guys really deep down in your hearts know that, damn, what we were doing was wrong. We didn't really show appreciation when he was alive. We spent too much time hating. How can we make up for it? But, you know, it's going to be a stream where you can come address that, or at least you can try to address that. Or what you gonna, what you can do is you can try to explain to us why you believe Kobe Bryant is a better player than LeBron. Now, you can either go player or you can go better career. I don't care which one. I think LeBron has Kobe beat in both. I think LeBron is the better player, and I believe LeBron has had the better career. He says, call Elder to represent Kobe. Stop ducking. There's not, look, hold on. I, I trust in you guys. We don't need Elder here to represent Kobe. He can pull up. If 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 some, if some you guys feel the need to send him the link, he can definitely pull up and have his say-so. You guys should be competent enough to speak on him. People like Mr. Winters and all this. The thing is, we're just talking basketball. It's not very hard. You know, just, just in yesterday's conversation, everybody talked about how Scottie Pippen was diminished Somewhat because he played behind Jordan. De- definitely not Scottie Pippen's fault. But on the flip side, the negative thing that comes out of that is Kobe Bryant is, I mean, Scottie Pippen was going to lose out on a ton of accolades that would have allowed him to be looked at differently once his career was over. Just because he played behind Jordan. It's not, it's not a bad thing to say that because Kobe spent so much time behind Shaquille O'Neal, he missed out on some 
potential MVPs or showing us that he could lead a team by himself or showing us that he can get a team to the finals with lackluster help around him. He missed out on showing us that because he played behind Shaquille O'Neal. We went through Shaquille O'Neal's final stats. We saw how Shaquille O'Neal carried during the first three-peat, especially in the finals. We saw that. And this is why Kobe missed out on those finals MVPs. This is why he didn't have the regular season MVPs. He missed out on a ton of accolades that could have elevated him into that top 10 conversation, but he missed out on them because he was playing with a top 10 player in Shaquille O'Neal. Just like Scottie Pippen missed out on a ton of things because he was playing with a top 10 player by the name of Michael Jordan. And that is one of the unintended effects of participating on a dominant dynasty type team. Tony Parker's going to get those residual effects. Manu Ginobili's going to get those residual effects. If you look to any dynasty team, residual effects like that, the, the best player on these dynasty teams is generally going to absorb most of the compensation for winning and success, while the others are going to just have to sit back in the shadows and just we just have to understand that they were great on a dynasty team, but they will never get their just due. That's just one of the unintended causes of playing for a dynasty team. He says, debate elder for LeBron versus Kobe. Uh, well, here, Kobe. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll kill it right here. Elder has already said he does not want to debate on this channel. He's already said this. He says that he thinks you guys are biased. You guys don't know how to vote. He doesn't like our format. He said these things. He's, he, he only wants to debate over on player's choice. This is not my words. This is his words. He has a segment over on player's choice. He invited Sturdy to come over. Sturdy said he was working. So I don't believe that the debate will even happen. And like I said, for me to debate somebody, it's going to have to be a special occasion. Right. I tried to debate Ralph. Ralph was really adamant about something. So there was one time where I said, Ralph, let's do a debate. But Ralph was very wise. Ralph took the wise route and said, I'm going to pass. I don't, I don't want to do that to myself. So you guys will see me debate. You guys are going to see me debate Super Bowl weekend. That's when I'll debate. Other than that, y'all going to have to bring me a very worthy opponent. And if you haven't found a worthy opponent who doesn't fear stepping onto FYF Sports debate panel, then it probably won't happen anytime soon. Like I said, I sit back and I study how people talk. I sit all these all the things that I'm saying now. These are not feelings. These are things that I've researched. I have merchandise on this channel called Research Purposes Only. I've researched this. When I say Kobe Bryant was on across 25 sites prior to his death, was ranked 10 to 20, that's research telling me that. That's not just me and my feelings. You guys might say in your own feelings because there's no way for us to fact check what's going on in your head. You guys are going to – anybody that's for Kobe is going to come in here and say, I had Kobe in my top 10 before he died. And you're only going to say that because we can't go back and fact check that. See, y'all not like me where I've had videos prior. I have videos detailing this, you know, not just on this platform. I've done articles on Newsbreak and other platforms prior to his death detailing where I thought he was ranked. Unlike that, you guys can come in here and say anything. All of you guys mad. Anybody that's for Kobe is going to come in here and say, I had Kobe in my top 10 before he died. You guys won't admit what I just said. You won't admit that because it will make you look like a clown and it will make you look like one of those people that was just criticizing them, criticizing them, criticizing them, criticizing them. And then he passed and you felt bad. Matt says 25 sites of bloggers and media that never picked up a basketball. Oh, now you want to discredit him, Matt. Not Matt, Matt, see, the one thing you can't do is try to say that these sites are not credible, but Matt, you were the very person in my comments today pushing talking points from Bleach Report clutch points. You push talking points saying LeBron James trades players. 
Those are talking points from aggregate media, fadeaway world, clutch points, bleach. But you push those very same talking points, but then yet come in here and try to discredit when I say that these same sites had Kobe ranked lower prior to his death. See, that makes no sense. So don't go in my comments using those same sites talking points, acting as if you came up with these theories in your brain when I know you didn't. Like I said, I would wish I wish somebody would come in here just one time and be honest about that. But you won't, Matt. All I'm asking, Matt, is that you spend so much time. You're one of those people. You spend a lot of time in the chat trying to tell us how LeBron is not this X, Y, and Z. You spend a ton of time doing that. Right? We had Wild Wild West in here yesterday. Wild Wild West came in here yesterday. Avidly, he was so... He was so steadfast saying that Kobe is more clutch than LeBron. But then we start pulling up the numbers. Well, no, LeBron has more game winners in the playoffs and the finals. LeBron has LeBron has, is more clutch, a higher clutch field goal percentage in the playoffs in the finals than Kobe. And then 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 and then Wild Wild West said, well, he doesn't have a better free throw percentage in the clutch. And then as y'all saw in my community post today. LeBron has a better free throw percentage in the clutch, in the finals. It's higher than Jordan's and Kobe's. And so the facts are just slapping them all across the face. And he's still going to come in here and push back and deny it. That's, but but see, well, Wild Wild West, you say you have facts. And these are going to be words that come out your mouth. I post the facts and I show you. That's the difference. I know you, I know you're going to come in here and you're going to talk and you're going to over talk and talk and talk. I, and I'm, I'm already prepared for that. But I've already shown you that LeBron is more clutch. You got you can tell me what you think because you said yesterday based on your eye test and I'll respect your eye test. Unfortunately, reality. And the things that actually happen on the court don't support that because the numbers don't support that. A Weezy Banks said LeBron is a waste of time. Yeah, they, but bang. And see, this is what they're doing with LeBron, too. Look, and then just because I defend LeBron from these, re, you know, wildly exaggerated talking points, then people try to say I'm a LeBron fan. Now I'm a LeBron fan because I de- defend LeBron from stupidity. Draymond Green fan because I defend Draymond Green from stupidity. Am I a Steph Curry fan because I defend Steph Curry from stupidity? That's all I'm saying. I, I, you know, we know we know what S, S, SFM, we know what he's going to come in here and do, y'all. SFM has 97 pages printouts from Google and basketball reference, and he's going to read to us what Kobe did in game three um, of the 2000. You know, he's going to read to us what he did in certain games and he's going to read back to back. And this was a great performance here. That's what we know SFM is going to do. And then SFM is going to pull out the 172 pages that he's printed out from LeBron James. And he's going to tell us about each and every bad game from LeBron James with absolutely no context. SFM, we know what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. Save save yourself some time and don't click the link tonight. But you can click it still and do it. I'm just saying, I've done the research, y'all. Across the internet, people changed their rankings where Kobe was after he passed. This is a provable fact. Don't come in here and try to deny that because when I drop the video this week, then you're going to be looking stupid. And then you're going to be sitting there You're going to be sitting there acting like mad in the chat saying, well, I never thought they were credible anyway. Yet you believe every article that they drop on LeBron James. SFM, you you, you don't have any context, SFM. SFM, you don't do real basketball research. You read a ton of game stats. You talk about when a player missed a shot and then you say they failed or they choked. You debate like Mookie, Mookie Jones. You debate like Mr. Moss. You read off Google. He lost, he choked. 
no context to it. That's not, that's, I mean, and look, I respect that strategy. It's just not going to be a winning strategy. If somebody chooses to call you out in a head to head debate, it just ain't going to be a winning strategy. It, it may work if you're going up against somebody like Mac Death. It just won't work against me. It wouldn't work against Sturdy. It wouldn't work against Young Africa. It wouldn't work against SB. It wouldn't work against True to King. I told you, we got a Fab Five over here. I'm molding out a Fab Five. I'm molding out a Fab Five. He says, Mr. Moss be breaking it down, stop lying. Rock and rolling. I can give you one example of how easy Mr. Moss is to beat. Mr. Moss was on Ask Elder. He was on Elder's segment today. And you know what Mr. Moss said? He said, in the 90s, the game was more compacted in. There was no spacing whatsoever. It was harder to pass. Those passes, had the timing had to be right. That statement alone tells me right there, Mr. Moss does not understand basketball because they were talking about John Stockton and he was trying to say that this spacing more compacted in made it harder to pass. That's a lie. See, if he knew anything about the Utah Jazz and Jerry Salone's offense, he would understand that Jerry Salone ran what is called an empty set offense. If you don't know what an empty set is, he well, so an empty set basically isolates Stockton and Malone on one side of the court or at the top of the key, right? It spaced the floor out. They kept shooters on the floor. I, I mean, but I couldn't, I can't have that type of conversation with Mr. Moss is one because he doesn't know what an empty set is, he doesn't know what the purpose of an empty set is. He doesn't know when you would utilize an empty set. And he couldn't tell me the names of the teams in the 90s that actually utilized empty sets to space the floor. But he's just saying things to make it sound good because he knows he's talking to people that don't understand offenses. I, I did a thesis. I did a thesis on Jerry Salone's coaching philosophy. That's how I know. I know the coaches that he got these philosophies from. I know what his intentions were when he went up against the Bulls. He could not he could not sit here five minutes and have a conversation with me because he dumbs the 90s down to being compacted in, which is a lie. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be getting people because people say things that can convince you of anything because they say it with confidence, but they be wrong as hell. The 90s was spaced out as much as they could. Just like you see teams do against the Lakers, especially at the start of the season, when you don't have shooting on the floor, the floor shrinks. They compact everything in. So spacing is predicated on skill. And so if you're going to sit here and tell me the entire 90s was compacted in, then you're basically just telling me that the entire 90s was a low skill era. But see, this all goes back to understanding what an empty set is. And that's not something that Mr. Moss is. He doesn't have the time to understand it because he's on a barbecue grill, nor does he want to understand it because it would absolutely debunk this argument that he had. This is why y'all be getting these people. Y'all be wanting me to debate these, these casuals, these amateurs who cannot break down the game and not just break down the game, play the game. So y'all got to stop bringing those people to me. Don't, don't, this, that's too easy. And, and you know what? He'll probably swear up and down. He knows what an empty set is. He'll probably swear. And then that'll just take him down another. That'll take him down another tunnel of getting ether. That's all it will do. And he, and that was just something he said today. Do y'all know I, with my memory, y'all know how many things I have locked up here where people have said so many bad takes and I can easily debunk it or ether it. MacDef said, I always cook Lamont. No, MacDef, I have to mute your mic. I hate muting people's mics. I only mute people's mics when they don't stop talking. And MacDef, when somebody runs their mouth too much, when you're just talking and babbling and babbling and babbling, that means you don't even trust your own take. That's all it is. He says, Moss will smoke Lamont. All right. Well, that's not going to make me want to debate Moss. That's not going to make me want to debate him. I've heard all of his takes. 
he's very simple minded when it comes to basketball. That's all it is. And he just co-signs other bad takes. That's all it is. But look, today we're going to stay on topic, y'all. We got Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James. There's two ways you can debate this. Who's the better player? Who had the better career? Who's greater? You can debate it from a lot of different narratives. Like I said, I believe LeBron James is the better player. And I believe LeBron James is mounting out the better career. Two different things that the debate. I'm going to drop the link for you guys. You guys can come on. And uh, like I said, just like yesterday is going to be open panel. You guys can start throwing your takes out there and, and we can have at it. All I ask you guys, we're, we're streaming on multiple platforms, right? Twitch, Facebook, two YouTube channels. All I ask is that let's keep the audio clean. Keep the audio clean, Right. Wait your turn. I'll, I'll do my best. If somebody starts over talking you, I'll do my best to shut them down. Right. So you can finish your take. I'll mute people if I need be to keep the keep the audio clean. All right. But please, let's help. Let's not turn it into a big mess because you mad or you at, at this person over here because they like LeBron and you like Kobe. Rico re, recap. Rico says, I debate FYF, but we generally agree on most things. And that's the problem with a lot of this. A lot of the people that I would love to debate, we agree on too much. We agree on a lot. So even with Sturdy, I would love to debate Sturdy, but I w- we would have to find a topic where we are just diametrically opposed. That'd be tough. Or you could just throw a topic out there and you could just make me debate against something that I disagree with. I'll take, I'll take, you know, if you want me to debate, if you want me to debate, if Hakeem Olajuwon's better than Shaq, you guys know, I don't think Hakeem Olajuwon's a top 10 player, but if, if you really would want to put my debate skills to the test, I would take Hakeem. I could probably convince you guys that Hakeem was better than Shaq. But Ray, me and me and Sturdy have had that conversation on Akeem. And, w- and when we had that conversation, we end up just coming to some common ground where he says, okay, you right on that point. And I says, oh, you right on that point. We find too much common ground because I'm fine with common sense takes. I have I don't push back against common sense takes. I'm not like the Mr. Mises and all these people that just push back against common sense. Kobe, ain't nobody that de- Kobe. I have Elder's number. I've reached out to him. He says he doesn't want to debate over here. Kobe, the next time you see Elder, I want you to go cry to him and say, stop ducking FYF. Don't cry to me. I cannot make Elder magically appear on the panel and just start debating. He said he doesn't want to debate over here. What do you want me to do? Make him show up? What do y'all want me to jock? Like I can force the man to come on. I'm going to salute the Elder though. He wanted to, you know, he's a, Elder is... You know, he's a Hall of Famer on this channel. He has the wrench, right? It's a lot of respect there. So let me get this link in the chat, y'all. Before I drop the link, obviously, I'm going to drop this membership link. Uh, Hold on one second. All right, we got that ready. All right, make sure. Look, y'all, if you haven't done so already, man, early in the chat, man, hit that link if you want to become a member of the channel before we get started today. And let's get some new members today. I've seen a few members in there um, already commenting. A lot of the people, if you want to super chat, you can hit that link as well and go over to FYF Sports Debates Live. If you have a comment that you want featured, go ahead. Um, Make sure you just go ahead and and, and hit that link. Support, man. Support by the super chat. Join the memberships. Or you can always just hit the cash app to support. So let me hit that banner. I'm going to get that banner on the screen before we get started. Because once we get started, I'll be forgetting to drop the cash app and everything. All right. Hit the cash app to support at dollar sign FYF sports. Like I said, anything you give, you know, mo- most of the things that you guys donate always is flipped right back around and goes right back into the channel, man. So, again, we've grown, right? We've been really grinding out a lot of the YouTube shorts content, man, and it's been helping the growth of the channel. Um, hopefully, we can hit this 100K mark um before may right we just had a humongous push one of our youtube shorts just just blew up so right now the goal is to just continuously grind until we hit 100k um and that'll be the main thing we got going on link is about to be in the chat you guys hold on one second
Uh, east side, we got Celtic Glory. A lot of names. Kobe, I'm going to drop the link for you. The link will be in there. Don't worry. Tackable Pine, one of the OGs of the channel, man. He's been here since day one. Salute. He says, LeBron is juicing. Now, Kobe, if you say LeBron is juicing, you know that you know where those stories came from. Aggregate media. So when I tell you that if 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 these sites also have negative articles about Kobe, are they just as believable? Is what LeBron is doing, is it that unbelievable that you can only assume that he's juicing? The, the fact that you're saying that you think he's juicing tells me he's doing something that's unbelievable. Because we don't walk around saying that Udonis Haslam is juicing. Right? We don't walk around saying DeAndre Jordan is juicing. They still in the league. We ain't walking around saying none of these other, oh, because they ain't doing nothing that's unbelievable. So for, if you're making an allegation that LeBron is juicing, he must be doing something so unbelievable that you think the man is on steroids. So is that your way of letting us know he's great? Still at the age of 38? Santana said, not letting me get the link. I just told y'all I'm about to drop the link, man. All right. Yeah, if y'all better come in here with some crazy takes. I'm talking about y'all better come in here with some crazy takes. Y'all being so thirsty, but then when I drop the link, Y'all be sitting up here silent when I be like, all right, what, what, let me get let me get your thoughts. Y'all get the stuttering and come on, man. Link is in the chat, man. Link is in the chat, man. It's time for y'all to come on, pull up. Look, and like I said, I'm gonna be waiting. I'm gonna be sitting back. I just want to hear some of y'all thoughts. I want to know if some of you guys is going to be pushing bad narratives, bad arguments. Who's going to come with the most logical take? I don't care if it's for or against any of the players. Just come with something that makes sense. That's all I ask. Come with something that makes sense. All right? And then try to just talk freely. Don't sound like you scripted reading from lines or repeating things that you regurgitated on other panels. Talk freely, man. Just talk basketball. All right? That's all we ask. I mean, the backstage is filling up. I see it. Backstage is filling up, man. Hey, man, a salute to Renegade, man. First person to hit the cash app tonight, man. Salute to Renegade, man. Appreciate you pulling up, man. Or, or just hitting the cash app. Like I said, yesterday we were struggling to pull in them cash app donations to support. And Khalil Burton came through. Um, also, uh, Mikhail came through. He said he was watching from work. He watched the entire stream during his work shift. All right, and he came through heavy in the cash app. Salute to those guys, man. We got A30 in here. We got SFM, man. We got Rico. We got Wild Wild West. We got Celtics, Lord. We got Slim. And we got DJs back, man. Another stream, man. Salute to y'all for pulling up. Um, I'm going to start with the person that popped up first. Um, let me start with Sturdy, man. Sturdy, you saw the topic of the video. Um, like I said, I think there's a difference on how you argue this, who's the greater player, who has the greater career. But what, what are your thoughts on this Kobe LeBron conversation? <laughs> Uh, salute everybody. Uh, first things first. I just want to. Um, I just want to pay the respects. These both of these players are were the two best players of their eras. Let's let's get it out the way. Both these guys during the Kobe's Kobe um, Lebron got drafted in 03. Kobe um, retired in 06 and his prime ended in 2013. So that means for about nine years, about nine seasons, it was essentially a decade. These guys share the same league where they experience the prime, and they put on phenomenal performances, phenomenal. Performances. But what, unfortunately, when we compare players such as that, these two premium players, it just I don't see any objective argument of how Kobe could be greater or better than LeBron. When you say when when let's start with greater, right? Most people go with the accolades and. Most people incorporate accolades when they're great, their greatest um, criteria, right? If you go with the accolades, it's clearly LeBron. Four times the amount of MVPs, 18-time All-NBA um, selections, 
more more all stars, even even more MVP votes. If we want to go with if and any minor um any minor um accolades as well, such as player of the months, player of the weeks, if you value that thing, that still goes to LeBron. If you value greatness in terms of production and impact over sustained amount of time, in the same amount of games that they played, right? LeBron produced more points, more rebounds, more assists, more steals, more blocks, and was more efficient. On every average for career prime, <laughs> career prime playoffs, finals, average more points, more rebounds, more assists, more blocks, more steals, more efficient. And I'm going to just set this up. I'm just set it up simply. He's more dominant. His production, his production is more sustainable. He produced more. He's more valuable to his team. He's more clutch, the better defender. And outside of just aesthetically pleasing in terms of just the footwork, um, uh, mark, maybe maybe a feel of mixtapes. Outside of that, objectively, I don't see how LeBron is a lesser player than Kobe. Hey. That's 30 right there, man. Like I said, that's just an open statement. That's all. Yeah. And 30 went with the uh obviously he went with it. And I think what the, the things that he said aimed more towards player versus player and not career versus career. Because he just talked about individual versus individual. Um, and then you know, I, I was I was looking at some stuff from the University um of Cal Berkeley. I mean, some people are opposed to analytics, other other people are fine with it, but um, they did some analytical comparisons, you know, obviously some very, very astute mathematical um, comparisons. And so if you're just talking about scoring, they did almost everything that you could cover, whether it's defense, rebounding, passing. But if you just start with scoring, they basically start by saying that LeBron edges out Kobe in every major statistical category, points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. And they say that LeBron's points per game it's even more magnified by the fact that he posts a true shooting percentage of 58.4% as opposed to Kobe's 55%. He said, they basically said the true shooting percentage is the most effective because that metric includes both two-point shots and three-point shots as well as free throw percentage combined. So they say overall it is safe to conclude that LeBron scores more points and scores them more efficiently than Kobe, which essentially would make him the better scorer. And, and that that's just their summary of scoring. They compared almost every way you could potentially score the ball. They found the one metric that judges scoring with the co combining twos, threes, and free throws. And when you compare all of those metrics, they say there's just no way you can put, as far as scoring the ball, because a lot of people say Kobe is the elite scorer. And we know he was an elite scorer. Um, but they say scoring the ball, they still say LeBron is the best. A lot of people are saying eyeball test, but when you say eyeball test, that just tells me highlight test because you guys are going off highlights. Does does Kobe have the better highlights? Yes. Does his game look better? Just like somebody said in my comments, if you want to shoot a piece of paper into a trash can, you're going to yell Kobe because it looks better. His game is something that I want to mimic. LeBron has an ugly game. Nobody's really mimicking LeBron, but it still doesn't take away from the effectiveness of his game. And at the end of the day, it's about who's getting it done at a at a more efficient rate. But let me go to um you know, real quick, Lamont. Real quick, Lamont. Yeah. And when you evaluate scoring, right? I know what people they'll simply do apples to apples and just yeah. look at a player's career field goal percentage and be like, this guy is bigger. We're not putting in context is relative to their error. That's what I did for Kobe. So Kobe's Kobe. prime. Kobe's prime, even though he played 20 seasons, his prime was from 2000 to 2013, 14 seasons. He had an effective field goal percentage of 48.7, which is which is the league average for regular season. Same thing for the postseason, 48.8. And um, for true shooting percentage, it was 55, which is 55.5 shooting percentage, which is 2% above league average. In the postseason, it regressed to 54, which is still 1% above league average. For LeBron, I consider his prime to be, because relative to him, between 04 to 2020, his effective field goal percentage for the regular season was 54.8, which is 
above league average during that time. And in the playoffs, 53.4, which is 3% higher in effective field goal percentage for the postseason. If we took account true shooting percentage, which takes account free throws, it's actually higher with 59.2, which is nine points above league average in regular season. And then in postseason, it's 58.4 true shooting percentage, which is eight points above league average. Right, so know. even relative to their time frame, mm-hmm. LeBron, comparison to the league, is still producing is more efficient at a higher clip and a bigger gap than opposed to Kobe during their prime. Hold on. Let me go Let me go ahead and go to Rico. Um, I know Rico was wanting to hop in on this. I saw him <clears> in the chat, man. He said he had a lot to say on this, so. Oh, no, FOF, go ahead. I, I just want to hear a couple of the, the LeBron takes before I go ahead. No, this, this, I this is the, these are, I don't know what people are going to say. I don't know I, who's going to have a take for who. So I'm saying just give your thoughts on this. It's not about comparing your take to what is your take on this. Um, and then we can we can start going at each other's takes. I, I do get the analytics part about the conversation. I would like to bring up the fact that before LeBron joined uh, D Wade in Miami, I believe he beat one fifty win team in his entire playoff career in Cleveland. And I'd also like to add in the fact that I would say LeBron had a three uh, six year stretch where he had the best supporting cast in the entire NBA. He was the best team, and he's three and three in that uh, stretch. Okay. I mean, I don't knock that either. You went with more of the team concept. Basically, you're saying Kobe's teams did better than LeBron's teams. So he went I, with the team. So I, he went I, with the team success, which again, some people might say that that's not as credible, but it is your take. And when we when we when we open it up for everybody, maybe you go you probably will get attacked for for using team as opposed to individual, but I mean that that's still not a bad take. I, I also, FYI, I'll add in the fact that uh, you could check their on and off stats between LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. LeBron James' teams te- tend to drop off a cliff when he's not on the court. I believe that, yes, you can say that LeBron, statistically, he is better by counting numbers, but that, that comes as a as a drawback to when he goes to the bench. LeBron doesn't play within a system that benefits his entire team. That's why every time it doesn't matter who we've paired them up with, whether it be uh, D. Wade and Chris Bosh, Kyrie and Kevin Love, Anthony Davis, doesn't matter. Every time he's ever gone to the bench, that team has always dropped off. Significant, significantly, it's not, it's not minor at all. But go ahead. And have you what what is the uh, um it because this is gonna be a question as well when Kobe goes to the bench, especially during the years when they didn't have Shaquille O'Neal, what was that team's looking like? When I I wouldn't count personally, I wouldn't count the if you want to say 04 and 05, the the Kwame Brown, Smush Parker before I'm counting when LeBron and the, uh Kobe Bryant had respectable help. So I'm, that's why I mentioned. Okay, so D-Wade so and- so you're so you're saying that D Wade and Bosch couldn't cut it when LeBron went to the bench. What I'm saying is that when D Wade and Chris Bosch were on the court by themselves without LeBron, they were running a system in which was tailor made to LeBron, not tailor made to gotcha. the entire team. Now, a question for you before we move on to the next person: How well did Wade and Bosch do when LeBron left? I believe the year after. Are we talking when uh, Chris Bosh barely played? I think he had blood. Well, just, just this is evaluate the games that they did play. That's what I'm saying. He he barely played that season. I know. I believe he but, had blood clots. When we even if we say barely, let's evaluate the games that we saw. If I'm being honest, because because we I know look that it up. I can look it up off the top. Spoelstra had a whole summer to come up with a new offense, especially if you say that they were running a LeBron style offense. He had a whole summer. To come up with a new offense, did you have faith? Because those are two stars, Bron, Wade, and Bosch. They could potentially still be very, very competitive. What I'm saying is, how well did they look without LeBron there 
when with a full summer of Spolster revamping the offense just for those two? I'm going to tell you right now. I mean, I know, I know the answer, but while you find it, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Wild Wild West. Go ahead. Thank you, fellas. Wild Wild West. What's Thank good, you, Wild Wild fellas. West, man? What's going on, Lamont? What's going on, Sturdy? What's going on, panel? What's going on, bro? All right, what you got on the top? Oh man, I got a lot. But first, I want to start off with, um. Acknowledging you guys had great takes. Everybody had great takes. Sturdy had a great take. Lamont had a great take. And I want to compliment LeBron and Kobe. First, in my opinion, LeBron is the only player at his age and with this many years in the league to still continue playing on a high level as he is. He's playing on a higher level than any other great player at the end of his career. A higher level, in my opinion. That's the first thing I want to start off with. The second thing I want to start off with is, I agree with my man who was talking earlier about, statistically, LeBron does have the edge. Anybody who can count can see that statistically. So I'm not going to even go that road. And I'm not going to go down the road of just going off of what my brain says and what my mouth says. Because I'm going to go with the real experts. Not the statistics. Not the media. Not the writers. I'm going to go with the players. The first number that I'm going to start with is 14. 14 is the amount of players that I heard out my own ears say that they would take Kobe over LeBron. And on that list, these players include Larry Bird, Shaq, Gary Payton, Jordan, Vince Carter, Kevin Durant, Chauncey Billups, Paul Pierce, Jim Jackson, Matt Barnes, Kenyon Martin, Steven Jackson, and Chris Bosch. And you don't have to take my word for it. I got my computer right here. I got the videos right here. I got Jim Jackson doing the segment right here with Nick Wright while he's explaining why he played with both. And while he played with that Phoenix Suns team and with that Lakers team of how Kobe doesn't let you off the hook. And like Kenyon Martin was saying, Kobe doesn't let you off the hook. He's a whole different beast from LeBron. And I tend to take what the players say over the numbers because the players are on the court. They're there with them. They see the game from a different angle than someone who's writing from someone who's commentating, and from a fan's standpoint. I roll with the players. That's my take. You know, I got questions. You know, I obviously got questions, especially when um, I hear something that could slightly be cap. Because I heard a name get thrown in there. That I know for certain. I'm glad you got questions. I know, no, I'm just saying, I heard it. No, I know. I know you probably have an answer for me. You, 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 you threw out a name because you said fourteen players that say yeah. that say different. But, but what if I, what if I told you I have a list in front of me of thirty-seven mm-hmm. NBA legends who say LeBron James is the goat? Because if we're just gonna back, if we're just gonna, because you said you had fourteen, that's a big number. But what if I told you I had 37, 37 names of legends, not just names, videos of them saying that LeBron James isn't just better than Kobe. He's the GOAT. Would that sway your mind? If it's about the amount of legends we can find to say this, because I can, if I run down this list, uh, we have um, – we can start with uh, – I got video too. No, I know. Hold on, got hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. We can go with Scotty yeah. Pippen. We can go with Steve Kerr. Mm-hmm. 
We can go with Isaiah. Oh, Thomas. I heard. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, West, why, why, West, hold on. This is this is not a stream. No, I just want to say one. No, why, West, no, like don't stop. not open, bro. He didn't interrupt you. Dude, you just sat there and talked for five whole minutes, like we didn't interrupt you, why, why, West. I'm just. I'm just rebutting you know, because I'm just remember, say something about Steve Kerr. No, no, hold on. I, I'm going to let you say something in a minute. But what I'm saying is, go ahead. He he said his logic was based on I'm going to believe the players that played the game, and if I can find more players that played the game that say LeBron is better than what you can find, then that should that should switch you to the other team because, like I said, you said that's what you're using. So I have a list in front of me, and like I said, I stopped at Isaiah Thomas, Oscar Robinson. Um, we have Dr. J, we have Jason Kidd, uh, we have Jerry Stackhouse, uh, we have Ron Artest, uh, we have, um, Magic Johnson, we have JJ Redick, uh, we have Paul Pierce as of recently, cause he, we've seen him switch, switch his take up as of recently. Uh, we have Kendrick Perkins which some of you guys might say that's a bit biased because he's been in the media. Uh, but we have Jason Williams played in the NBA, Gilbert Arenas, and that's at 14 right there. We have David West who said it. No, are these players that I'm naming, we have Bill Lambert who also said it. Are these players not credible to you? Because I got named. You got Al Harrington who also said it as well. Uh, Cedric Maxwell said it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got you. I know. These are all rhetorical. I'll let you know when you can respond because – you said 14. I got 37. So my 37. Actually, I got I, two of them. All right, come on. He's talking, y'all. You, you, you see, when, remember what I told you? That's you find crazy, a person, man. Remember what I told you? When you find a person that can't stop talking, that's because he doesn't feel like his take is exactly. very credible. And so exactly. he, his whole take, he said, bump the numbers, bump all this other stuff, which, re, which is very relevant in the conversation. He said, I'm going to go with the names of people who say this he says i got 14 that sways me i told him i have 37 and not only do i have the names i have the video for each person um we have nick nurse who said it we're gonna go down this whole list quinn snyder a head coach in this league said it um we're gonna go down we got jaron jackson jr who's still playing he said it we got david robinson a legend of the 90s he said it um we're gonna keep going here we got Remember, remember what he said on his list. He said Gary Payton, which is very funny. And this is why I want that's why I want to stop at Gary Payton, because he said Gary Payton said Kobe was better than LeBron. Very odd that I have not a tweet from Gary Payton and a video where Gary Payton is saying LeBron James by far is better. He does everything better. And he that was in comparing that was comparing LeBron to Mike. But he somehow has some odd video saying that Gary Payton said Kobe is better than LeBron. I got it. I got it right here in front of me. Actually, I got it right here in front of me. We're going to get to that video because it's very odd. Let me download it here because like I said, when I play the video off the Internet, it runs slow. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to play it later. But it was very. That's why I say that lends to him not being very credible because he threw a name in there that very clearly Le, he, he said LeBron is the GOAT. That, that, that lends to him just simply lying. Don't no need to lie when I got it right here in front of me. Here, and I'll put the tweet in front of me on the screen so you guys can at least see the picture. Um, Just so you can see the picture. And and uh, we'll get back to it. Because it was just very odd that he would lie like that. No, no need to throw Gary Payton in there. So the fact that you lied... Well, let me switch the screen, my bad. All right, here it is right here. So we have it right here. This is what Gary Payton said. If you ask me who's better all around, LeBron James by four, he does everything better. And if you listen to the whole video, he calls he calls LeBron the GOAT. But we'll play that video here in a second. We're going to go through all of these names. That's just 23 names. All right. So Gary Payton, Shaq also said it. Right. Because what did Shaq just say? If he passes, if he passes Kareem in scoring, he's he's got it. He's got it. He's the GOAT. Juan Toscano Anderson also said it. 
Um, Kate Cunningham said it. These are guys that are currently playing. Uh, pa Paolo Branchero said it. This is a guy that plays in the NBA. Spencer Haywood, a guy that played throughout the late 90s and the 2000s. Um, he said it. Uh, George Hill said it. A uh, guy that played in the 2000s. Uh, Draymond Green said it. A guy that's played and battled against LeBron James. He said it. Avery Bradley, one of the best defensive players of the 2000s. He also said it. So, like I said, I have names for days, and I'm not trying to bore everybody with these names because I could go on and on and on. Even Brett Brown, former coach of the 76ers, said it. I could go on and on and on with this list. And so, basically, based on his criteria, if I have more names than he has, well, that means he has to switch sides because his whole decision making was swayed based on how many people he could find. Uh oh, we got Ro Robert, Robert Rio, or whatever his name is, says, I'm lying. How am I lying, y'all? And this stuff is documented. Y'all be saying, I'm lying. All I do is <laughs> tell you what's documented. We got Wes back in here. Hopefully, um, Wes, you, you can take some time. We're going to move on to get some other takes, but hopefully you get some time to revamp your takes so it's not so weak. Because oh, that was so just... you're not going to let on. me... Are you uh, gonna no, let no, me hold on. There? I'm going to... I know. I know I'm gonna, we're going to come back to you because I got to get to everybody, but I just want you to just please take a moment to revamp your take because the angle you tried to come from... I'm not from, revamping nothing. Do you want to hear the videos that I got? I, I do want to hear it. Hold on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. We're going to get to that when we after we get to everybody's take. But I'm just saying take some time to revamp your take because that Don't might need be to the week. I got that, the videos ready, I, bro. I got you. I got you. But I'm just saying that very well might be the weakest argument for Kobe that we hear today. So just revamp. Come back with nah, something a little tougher. A factual argument. I know. I know. Just and come back with something a little good. tougher. That's all. Just come back. No, with, I'm going to stick with that because that's the truth. All right, just come back. All right, well, you can stick with that. Like I said, it's not a very strong foundation to stand on. Let me go to uh, Slim. Neither we got do Slim. It. Slim pulled up, man. Slim, what you got on this conversation? Yeah, what's up, guys? That's a good dialogue. Uh, first of all, Lamont, I wanna, uh, I wanna just directly apologize to you for the other night when I came on here. I was a little rowdy responding to some things that was being said about Kobe or whatever, right? I'm a Kobe fan. Oh, you're fine. But regardless, man, you know what I mean? Like there's a way to there's a way to argue without being disrespectful. So, you know, that's from me to the chat, from me to you direct. All right. All right. Yeah, salute, man. I appreciate second that. Thing, second thing, man, like I've never had a problem with LeBron James ever. Like I I got mad love, mad respect for who he is not only as a basketball player, but just as a man <clears throat> in general. But um, from, from a Kobe fan perspective, I had more of the beef on how the media tried to diminish other great players in the past to elevate LeBron to a certain, to a certain status as, as like the drivers of his image. They didn't, I personally feel they didn't allow this generation to truly experience LeBron James. I feel like the media has driven a narrative and he's a created, he, his, his, his legacy has been more created by the narratives of the media than they just allowed us to just witness his greatness. That's how I personally feel as a basketball fan. I feel robbed of being able to just appreciate his greatness because of all of the different extremes that the media will go to just to try to usher him into a conversation that he would have got there on his own. He would have got into that conversation just on the strength of his own greatness. And so when it came to, um, it's almost like the equivalent, like right now, if we just use statistics as the bar. Right now we can say, oh, look at Dockage, first five years in the league, all of his statistics, points, rebounds, assists, they're all better than LeBron James's first five years, right? So it would be the equivalent of us spending the next 15 years, if he plays that long, no matter what he accomplishes or does not accomplish, it's like trying to diminish LeBron's greatness just to elevate Luka through a narrative. And that would be false and that would be wrong. And so it's always been about pushing back against the false narratives of the media and not so much hating on LeBron James's greatness. You see what I'm saying? And so when it comes to me choosing Kobe over LeBron, 
it's really just personal preference. It ain't got nothing to do with who has more rings, who has more stats, who did this and who did that. It's just watching both of them from the beginning to the end of their careers. I felt like if I was going to go into a war and I had to, and I had to rely on this man to, to go into the trenches with and come home to my family, I would rely on Kobe more than I would rely on LeBron because LeBron has a history of bailing out. So if I'm in the infantry, if I'm in the military and we got to go overseas and, to, and battle out in this desert and there's 20 of us and I'm trying to rely on the man next to me on my left and the man next to me on my right, when times get hard, when them bullets start flying, I put my trust personally more on the side of Kobe, you know what I mean, than what I would on LeBron. And it has nothing to do with their stats or with their skill sets. You see what I'm saying? It's just what what I see when 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 he wins, it's all good. But when he loses, it's everybody else's fault. And that not only that, but it's everybody else's fault. And then he gets the pick of the litter where he'll just bail out and nobody sees nothing wrong with shortcut in the competition. You see what I'm saying? And so some people don't even see it as him shortcutting. You see what I'm saying? They just see it as him having the right to bail out of a bad uh, out of a bad situation because that's on management. But there's 30 other teams where there's great players, you know what I mean, that they don't have that same luxury to go from team to team to team every time they feel like they haven't won a title. You see what I'm saying? So it's a it's a that's an unfair playing field that only one person is allowed to get all the free agents every summer. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not a, it's not a, it's not a fair playing ground. But even with that unfair playing ground, he still loses. And and the fact that he loses, even with that luxury, it just puts it just makes it that much harder to put him in the same class as a as a Michael or as a Kobe or as a Magic or as even a Larry Bird, right? Because of the fact that those guys, they lost championships uh, outside of Michael, of course, but Michael, Magic, Larry, these guys were all associated with one team. And I think that also plays a role in how people perceive uh, LeBron James when it comes to his success and his failures. You know what I mean? Like, I think if he was with the Cavs this whole time and he still had four titles with all his accolades, I really honestly believe he would he would he would be much more appreciated and much more respected than what he is. But because he's bounced around all over the place and he's still 20 years in, he's still coming up short on rings. I think that plays a role in the why some, especially a lot of Michael and Kobe fans, they just won't allow themselves psychologically to put him in that same level of respect. It's not that we don't appreciate him, it's just that we know that there's a higher level of greatness in our minds just based on the success. And when we talk about the success, we're not talking about stats or skills or uh, you know the advanced analytics. We're really just talking about when the moment shows up, you know, do you are, are you are you coming through in those moments? And we we always associated Michael and Kobe and Magic and Larry. With, with with arriving in the time of that moment. When those moments show up, they show up. And we don't always see that with LeBron. Um real quick, um you said those moments. What are you referring to like late game clutch moments? No, I'm not talking just clutch moments. I'm just talking in general, bro. No, 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 but just when you say just from no. a comfort, just from a willingness. No, no, I'm just trying to get clarity because you said when those moments come. Yeah, when the when the moment, moment comes, like like there's moments, moments. right? There, there's there's moments, right? And I'm not talking about just like the last second shots or end of game shot. I'm talking like when you when you're at the free throw line, right? You got a chance to tie the game up. We don't see Michael and Larry and these guys um, consistently, you know, breaking those moments. You see what I'm so, saying? When, so when if you I have, told you in those moments. That LeBron James makes 88% of those free throws while Kobe and Mike make 77%. Would that sway your mind? No, because because like I said, those stats, whatever you're reading, whatever you're reading, 
right? You might be reading stats that no, not reading writers stats. Do. Hold on, let me explain. There's writers that will go and take stats and they'll say, okay, this is what we define as clutch. And so in, in some people's minds, they might, some writers might be taking the last two minutes of a game. Other writers' minds might expand clutch to five minutes. Well, th and that's so, why I asked you. I try, that's why I'm trying to get a barometer from you is that's why yeah, I asked. To me, it don't what, matter. To me, it well, Slim, be no, hold on, Slim, because I want to get clarity on this. You can't just say moments, but then not tell us what that, that moment that you're okay. looking at is like that's why I wanted a little I'm bit. Not, more I'm not on. narrowing it down to a free throw. Though. I'm just no, saying no, I know you're not narrowing it down, but you said these moments, and I said, well, are you talking about clutch moments? You said moments like free throw line, big free throws, X, Y, and Z. And and yeah. at least if we if we take that because because you haven't really given a clear definition on what those moments is, I can only assume that anything. these moments that you're referring to are big time moments that can sway or affect the outcome of win loss of a game. If you go by just those moments for as much as we can tally them up, LeBron mm -hmm. is shooting 88% from the free throw line in those moments while Jordan and Kobe are both shooting 77% in those moments. And now if you have a different barometer or parameter that we need to add in there, let us know yeah. because maybe okay. those moments are different from you, but okay. I don't know. And then I, I, hold on, Slim. I want, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you to finish the take. I gotta get to everybody else. Okay. The one thing I want to say is because in the beginning of your take, you said something about stats and how we're judging people off just stats. And if we just judge people like Luke off his stats, is so. What I'm saying is, when I was first got into this thing about looking at top ten lists, I saw one player in a lot of people's top ten. His name was Oscar Robinson, right? And so when I looked at Oscar Robinson, I said, okay, let me do some homework on this guy. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that was very clear is that Oscar Robinson didn't do, didn't spend a lot of time in his career winning. Losing in the first round, but he getting had a limit. Not, hold on, hold on one second, Slim. Losing in the first round, missing the playoffs a ton, all the while triple-double seasons, being the first right. to have – I'm talking about enormous statistical output. So the one thing that I saw, the one thing that is clear when I look at a player like Oscar Robinson is that he was placed in a lot of people's top 10 or top 20 – Right. Not because he spent a lot of time winning, but because he spent a ton of time accumulating these stats, putting his team at least in the best situation possible to win. He didn't have right. – I think the voters at that time understood this guy probably didn't have the greatest teammates, X, Y, and Z, but he's still top 10 because of his statistical outputs. So to say that Luka can't be one of the greatest players of all time – if he's stuck in an organization that's obviously not doing enough to build around him, nobody's going to walk around and say he has the greatest team, but he is doing his part. He is putting right. up statistical numbers that won't be matched. So I'm going to get back to you. I want you to think about that because again, I don't think that holds weight as well because I see people in the top 10 or even the top 20 right now that lack the championship criteria that lack the winning and they were their all their game is all predicated on stats and they can still be in the top 10. Oscar Robinson. So if you if you can tell me that he doesn't belong there based on your criteria, then I'll accept that. But if you have Oscar Robinson in your top twenty, then you got some you got an explanation that you need to come up with for your statement. But I'm gonna go. Let me. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let everybody get their second takes. I just want to go around to everybody and get them an individual take first. Let me go to. Uh, let me go to uh, Celtics lore. Celtics lore was on the panel, man. Salute to Celtics Lord, man. His thoughts on this whole conversation. You've been hearing people, what they had to say about this. What are your thoughts on this LeBron Kobe argument? What up, what up, what up? It's been a long time, but I'm back. Um, <laughs> uh, so um the cup I hear okay, when when people the people who so far, and look, I hate the Lakers, I don't like Kobe, I don't like LeBron, but <laughs> hey man. Let's let's be honest here. I don't even understand how this is even a debate. I'm gonna be honest. LeBron is by far the better player. I'm sorry. I get it with all the uh, oh can't look now. Now we got to throw out stats. We got to throw out everything else because LeBron beats everything. And we just throw all that out, and now it's what the players say. But then when the players say, "Oh, it's LeBron," we got to throw that out too. So what? I'm I'm confused at what it comes down to. Because what I was going to say was what the first guy said. LeBron leads in every stat. I'm, I mean, it's, I don't even, it's not even a debate, to be honest. It's just people, I get it. Kobe passed away. Rest in peace. I get it. It is what it is. But 
I think people are elevating Kobe because he passed away. And I, I understand. I understand it. You know what I mean? But, man, LeBron just <laughs> – the NBA's never seen nothing like LeBron. Let's be honest. Dude's what, four – how old is LeBron? 38. He's not 38? Old. I mean, look what he's – I mean, I get it. The Lakers' record's not good. But, man, you look at what LeBron's doing. It's like, man, it's ridiculous. Kobe couldn't even walk. He could barely walk. Man had to put up 50 shots to score 60 points. The wear and tear is different. What? Well, I don't – under and the, I like the, the wear and tear is different. LeBron went to eight straight finals. No, nah, but that's not wear and tear. Hold on. We're going to open it up for everybody at the end. And, I, and, let and, him finish this take first, and then we're going to move on to the next. I just want everybody to get their own individual take first, and then we're going to go back and forth a little bit. And, okay. and what I, what I was sitting here listening to all these people, and I'm thinking, man, man, these people bring up Jordan. They did the rings, rings. They didn't – well, funny. Without Shaq, I wonder what th – this debate would be weird without Shaq. It would be weird without Shaq. Let's be honest here. Kobe would have what two? So I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like it's like LeBron. It's LeBron. It's not even close. I've never even heard of it. But when you think of LeBron, you think, oh, him and Jordan. Kobe's not there. He's not even close. Not even close. And I get right. it. There's emotional fans. I get that, but it's not even close. All right, man. We have um that's Celtics Lore. Hey, stay right there, Celtics Lore. That's Celtics Lore is taken, hey. right? Harsh, harsh on a few people's ears, but I mean, is yeah, it's on y'all to judge of his faction. Hold on one second. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna open it up for everybody in one second. Let me go ahead and go to uh, let me go to Khalil. Uh, we got only a few more people to go, and then we're gonna open it up to everybody. So again, keep y'all thoughts in mind. We have a few more people to go. So let me go to Khalil, and then next I'm going to go to uh, Santana. But Khalil, man, what you got on this? Can you hear me good, Lamont? Yeah, I hear you. So there, everybody. Uh, I'm I'm one of those people who like all three of the guys. I like Jordan, Kobe, and MJ. I actually had the, the pleasure to meet Kobe when he had his uh, all-star debut here in Cleveland. And he won the dunk contest. I actually got pictures with him. Kobe was a great dude. He was great in his own right. LeBron is, of course, great in his own right, representing my city, winning the championship for my city. Um, but to me, I agree with the Celtics guy. This isn't even a debate, really. I mean, I guess it's fun to, like, argue and go back and forth. But just logistically, logically, everything sways in LeBron James's favor. I've been on YouTube since day one. I've been on hundreds of panels discussing basketball. And... What you said earlier in your opening statements is a fact. When Kobe Bryant passed away, this is when a lot of people, a lot of these people were hating on him, elevated him to broader heights than where he should belong. To me personally, I got Kobe at 10, and it was a little biased in there because I personally met him and everything, so it, it's a little biased, but he's at 10 in my top 10. I mean, you talk about the guy who talked about earlier how LeBron jumps around from team to team to team. But what he fails to realize is that – and then he also said that LeBron would still have four championships playing in Cleveland this whole time. That's the, the biggest crock of BS I ever heard in my life. When you don't have a competent franchise that's not willing and that doesn't know how to put the proper pieces around you in order for you to get those championships, why would you stay there? So it took for him to leave to go win championships in Miami for the Cavs to build up a team for him to come back to to win a championship with a bunch of upstars who never had no success in Kyrie and Kevin Love. But people will call that team a super team, which is like the silliest shit to me. Even when LeBron James led the league in assists, he won a championship. So he's showing you his versatility. The guy's about to be the only player to reach 40,000 points, over 10,000 assists and rebounds. Nobody else won't do that. Everybody on this panel will be dead by the time we see somebody else reach 40,000 points. So I'm not going to go into a long diatribe about it because this conversation really is exhausting. This is all everybody talks about. There's only so many takes that you can give. So I'll concede right here. But the homie that, uh, with the S or whatever his name is, I can't wait to smoke him. So I'm going to just <laughs> go ahead and give. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let somebody else go so I can save my talking point. All right, man. We got um, 
That's Khalil, y'all, man. Again, longtime supporter of the channel, man. Always coming through with a hot take. We got Santana, man. Santana. Uh, I don't know if I've seen Santana on the panel before, but this might be his first time. But, hey, man, he up here. Uh, uh, what, what you got on the topic? Hold on. You, you got to unmute yourself, Santana. Hold on. We can't, I can't hear you. Can y'all hear him? No. no. I can't hear you. Here, Santana, sometimes when you on on hold for a minute with the stream yard, your audio mess up. So hop out and come right back in. Sometimes it'll do that. If you just been sitting on hold for too long, it'll mess your whole audio up. So just as soon as as soon as Santana come right back in, we're gonna get his takeoff. Let me go to uh let me go to Z V C K K K. Uh odd name, but hey. Maybe he has a good take for us, man. What you got, Z V C? Honestly, I don't even know why people continue to debate this topic. In my opinion, I just think LeBron is just better than Kobe by far because one player, he's in the GOAT conversation, the other player isn't. You know, proven and proven time again, we've seen LeBron take his team to the finals plenty, many times without another all star caliber player. And there's plenty, and I could show you this too. You could Google it up yourselves. Kobe, sometimes he just doesn't, I don't know how to explain it, but he just doesn't have, he just doesn't, you know, include his team in many situations in the way he should. Because most times, especially after Shaq left, this man basically didn't do much for his team until Pau Gasol left. So that, in my opinion, that just proves that he, he can't carry a team by himself. And I'll admit, Competition plays into a big factor when when he starts when he, either he wins or loses. But either way, I respect both players. Both players are good. I just think one player is better than the other. Mm. All right, man. We got uh hold on. Santana's not back yet. We waiting on Santana to get his mic. Uh, connected. Um, hold on. I'm gonna drop the link for you, SFM. Hopefully, we can get Santana's mic connected in. Uh, we got Wes. We got Slim. We got. I think everybody got they taken. Hold on. We got DJ. Salute to DJ Yo, man Lamar, coming I, back though. Yo, Lamar, I have the DJ on. Um, let me let me get it first. I got, you. I got you. We're just gonna really kind of open it up after DJ, but um, but go ahead, DJ man. What you got on this? All right. What's going on, y'all? Salute to the panel. Salute to Lamont. Um. I mean, like Khalil said, um, I don't even know why this is a debate. Like, LeBron came into the league with enormous expectations, and he's really exceeded those expectations, for one. Two, like, you know, Khalil noticed, like, I've been watching LeBron for his whole career. Like, so I know the Cleveland days, too. Like, the dudes he was carrying through the playoffs and to the finals in 07 was insane. Like, and once he left that team, those dudes wasn't even in the league no more. Like, I've never seen a player be able to elevate a team full of, I'm not going to call them nobodies because they're NBA players, but they're not, you know, all-star or, you know, legit, you know, help. Like, you know, he didn't have a prime Shaq. He didn't have no Gasol. Like, he didn't have no Phil Jackson. Like, I mean, I don't get it. Like, LeBron has done all of this with no Hall of Fame coach. No, like, it, it's it's not even close. Like, we can go through the numbers. They speak for themselves. But I've never seen Kobe elevate a team. Like, when after Shaq left those three years, he, he blew a 3-1 lead. He got bounced in the first round. And he didn't make the playoffs. Like, I mean, why is this even a conversation? Like, I mean, I really – and then, like, people say, oh, when he went to Miami, like, oh, that's a super team. Um, For y'all that don't know, Chris Bosh was a first-round exit when he made the playoffs. Like, he ain't a super player. D-Wade, I'll give him credit. He had a ring before LeBron, but at the same time, guess who he had? Like, Kobe, a Shaquille O'Neal. Like, so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just putting it into context. Like, you know, without LeBron, these teams aren't championship contenders. I mean – what I mean, what else is there to say? I mean, even even Anthony Davis, like the year 
you know, he won in L.A. Like, Anthony Davis didn't do anything in New Orleans. Like, LeBron turned all of these players into winners. And that's really, like, I got more, but as far as, you know, deeper numbers. But, like, you know, it's, it's really not even close, to be honest. Seriously. I mean, it's mm. th- this is a joke, for real. Like, no disrespect to Kobe. He was a hell of a player. Like, I got him at, like, 11 12 somewhere on my on my list but i mean for me it comes down to just simply this if i'm starting a franchise i mean i'm taking lebron like a thousand times like i mean why is this a conversation so i mean that's that's all i could really say at the moment like i got more but you know i want to get to everybody so all right cool all right man hold on we got one more person we're gonna allow him to give this little soliloquy you know he's gonna have a hot take, um, because you know we know he's uh, extremely biased. But what you got on this SF? I'm not biased at all. You know I come with context behind the numbers. Most LeBron fans they run from context to put on numbers. I don't. All right, well SFM, all I ask is when you talk, slow it down a little bit, because you're uh, trying to I'm get you trying to get out a million Google stats in in thirty seconds to so slow down so we can hear, it. And, and so you can so you can give that context so we can understand. It. Look, I'm leaning right now. I'm slow. Trust me. When did I block King David? Somebody said I blocked him. If King David is blocked, I'll unblock him. But I didn't block. I don't block Kobe. One thing I don't do is I don't block people. If one of my mods blocked you, I'll unblock you. But I'll check. But I don't believe King David is blocked. But I'll check the block list. Um, but all you got to do is just ask. But I don't believe he's blocked. All right, go ahead, SFM. My bad. So what you what you want me to say? No, I mean, look, we whether you talk about who's the better player or who had the better career, there's two different angles you can push. We've heard p- multiple people on the panel come at this argument from both sides. Some some people talked about team. Some people talked about individual. What are your thoughts on this comparison between LeBron and Kobe? How do you compare the two and who do you think is the better player? Okay, well, when we look at just the individual player and the team player, we can say that LeBron is probably a more friendly team player. But when it comes to individual player and team player, Kobe is is the best one in both of those two. You just saying Kobe. LeBron was the best let's, team player. Let's, now let's, you let's, saying let's, Kobe? Let's, let's, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kelly. Oh let him get, let's let's get the take off. Listen, no, 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 I said he's more. No, friendly. no, it's SFM. Go ahead and cook. I got you. I you said let him cook. I said he's more friendlier. He's a more friend, friendly type of guy. When we talk about like leader, nigga, push you to get what you do, like Paul Gasol. Paul Gasol said. I wouldn't have got what I got to without Kobe, Kobe Bryant. He elevated my game. You feel me? And I heard somebody talk about Paul Gasol and Woo the Woo. Um, when Paul Gasol came to the Lakers in 2008, we, we was already 30 and 16. We was already on pace for probably about 49, 50 wins already, if you didn't know. But anyway, when we, check, when we talk about defense, Kobe Bryant is number one all time in first team all defensive selections. In total defensive sedations, he's number two all time, only behind Tim Duncan, which don't have a defensive player the year either. I don't understand understand that. You feel me? His defense, uh, for most of his career, he was for, uh all top five, probably top ten, top ten defender in the league, league, you could say. Uh then when we talk about offense, well, he'd have made all NBA eleven times. In total, that's in total, that's 21st league all NBA selections. Nobody has more. Nobody has had a longer, consistent prime that's elite on both sides of the floor than Kobe Bryant. If Michael Jordan would have played five, six more years, it would have been him. But Kobe Bryant from all NBA league selections has had the longest, consistent prime. He's the better player on the defense end. Now, when we talk about offense, LeBron shoots – out, shoots 35% outside the paint for his career. I repeat again, he shoots 35% outside the paint for his career. Always been known to be a type of struggle free throw, free throw shooter. Okay, that is he he is an efficient slasher. He's not an efficient sh- shooter for his career. So we need to stop that. We need to stop that right there. We could talk about all the passing he does and all that, but keep in mind that he's number one in turnovers in the regular playoffs and finals, okay? Not just one category, regular playoff and finals. Led seven out of ten uh, finals and turnovers, okay? Um, when we talk about post-play, ball ball handling, um, the 
the better clutch player, especially in the highest moment of them all, the finals, because LeBron finals clutch numbers are shit. He's 76 points in the finals with 30% compared to Kobe. They got 76 points on 45% for a career in clutch in the finals. Yeah. So, um, yes, I would say LeBron probably brings more to the table a little bit because of his past, and he sees that he played closer, uh, closer to the uh, – Rim, but when we talk about the more impactful player, who's the more impactful player on the team? It's Kobe Bryant, the man that not only played in the Wicked West, he played in the Wicked West, not a weak East like LeBron did for most of his career. He had the pleasure of playing in that weak East. Kobe didn't have the pleasure. Kobe faced the most 50 plus wins, uh. Most 50 plus winning teams of all time. It has the best record against 50 plus winning teams in the playoffs with a 25 and 10 re- record. Between 2008 and 2010, every team that he faced in those playoffs was a 50 plus winning team except two. You feel me? LeBron never went through no competition like that. It took LeBron nine finals just to face as many 50 plus winning teams as Kobe doing. He still has a negative record in that category right there. But in my second is Michael Jordan. But yeah, when we talk about the player that uh, he's going to excel against harder competition, uh, bigger moments. He's the better defender. Um, he's the better shooter. Um, he has the better handles. Uh, yeah, he's just a – Kobe Bryant's just a better player than LeBron, point blank, simple. Now, yeah, y'all yeah, could bring up the um, – we well, all could bring up the times that uh he averaged thirty and put up a triple double when he probably lost to some because I have a lot of losing moments for him. Uh, however y'all want to do this, but I'm not finna debate y'all with excuses. That's not what I'm finna do. LeBron fans, they come with a thousand excuses. You can't debate them without no excuses at all. But hey, I got the flow. Now, now SFM, I do have a question. So in the beginning, I I, I mean, you, you talked about some stats. You talked about LeBron shooting. A certain percentage beyond outside of the paint or something like that. Uh, 35% um, outside the paint for his career. No, no, I got you. I got you. So yeah. the one thing that I said was, what's the one metric that puts all of that into context from the three-point line to the mid-range to baskets at the paint to the, even the free throw line? I, I believed it was something called true shooting percentage. At the end of the day, LeBron still has a higher three-point field goal percentage than Kobe. He's made more threes than Kobe. Or I, th- I believe he has. He might not have. But at the end of the day, he has a higher true shooting percentage than Kobe. And that that is a combination or that's a, that's a calculation that puts into context shots that you take from all over the floor. It's not biased. So like when we say that a player has a higher field goal percentage, it could just be a Shaquille O'Neal at the rim dunking. But this is why we use true shooting percentage because it puts all of that into context. Why didn't you just use true shooting percentage? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. I'm. I'm looking up true shooting. The only I'm reason I think right people now. avoid the 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 because it's just seems. To, I think if you're gonna argue against LeBron, at least be fair about what he is better than, and and one of the things that he's always gonna beat Kobe out in is efficiency. That's the thing. I mean, that's the one thing. And the one thing you, I would I want to see Kobe fans give uh, give me a better understanding as to why he was efficient i think phil jackson gave the best explanation as to why kobe was inefficient because he said our offense was designed for him to be inefficient we needed him to be a high volume not score he said for our offense to be successful especially during the paul gasol years kobe needed to be a high volume shooter he needed to get up x amount of shots per game for us to statistically have a greater chance of winning because what it did is it shifted the defense more towards Kobe and it opened other things up. And when he wasn't shooting over a certain number of shots per game, make or miss, then they would struggle. So I think Phil Jackson gave the best explanation as to why he was inefficient. But I don't, I mean, but why do we got to try to make up these numbers to try to say Kobe was more efficient than LeBron not when, inefficient, bro. when he just wasn't? Uh, Lamont, can I respond? I mean, they both were great players. But if, we're, if we're comparing bro, efficiency, LeBron is just more efficient from all levels he, of the floor. Level for okay. And labs. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Bro, I, got, I got it, bro. I got it. Bro. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I mean, uh, why don't, why don't, cool. we, why don't cool. y'all stand behind what Phil Jackson said? Phil Jackson <laughs> understanding that Kobe's numbers were inefficient. 
but you just use his context. It's not inefficient. No, no, but don't, again, hold on, y'all. They weren't inefficient, you guys, though. Again, no, you guys, that's not again, you guys, they they were in the hold on, again, you guys, it's what? not me saying it. This is what Phil Jackson said. Phil Jackson said out of his own mouth, Kobe uh. was inefficient <laughs> by design. So if you don't agree with the term funny inefficient. funny how niggas don't know what efficient is. Oh, okay. Hold on, okay. hold on, y'all. Hold on, bro. Let him finish. Let him finish, finish so, so he can get first. to somebody else Robert, so then we can Robert, open it up Robert, for everybody. I want to let Robert I'm going to go after Lamont, though. Robert, I got to respond First of all, if we don't know what inefficient is, I want you to explain it to us in a basketball context because, like I said, this is not I what can't, I can't, Lamont. SFM, hold on. This I'm letting him finish. What, I know this you're is not what my I bad. said. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's my not bad. what I said. My bad. This is what Bill finish. Jackson said out of his own mouth. I heard you. I heard you. He heard you. coached I heard you. Kobe through I heard all of his championships. So if Phil Jackson could accept it, but then put it into context, you guys should be able to as well. Because Phil Jackson coached the man. So don't come in here and tell me he wasn't inefficient when his own coach said not, I mean, Okay, okay, okay. Now look, okay, okay. Can okay. I reply okay. to that? Hold on, hold on. Can I reply to that? Y'all be pushing, go ahead, go ahead. pushing back against facts. Don't no, 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 I'm not pushing back against facts. No, because the fact, you brought up the statistic that Kobe Bryant versus his era and the rest of the teams was actually. I did not bring up any stat versus. Okay, I apologize. Era. It wasn't you, but somebody. Prior brought up a stat hold saying on. that first Kobe of all, Bryant it's on Robert, so we're gonna hold off on you. Right, you right. And Robert hasn't said anything, so we're gonna go to Robert next. I ain't never get to respond. No more. I want to let, let, let your Robert boy finish can't, right fast. No, let no, your Robert, boy we open it up. Go ahead, Robert. Do your thing, brother. Yeah, Robert, we uh, we can't open it up to everybody get a take, so I want to make sure you get your take off before we open it up. Then SFM can go after you. All right, oh, well, he, uh, he took you know a lot of some a lot of my takes, but I mean, I'm gonna still finish it off with this. You can't sit up here and, and say, because I'm hearing LeBron fans talking about it's not even close, it's this, this, and that. Usually, if a player is better on both sides of the court, that's not a debate, number one. So exactly. uh, if if Kobe, if Kobe, he he didn't need how many, how many, how many trades and how many transactions on LeBron clock did they they had to do 80. for him to win? 80 right? it was in like the past almost, 11 years. Yeah, it's like oh, almost a hundred. Right. That that's crazy within itself. So to say, oh, Kobe needed a prime Shaq. What was what was Shaq doing before Kobe came? Then, then when? Okay, so and then on top of that, what, 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 what was Paul Gasol? He, won, doing? he didn't have a ship. He didn't have an MVP before he Kobe. The All that came within Kobe. No, and so what so mean? when I hear this stuff, I just can't like it's, it's ridiculous to me. You give Kobe, you give Kobe a super team, does do they even lose? This dude <laughs> got the pickest teams. He, uh, and, and it's been exploited many times. So how are you going to say somebody to go, not only with a losing record, got holes in their game? It's like too many holes in their game. How are you going to say they're the best? But it's on you to just tell us the holes. Don't well, complain it's about on the me holes. To, it's, okay, it, it, so, all, all I'm saying, I'm just trying to help you out. Look, okay, go don't, ahead. don't I leave you, holes in your argument by just saying he has holes in nah, his game it's no, without it's breaking down to us really, what those holes are. Help us understand. What you think these holes are? Well, Break well, okay, it down so, to a science for us. Okay, okay. So for one, the different the difference is you guys bring up field goal percentage when Kobe was at. I'm his saying peak. you guys, not everybody. No, nah, I cannot help you out on that, bro. bro. No, 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 no. Let him have his no, own I need no help. SFL. I'm just helping him out as far as because because when he finishes, people gonna have a lot of questions. Well, I get you it. Say these things if you don't fill in the blanks because your your base right, style example, has okay. a lot of holes right now. Yeah, okay, so so. Yeah, hold on, brother. Go ahead, so bro. you brought up you brought up efficiency or whatever the case is, whatever. When Kobe was at his peak, typically he's shooting 45, 46 percent, which is still over average, especially at his, his own position. That's yeah. not inefficient. Number one. Number two, uh, if he doesn't if a player to me, this is what I call host. If a player 90 percent of the time needs needs high screen and roll and pick switches and they can't they have a hard time scoring on their own position. That's a whole. If you have problems at the free throw line at times, that's a hole. If a team can run a boxing one on you and, and reduce you to a jump shooter and you're almost non-existent, that's a, a hole. If you travel a lot, you don't have a post game, those are holes. That's what I mean. And Kobe's mechanics from, from mid-range to the three-point line and going to the hole, he had no holes. Dribbling, footwork, you name it, he had it. Everything in the back. So how are we going to sit up here and say just because another player knows how to manipulate and gets certain stats that doesn't make him better? Because if this is the case, then Michael Jordan would have never been considered to go. Why, why not Will Chamberlain? Now, why not Kareem? If that's the case. 
So we can't just base it on that. And then y'all going to sit up here and pretend like this dude didn't get to pick his teams and all the super teams he had, and he still got a losing record, my dude. And Kobe only needed one player yeah, every time. He needed it was Shaq on one end, then on another end, Pau Gasol, and you can't even name me the other players after that. Yeah, we can. He, but go ahead. There ain't no again. superstars in Pogs Hall. There ain't no That's superstars. That's y'all. Y'all, y'all, come on, y'all. He don't need to not even a top job. 75 player. All right, let, this is his argument, y'all. Whether you like it or not, it, it, whether you think it's weak or not, this is his argument. Like I said, I'm not stand on his argument. It's not, for me, it's, it's, not, it's not an argument. You look at one player who better on both sides of the ball, don't have a hole in his game. He played in a, hard, he played in a, a harder competition by far, mm. and the other one is picking his teams, and on one end was playing in the Eastern Conference. That's what they used to call it. It was historically. <laughs> oh, talk that shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Talk How you gonna shit. sit up here and say he he's better than than somebody who had all of that? Come on, now. that Kobe Tumbo. Trying to figure this, this out. Got a question? Don't hold on, no like question. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let him finish, Let him man. Finish, we go open it up. So, so for me, yeah, I I I, I do base LeBron a part of LeBron's greatness. On his longevity, he had he didn't get hurt. They went to like how many finals? He went to like nine, ten. I give him credit for that, and the fact the effect that he's been able to have all on his on the all around game, you know what I'm saying. I give him credit for that, but to say it's not close, that's just retarded. That's you don't know basketball if you're saying it ain't close. For hey real. Robert, uh, and Robert, you know who, as Robert who that laughing up, in the background, Robert. Bro. My my thing with Robert is yeah, I want to know this question because you say it's crazy that people say it's not close. So prior to Kobe Bryant's death. Were you one of those people that were vigorously attacking, I would say, around 90% of the basketball world that felt Kobe Bryant was not in the top 10? That's a stop, stop line. Not that's not about line, line, bro. Bro. That's not true. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. First of all, what's the NBA player? Come on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Look, first of all, if you want to know where I got 90% from, I got it from a Cal Berkeley study. And then I put that study into context by also comparing it to what <laughs> all of the aggregate media sites had, where they had him ranked prior to his death. All you have to do is go online and look. So I'm hey, looking quick, at the study. Quick. So all I'm saying is when I go to these studies and when I see where Kobe was ranked before his death and then where he's ranked after his death, the one thing that I know that happened that uh, the one thing I know for certain that did not happen after his death is that Kobe Bryant did not dribble a basketball again. So there's hey, no Lamont. way he could just jump hey, Lamont, into the Lamont, top Lamont. ten. So that my question is, no, hold on. My question is, were you vigorously attacking these people prior to his death? Or is this something new that just happened after his death? Well, the fun, funny Whoa. thing is, in answer to your actual question, was because of the business that I was in before I got to meet a lot of NBA players. So like certain ones, I ain't going to name no names, but but I, I met a lot of them and a lot of them felt exactly the same way I feel. Number one, so I never worried about what the media said. I would just listen to people that knew ball. But the, the other thing is you have, a, you have a short memory. You have a short memory because after Kobe won his fifth title uh, uh, against Boston, they was they were saying he was right next to Jordan. Was so how you. how hold all on. of a sudden? Hold on, you. Robert. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. Let me finish. I let just me, need to know. Let me, let me finish. Let me hold finish. On. First, I just need to know who they oh, were. Come on, Don't man. be vague and say them. Uh, explain to me who God, they were. Everybody you know, everybody everybody could give credit because when, I, when you when you say because anybody can come into this conversation whether they're arguing for LeBron or Kobe and we can start using they's and them's but not putting any stamp on who what do you mean? What are you about? talking about? You talking about when I said, said they, you they said, were saying hey, who? What was it? Oh, the uh, oh the who? same the same media the same dudes that that cap for that cap for even the dudes that cap okay. for LeBron. Can you, hold can on, you hold find on. that for me? Let me get it out. No, no, no. I, hold on. First, hold on. Oh. I'm just saying, if we're gonna speak to that, especially if you're gonna try to discredit everyone else here, I'm not discrediting gonna, everyone. No, all, really. I'm just here to fact check the things we say, whether it's for okay. LeBron or for Kobe. And what I'm saying is, you said they. You said they were doing this X, Y, and Z. I don't believe they. Give me names. Like I said, when oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. We're not doing. When I told the I guy said, earlier oh, when I that I had they. thirty-seven hold names, of hold up, hold up, because I said I LeBron you was trying better. To you, I started I see naming you trying names. To sway. I didn't say they. Hold up, hold up. Because, like I said, the media was saying that after he won his fifth title, they were saying that he what was media? next to. Hold up, hold what up. Articles. 
Uh, all right. If you go, I can pull up. Talk I can and, pull uh, up right, people. Go, go. No, go I'm ahead, saying, why do we keep trying to use blanket, empty things that nobody can identify? When I tell you that the people, the athletes who say LeBron uh-huh. James is the goat or mm-hmm. better, I can literally pull up the Twitter videos and the names. I'm not, and the, that's the reason why I, I knew you the this. guy who said I tell you this. the reason I why I knew the my- guy. Hold on one second, because you, if you're gonna be up here, I'm fact checking. Don't lie. Like just like the guy who said Gary Payton said Kobe was better than LeBron. How did he I, lied. How I, yeah, how, he how, lied. How, I had how, video. How. video I have I video. Lie. I have video. But here's the thing, FY. I see what's up. I mean, I see what's up with you because, Man, y'all stop because lying. typically, when whenever somebody to talk about LeBron the way you want, hey, we can open you don't, it up, you though, don't yeah. have an argument. Ahead, but then when they sway towards Kobe, Kobe, you want to argue. Robert, 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 yeah. Robert, Robert, yeah. Look, FYF, all I'm going to say is I heard a lot of LeBron say fans say if in their arguments. You you ain't stopped neither of them, and they've been capping this whole time. Or what exactly. the homeboy like, came on. Go ahead and call him my name. Was one hundred percent blind. Homeboy came okay. on and said, all right. All right. "Paul Lord, Gasol you feel like, was better." You feel like I didn't homeboy call him out. Homeboy came on and compared Paul Gasol. Yeah, he didn't argue with it at like, all. If you feel like I didn't call him out, then you take the. Dude, you sat up here out. and let these fools lie, talking about. But, Come on, you quit. Come on, can y'all stop Where fucking crying? Hold on, y'all. We doing this. We doing this debate. I don't want people up here being fucking babies. Fucking, if you don't like something, address that head on. Quit fucking crying. And no, then I am addressing get their turn. I just got All muted. All you up here doing is, hold on, hold on. All I ask, <laughs> if you say I didn't get to somebody's take, if I didn't ether it, then why don't you do it? I got you told me to on. stop talking. Hold on, hold on. right? right, right. <laughs> Rico, I'm giving you opportunity. <laughs> what are you literally doing? Just, I literally just said I'm opening it up to everybody. And now all I'm saying is you, then you, when I open it up, you get to crying about what I didn't say. It's on you to debunk them. I'm not here to sit here and argue with you. Why don't you debunk them with facts? Oh, I, I'm trying to. I'm but trying the thing to. is, don't do like Wild Wild West and obviously lie when I got the proof right in front of me. I didn't lie. I, Why nobody lied. I'm only saying I lied. Okay, so. The LeBron fan just lied. And hold on. Said that I just want you. Right okay, now. then if LeBron fan I'm lied, then you eat three. Right. And he didn't want to change it. Hold on, hold on. That's what I'm saying. So it's just kind of in the Hold on, everybody. We yeah, got you don't want to hear the video. You don't When I got the videos, you don't want to hear it. Hold on, hold on. Wild Wild West. You want to hear the videos? Or you just want to keep lying saying I'm lying? Hold on. This dude just said a LeBron fan lied. Prove to me that the LeBron fan lied. Please state your facts. Did he not Thank sit you. there and comp- compare he? Shaq? Who? I don't know all their names. He was on the panel speaking five minutes oh, ago. Did bro, he okay, not talk about Shaq? Did he 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 not talk about Shaq? Can I finish? Can I finish? You just told me to get at his point. Did he not sit there and Who's compare he? Shaq playing with D Wade to Shaq playing with okay, Kobe and to try to diminish D Wade? Gotta prove somebody lying to call him a liar. That's a bull that's bull. a lie. Shaq, that, Shaq was nowhere near his level when he played with D Wade compared Damn. to where he played with Kobe. So for y'all to sit there and try to diminish what D Wade was when LeBron got there, that's crazy. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, you really sat there and tried to compare Paul Gasol when he got to the Paul Gasol in Memphis. You try to compare that to Anthony Davis in New Orleans, but we are not doing that. We are not. No, uh, there was never a conversation in the NBA ever back in the mid 2000s that anybody ever said Paul Gasol was damn near a, a top 10 player without Kobe Bryant. That never <laughs> happened. That never happened. There were plenty of people coming on ESPN, first take everything, calling Anthony Davis a top 10 player. And this was before LeBron got there. The people were picking Anthony Davis to send the Golden State Warriors home, and he had Boogie Cousins. Boogie Cousins. And we're talking about one of the greatest greatest teams of all time. But y'all going to sit here and compare Paul Gasol as help? This is what we're doing now? Like, wait, wait, on, then, yeah. then another dude oh, lied. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The cast has to recoup. By the way, FYF, you asked me how, how the D Wade and Chris Bosch Heat were the year Miami left. According to what I looked up, yes, there were 66 games from D Wade. There were 44 games by Chris Bosch. They only played 28 games together. Over that course, they were, they were I believe, 13 and 15 over those 28 games. That was a 46 win percentage. That was enough to make it in the playoffs that year. So you asked me how record? good were they? Yes, a 46 win percentage oh, oh, that so year. They, so they were losing team. 
a 46 win percentage was good enough Bro, to make the playoffs. Are you really telling me that 13 and 15 is good, man? A 46 win percentage bro, was stop. good enough to make the playoffs. Wait, 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 but look, but look. Bro, that was delusional, bro. Just look, say they, they were No, trash no, LeBron. that's not delusional. The 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 Brooklyn Net the Nets, I'm sorry, the, the Nets that season made the playoffs with a 46 win percentage. That is a fact. Bro, I'm not they delusional. Were, were they a good team? That is a fact. But were they a good so, team? Okay, okay. This, that, and then, hey, hold on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Chris Bosh playing horrible, coming off of injuries out. with blood clots, like I said. Uh, so you asking me? Uh, they were still a right, playoff team. So basically, team. we'll settle on the fact that you said that they would be an eight seed. They were a playoff team. Okay, they would be an eight seed. Oh, Lamont, let me, let me, let me respond. Oh my God. Before, 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 that was horrible right there. Hold on, before, hold on. Hey, Lamont, do you want to hear the videos or you just want to keep avoiding? Hold on, hold on. So, Wes, before you bitch again, let me let me just get this point off. All right. I just want to slow your ass down. You ain't nothing but Lamont. I just wanted to, I just wanted to bunk. I just wanted to bunk. Son, relax, son, relax. I just wanted to bunk a common myth that, that, um, that Man, people keep saying that people keep saying Kobe is more clutch than LeBron. So out of out of over fifteen hundred games that both of those guys played, unfortunately, both those guys only have five percent chances to have a game time or go ahead shot to take the game. Uh, right? uh, oh, hold on, let me finish. I didn't interrupt you when you was talking, bro. I didn't. Oh my gosh! During during the game time to take the shot in the playoffs. LeBron is 21 of 44. That's 46. That's 40. That's about 48%. Kobe is 12 of 41. That's 29%. For some people, taking 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 that last shot to take to tie or take the to take the game, that's considered clutch. For some people, for can some somebody people, else talk real quick, bro? Finish, bro. For some people, for some people, clutch is what you do in the fourth quarter. In particular, no, 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 no. According, according to NBA.com. Wait, hold up, hold up. According to NBA.com. According to NBA.com. Okay, okay, cool. Hey, hold clutch, on. Clutch, hey, being Lamont. clutch, being clutch, oh, hold on. being hey, clutch. Hey, hey uh, Lamont, let me, let me finish just, this with Let me finish this with Hold on, just Hey, who was more clutch in the 2008 Olympics when they was on the same team? I only got two minutes, bro. D Wade, right, hold on. Let me get Beasley real quick. If he, D Wade is more clutch. Hey, hey, I, 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 I'm gonna go to Beasley. I'm gonna go to Beasley. Hold on, 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 if you believe Kobe is the better, better than LeBron, that's fine. That's your opinion. My question is. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> fuck. Jesus Christ. Bunch of niggas with no manners in this motherfucker, bro. No home training. My, my question is, is if you believe Kobe's better than LeBron, that's cool. That's your opinion. I, I ain't got no problem with that. I'm going to ask this question, and then I'm going to make a statement, and then I'm out. My statement is, is what part and what part of his career did he become better than LeBron? Because LeBron came in the league better than Kobe. Yeah, you so are. at what point? <laughs> no, no, no. LeBron, Kobe was a bench player, was he not? I, I don't think you can argue with that. Yes. I mean, I mean, Eddie a Jones was a role player. Say that it, 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 man. Eddie Jones, Eddie, Eddie Jones was listed above Kobe in, in the depth chart. That's a fact. You can't argue it. The it other is quick, a fact. Go the, ahead. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say Wasn't he an all-star? is some nigga came in here earlier <laughs> and said that Kobe Why you didn't left have, that out? Why Kobe, you ain't say he was bro, on the bench I, for an all-star? Bro, bro, that don't got shit to do with my question, you dumb he ass. He was a role player. He was a fucking role player. So... Here, here's a fact. Some nigga, on here, some nigga on here said that Kobe didn't have no super teams. I beg to differ. 2004, he had one. I mean, get the fuck. And 2012, he had one. If, if you're going to go by the definition of super teams. And, 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 and I'm just, just making the fact that the people that say other people are lying are actually sitting here lying. 
Hey, can just, I can just, I ask you something, bro? Just, no, just state the facts, bro. Can I ask just you something? State, no, stop. No, you, you can't. You know because you're going to be put right back. Yes, Robert, bro, hold on, you, Robert. I'm going to let you respond. You but are he, the most. got to move. You, only way you this works are an is emotional dude, bro. I heard when Lamont asked you point blank range questions, all you could do was come up with generalities. You can't even state facts. Why would I talk to you? You you like a woman. You emotional. Yes. <laughs> and I'm out. All right, so yeah, we'll you leave. better leave. You, you, you Yo, oh, uh, oh, I'm right here. What you want, yeah, exactly. boy? You better leave. What, what nigga. You, you scared, nigga. What you got? Yeah, I know what I got. You ugly what, little. What you, here you go again look, with look, the emotion. Now, look, Come on, you little out, bitch. Since you're not listening, number Come one. Come on, you little hey, you bitch. Tell me, you tell me. You tell me how a super team has a 37-year-old Gary Payton and a 40-year-old Carl Malone. You retard. Hey, hey you, how, heard, how is that a I, super team? I heard. How is that a super team? I heard everyone Gary Payton was not 40. You're, you, you dumb. You don't know. I Gary heard. Payton was not 40. Why would you lie? I, I heard. He was 40. Oh, hold on, Lamont. I heard Malone was forty. I heard do your homework. Gary Payton. I heard said hey, Gary Lamont, Payton was thirty seven. Hold, hold up, hold up. I heard that the Lakers. I heard majority of LeBron haters saying the Lakers were a super team with Rondo and Dwight Howard. Facts. <laughs> But wait, wait, wait. You are done. You're talking about Davis not a top five player. That's what you're talking about. That name. I'm talking about Davis not a top five player. You just, you just tried to lay an egg, which you did. Bro, here's the problem. You laid a dud. You up yeah, here arguing. The, you the up here arguing that Kobe how, is how, close how, to you Michael Jordan. You going to let me respond, and I'm responding. No, you tell me, I don't want to hear you tell me how. You, say, you tell bro. me how. You tell me how. A 37-year-old Gary Payton. I tell you how. Hold up, hold up. Hold Go up, hold back up. to fourth grade hold and up. learn Why English. He was not That's how. He was 37. He was not 37. Stop lying. He was 37 and Carl Malone was 40. Money? He was 40. You want to bet money that he was, was not 37. Bro, it doesn't 37. matter what his age was. How, was how come you lose because a 40-year-old didn't play? But he meant a lot. If you knew that how season, which you, you clearly didn't watch that season, don't he play. still meant a lot. That show how that show a testament to how good. Carl yeah, that's how great was. he was, right? No, he wasn't great anymore. He was good <laughs> yeah. though. He was good. Hey, hey, he hey Lamont, like I don't he, know he's what you're driving you the Sanford and Son dudes, truck. Bro. Don't make you right, man. I, I don't mind the argument, and I don't. I don't have no problem with it. If someone gonna tell hey, me hey, that this player is better than that player, all I know is I heard what you said. Just and be able 2004, to oh, I gotta get the bank. Bro. In 2004, Car Carl Malone was 40 and Gary Payton was 37. Look it up. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's that's on, not a super on, team, bro. Stop. Gary Payton was not 37. Stop he was lying, 37. Bro. He was 35, my nigga. He was not 35. That's a lie. He's just be lying, bro. Dude, <laughs> hold on, y'all. Do we got to zoom on it for the special head people? We're going to zoom in. You on got to, bro. You got to. These God motherfuckers damn. retarded. You try to act like we retarded. Gary Payton played all 82 games. He he, he was healthy. There go the leader of the goof troop. Come on, man. He was 30. What about Carl yeah, Malone? Don't bitch. leave out Carl Malone. Back Carl Malone. Back Carl Malone. Games that right year, there on the guys. screen. He was 35, man. No, I was Carl, what did Carl Malone do? Carl Malone was 40 year, years old, played 42 games, and got hurt. In the regular oh, season, we know what you're saying now, but when that call, team was put together, LeBron team was super it was team last like year. I didn't know super team. Was, man. I don't think it was a super team. I'm just telling you what people were saying at that time. People felt like it was a super team at that. That time. was my whole point in the first place. Yeah, I'm I'm the, the, I, I don't agree it was a super team. I'm just telling you, we all know. And they being still said lost. They, they lie, wasn't. Bro. They wasn't saying that just because of the no, team. Yeah, they they was lost too, and they lost too, on. bro. They lost. We're gonna let Bang get his take, and then we're gonna open it up because Bang just hopped in. Hey, thank, thank you. What's up, Lamont man? What up, Bang? <laughs> been hearing all these old goofy ass cold tars, bro. See. They were saying shit oh, like we got a Queen oh, James it, it, on the line. Hey, oh, hey, gosh, hey, bro. Up, man. Hey, relax, yeah. man. My fucking one talking when you was talking, bitch. Be quiet. Now listen, yeah. right? Check this shit out. Niggas talking about some of the facts don't matter. Take the stats away, take the championships away, so we can honor your feelings. Bitch, fuck your feelings. Pun intended, right? <laughs> the facts matter. The stats matter. Okay. The fact that this nigga blew a 3-1 lead. That's the Kobe way. The fact that you just scored eight, what, eight points in the game before. That's the Kobe way. Everything you straight try to criticize LeBron for, Kobe did it in worse or fashion. Yes, LeBron got swept twice. Kobe got swept three times. 
You know what I'm saying? Like they in the final. They say, Were they, they in the hey, final? Hey, shut up, nigga. Shut no, the not fuck in the finals. finals. He's it's talking about playoffs. It's the NBA play. It's <laughs> in the finals. It's the NBA playoffs. Oh, GMX ass nigga. See how you trying to finish? It's the in, hey, hey, Lamont. It's the NBA mm-hmm. finals. In- the NBA finals is part of the playoffs, man. Come hey, on, y'all. Sir, I don't, I don't care about none of that shit they talking about. Okay, at the end of the day, he got swept three times. More than LeBron, nigga. That's facts. Go look it up. Can I right? go after this, Lamont? Check this shit out right yes. here. They say they, they say Kobe didn't. They say Kobe didn't run. Kobe did it the right way, but that bitch was trying to get out of L.A., bro. He was trying to force a trade, but Doctor Bucks wouldn't let his ass, nigga. Those are facts, bitch. Go look it up. The same thing they criticized LeBron for. These faggot ass bitches be hating, bro. He's Kobe loving, cold, tart ass niggas. Okay, you mad? LeBron beat that nigga in everything. Everything. Explain the thirty eight thousand since he ain't got no bag. So all oh, the footwork it looked prettier because LeBron got a clunky fadeaway. That's the problem. Explain the thirty eight thousand points, the ten thousand rebounds, the ten thousand assists. Oh, we got to turn a blind eye because he didn't shoot forty percent. Because that's what Kobe shot, nigga. Forty percent. The fuck up out of here, man. These Could- niggas is retarded, bro. They just love this nigga. That's all it is, bro. Fan the fuck out. And it's Mike and LeBron. Man. It's Mike. It's Mike and LeBron, not Kobe and LeBron. This shit is null and void, and it ain't even close. And the bro, motherfucker, is the you motherfucker, done, bro? Look, look, Are you look, done? Look, for real, bro, for real. The, the motherfucker didn't. Joe, it ain't. Did he win without Shaq? He didn't win without Phil. Just like Mike weak ass then. Them niggas is system players, bro. Without that system, they can't win. And that's a fact for your ass. <laughs> Big facts. All right, so hey, you know so what? Your motherfucking you, ass, you nigga, done, they can't, win. You they can't win without that system, nigga. LeBron is the system. Yeah, it's a gift in the curse. He all got right, six all right. with it. All right, is you done? And, and hey, bitch, so, I know it's I'm done. Bitch, shut the fuck up while I'm talking. I'll let you know when I'm done, bitch. I ain't your weak at ass son, day, bitch. You better like control I your said, bro. <laughs> at the end, at the end, at the end of the day, like I said, bro, I everything it, I just say, stated was facts, nigga. You can go fact check that shit. No, it, it, if, 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 if we want to take a shot, forty percent. That wasn't a fact, man. You're lying. It's gonna go on and on. Oh my god, bro. Hey, listen. Hey, you think you think it's a game, bro? You think it's a game? Yeah, it's a, game of a, bas- it's a game of basketball. He got an NBA yeah. worst shooting performance by any Finals MVP in NBA history, nigga. That's forty percent. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, is you done, bro? Hey, thank you. Are you done? Hey, bro, shut the fuck up. Is you done listening? If you ain't done, you don't want to listen. Turn off your fucking station. Weak ass nigga. That nigga you got need the to most missed shots that in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. He got he got the most missed motherfucking shots in playoff in yeah. the playoff series, nigga. Kobe took your girl, huh? The most missed motherfucking <sighs> shots in the finals. The most missed shots in NBA history, nigga. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. He ain't God, nigga. Bad. You love his work, nigga. He ain't Bad. top 10. He top 15, nigga. Bad. Fuck up out of here. Uh, oh, then that mean LeBron top 15. If he top 15, LeBron, LeBron hey, top 20. Hey, hey, LeBron, tell them niggas to go debunk that shit, nigga. Now, now hold on. Like, before we... You need like, to go just... debunk yourself. Hold on, y'all. No, hold debunk on, yourself, bitch. You man. Lamont, hurt, if nigga. Kobe top 15, up, LeBron man. top 20. Simple to him. Okay, cool. He must think LeBron top 20 then. You can explain that later. Yeah, go tell that to the world, bitch. Hold on. What I'm saying is this. Um, now, this is interesting. You know, I, I just saw this as well. Um, and maybe you guys can help us with this because a lot of people talk about how LeBron needed help, but you could one could argue also that Kobe needed help because Oh. Without Paul Gasol or without Shaquille he O'Neal, did. hold on, hold on one second. Y'all, y'all can explain this later. But without Paul Gasol and without Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant had a forty-three percent win percentage in the NBA. Now, exactly. on the flip side, without I, an All Star, because we know LeBron James has played with a multitude of different All Stars, but so whenever LeBron James played without an All Star, he had a sixty-five percent win percentage in the NBA. So when you say he needed, when you say he needed this to win he was actually still winning at the same clip with or without all-stars as opposed to Kobe who had a losing record in the NBA without a Pau Gasol or Shaquille O'Neal and like that's just putting if you're going to push that argument that LeBron needed help it doesn't really that, that no not that's necessary. not true LeBron not true <laughs> uh, uh you could say that yes he had missed the playoffs but between from 2005, and, but he still he made it to the playoffs two times without them. And without, 
He had, I mean, just that's the fam. The, oh. the fact remains when you add all the games up that he played without Paul Gasol and without Shaquille O'Neal, he had a 43% win percentage. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let me say this. Now, he had made it to the playoffs two times without Shaq and Paul Gasol between that, between that period. Now, now the thing is, league. now, now, Bitch, Paul Gasol, let, okay, okay let Paul Gasol. All, all right, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. The cool Paul Gasol, but anyway, Paul Gasol, which had never won a playoff game before, he came to Kobe. He came to the Lakers, and, and I'm gonna say this again: the Lakers were already 31 and 16 when Paul Gasol played his first game as a Laker in 2008 versus the Nets. That was their record. They was on trajectory to 40, 50 wins, literally. So uh, I'm not acting like Kobe ain't have no help. Every player need needs help, but have other players had a much more help than the other one? Yes, and that's in LeBron case. Do certain players not need as much help to win a championship? Yes, that's in Kobe case because he's the only top five. Uh, he's the only player in NBA history to repeat without a top five, the top 75 player of all time. A player that wasn't a superstar. He never was in the MVP voting, and he was never a top 10 player, but arguably, probably yeah, about in the eight or nine. Yeah, but he's a Hall of Famer. But he's but that's a, but he's a Hall of Famer. Hey, hey, but look, hey, Kobe, but look, so much, so look, so the fact, so the fact that the fact, hey, the fact is, okay, the fact is when Kobe had to repeat when Kobe, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on, SFM. I just, I just asked you a very, very, very simple question, but you went off on a crazy tangent. Yeah, because no, I ain't said that. Yeah, no, no, but you still haven't. I just wanted you to address. Look. Hey, quick, somebody quick, here, I, I can't remember who it was. Somebody brought up that LeBron needs all this help to win. He do. All I, all I said was this: without an All Star, LeBron has a sixty five percent win percentage. Kobe without Shaquille O'Neal or Paul Gasol has a forty three percent win percentage. That's now, all I hey, said. Hey, so okay, without the All Stars, what's his win percentage? Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Y'all don't have to overreact. Year twenty on one seventeen. I'm not overreacting. I'm just, I just want to ask you something. I just want to ask you something. When I look at that percentage, I just want. Hey, Lamont, I just want to ask you something. To the connotation that LeBron needs an All Star. Wait, wait, I'm about because I'm about to. I wanted to ask you something though, Lamont, about what you just said. I just think it's a losing argument to say that. Especially when Kobe has a losing record without. But, hey, wait, 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 Lamont, Lamont. In the West, what you all, Lamont. what you also not bringing up in that if argument? If you want to talk about the West, LeBron yes, James had a better win percentage against mm -hmm. the West. Nice, <laughs> LeBron. Hold on, 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 Lamont, 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 hold on, Lamont. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. Lamont. Lamont, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. He played. He played. Hold on. Y'all got to stop saying that because Lamont. Dude, but he won't, he won't let us talk because he knows. Hold on. You don't want to hear it, Lamont. You don't want to hear it. really getting cool. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, this. First of all, why do y'all keep saying Kobe was in the West when LeBron destroyed the West? Lamont, if, no, if he's playing 30 no, out of 80, no, no, he did not. That's a if lie. 50, if 52 oh. out of your 82 games is in the West, Bro, he kept losing to the West in the finals, bro. Hey, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Mute, 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 mute. Hold on, y'all. Can we please stop talking about things LeBron can't control? LeBron can't control, goddamn. He couldn't go to the, the commissioner and say, the fans think the East is too weak. Can you schedule me against more? He can't control that. It's not about getting, LeBron. It's at the not, end of the day, then when he goes to the West, what do y'all start saying when he goes but, to but the West? My, wait, I'm not saying it's the about, West. What has, what has That's not the Wicked West, West no more. The Wicked West was the 2000s. Yeah, that was the nickname. Uh, bro, hold on. He missed passing. the playoffs in a week. West. Three out of four. Okay, in the 2000s, how many rings did Kobe win? Look, all I asked y'all, all I asked y'all was this. Look, 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 I asked Damn, LeBron, there's certain things you're talking about. Y'all got to let Lamont talk, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 All right, look, okay. These niggas mad, bro. First of all, look, y'all yeah, First of all, look, y'all can get mad at me. Look, this is the thing. It's emotion. Get, not mad. Y'all get won't mad at me. Y'all get mad at me for just I, I I'm not all I'm doing is reading what happened. Y'all say it was y'all you cannot tell me it was a 
a strong West. And then when I look at what LeBron did to the West, and then when I say he was destroying the West, then you say, oh, he didn't play as many games. How did he destroy Either the West? Either way, it doesn't matter. Hold on, Robert. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I respond to that number, brother? How was he destroying? He got, a, he, got a, he got a winning record against the Lakers, bro, against Kobe. Why do y'all? He smoked Kobe, bro. Hold on, look. He, LeBron's teams was winning 50 and 60 games. <laughs> he did he never smoke A lot of Kobe, that was dude, damage tripping. done to the West, too. Hey, he smoked that bitch. Every year was in the league. Additionally... A lot of niggas shot under thirty-seven percent against Kobe when he was being. All right, all right, all right, Lamont, Lamont. Okay, to your point. Okay, how you win? At some point, to respond to your point. Okay, you said. Don't respond to me because y'all can't respond. Why? He won't let nobody respond to it. That's how I know you are getting cooked, bro. That's how I know you getting cooked because you said don't respond. Okay, that's fine. We'll put you on the big screen so you want so you can feel special. Go ahead. All right, now what you now you said that he was winning against the West and uh, West and all that he was dominating the West. Or West. Get this understood in the playoffs, in the final, well, in the finals, for um he was getting eliminated from the West. Um, he struggled uh against the Spurs every every now and then. Um, yes, he had an easy road to the finals. That's why when he got to the uh to the I mean. That's why when he got to the finals, the things got harder. He couldn't close out. See, Kobe was already used to that shit over there in the Wicked West because that was the nickname. See, why you can't turn. Shooting? See, what what why we what y'all listen, 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 listen. No, why he got he five. Get two chips no, no, he played eleven years. He got five. That, he got five. He, he, get two listen, right. listen, listen. He got five. Got he, he got five in title. He got five in total. He got five in total. Anyway. Anyway, oh, listen, listen, kick, listen, listen, listen. Kick. okay, 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 listen, okay, okay, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, let me finish, let me, okay, hold on, it's okay, it's okay, you can't call a nigga that's a sidekick, which in 2001 in the second round, he averaged 35, 9, and 4, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, on four, let me finish, let me finish, see, see, do you lose this, you can't keep up, you can't keep up, take that coke head, see, that's that coke, you full of that powder, that's what, that's the problem, I can hear you, you need to call, hold on, hold on, let me read, hold on, he not letting me talk, he not letting, hold on, yeah, hold on, let me read this then, he not letting me, it says, I'm capping, so we're going to start from 04, we're going to start, we're going to start from 06, all the way on forward, LeBron James versus the West, all right, 17 and 11, 17 and a 12, 17 and 12, 26 and 4, 22 and 7, 20 and 9, 24 and 5, 19 and 10, 17 and 7, 21 and 7. And that's this is all. And then 26, 2016, he was 16 and 12, 15 and 15. And this is the, towards the end of the years when his team was not as good, but he still hold it against them. But during that prime stretch, when he had the opportunity to go up against Kobe's West, he was dominating the West, 26 and 4, 22 and 7, 20 and 9, 24 and 5, 17 and 11. He was he had winning records against the West, y'all. Yeah, he I did. Mean, but but then why why is he 13 games under 500 or 12 games under 500 listen, in the final? Listen, listen to what I said. First of all, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this question. Because he struggled against the West. That's why. I'm asking Slim. Slim, 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 Slim. Let me ask you this question, Slim. He was bringing lesser teams no, to the no, finals. Let me, no, let me ask him this question, Slim. Who did That's you easy. pick? Who did huh? you pick to win the finals? When LeBron made it to the finals the first time versus the Spurs, who did you pick to win? I picked the Spurs. Why? Because they were the better team. Okay, wow, so that. okay, hold on. When they okay, <laughs> so that. when they played the Golden, okay, wow. even though this was past Kobe's time, when they played the Golden State Warriors and they lost, who'd you pick to win? When they played the, you're talking about the first time. Yeah. When when Kyrie got injured in him, I actually was going for the Cavs. Who'd you pick to win? I picked the Cavs before the That's injury. That's a lie. Okay, after the, in, hold on. After the injury, who did you pick? Because the injury I knew matter. Golden State would win. After, after the, the injury, who did you pick to win? I knew Golden State would win after Kyrie went down. Okay, so okay, so you knew the Expose Warriors would win the that field, field, bro. And so okay, so again? against the uh, okay, so when he uh, that year in Miami when they lost to the Spurs, who'd you pick to win? In Miami, they should have won all four. I had no, them in all four that. finals. I had no, them in all four. They had the most talent, and they had the deeper team. No, they didn't. Stop lying. Bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me ask you that now. Hey, 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 hey Lamont, hey, Slim. can you ask this guy, hey, how many how many times in, in, as the Heat was they favored in them finals? That's me. They weren't favored. That's, they, that's they, weren't, they weren't favored, they weren't the favored against OKC. That's they weren't favored against, they weren't favored against the Spurs. Okay. Doug, that's that was the only point he was favored against was Dallas. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but 
Those are people setting the lines, bro. That ain't the players. Oh, that's 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 cool, cool, yeah. people, uh, it's, it's an uh, exception uh, to the rule, right? Think they were favored. Oh, okay. All of them. Because you, because you want to make all four, four of those signings. Okay. Yeah. All four of those. Uh, all okay, four of those signings. Slim, had I got you, had I got you man. Team. Slim, I understand no, how didn't. you felt. Slim, I understand how you felt about it. But if we're looking at betting odds and betting lines, who's more credible, you or Vegas? No, I'm not saying I'm more credible in Vegas. I'm saying go player by player on Dallas. Was Miami okay, better than on, Dallas? Did they have on, a better team on. than Dallas? Hold on, hold on, Slim. That's not how basketball works. We don't judge what's a better team. We judge going, what favors how, LeBron. Hold on, hold on one second, y'all. We judge teams based on how they play together, cohesion, chemistry, coaching. Mm -hmm. This is not too gay where we look at his player rating is 90, his player rating is 88. And when we, at, when mm -hmm. we calculate all the player rankings, this team's player rank, that's not how it works in real life. Mind, did you know, did you pick Dallas to beat? What I'm saying is this, y'all. That's a dumb argument because he's trying to go player for player. That's not how basketball works. Basketball has never worked like that because the one biggest equation that always separates these things is coaching changes a ton. The Greg Popovich factor changes a whole bunch. That's the right. fact that this team was together forever changes a whole bunch. That can beat out a team yeah. with, with weaker coaching or less chemistry. So let's just stop with these bad – like, again, I don't care what y'all say, but, like, player for player, who is the better team? That don't never work on any spectrum. You don't want to hear the truth. Okay. That's not uh, the – but what I'm saying is you're you lying. You don't want to hear the truth, Lamar. Hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, y'all, when somebody tells you go player for player, that's not real basketball talk. That's never how you judge who's the better team. Right? So, like I said, this weekend – we just played overtime elite, and we beat them by 12. But player for player, they got guys that will be in the league in a few years. But how the fuck did we beat them? Because we have a better team, and we damn sure have better coaching. So how did we beat overtime elite? And they walking around with, with seven guys that will be in the league in three years, two years, actually one year. So how did we beat them? And I got, I got guys that you will never hear of. How did we beat them? Because we had a better team. That's how you judge who's a better be better teams always win. I don't care who you got. We don't judge it like that. What are y'all talking okay. about? When nobody okay. goes player for player. The, they the think the way games are paid. Is LeBron this James got a better K, career. Man. LeBron it's James is better than Kobe. Crazy. That's it. Bro. That was crazy. That shit is oh, oh, man. Man. Who's man. better? Point blank Point blank Nobody judges teams like that, bro. You just asked me a question. They don't want to hear, bro. They can't debate. You know. Okay, all of you don't hear. Okay, go ahead, man, Slim. Okay, so check this out. Lamont, you just said, who did you pick when LeBron played this team? Who did you pick and why? I said it's because they were the better team and they were deeper. So when LeBron played in Miami, <coughs> all four years, I just said the same thing and you had a problem with that. I said they were the better team and they were deeper. They just happened to lose two and win two. What's wrong with that? They weren't the better team. Now that I think bro. about it, the 13th. So every third. time he loses, it's because he's not he, he doesn't have the most talent or the best team. excuses. That's that's they always say main excuse. That's excuse, why I say bro. you can't bro. debate them without yeah, excuses. Bro. Bro. I ain't yeah. said so one is you three down down call three, three one. one. I'm not gonna why you putting him in the go conversation. He got walked down three one. What you mean putting him? He there, nigga. Shut up. That nigga got walked down. That nigga LeBron got swept in the finals twice, not one. Kobe never got swept in the Sweet ass, weak yeah. ass, broke yeah. ass, big yeah. ass, yeah. ass niggas. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you guys have? Are you see what it so is? We can give so LeBron so his so flowers, so but y'all can't give Kobe his. And that's oh, why it can't so be a conversation. Who was a nice player? He top 15, bro. Hey, Weezy Lane, shut the fuck up. You need to be slapped. Look, you shut up, you sweet bitch. Right, this thing is like it, bro. I call that nigga A Weezy lame. thing up and I'll be done. When it comes to that conversation about how people like to say Kobe, um, he would he asked for a trade, he looked for a way out. No, Kobe did that deliberately. Yes, he did, don't it? You can't hold explain on, hold that. On. Shit, nigga. Let, me, let me clear it up. Let me clear it up. I lived in LA. I listened to it's like when he snitched on Shaq. He's a fucking rat. Hold on, bro. So like this hatred is a conversation. To me. It's not an argument, man. I'm not arguing nobody. I'm just talking. So let me I'm just not say this. let you lie, bro. Stop lying. Hold on, hold on. Hey, if Weezy, I you talking too much hate in your heart. If I lie, debate. you can call it Stop out, bro. But let me get the sentence out. Can y'all let the man finish, bro? Let me get the sentence out, and then you can address it, bro. 
Kobe went on national radio on ESPN, 710 ESPN, when he demanded that trade. And it was only because he felt like he had to use the media to get the office, the front office, to make a move because there was a war on the in-house. There was in-house war with the upper management because there was a split in the organization after Shaq left. Some of those guys, they didn't want to rebuild with Kobe. Some of those guys, they didn't want to rebuild with Shaq. And there was a civil war within the organization during those years. So Mitch Kupchak was one of the guys that was on the Shaq side, and he was trying to make a point. That's all that was. That's why in 2004, 2005, there was no real transactions made. 2005, 2006, when he, went, when he averaged 35, scored 81, because they weren't making no moves. 10 of his 12 teammates left the same season that Shaq left, and they weren't trying to rebuild, and Kobe felt like he had to put pressure on them to do anything because he had a bunch of guys that were equivalent to D-leaguers outside of maybe Lamar Odom. And so he put the pressure on that same week or two, they ended up making a, a, a trade for Pau Gasol. And that was it, bro. That was all that was behind Slim, that. Slim, can, can I ask you okay, one I question? question? I got a question for you, bro. Hold on, okay. babe. Let me ask this one question. Let me ask this one question, man. I'm going to promise I'm going to let you go. My question was, um, you said Kobe demanded a trade because of how bad the team was, but SFM just told us that they were on trajectory to win 49 games that year with that roster. That was because Powell. of his oh, Hold on one second. Hold on one second. So what I'm saying is if they were winning, if that team was, you know, if why would he demand a trade if they were on a trajectory to win 49 so games? That, that happened predicted. before the season started. That I'll happened before why. that I'll season started. Why. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because he knew. He uh, knew. That had had before. Yeah, before hey, the season hey, started. Hey, this, so, hey, yeah, 08, 08 is when. Oh, hold on, listen. This dude 08. just sit up there and gave that whole soliloquy Can like he was in the organization. But I got facts. It's proven. I put it up for the whole world to see that this nigga told Stephen A. Smith that I want to be traded. Stephen yeah, A. tried to get in the bed. He said, no, I want to be traded. This is what Kobe said. No, no. This is what Kobe said. Not what I think he said. This is what Kobe said, bitch. He's right. Because he's lying. You yelling don't make nothing right. That nigga came out and said, I want to be traded. He was trying to run, nigga. Like I said, bitch, He did say that. Hold up. He did say that. He was, he, he was running. He was looking for a way out. Stop, 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 stop. The real way to wait. Shut the fuck up, stop. nigga. You lying, nigga. Hold on, y'all. Hey, hold on, y'all. Hold 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 on. On. This is what Kobe said. He lying, nigga. Hold on. Huh? Kobe, it, Stephen A. asks, is there anything the Los Angeles Lakers can do to get you to remain with the organization? Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant responds, no, bro. And Stephen A. said, wow, okay. Is this really going to happen? And so, basically, he asked him straight up, is there anything the Los Angeles Lakers can do to get you to remain? Kobe said no. Kobe – and Kobe – if y'all remember, remember Kobe also gave a list of teams that he wanted to be traded to. Yeah. I remember that. No, like, that like, was not, like I'm saying, it's not – it's, it's, it's not wrong to be – it's not wrong to be, it's not wrong to be traded. That was when Shaq was still there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but listen, listen, about, listen, we're all arguing about, you know, for nothing. We're all arguing we're for nothing because the fact is, bro, he never got traded, bro. The fact is that he never got traded, bro. Yeah, all this is to prove out, what? Prove what? What is this to prove? It's not making proof of nothing because he never he got traded. He the only time what you try to make him he was trying to run like a hoe. The reason why he But did he run? Did he run? He did it. He did it at the end of the day. He did it at the end of the day. LeBron did they, they were not like interested in bringing in that much more money in the, on the payroll. They weren't right. interested in winning. They liked seeing Kobe do what he was doing, and they was making money that way. They liked that. He was the ticket, So what the man. fuck y'all think Cleveland did his first seven years then? He did the same they went, thing. They went and got him more help thing. than Kobe had, man. I know that. Bro, damn Hold on. bro, Listen. Kobe played for one of the best organizations in the NBA. No. Stop the fucking cap, bro. He played for the best <laughs> organization. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Stop the cap, bro. Oh, mama, that Stop. Is a whole it has boy. a lot to do with the bro. fact that look, the difference, the difference is that the Cleveland Cavaliers were never going to trade or make moves to give LeBron James championship That's help. That's not true. Go back what? and look That's at that. Lie, That's, bro. What That's a lie, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slim, Slim, please tell me what transactions did they make that led you to believe that the Cleveland Cavaliers during LeBron James' first stint there was going to make them a championship team? Okay, let's name they were the All-Stars. Hold on, wait, wait. Let's name the All-Stars that they brought to Cleveland during that stretch. 
Okay, one, they went out and got an Antoine Jameson who was an all-star with the Washington Wizards prior to that. Hold on, you asked me who did they bring? They went out and got an Antoine all-star. Jameson Antoine Jameson was solid, don't laugh. They tried to go get, they tried to go solid. get a large side of my head. I want to address him at the end. They went and got, he just got hurt, got that's players, all. Bro. They, now, did that Williams. work out? They, got they went too. and got Shaq at one point, but he was passing oh, the line. Oh, hurt. Hurt. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Just no, I'm just I'm saying you're sitting back. Oh, stop. Here. Listen, just listen. Stop, bro. Just stop. You're, like, I know Shaq was past the time, but I'm just was, saying oh, y'all are making stop. it seem like they weren't making no transactions. So no, you're not just saying, bro. You just lying. That's why. Hey, hey, so, no. hey, if he's he he lying, so why did why was the Cavaliers favorite? Man, Shaq, in, oh, why was the Cavaliers ass, favorite in Shaq, in no, I'm saying my point is I didn't why say he was hey, what he doing, My nigga? point is they was making moves, man. They was not <laughs> making moves, shit. but they were making moves. Shit, nigga. Hold on, what else? Okay, so why were they favorite? Why were they favorite? Hold on, hold on, Slim. So you said a thirty-eight-year-old Shaq, and you said Antoine Jameson. What else? Wow. No, I'm saying Big the Z, point is the they movie. were making moves. No, were talking no, as if they didn't no, make no, any no, That's not what I asked you, Slim. I didn't ask you if they were making moves. I said, what moves did they make that led you to believe they made better moves move, than Kobe you, team? They can go win a championship. Oh, okay. No, no, I misunderstood the question then. I thought you were saying they weren't making no, 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 no. no. I knew they, they were making moves. moves. Every team makes moves. I said, what? Nah, but with, they with the Kobe they situation, they were not making moves. And fucking fried out here, bro. I'm asking, what move did they make during hey, LeBron hey, James' hey, first all stint? I know is, all I know is Le- Hold on. What move did they make during LeBron James' first stint? That they were favored in to- 09 and 10. Come on, y'all. Can I? Come on, y'all. Hey, hey, hey let me put this way. Hold, hold, hold they were straight. Let, they were favored because Hold on, y'all. LeBron let me get my question up. Look, I'm going to give him another chance to answer the question. What right. move during LeBron James' first stint in Cleveland that led, that led you to believe that this is the move that's going to get Cleveland over the hump. They're going to win a championship. Because the, the, uh, these moves take risk. You have to go in yeah. deep into the salary cap. You have to spend money. You have to go get guys. What move did the Cavs make that led? Did they make that? They didn't make the J.J. Hickson trade for Mari Stoudemire. We don't know if it would have worked, but that would have been a move I would have considered. Okay, that move is going to really give them a chance. It, might, it may or may not work, but you can tell that they're trying. When did you mm-hmm. ever believe the Cavs were trying with LeBron, that first stint, that first ten? Years? That first stint? I thought that they would. I thought the Antoine Jameson move was good at that time because Antoine Jameson was playing at an all star. He was playing. He was playing at an all star level, and knowing that LeBron had already went to the finals with a trash ass team, we knew that if they just put another all star around him, he should have been able to get back. And that's what that's what my thought was when they first went out and got Antoine Jameson. I was like, okay, that dude, he can go get you forty. He can, and, Antoine Jameson can go get you 35, no, no, 40 points. Now, let me ask you this. Okay, so that previous year when he was with the Wizards. Antoine? The reason, the reason why he became such a trade commodity, why did he become a trade commodity? Because of what? What, you're talking about the Gilbert Arenas injury? No, 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 no. Because Antoine Jameson only played 41 games with the Wizards. Yeah, and but then, they, they probably... They and then even that first year he joined money. the Cavs, he only played 25 games. Right, but I'm, I'm just saying when they made that move, it was probably salary cap issues. I don't know. I don't know exactly why no, they he made was, the move. He was I injured. Know, I just know as a talent, as a talent, Antoine Jamison was a full vet, and he was still it, capable of adding it, to the I, offense. I know, but that only helps if he's actually on the court. So that first year in Cleveland, he only played 25 games. He can't help LeBron if he's only – that second year he only played 56 he got, games. He got it traded in the middle of the it, season, right? It, it what? wasn't until it, – it wasn't it wasn't until the um, – it wasn't until 2011 when uh, he played a, all close to a full season of 65 games. But he I'm saying that he, he didn't get traded at the beginning of the season. He got traded in the middle of the season after All-Star break to the Cavs, right? Yeah, because yeah. they, they was making moves. He got traded in season. Not- so, yeah, so, so that's probably why he played like 25 games. Player, he huh? played, but but again, a midseason trade is that what propels you? Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not look what happened that. with Rashid. We're saying that they was making efforts to try to win, even at that time, because you got to remember the Cavs were a top five defense in the league at that time before the Antoine Jameson acquisition. They were top five in offense and defense, bro. So it wasn't like they was a trash team. It's just me, that the players, you didn't think any of those players were superstars. Hey, hey, 
Let me ask you a question. If you weren't a trash team, then you should be able to tell me. Let me ask him a question, bro. Why was Cleveland top five in offense, bro? They was top five in offense because they had scores, man. Mo Williams was scoring. <laughs> So you, you know, take off LeBron, they're going to be top five, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. LeBron oh, is okay. Le, LeBron. LeBron is the one that made the engine run. They do the same with Kobe. Take Kobe. I'm Kobe. saying if he they, had guys that five, could put the ball in the bucket. Hold on. He had sense. guys that. Whoa, well, hold on, but but that goes against. Remember, one of y'all. I don't remember who said it earlier before. Y'all said if you take LeBron off the team, that team's significantly worse. They're a lottery take, team. But LeBron. you said if you take Kobe off, that team is still pretty solid. That's what y'all. Said. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, what, we not. If I never you take said Kobe that. off the Smith Parker teams, those teams probably win twenty games or less. No, no, no. One of y'all said earlier. You know they ain't get twenty. You said, y'all said when you remove Facts, LeBron from that team, that team is significantly worse because it's built around him. It's a LeBron system. So are you saying that if you remove Kobe from those teams, those teams were much better? Because that's what it sounded like you were angling towards. What teams are you talking about, though? I don't know. You guys made the point. <laughs> I don't. I didn't, I didn't hear nobody say that. So, no, no. One of y'all Kobe said that earlier. Hey, 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 no, Lamar. no. I don't think, I don't think hey, it was Lamar. just one. I don't think when LeBron left any of his teams, it wasn't just his absence. It was other players leaving. Facts. Also. So, bro, so like when he left Miami, time, like the year, the, the year the he left Miami, right? Stop. Hey, y'all, I got, I got to fuck with Lamont, man. Hey, Lamont. It's, it sounds like Lamont that you real deal. You, you rolling with the LeBron camp, man. It sounds like you s- s- seem like you sell your soul, man. Arm. You, you never real. choose arm, size, arm, man. Arm, you arm, actually arm, chose arm, the size, bro. Lamont is in the middle. Yeah, Everything points to LeBron being better. Y'all are just emotional bitch. Hold on, her. All, all I said. Nah, I'm I, I fucking yeah, with LeBron. So so Here's the thing. I'm just arm, talking arm, shit arm, to LeBron. That's arm, all. Arm, you got to because at the end of the day, once you start talking, you're gonna have to make. All I'm saying was, I believe LeBron's a better has a better is a better player and has a better career. I mean, I have to pick a side. I'm just not gonna lie about it. I and that, not, and, that, and that ain't do right to your opinion, bro. No, but hey, when bro, you talk bro, about, bro, bro, the thing is, bro, Kobe, answer, bro. Kobe, it's not just, it's not just. It, I got, you gotta I got understand, to say you, say understand you gotta understand what a player had to go through. That's why I don't never take into consideration of what LeBron and Kobe, what a nigga had to go through to get to where he was. Listen, listen, bro, yo, 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 the fuck up. Yo, I know this nigga keep bumping in the background. I'm not talking to you. Girl, I'm not talking to the nigga. Let them niggas Yeah, but it's the nigga bumping in the background. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. Nah, SML. SML. Damn. SML. This is her. What's up, let them niggas get the fucking tape. Man, I ain't been on this shit in a minute. I'm disappointed in you, SML, because it's certain things that you should have brought up. Like, end of the day, like, fans. Man, I barely been talking. Um, yeah, you have been talking though, talking. but it's man, I man, been you been 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 really, 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 this is this is funny as hell because I'm seeing Kobe and LeBron fans going at it. This shit entertaining. Right, what's your I take love on this shit. What's your take on? <laughs> I love take this on? shit. Actually, now, much, in, in, in all actuality, in all actuality, this this is this is my real take on. It. I love I love Kobe Bean Brown, but I gotta be real. LeBron James career. He's going to go down better than Kobe. He already went down better than Kobe Bryant. As great as I think Kobe Bryant is, and if I had a particular choice, I would choose Kobe, but LeBron James is the better player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so he, he said like, he's the greater know, player. The title. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll take like that. I'll take like that. No, 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 Herb, Herb. I'll take like that. Now we, now we, now, okay, Herb, Herb. Now we talking about Herb. Hold on. Let him finish his take, my nigga. Calm down, bro. This my nigga, bro. Me and him, me and him talking about you, bro. Shut up. Get the fuck up. Herb. Shut by the, the title, up. by the Yo, title, it said who is better? Who, who is better? Shut who is the, the better up. player? Shut the fuck up. Man, LeBron is the better player, bro. Nah, he Damn. said he got him higher than Kobe. I know her, bro. He got Lamont, him higher Lamont, than him. Let him his Yo, Lamont, Lamont, let this man finish Herm, his Go ahead and finish, Herm, so I can go to him. No, 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 like the B100 answer, man. I prefer Kobe Brown, but I put everything in totality. LeBron James is higher than Kobe Bryant on, on the all time list. And in all actuality, it won't it's not even close in that in that aspect. Now, if I'm just comparing talent and I'm just comparing to my preference, yeah, I will probably put Kobe over LeBron. But if I'm putting the totality of everything in SFM, I can't be no damn fool and just with my biasness and with my likeness of Kobe Bryant, just say, hey. Better than LeBron. Is the day LeBron? 
Herb, Herb, I know Herb, Herb, I know Herb, Herb, listen, Herb, 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 listen, listen, I know, I know this already about you, bro. Listen, we ain't one of these niggas out here, bro. You to have my number, bro. I done heard this ten is hard from you, bro. I'm talking to you, listen, 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 Herb. No, no, listen, I'm trying to ask. Him, hold on, bro. You ain't letting me talk, homie. I'm gonna I'm I'm let you go, but, but I got two people that been sitting here waiting for a long time. Bro, how the fuck they just gonna talk yeah. on me when Strutty was bro, fucking talking? Up, nigga. They haven't said a bro, word. You gonna leave this weak ass shit, nigga? <laughs> right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right, hold My mom's gonna go back to Radio All Sports, nigga. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, her. Go ahead, SFM. Get it out your system, man. Nah, he talk. Nah, I'm t just asking him. I just all I wanted to ask him. Just as the individual player, you could, He's great on your list. Who's the better player? Just him right there. Who's the better player? He just said LeBron, bro. No, no. He I know her, bro. He has LeBron. Listen, bro. He yeah, he, he has LeBron. Ball. He has LeBron over him in his office. Bro, it's not listen, hard to remember. He, he said, said, listen, is he said if listen, I base it on my preferences Kobe and my biases, because I like He said, play, listen, listen, I'm listen. Go I'm my, LeBron, 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 let me finish, bro. Let let me finish. I'm asking him a whole different question. I'm asking about who's better, not who's greater. Who is just better as a player? And you said your preference would rather be Kobe Bryant. Okay, question, man, because he didn't hear you. The not all time. time great. Not on who's over you. Sure. Or you're you're not your top great. ten. We're not talking about your top ten. Your top five. We just right. talking about who's better. Right, he heard the question. Hearn, please. <laughs> God, bro. Jesus. So, so are you just talking about skill, S of M, or are you talking about are, are you just talking about who the better player? Period. Are you what, what's your preferences? What, 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 where are you trying to go with it, though? Because uh, if, if I'm going bro. off, of, if I'm bro, going Herm, off, Herm, 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 let me talk. No, Herm, 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 okay, Herm. Okay, all right, let me let, let me respond. Let me respond. Okay, let me respond. Let me. Uh, Herm, 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 this is what I'm saying. Herm, Herm, this, he just asked me a question. He just asked me a question. Stating that Kobe is better. Debate. It doesn't matter what the debate says. Okay, Herm. Okay, okay, bro. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Herm. Okay. I, bro, like we didn't really talk. We feel me. We already at our sports. We have been on this all day. I have constantly heard you say, "Yes, you have LeBron over over Kobe." I have constantly hear that. That's nothing new to me. But you just Kobe said, but you said just dog. as a player. Yeah, I know we. I already know we got Kobe right. I you just said as a player, who's the just a better player? Just player. Kobe Bryant, you feel me? I don't heard you say that you'd rather have him as I a mean, player. Years, Kobe, yeah, you're Kobe not, you're giving him LeBron. Years. You, you kept it honest. You always said LeBron was over, over Kobe, but you said exactly. no, because, because your title, because your title says the better player, not the greater player. You shall, yeah, it says the better. Can you player. answer this man's question the way he wants to hear it. Let the I mean, I already, I already, just like when y'all was talking about Scotty Pippen yesterday, and y'all was talking about Scotty better right, than this and this and this. Say what he wants to say, bro. I'm not saying what I want to say. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, I'm asking him the question. Just, just okay. This is a better man, player, bro. I'm gonna help you out, SML. If we did, like, if we didn't have, like, if we didn't have, let him answer the question. SML, I'm gonna help you out. What you should have, what you should have asked me, Herman. Who you think is the more skilled player between Kobe and LeBron? I would have told you Kobe Bryant. But now, if you talking about who's a better player and who's the greater player, I got to roll with LeBron James because everything, you got to put everything in totality. You just can't go off the preference. You just can't go off there. You just. Okay, who's better? Okay, Herm. 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 Okay, Herm. Herm. Okay, Herm. Okay, Herm. Okay, Herm. Herm. Ask your question. Who's better on defense? Bro, no, no, we're not doing that right now. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I know him. I know what he's going to say. I know him. This is not, this is my own. This is my nigga, dog. Like, I'm talking to him like I talk to him regular, nigga. I know what he's going to say. I done heard. We had this conversation 20 times. No, no, I just, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I done heard him say that Kobe is better than LeBron. You, you, you're random. Some of you niggas are new, new, like, no boot ass niggas, no, niggas. y'all don't know shit. Come on, just mute the nigga, bro. Question, bro. He I, did answer your question. He answered it as clear. Go on to the next. Go on to the next, bro. Can, right, can I address that? Hold on. Let me let me give a shout out to <sighs> Phenom. He just became a member of the channel. Salute, man. I got to give a shout out to him, man. He's, he been up on the screen. Salute for becoming a member of the channel. Now, Jer <laughs> all I know, Kobe Jordan, better on defense and offense. Hold on. Okay. Okay. But, but, can I address okay. that? Bro. No, hold on, hold on. We got to go to George Henderson, and then I got to get to Levi. They both been patiently waiting to get their take in. George Henderson, he, he, he. I mean, I think he has a 
a comment that somebody else said earlier, but I'm, I still got to let him get his take off. Absolute George, appreciate you pulling up, man. What you got on this? George, you with us? You was just talking a second ago. What I'm going by, I'm saying is, how can you go against actual players? Actual players say that Kobe is better. No, they didn't. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they say Kobe better. That sounds say LeBron better, but he's not lying. I mean, it's a lot of players that say That's Kobe all on YouTube. Hold on, That's all on YouTube. Hold on, hold on, hold on, SFL. He, he got a point. Go ahead and finish, Jerry. Sure. Sure. Shit like that. Go all down there. George, go ahead. Yeah, um, so I don't know if George is still going, but I feel like um, the article they just put up is a little bit misleading because there are less players that say LeBron is the GOAT compared to players. And that another thing that I'm Kobe trying to say is, is where well, they yeah. made the redeem team. Right. Hey, let him finish, bro. Hold on, hold on, bro. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish, bro. We'll just talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I just, yeah, can I just speak for a sec? Sorry. Um, the reason why I feel like the article they put up there is misleading because there's a lot more players that say Kobe is better than LeBron than there are players that say LeBron is the GOAT. Now, let's not forget that in the GOAT debate, what, what LeBron players? is actually... Uh, I can name, actually oh, I can name him? In case you want me to, I can... I'm not name asking you. I'm asking players. the guy that's talk. Now, if you want, I can bring up a list of players, but I don't have all the names off of my head. But, but the thing is, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because, first of all, LeBron, whether you like it or not, is a minority. You player. would pull up something that with right. all those LeBron... Wait, just, Put all those LeBron let, fans on there. Shut up. Just let me speak. Go just to the real me. player. Bro, you just gotta let, let him finish. Me. Just let me speak because I have a lot more points to make. But the point I'm making is that you will have a lot more players, right? Giving you Kobe <laughs> over LeBron than you will have players giving you LeBron over MJ. So I will say this. There's a lot more players that would say LeBron is the GOAT, but you would have a lot more players saying that Kobe is better than LeBron. It's not the same discussion. It's not the same argument. Not many people Do believe Do y'all remember that Kobe the Kobe stoppers? But many people believe, yes, but the thing is, there was no such thing as a Kobe stopper, really. For example, people would give, you know, Raja Bell in there, they put Bruce Bowen in there, but there was never really any Kobe stopping. Right. Let's not forget that. Yeah, stopped Kobe. Let's not forget that these Kobe stoppers stopped Kobe from dropping 62 and three quarters, 56 and three quarters, averaging 40 for a month, three times in his career. Nine Four times. Games, 81 Yo, points. Stop Four with the ad-libs, bro. Games, this ain't no fucking Migos six. album. God damn. Anyways, yeah, Shut just let me up. look. Don't make any points for me because I know what I'm talking about. All right. Now. With the Kobe stopper, the reason why I say there is really no such thing as a Kobe stopper is because one of those quote unquote Kobe stoppers was on Tim Duncan's team, Bruce Bowen, and he was on the defending champions Spurs team that won in 2007. When he met them the year after, while they were still defending champions, he gentlemen swept them when they swept LeBron. What happened to the Kobe stopping then? Now, the points I'm also going to make is that you see, the reason why I feel like voting as well. Now, people like to say, well, Kobe only has one MVP. The reason why that is such a skewed Of course, stat, Dr. J uh, would say that what me Kobe speak, did to Man, him. you need to help in this, bro. Speak, let me speak. The reason why I'm saying this is because does this make any sense to you? Kobe has nine all defensive first teams, but he has 12 all defensive selections in general. LeBron of course, has of course well, let me kid speak, would say that what he did to the Nets. Let me speak. Oh, man, something's God. wrong with him, dog. Let me speak, bro. <laughs> Anyways, right? LeBron has six first team all defenses, nine defensive selections in total. But tell me, does this make sense? How come Kobe only has nine years when he received at least one defensive player selection when LeBron has 10 years of receiving at least one defensive player of the year selection when he's only been no, on a defensive Ron, team I just nine say that in his interview. That means that he, he has one year, at least in his career, where he received a defensive player of the year selection when he wasn't even on a defensive team. That's the reason why I say that voting is a little bit old. Like, you can't use voting against Kobe when it comes to MVP voting. Because let's not forget that in 2008, ESPN released an article in 2008, and I quote, I, I have this on my phone. I can turn this, I can turn my camera on to show you myself if you really want me to. Please, don't bring up no JJ Reddick. <laughs> Who the hell is talking about JJ? Look, 
Quit bro, why are you keep calling out random? What's, what, is, what the fuck? Look, in 2008, ESPN released an article, and the title was Why Kobe Bryant Won't Win an MVP. And the reason that they gave for that is because Kobe was just simply too hated by media voters for him to win an MVP, and they prematurely congratulated Chris Paul on the MVP. An example of this is in the 04 to 05 season. You bring in some sorry people, bro. When Kobe didn't deserve the MVP award, obviously in 04 to 05, when he missed the playoffs, how come when he was averaging 27, 6, and 5, somebody called PJ Brown? got an MVP vote over Kobe in that season when he was a role player that's averaging 10 points, three rebounds, and three assists, right? And that goes to show you that whatever they wrote in that really? article in 2008 was correct. <laughs> also, I can keep going. Now, I know you guys like to say nobody was calling Kobe top five up until 2020 when he died, right? Nobody was saying he was top five. That is bogus. The reason why I say that is because ESPN themselves, no, sorry, Bleach Report released an article in 07, 08, giving their top 20 players of all time. They had Kobe at number nine even before he won his fourth championship. And he had Kobe at number five in 2011 after he won his next two. So to say that nobody believes Kobe was top five ever at any point in time is ridiculous, right? And to even make the argument that Kobe was never called the undisputed best player in the league in 08 and 09. All right, all right, Levi, 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 let me, Levi, Levi, it's a little uh, long-winded, but that's okay. I know it's um, fine. I have a million points, but yeah. No, no, hold on, hold on. First of all, I got I want to address a couple of them first. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, um, I don't believe anybody said nobody said it. I said there was the consensus. This was the, the, the consensus. first fifteen people. Oh, man. Oh, I don't believe you even had the um, nerve to put them up there. Sorry, consensus. Hold on, of what hold, on exactly. hold on, hold on, hold on. All I'm saying is what I said was I said the consensus based on a uh, Cal Berkeley study. Mm. The con- there was a consensus that Kobe was not top ten. I said there were some people who believed it, but it wasn't the mm. consensus. When? So, so oh, hold on. Hold on. I said this was prior to his death. I said the consensus that he w- it was that he prior to his death, the consensus was that he wasn't top 10. After his death, it suddenly there's been this miraculous flip. And now there's an overall consensus that he is top 10. This all no, flipped back. Wrong. So what I'm saying is, and this has all been researched. This is all because I've researched this myself. Hold on, so hold know. on, Levi. Again, you say you researched it, but I, I have, have a video, but I have a video documenting it. And I have can, articles. So hold on, Levi, because you yeah, said some things. Yeah. First of secondly, you said far more players say look, Kobe is better, but you didn't name one player. At the end of the day, I need to see, can you give me 40 names? Because I have 40 names here of people who say LeBron is not just better. These are 40 people. These are all players who say that LeBron James is the GOAT. Now, whether you consider these players credible or not, that's up to you. It seems like everybody has an excuse for every player that I show. But at the end of the day, these are former players who all say George, I mean, LeBron is not just better than Kobe. He's he's the GOAT. And so okay. and that's not even just calculating the players who just say LeBron is better than Kobe. So I want to know where did you what, what list did you go by that gives a consensus as to players saying that Kobe's better than LeBron? Where are you getting that information from? And if and if if you if you have it. If you put the link in the private chat, I'll put it on the screen and we can analyze that. Otherwise, it's probably null and void to say more players say it and you don't have any proof or data or names or videos to support that. You're just saying something that you know you can't prove and that you know most of us don't have time to go research. No, that's not what's going on here. Okay, so like I said, like I said, no, 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 Levi, Levi. Before we proceed, because you cannot throw in lies much amongst your argument. And then want us to just gloss over and skip over the lies. So before oh, we proceed, man, before we proceed on a mute you, I want you to go pull up that list of over 40 <laughs> players that say Kobe's better than LeBron. And then we need to address that because you can't well, lie amongst your players. Wow, you can't bro. lie. No, I need I need the proof. You can't like I I'm not just saying names, I'm showing you, and I'm showing you the tweets, and I'm showing you the video that is associated with the tweet. Until you do that. You can't throw lies in and try to mix it in with a few facts to bolster your argument and think it's going to slide over here. So address the lie first. Because just like Wild Wild West, because Wild Wild West said that Gary Payton said Kobe's better than LeBron, but I have a video here where 
Gary Payton saying LeBron is the GOAT. Can I address this defense thing? Because I'm sick no, of No, we'll address that later. I'm just addressing Levi's take. I mean, again, the, the take was just muddy with just things that are, I don't think are really relevant in the grand scheme of things because both players have down moments in their career. Both players have high moments in their career. At the end of the day, we have to judge them and we have to try to come up with who's the better player. I told, like, I feel like it's not close. I never understood why people have Kobe in the top five, but I, and what we see why this, this shift generally happened after he died. And I think it's because a lot of people spent time hating him and are overcompensating for it. Lamont, can what. I say my last thing before I roll out, man, this will be my last statement and I'll roll out, please. Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. Two things to address the overall conversation. One, bro, I'm going to just tell you the truth and keep it real. If the rape uh, allegations never came up on Kobe Bryant, the same energy that you see the media putting behind LeBron James, it would have been sustained from, from when, when he first uh, won his first title until he retired. But they quit. They were on that trajectory to make Kobe the face of the league, right? But because of the rape allegations, they were not going to do that because it was going to cost them money because viewership and all that was going to be affected by the political stances and everything that was going to come out behind it. They could not make Kobe Bryant the face of the league. So when Bron got into the league, he came into the league, the, the, what, either the first or second year in his, in his career it was when that incident took place. So they made the decision to put that energy, that engine behind LeBron James, bro. And what they great. had to do, what they had to do is they had to clean up the image of the league through LeBron they? because nobody was going to accept Kobe as the face of the league. Who is they? Who the fuck is they? <laughs> Why do y'all keep coming up with these fucking weird terms? Like, y'all keep saying they, like there's this mysterious fucking hidden, hidden villain behind the scenes saying, no, thank, you, got you, the thank you no, very bro, much. Y'all keep coming up. Hold on. Y'all got to stop with these fake shit. Like, they... The, the hidden, the uh, the the shadowy fucking media media conglomerate. You sound like like y'all call Kyrie crazy, right? For saying the shadowy Jews. Y'all call Kanye crazy for the using same the ones shadowy. Who blocked the trade, bro. So what I'm saying is, hold on, who's they? The, the, we know who blocked the trade. David Stern blocked the trade because he had to take over for the team. And you cannot sell the team if you trade the goddamn best player. That's business. Like I said, there's no they in that situation. What you mean? There was no they. David Stern blocked the trade. And he told you guys why. Y'all act like we dumb. It would have been a dumb trade to do at that time. They wouldn't have been able to sell the team without by trading in their best player. That's just business. Nobody was out to hot, get Kobe or the Lakers. It would have been a dumb business move for David Stern. It's There's no they. Why y'all keep saying they and this, this invisible force? Who is this? In, first of all, Kobe got in trouble. What you mean, sell the team? First what you of mean, all, sell the team? First of all, first of all, the NBA had to take over the team for a period of time. That is common knowledge. David Stern was running the team. They needed to sell the team. The only way you cannot sell the team would have been hard to sell if you trade the best player because you have nothing to sell tickets. That's why they held on to Chris Paul. That is that that is like everybody's saying all you have to do is do basic research on that. It's not hidden news. David Stern talks about it. He talked in depth about it. This is nothing that's hidden. Why do y'all keep like nobody was out to get the Lakers? You guys have shafted more teams in trades than any team in NBA history. And when you don't get one trade, y'all fucking sitting here crying to me talking about the NBA's after you. You literally shaft everybody. You shafted the Cleveland Cavaliers for the draft pick to get magic. Same thing for the draft pick to get worthy. Y'all did all types of finesse moves. You even gave had one of the biggest finesse jobs to get Powell Gasol. Yet you want to complain when one trade doesn't go your way. And now everybody's out to get the Lakers. The team with the most championships. Damn near the most championships and most finals appearances in NBA history. They out to get them. It sounds like y'all getting a lot of help. The Lakers are getting a ton of help. That's what it sounds like. Come on, y'all got to stop with these theys and thems. Kobe put himself in that situation. Right. Sometimes those off the court situations can knock your career. It is not our fault that Kobe put himself in that situation. And if that did put a stranglehold on his career to a certain degree, 
That's Kobe's fault. And I can't control that. If Kobe did something off the court that put a stranglehold on his career, y'all need to go discuss that with Kobe. That's not my fault. At the end of the day, we know the man has one MVP. You crying about it? That's not my problem. That's just what happened. LeBron passed him up in MVPs. LeBron passed him up in every statistical category. LeBron passed him up in averages, analytical numbers, percentages. Whose fault is that? That ain't my guy. Y'all be acting like it's my fault. God damn. This, we didn't do this shit. Way to go, Lamont. What are y'all talking about? And at the end of the day, y'all pushing the arguments. First of all, like I said, y'all exposed yourself in the conversation with Scottie Pippen because a bunch of y'all came in here trying to explain to me how how Pippen wasn't top 10 and couldn't use 6 and 0, but now y'all trying to come in here and act like I got to accept Kobe's three championships with a top 10 player ever in NBA history in exactly. Shaquille O'Neal, and y'all trying to trick me into believing he wasn't a number two, he was a 1B. When the man was averaging 22 points in the finals, 15 points in one of them, while Shaq was damn near averaging 40 and 15 in all of them. <laughs> How the fuck are y'all trying to get me to believe, man? Y'all be sounding dumb. I mean, this, I, 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 but Lamar, he did, he did, he did, he did, he did yeah. have one of those. Like damn near averaging 40. And, and, then, and then the thing is, LeBron James he can. Did have LeBron like James, that here's the crazy thing LeBron James can lose an NBA finals averaging over 30 points. The leading in every statistical category in both teams, he would lose just because he doesn't have the book, and y'all will still vilify him while Kobe can win a championship under the coattail of Shaq averaging 15 points, and y'all act like this man just saved him in the finals or some shit. Come on, man. Y'all gotta stop with these lying stuff, man. Bro, Kobe, out of all the superstars, is the worst finals performer of all time. Out of all the superstars. Thank you. That has been proven. There's this it's already been documented. But y'all don't want to accept it. These are the things that knock Kobe down. Two, 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 y'all talk about y'all talk about LeBron choking in 2011. Um, why don't y'all talk about Kobe choking in 0304? That was a choke job. They were heavily favored to win that choke job. Choke, same type of choke. When they, they got ran down three one, he choked. I don't care if they were a seven seed. They choked. He got swept three times in his career. That's choking. Just like y'all. What are y'all like? Come on, just accept the facts and just give real takes as to why you think. It, even if you do like Herm, Herm came in here and admitted, "That's my favorite player. I like his style. I'm more biased towards him." When y'all just gonna do that instead of trying to sell us these fake ass wolf tickets about Kobe's career? Like we ain't looked the shit up, <laughs> bro. Y'all gotta stop with this dumb shit, man. Kobe, we know Kobe was great, and y'all act like just because we say LeBron is better, we tearing down Kobe. Why you think I ran the tribute for Kobe to start this off? Because just paying respect, like I said, I don't have to lie for Kobe because I never tore the man down when he played. It's the people that run in here and try to convince us he was Jordan or he's number two all time. You were probably one of those people shitting on Kobe while he played. I almost guarantee it. I promise you. And now you're overcompensating, trying to convince us like the dude came in here and said, oh, the dude came in here and said, yeah. Uh, when 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 D Wade and Bosch played together, they was thirteen and fifteen. They would have made the playoffs. That was good. Man, come on, man, bro. Y'all say some stupid shit, man. Thirteen and fifteen, man. Like that, like the the the, the y'all reality just gets skewed off of just craziness, man. They super players, Lamont. They Lamont. super players. Remember, like, like like I said, we knew what Wade and Bosch were without LeBron. They were horrible. I don't really like. They got lucky. That Bosch got blood clots and had to retire, or he would have had to go through a whole season of looking crazy. Oh man! Oh man! Y'all just hate it, to see because y'all, I, I know y'all was wanting this. Y'all want to see Kyrie or one of these players win a championship without Bron so bad, man. So y'all say y'all want them. these dudes is looking like scrubs without LeBron, all of them. Facts. Come on, hey, Ky hey, Kyrie, hey, Kyrie, the last ball, thing right here, last thing right here, the, last, the main ball, thing y'all say. Y'all said LeBron needs all this super help to win. But yet when LeBron James did not have was whenever LeBron James is not playing with an all-star, he has a 65% win percentage. Kobe, when he's not playing with Shaquille O'Neal, LePaul Gasol has a 43% win percentage. That's a losing record. But you don't want to address that shit. You're scared to address that shit because y'all don't want to say he needs help. But when he wins without help, y'all just want to say he was in a weak East. But yet at the same time, he's dominating the West, dominating the West. All the same, while, while, and, and not only just dominating West, dominating Kobe at, while at it to the 16-6 and six record against him. 
Y'all ain't addressed that yet, though. <laughs> Look yeah, at I mean, the comments. Imagine faking a broke hand in a finals game and that's running. a narrative, bro. That's a narrative. That's crazy. That's a narrative. That's a narrative, bro. What you mean? Imagine faking a broke hand. That's a narrative. At the end of the day, LeBron can fake 30 injuries and he still had a better career than Kobe. Yo, Lamar, can I give a shout out real quick? Wow, man. Jesus. Yo, real talk, real talk. Shout out to Herm. Like Herm, I I like to consider Herm an agent of chaos, right? But, like, in the stream, he kept it real. And one of the guys earlier, before he started veering off in the cap, cap, cap mania, in the beginning, bro, like, objectively, like, you – LeBron is better, bro. And, it's, and, and like I said, no one who, who chose LeBron put down Kobe on his stream. Man. Not a single person. Matter of fact, during my opening, I said during my opening, I said both those guys are two of the best players of their generation. Yes, sir. I agree. Like, so I like shout out to Hearn for just keeping it real because it just certain this of course majority of things in sports is opinionated, but there's certain mm-hmm. things just just too absurdly factual that you just gotta deal with it. And who was the person that said what did Shaq do before Kobe? Fact. <laughs> That was what kind of stupid, retarded statement would that be? <laughs> God damn, the man went to the NBA Finals. He beat Michael Jordan. He beat a Michael Jordan-led Bulls to, to get to the Finals one of those times. Yeah, they lost. He was a young Shaq on a a really young Orlando team. It was, it was an accomplishment for him just to get that team to the Finals. But when we talk about Shaquille O'Neal being top 10 all time, nobody says he ran from the grind in Orlando Man. because he left Orlando to go with the greener pastures with Jerry West and the Lakers. No, y'all don't say that dumb narrative. Y'all don't say it. And what's, what's I, I don't get it. Y'all don't, y'all don't really care about these narratives that y'all push. Y'all only make them up or use them when it comes to LeBron because it just sounds flat. You can try to make it funny and flashy, but you don't hold other people to the same criteria. Hey, Lamar, here the fuck, here the crazy part. I actually believe Shaq should be outside the top 10 before Kobe Bryant, bro. What? I mean, you can you can have it all you want. At the end of the day, we knew who Shaq was when he played. He was the most dominant force in NBA history that we had ever seen as a, as a force. We, when when people like Ticket TV try to lie and say Todd McCullough was guarding him 1v1 in the finals, we know that the Nets was sending all five guys down there to try to stop that man. They was not sending the five guys, much less a double team at Kobe. Exactly. They was trying to stop Shaq, the man who was averaging 35 and 15. That's who they was trying to shut. That's who they focused on. They don't need to send a double team at Kobe, a guy that's inefficient in the finals. They don't need to. Imagine if prime Shaq and prime LeBron played on the same team. Could you imagine? Man, people would just be saying crazy. Like, here's the difference with what I you just don't said know about that. Like, a prime dude. LeBron cool. would have no problem passing the fucking ball to Shaq. Like, what? what? Bro, <laughs> like, no, bro. It's, it, wasn't even, it wasn't even that Kobe played with Shaq. Because just Kobe and Shaq alone was not good enough. It was the addition of the greatest coach of all time that pushed him over the edge. Yeah, that's facts. And by him being able to check those egos and get them guys to figure out how to play in some type of system – where they could balance the offensive load, that was going to be the biggest struggle. And it took the greatest coach in NBA history to do that. Like I said, Brian has never played with a coach of that magnitude. And the fact that he can walk away from his career with with average to below average coaches and still have four championships, and he's done it with three different teams, that tells you when he he's he is the winning. The winning follows him. He leaves, when he leaves those teams, they significantly decline. They decline because he's the guy that's <laughs> impactful in all the wins. He's these comments um, really thrown out. Kobe. Oh, and then the crazy thing is, is by him winning on multiple teams, that's not a negative. That goes to his versatility. You could put him in any situation under any coaching, under different West Coast, East Coast, and he's still finding a way to win a championship. Yeah, Can we say the same I mean, if Kobe would have got traded to the Bulls in the he, East? These dudes really in the comments trying to put Kobe's Oscar on the fucking awards list. It's okay, stop. stop, stop. That, that's stupid. I mean, I don't oh, get what they're talking about. Man. I don't get. I honestly don't get where y'all going with it because none of y'all really use real basketball takes. Y'all just keep going with narratives that I promise you I can find on clutch points. All all the Kobe fans went with narratives. None. Yeah, and the only one that actually came with a real take was Hearn. 
Everybody else just came with narrative, 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 no real basketball. Get Bayless and then narratives all the your narratives, of most of them are lies. And when you got people saying more people say more basketball players say Kobe, Kobe's better, but you can't name goddamn one. I got a list of 37. <laughs> Why didn't you video. mention any other point that I made? Levi, just name one. All Levi, other, did you find I any list? Just I mean, Levi. he could name, he could name no, Kevin Durant. Levi is stricken, uh, Levi is stricken Durant, from though. the panel until he comes up with this imaginary <laughs> list of NBA players that he said he has. He says, are more NBA players say I got 30 said he's going to have to come up with at least 40 to beat out this list. And he ain't came up with no list, nothing credible. He ain't came up with nothing. Hold on. Ron Artest is on this list saying that Brian is the GOAT. He's on this list on video. Do you want to see it? So so he's teammates. So don't lie and put like the guy earlier, put Gary Payton in there. He lied. Because Gary Payton's on this list saying Brian is the GOAT. So he lied again. So now, uh, what about about Chris Y'all Bosch, just be throwing man. names out there. Y'all be throwing names. <laughs> and then when that player ends up on my list, then nah, you I, I mean, they said that shit. Her, her. The one, though. The the I'm on Levi, Levi. I'm on Levi. I'm going to let you back in. The Levi. Yeah, what you about to say? I Stone? need that source where you got over 40 names of people saying Kobe's better than LeBron. I never That's all I'm asking, Levi. The thing is, her, the how how this started. 40 names. You did. Uh, and I just, okay. wait, wait, Bro, wait, wait, but hold wait, on. You have to come up with 40 names, yeah. Levi, because you just said more athletes say, more athletes say Kobe is better than LeBron. I got 37 that say Brian is the GOAT. You got to come up with at least 40 to make your statement right. Otherwise, you just have to admit, I lie, y'all. I, <laughs> so, I, I, I ain't going to lie, Lamont. Can I make a point? Lamont, I, no, I could, I I could if I really point? wanted to. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no I'm asking Lee. I'm not, I'm not even I putting that pressure point? on you, SFM, because Levi is the one point? that put put it out there no. with actually Can no factual basis behind it. Can expecting, I make my point? Expect, like, Levi, you don't come over to FYF much, and I know when you go to other channels, they let you lie and slide. I actually don't. I want you to. I want you to begin talking when you have a link, bro. You got to come with facts over here. This is called research purposes only. I'm asking you to go do your research right now and tell me where you found 40 players who said Kobe's better than LeBron. And you you came, you opened your mouth and said it as a part of a very long soliloquy. I'm asking you to show me where you got it from. Just show me. Otherwise, you need to be saying, I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. it it'll be for 2021, though, Lamar. You, heard, it, heard, you, you didn't say heard, 40. Oh, you said there was yeah. more. But so, we so, have 37. No, so, so here's the thing, her like. So is am I not? Hey, they forgot. Hey, they hey, hey Lamont, can I say this real quick, Lamont? I know it's your favorite. I, I know your favorite player. Hold on, bro. Y'all been talking, bro. Nigga ain't saying nothing. Just allowed to speak. Real quick, just real quick, bro. It's gonna be thirty seconds. Lamont, I know your favorite player. I think you just said your favorite player was Grant Hill. Yeah, Grant Hill. Grant Hill. Grant Hill said to him, "It was Brandon Roy. Oh, Brandon Roy, bro. Real with Grant Hill." Grant Hill said to him himself, he said that Kobe was is the greatest of all time to Man, him. I don't I don't deny that there were players that say Kobe's better than LeBron, but you need to come up with 40 of them. And I need can to I see where it comes from. But but well, how can you make a point when you I can't? I want to hear what the hell Stanley was saying, man. Just, I'm trying just, to hear how can you make a point say, when you just, already lied, bro? Just let me make my point, okay? All right, man. Go ahead, man. Here's all I know is this, right? I will never lie on my life for any other man. Here's all just I know, did. right? Bro, you just, so just let me make my point before you interrupt, right? Here's the point I'm making. Now, the players that I've heard say that Kobe is better than LeBron on the all-time list. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because it's all due to exposure. I'm not, I haven't been exposed to all the players that have said LeBron is better than Kobe or LeBron is better than MJ. I haven't gotten the necessary exposure. So if more people have gone the other way, that's fine with me. I haven't heard them myself. So I haven't been given that exposure. That's not me lying. That's just me going off of what I have heard. That's going off of what you've heard bro, alone. Levi, it took lie. me five seconds to find this list. <laughs> Bro, you acting like it took intensive scholarly research to find that this shit. That didn't bro. take intensive scholarly research. It took me fucking five research. seconds to find saying, this list. What are you talking bro, about? Stop I it, literally man. just you said acting like this is not, not, you know, not This is not a college thesis, bro. Look, it took me five seconds to, to figure out 37 points. players that said it. And you said you're trying to get me to believe. You're trying to get me to believe that you couldn't find this. In the technology age, 
where you can where you sound you said you've been doing a lot of research you said that to start yeah i've, I've been, been doing, doing i got all the research, research in my phone you said that, that. I ain't gonna lie, that. Levi. You could have used the knuckleheads. You could have used. Look, I don't care about knuckleheads and all that stuff. All my points are being made. I'm talking about so Darius, all, man. I don't care. He ain't got nothing, man. He ain't got nothing. Let him, let him, hold on, Lamont. Let him have. Let him give him a moment. All right, my bad, Levi. We gotta let, we gotta let Levi, we gotta let Levi explain this on the big screen. All the points that I've made, right? Before that point that you mentioned that that you kicked me out of the stream because of that for news. every p other point that i made had to do with basketball and had to do with media voting and had to do with articles that i've researched uh, i've researched all these things on myself when it comes to players and their opinions i don't really research that stuff because i don't really care about player opinions whatever i mentioned there i must admit what's objective because i've only been exposed to, to really the players that said kobe is better than lebron i have been exposed to people saying lebron is better than kobe but just not enough is that my fault you could say so but then again it's just a problem. however everything else that i mentioned was all due to media articles from both ESPN, Leech Report, and IGN. Come on. Right? If, 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 if you want to yeah. talk basketball, I'm here, right? That stuff, all the other stuff is subjective. If you want to talk basketball, I'm here. What? That's okay. Okay, bro, bro, bro. You on the stream. Let's talk basketball. Give your argument. Okay, give your Nothing argument. subjective. Okay, can okay. I give my argument? Yeah, all, all the, okay, thank you. Thank you. Now you can let me speak. So now, when it comes to scoring, I feel like it's not even relatively close at all. I think the gap is so wide. I don't even think there's even a point of discussing scoring. The reason why I mentioned that is Kobe at his peak, you could even argue is the greatest scorer ever. Now, mind you, personally do believe that Michael Jordan is the greatest ever because he has to say that for three however, years however, however 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 when Kobe averaged 35.4 points per game in the 06 season right he averaged 36.5 percent of the league average the league averaged 97 points per game now I like to compare the three greatest scoring seasons since Will Chamberlain scored 50 which is James Harden when he averaged 36 uh, Michael Jordan when he averaged 37 and Kobe when he averaged 35.4 now Kobe, as I mentioned, averaged 36 and a half percent of the league average. People were saying James Harden was a better scorer, even though he aver he only averaged 32 percent in 2019, and the league averaged 111.2. When Jordan averaged 37, the league averaged 109.9. That's 33 percent, 33.6. Sorry, 33.6 percent of the league average. So if you get 36 and a half percent of whatever the league was averaging in 2019 and so forth, you get 40. 0.1 points per game in 1987 you get 39.6 per so you get 39.6 points per game so even in michael jordan's prime adjusted to league pace even if he averaged 37 kobe would have still been the league's points per game champion by two and a half points that's my okay. first argument right yeah, no, hold on. Well, let's, stick, well, let's stick with scoring because i like that because you said scoring wasn't close right but the first thing i started with yeah was scoring because the scoring aspect of it is what surprises people the most, right? Yeah. So when we talk about it, LeBron, when we just go to averages, LeBron already beats out Kobe in all major statistical categories. Points, rebounds, <laughs> assists, steals, blocks. Now, now, how can we put that into context? Well, LeBron's points per game, um, the advantage, according to analytics, this advantage is even more so magnified because his true shooting percentage is 58.4, while Kobe's is 55. So LeBron is scoring more at a more efficient rate. And, be, and why do we use true shooting? Because we see that that metric includes twos and threes, as well as free throw percentages. And so, again, the problem with this is you can say you liked Kobe's score more, or you may do what you did. You can go to Kobe's peak scoring season and try to compare that to everything LeBron James did. Either okay. way, yeah. if I you know, and, if, hold on, we're, we're not talking about who had the best season. We're talking about who yeah. was the best scorer throughout their career. And when you look at the numbers, when you go to efficiency from all levels of the floor, at the rim, yeah. mid-range to three-point line, LeBron beats him out. And it's not even close. No, he do. He no, he don't. He shoot okay. out. He shoot thirty five percent outside the paint. Let him finish. Hey. Let all let I'm saying let is, let is let when you put it in the context. See, here, here's the problem. 
with so like, so some people are gonna say because you're gonna have some people try to make the argument that hmm. you know these metrics are um are biased and you know what analytics hmm. can be biased but here's the problem why does every single analytical measure from offensive win shares all of this why do all these analytics point to LeBron being a better offensive player and score and you guys are trying to tell me otherwise but yet every metric from from to- total running numbers to averages to analytics everything points to LeBron but yet I'm supposed to take y'all word for it cuz y'all like Le- Kobe a little bit more so what okay, seems I more like credible no, nothing that's, how, that's how I feel with no, NBA SFM, players like Kobe SFM, not, yeah, not, your not your conversation is not your conversation SFM what I'm saying is, why, why do you want to get, why are you trying to get us to believe that Kobe's a better score when there's actually no analytical measure, no statistical measure, nothing that supports that other than one peak season that you just tried to measure or, or, or just for pace in different eras? Okay. Right. So I've listened to your point. Okay. So I know you're talking about analytics and you're talking about, okay, well, and maybe. You fucked up, Levi. Up and- no, 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 no. I actually haven't, actually, because let's look at longevity, right? So you're going to talk about his story ah, over up, the course of his career. Let me speak. Now, you know you're talking about Kobe and his longevity over the course of his career. Oh, Co- LeBron was a better scorer. Okay. So how about this, right? Let's look at all the players, the greatest players in NBA history, the greatest scorers in NBA history over a 10 10- Right, ten years is a very big sample size, right? I'm gonna have to argue the greatest scores in NBA's history over a ten-year scoring span. We're not arguing ten years spans. We're arguing career versus career. Yeah, career versus career. Ten years is not ten years span. They both play in twenty years, bro. Yeah, 10 years old. I'm the peak of LeBron's career. I understand being a little bit of 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 based on the totality of everything that we've seen. I didn't come in here and say, hey, y'all, out of their top 10 peak years, who's the better player? That's not what I – that's a that's a completely different conversation, right? Because some people try to do that with LeBron versus Jordan, and they try to go with LeBron's peak 10 years, with Jordan's peak 10 years, or some, things like that. We're not talking about peak 10 years. We're not talking about peak season. We're talking about in totality, bro. You've given me one season that you tried to adjust for pace. Right, but yeah, I didn't give you one Wait. season. I was giving you a whole decade just there. And no, 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 Levi, I'm sick and tired of Levi, this. you no, started just soliloquy, soliloquy by saying what more soliloquy? players today. You started it by saying you started your, like yeah, your, your yeah. opening statement. The only Levi, point Levi, 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 your opening statement is what I remember most. You started it off by saying there's more players that say Kobe's better than LeBron, but I'll move on. That's how you You're open up, mentioning bro. one point oh, that I Levi. mentioned. And wait, just, wait, Levi, just, Levi, Levi. Just disregard oh, God, everything bro. else, and he mentioned. Bro, I got to discredit everything else if you start with a lie. Hold on, Lamont, Lamont, Lamont. How did I, Please. how is that a lie when I said that? that bro, was then you tried to cover up the lie and say, exposure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't research that stuff. Like, it, bro, you bro, bro, hold on, Lamont, Lamont, Lamont please hold on. Bro, hold on, you've never been Lamont, exposed Lamont. to anything right. in your life before, have you? No, all right, Levi, 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 I no, agree man, with you. Uh, no, 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 listen, no, no, listen no, no. to me. Listen, I have real not quick. Been able to make real a quick, real quick on the show. Y'all okay. keep just oh, no, no, no Levi. Listen to me, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> no, listen, it's listen. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Just no, 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 no. I need so to make this point. Fight themselves. Yeah. Look, look. I need to make this point, right? I need because it's ridiculous to say that. 10 years is a small sample size when most that. people's primes. Well, you said it's a small sample size. It's on what? record. 
You I said one year. Yes, size. you did. I was giving you 10 years, and you said, I keep using small sample sizes. 10 years. We're for not the talking most about 10 years. Is, we're talking about entire yeah, careers. Ta that is a big bulk of people's careers, but we can use 20 <laughs> years if you want. Wait, we can use yo, 20 years. Lamont, oh, so, you, so you already have the 20 year numbers on hand? Years. We can use yo, the Lamont, two and a half to three Lamont, years. Let me respond, bro. It's funny how he let has the 20 year numbers, but he didn't use them. He just let me just numbers. speak, man. <laughs> All right, man. Damn. I feel like you're making this up on the floor. Y'all just keep interrupting. <laughs> and I'm not making anything up. Like, it's ridiculous. All right, All right. sorry, sorry. I'm crying. Lamont. How do you expect to win a debate if you just I'm not trying to debate you, bro. Every single time. That's not how you win an argument, just by accusing I'm not trying to win. Hold on, okay, Lamont, Lamont. So stop Levi. accusing me and let me talk. Levi, Levi, <laughs> Levi, Levi. Oh, you know when I clip this up, you're going to sound crazy, oh, bro. You're gonna, all this stuff you say I'm lying about, when I clip it up, you're going to hear yourself. You're going to hear yourself saying, it's not even close. More players say Kobe's better than LeBron, and it's not close. You're going to hear yourself say I that. didn't say that. Hold on, Lamont, Lamont, bro. Can I didn't say that. I said, I didn't say that. I said it's not close question. when it comes to scoring. Right, hold on, Let, hold on. my bad, Levi. Levi, Levi um, let's 30 ask this question. Why are you, you mumbling my continue. words to make you sound smart? Oh, my bad, my bad, bro. Hold on. Let, let's 30 ask one quick question for you, and then you can continue. Right. Hold on. So I'm gonna Levi, ask you bro. the same question. No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not, bro. Yeah, listen, listen, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, okay, listen. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Let's... Relax, relax. It's okay. Listen. <laughs> I agree <laughs> with you. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I agree with you. When evaluating a player's scoring, right? It's better to do it in a sample size that's more accurate to his to his prime. Yes. I agree with you because career-wise. A guy like Shaq, I believe his career averages around like 23 points per game. But we all know a prime Shaq is not averaging 23 points. I agree. So what I did for you, what I did for you, and I said this in the beginning <laughs> of the video, which you clearly wasn't here. Kobe's prime from 2000 to 20 to 2013, right? During that time, he averaged 27. During that time, during that time, he averaged 27.8 points. On 21.4 field goal attempts, and like Lamont mentioned it before, he had a 48% um, effective field goal percentage, which is league average, right? Mm. That is league average. When you go to LeBron with, with a larger sample size, so more seasons because his prime is longer, mm. which is from 04 to, 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 to um, season 2020, that's 16 seasons, LeBron mm. is averaging 27.5 on – 19.6 field goals attempts mm. on 55 percent effective field goal, which is five percent, yeah, which is five percent more than league average. <laughs> so listen, okay. listen, listen. Yeah, you are hold on. You are hold on, bro, bro, bro. I'm listening. I agree I'm listening. with you. Just that is their prime production and compared relative to their era. Okay. Even under that oh. circumstances, bro. Even under those circumstances, LeBron produces more. And it's so more efficient. In addition to that, I noticed. Hold on, hold on. In addition to that, I noticed. I noticed. Don't you soliloquy? Your initial soliloquy, right? You mentioned career highs, mostly for the regular season. Why didn't you mention career highs in the playoffs? Where we all know you're going to get better competition, better defenses, and most importantly, teams get more time. There ain't no back to backs. Every team get a, a day and a half to game plan specifically to stop you. Yeah, Even in that scenario, LeBron yeah, has average more, not just for a career, for prime as well. Have higher career, have a higher career high. Kobe has 31, LeBron's 35. Mm -hmm. And even a singular game, LeBron has a higher career high in playoffs as well. Yeah. So why okay. is that? My well, question no, to you, you, my question to you, my question to you is about to you about to get back. My question to you, why didn't you take into account? Uh, a sample size like the playoffs, which we all know is important, in which players make their name. Okay, so I actually think you made some really good points there. So since you're not interrupting me, I actually appreciate that as well. <laughs> um, so I think you made good points. Now, the thing I want to mention is now, um, during Kobe's playoff runs from 2000 to 20, 
12 because he didn't make the playoffs in 20 he made the playoffs in 2013 but he didn't play in those playoffs now the thing i want to mention is now kobe faced more top 10 defenses all time um in those in those spans from 2000 to 2012 he faced more top 10 defenses in the western conference than lebron james did at that time so that would be one of the reasons why kobe has a smaller per, uh, points per game um, total than LeBron. So I feel like that's one of the things they have to factor in. And you also need to factor in that these defenses that he was playing were all 51 team defenses. Like, let's not forget that in 2008, um, every team that Kobe faced in 2008 from um, the first round all the way down to the finals, they all had 50 wins. And that is an NBA record, right? And from 2008 to 2010, I'll buy one team, every team in that span had a top 10 defense. So that would be one of the reasons why Kobe had a smaller uh, points per game total than LeBron James, because he was facing better defenses. So that would be the reason why I'm mentioning that. Now, also when it comes to scoring, um, even though uh, somebody might say that 10 years is too small of a span, it's like, okay, I can drag it out to 20 years if you want. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I feel like LeBron is a greater player when it he's a greater scorer when it comes to longevity now i feel like longevity and prime is a little bit skewed because i can easily use a 10-year argument and say when it comes to the greatest scores in nba history over a 10-year span lebron falls out of the top 10 completely and kobe is still there but when it comes to all-time stats in 20 years lebron is going to be first all time so how does lebron fall from outside of the top 10 in his prime to number one when it comes to longevity Longevity. That's the reason why I say that peak using um, longevity stats can be skewed when it talks about scoring, right? And let's also talk about his field goal percentage. Now, mind you, in Kobe's prime, not one year from 2000 to 2013. Um, did he shoot below the field goal percentage, the, the average field goal percentage in the league? His true shooting was always above a uh, league average. His field goal percentage was all above league average, and also especially above the league average for shooting guards at the time as well. Now, also, LeBron inside more so obviously lebron's field goal percentage is going to be higher if he's playing on the inside more now i know guys like to mention what about michael jordan let's not forget that before michael jordan really had his patent mid-range game he already had a mid-range game talking about jordan? coming into the game talking about jordan? just let me make my points now right, the well, thing is well, let me know so, when you're gonna wrap this up because you on another tangent bro yeah, you already didn't lie every, and i didn't caught you in another point. lie i'm just waiting yeah, for you to finish what what lie did i make first uh, uh, uh I not just finished because now okay. now you can caught up in a second lie that you're gonna have to no work i have not lied about bro, anything i told you you can't get nothing past me but go ahead no bro. i haven't lied about anything actually you did Over the course of 2000 to 2013 he didn't shoot below the league average when it comes to field goal percentage. Because let's not forget that in the 03 04 season, if I believe, it's either the 03 04 or 04 or 05. I can't remember which, but the league averaged 38% from the field, and Kobe was shooting above that. Right? So, you are right. the, yeah, but that is something that is true. And the reason why I'm mentioning Michael Jordan is that people also compare him to Michael Jordan when it comes to efficiency. Well, how can, how can Kobe get a pass? And he's, shooting that, he's shooting 46% from the field in his prime when Michael Jordan is averaging about 50. Let's not forget that Michael Jordan had his patented mid-range game oh, in God, the later years of his career, middle to later years of his career, right? He was mainly a slasher that was playing above the basket. So obviously he's going to be more efficient than Kobe. Same thing with LeBron. LeBron out of these, sorry, Kobe out of these three played the furthest away from the basket. So that did take a toll on the field goal percentage. And also, for example, in the finals, now from the two, right? All right, Let's hold on, Levi. If, I got to stop you there, bro. Just because, just so we just, just one more point. Hold on, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Not just okay, so, just fine. so people. That's fine. That's fine. Hold on, I'm gonna let you that's continue, fine. Levi. I'm that's going fine. to let you no, that's continue. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. But we're gonna segment your that's stuff. Yeah. We're gonna segment your stuff because okay. I like the point that you brought up when you talked okay. about Kobe playing more top ten defenses, and that is true, right? But in that same time frame, right? If we in that same time frame that you were discussing. Who played the second most top 10 defenses? Um, I don't know. LeBron James. Okay. And so, <laughs> also, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Levi. Hold on, that's Levi. Okay, hold on, Levi. And we're going to finish. And game, now, now, with the fact that we know both of them play top 10 defenses, because you're trying, you talked about Kobe playing top defenses as if LeBron didn't, but he did. 
Okay, now let's look at their stat lines versus top 10 defenses. If we sure. go – and this is in the playoffs. Stat lines. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James over a 16-year period versus top 10 defenses in the playoffs. 29.2 mm-hmm. points per game, 8.4 rebounds, 8.9 assists. <laughs> That's versus. Now, since you're the Kobe fan, I want you – I'm going to allow you to do the honors – I want you to tell me Kobe's stat line versus top 10 defenses since you already have this stuff researched. And I, I have it. I, I have it. I, I, I can tell it. you it right now. No, I, I, no, SFM. No, I want him to tell me because I have it in front of me right now, but I want you to do the honors and be honest with everybody because we know LeBron's played top 10 defenses v- v- close to the well, same amount Kobe as Kobe. Played more, so you said Kobe okay. played more. But hold on. By how many you games? You played more. You, you hold played. on. How many? How many? By I'm how many more you. games? You're the one that Kobe, played more. Kobe. Okay. If we go off, if if we go off a ten year window, even if we narrow it down to ten years over a mm-hmm. ten year period where they were both playing in the league, how many? It's a it's a difference between how many games? I it's a difference of six games. I, it's a difference of six games. That's like two teams. So <laughs> what we're saying is. So what we're saying is, so now I want you to tell me Kobe's stat line versus top 10 defenses now that you know LeBron's. In the playoffs. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't know it off my head. I wouldn't know it off my head. Okay. I thought you had it on here because you before, brought it up. No, you I brought think, it up yeah, as if yeah, it was I a significant that. outlier. But dude, mean, it who, is a it's very odd because yeah, the thing is, if you actually yeah. research that, you actually see his points per game against those teams. So it's very odd that you would look that up, mm. but somehow look over what the stat yeah. line was. Well, you don't think well, matchups matter. Why did you, did you log on O3 O4? Matter? You don't think matchups matter. I didn't no, say I didn't say matchups didn't matter. I said it was I either O3 or 4 You said you didn't talk about matchups. It was neither. Specifically. I couldn't it was neither. Specifically. Neither one of those seasons, the league average was 34%. That shit, that's no, 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 no. I never said 34. I said 38. 38, you, 38. He's not even 38. <laughs> not again. Y'all, this is a liar. No, I, 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 I sturdy, Bro, sturdy. No, no, you this can't, hold on, but, 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 but hold on. But you can't, oh, Levi, you can't, you can't lie more. to somebody that has synergy. Oh, man. No, 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 but Lamont, Lamont and uh, Sturdy, I, I, I think a lot of Cobra fans got to Gotta realize that you're not gonna win the numbers game. Kobe fans barely talk, bro. Burn, chill out, bro. We barely talk, bro. That Africa was talking. We barely talk. On my mama, I barely talk this whole pep. Yeah, I got the numbers wrong. If I'm if, if I'm a Kobe fan, if I'm a Kobe sorry, fan, sorry, forty three point nine. Talk to him on that. I, you know, I know what I know, bro. Talk to them niggas, bro. It's forty three point nine. It's forty three point nine. You can't argue with me about Kobe, bro. You can't tell me nothing about Kobe, bro. Just take nobody. At least compared to other people, I can at least admit if I'm wrong about a take. I thought it was thirty eight percent, but I was wrong. It was forty three point nine. I got the numbers mixed in my head, but yeah, it was forty three point nine. Yeah, still averaged above the league average. So. That's no, the point I was trying to make. And that's what and, and Levi. Yeah. This is what that's you the missed. Point I was trying again. To make. Le, Levi, this is what you missed again, bro. It's just a comparison between LeBron and Kobe. I agree with you during Le, during Kobe's prime, which is 13 seasons, which is a better sample size because that's his prime. He maintained league average in both the regular season and the postseason, and even gets yeah. top 10 defenses. But mm-hmm. we're trying to tell you also, in comparison to LeBron, relative to his era as well. He's Kobe Prime was higher. from where? Kobe Prime was from where? Way higher. He's way, high. He's way higher. How long was 30? What did you say that Kobe Prime was? Way more efficient. He's way more efficient. What did you say that Kobe Prime was? What did he say Kobe Prime? Stop shouting. Let him talk. No, control oh control your period, bro. Relax. I might have repeated. Let him talk, man. Jeez. He's way more efficient compared to the league. And specifically, specifically, LeBron is about... Nine points above league average throughout his prime, and eight points, and eight points on the playoffs. And against top ten defenses, against top ten defenses, he's five points above league average, even against top ten defenses. Okay, so can I? So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So, okay, I let you finish it. Yeah. Okay, bro, can I respond back to him real quick, bro, bro from Africa? What did you put Kobe Prime? What is Kobe prime to you? Let him answer this. 2000 to 2013. Yeah, that's his prime. That's his prime. His prime. 2001 to 2013. 
Yes. No, 2013. I don't know why y'all are speaking that way. 2013. I don't know why y'all are taking 2013. Why y'all taking the year 2000 away? Listen, listen, listen. When Kobe came into his own, it was the year the regular season. He averaged 28 points. One more point from Shaq. They averaged 29. He well, went into that. Listen, he went into the playoffs and averaged 29. One more point from Shaq, which averaged 30. That's like a big seven point differential from what he had averaged what in a, in two in 2000 in, the, in 2000 playoffs. Kobe Bryant prom started when he was the age of 22 in 2001. It did not start in 2000, my nigga. 2000 so to 2000, 2000, so 2000 to 2013. Thank you for about. confirming that yeah, again. So from 2000 yeah. to 2013, yeah, yeah. 2001, 2001. Just, you, just, uh, hair, hair you just you just confirmed it. Thank you. You just Thank made his point. So from 2000, to, so from 2000 to 2013. Thank you. Nah, I'm sturdy. From Can I just mention one dude, point from 2001 to 2013. His prom did not start in 2000. Dude, 2000, 2001. Thank you. Did not start in 2000. 2000, 2001. Hey, hey, can, can, I say, can I say this, y'all? <laughs> I, I just want to make a quick <laughs> I'm hey, y'all, can I say this, this y'all? Like, just quickly, just quickly, just quickly. I just want to say Damn, one thing. Damn, man, I want to say I'm something. So sorry, man. sorry. Just one quickly. Just one, one minute. Jeez. So I just want to quickly preface this by saying, look, the reason why I'm debating is because I still feel like LeBron is a greater player than Kobe. I'm no, not, no, I'm no. not talking about great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry bro. You said the wrong thing. word. Just you said the wrong word, bro. Hold on. Just let do it. Wait, just say home, home, bro, 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 bro. bro. I got to no, say, no, bro. No, I got to no, say, no, no, say, bro. Listen, no, 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 let me finish. No, no. He said the wrong word. It ain't about feelings, bro. It's not about feelings, bro. Let me finish. Let him finish. Just let him finish. Let me finish. He's been on it long. All I'm saying is LeBron is – he had a greater career than Kobe. I think he's greater. I have LeBron all time higher than Kobe because I think he accomplished more, more MVPs. Um, even though the championships are pretty similar as well, but for the most part, LeBron had a bit better career. The only thing that I'm arguing here is that Kobe was a better individual player. I'm not talking about greatness because if you're talking about greatness, yeah, that's what the I title think LeBron. Is. No, it's not. It's who is better, the Mamba or the King? No, the title. I said yeah. that's what the title. He's asking okay, just yeah. who's the better if you're player. In the I'm business. just. I'm just ma making this known that I do feel like LeBron is a greater player, but when it comes to the players side by side, I do feel like Kobe is the better overall player. That's all. That's all. And that's I just how, tell and people. That's I just Herm, tell people. And that's the same thing Herm look, has said about and, ten and different I don't. Times. Look, look, I don't yeah. mind. I, I don't. I, but look, y'all. I don't mind if you're one of those people that say Kobe's a better player, but it's. It, I think Herm worded it best. It would be wise to say Kobe is the more skilled player, because if you just say if if you just say better player and people get to looking he's at the numbers, he's more skilled on both sides of hold the on, Hold on, hold on, hold on. But SFM, I agree that Kobe Let is him more talk. skilled. That's that that was that, that's why I said Herm said that's what y'all argue machine. And argument so what happens is when y'all start to say better Herm, individual player, up. when y'all say better individual player, and you don't identify skilled because to be more skilled to somebody you don't have to beat them out in numbers you're just more skilled and so when you say better player and we're looking at the numbers but no offensive numbers from wind chairs any analytics any averages any running numbers support that that you're going you're going to be fighting a losing battle herm said it best because i can't fight skilled nobody in their right mind with a basketball brain is going to say lebron is a more uh, especially offensively skilled player. Now, when you get to playmaking and all that stuff, that's going to be different. But if you're just talking about scoring the ball, the offensive side of the ball, Kobe's more skilled. But when you're talking about getting it done with efficiency, I don't know. LeBron's going to edge him out. Let's show 35% outside for your career. It's no, not but, efficient. But, but hold on. <laughs> you only shoot 35% outside the paint. That's SFM. not efficient. When you go to true shooting percentages, as bad as LeBron was out there, Shaq's field goal percentage is higher than Kobe's. No, in true I'm shooting. Not talking what to what the me. fuck does that mean? When you talk about, I said true shooting percentage. Yes, yeah, Shaq's is higher than Hold Kobe. On, SFM, I know you're emotional about this. Shaq's true, is higher than Kobe's. True shooting Let him percentage. Talk, bro. True shooting percentage is the only fair metric to use because it brings into consideration all three levels of scoring, including free throw. So for Shaq's true shooting percentage, including his horrible free throw percentage, for it to still be higher than Kobe's tells you about Kobe's efficiency. No, that you tells you about that metric. If you, if is if Shaq a better shooter than Kobe? 
Is Shaq calculate- a better shooter than Kobe? Oh, my if God, calculate- bro. If you calculate in how bad Shaq was from the free throw line and how many free throws he shot, and he still has a higher true shooting percentage than Kobe. Especially that, relative to that pace. That makes okay, you look at Kobe. If, remember, the, remember, Phil Jackson is the one that came to save Kobe on this. Our offense was designed for him to be inefficient. We needed him to be a high volume, not score, but high volume shooter for the offense to thrive. And when Phil Jackson broke it down, then you can walk away and say, okay, maybe I don't hold efficiency against Kobe so much because it was designed in the offense for him to take that many shots, even even bad shots if need be. It was I'm by gonna respond to you after this. So, so all I'm I saying ask, is okay. all I'm saying is Phil Jackson said it's okay that he was inefficient. It just like I'm telling y'all, he would we can admit that he was inefficient, but it's okay. Because okay, Phil okay, Jackson built Lamont. it in. Lamont, hold on, I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put it. it. Don't Let me respond to the money after this. Don't try so to just, don't try I, to hold on. Let me respond to Lamont after this. Africa, no, you bro, no. come on, bro. The thing is, at the end of the day, who are we gonna believe? SFM, yeah, but I don't, my bad, I don't know. This, 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 are we gonna believe this. SFM or Phil Lamont? Jackson? Okay, 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 Jackson. Lamont. No, no, no. We we gonna Please. talk about Please. what we gonna what Please. we gonna talk about? It, it was what was going on in the NBA. Okay, first off, players. first off, hold on. First off, we gonna put it like this: the yeah, the average uh field goal percentage from a You're guard fighting, is bro. forty to fifty percent. No, let me finish. No, let, let me finish. Let me finish, bro. Bro, I don't bro, get it. bro you. Minutes. Bro, Y'all just keep bringing up these yeah, dumb. Yeah, yeah. Bro, shut the fuck up, you fucking cracker. Shut the fuck up, cracker. Shut up, cracker. Shut the fuck up, cracker. You ain't doing nothing but cracking your voice up. Shut the fuck up, bro. Nah, bro, this nigga fucking annoying. He came out of nowhere. I just shut the fuck yeah, up, cracker. Like, you talk talk. <laughs> we, we put white boys back in their places down south. We put white boys back in their places down south. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, as a this, SSM, you can't say that on the stream. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, Lamont, Lamont, let me say this to you. Lamont, Vince, Car- Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, Tracy McGrady, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Kobe Bryant field goal percentage <laughs> is higher than all of theirs. The reason why I say this because I'm naming the elite players that came out of his era that his field goal percentage is higher than Vince Carter, which has never been called inefficient. Kobe field goal percentage is higher than he is. Tracy McGrady, Gilbert Arenas, um, motherfucking um, Allen Iverson. His field goal percentage is higher than Allen Iverson's by like four, four or five notches. Okay, this Iverson like- was inefficient. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. But Tracy McGrady, but Tracy McGrady, but listen, Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, and Paul Pierce has never been called inefficient, and Kobe field goal percentage is higher than them three as well. So the reason I'm naming these superstars because they was at least superstars that played in the perimeter on the 2000s. The reason I'm telling you they field goal percentage is higher than theirs because Kobe was efficient in 44.7. That's the equivalent to almost 45 percent. He that's shot what we said. Then, then, then in two in the playoffs, it's forty four point forty four point eight, and go up just go up just a little bit. That's efficient. That's higher than that's, that's higher than most. Who said, who said Kobe was inefficient? No, he just said that. He said I no, should no, leave no. that because Phil Jackson who said that. He said literally said just Kobe said was that. inefficient. Who said it? Who said it? Lamont. No, no, no. Who's he quoting? He's quoting Phil Jackson. <laughs> who's who's who? But but he know what efficient is. If Phil no, Jackson, no. Not, Phil Jackson, not, you're you're sending like. Why are you getting oh, mad at Lamont for quoting Phil Jackson? Yes, but because Lamont Lamont know what field goal uh, field goal percentage is. Phil Jackson know that he can't be efficient every game in, in, in the type of offense that's that they play. That's why you're not listening, that's not bro. Him. That's why you're not listening, bro. Right, Phil, can I ask Lamont, no, no, the only reason why Lamont yeah. quoted Phil Jackson is because he gave context of the perception of Kobe. Being inefficient, bro. Listen, hold on, home. Before you respond, we already mentioned multiple times, bro. Kobe was efficient, bro. He met his league averages in the regular season and in the playoffs. That will and against top ten defense. It, did you say that he shot over the league bro, average? Bro, hold, on, hold on, bro. Let him talk. Hold on, bro. Him, bro. It remained the same, nigga. I'm literally agreeing with you, nigga. Relax. It remained the same. And hold on, and stop using, stop using field goal percentage. For efficiency, bro. There's better stats for that. 
Mm-hmm. All right, all right, then bet. Then mm-hmm. uh, then my type of fish, uh, LeBron would be a fish too much. Of a fish no, no, Lamar, I don't know. The SFM, that's why we've been using effective field goal, that's why we've been using true shooting percentage. Okay, let's so go to the turnover, turnover to assist ratio. It, let's go to the turnover to assist ratio. You don't want to do that either. <laughs> let's, can we, why I can't go to LeBron turn out to this ratio? Dude, it's better than Kobe's, nigga. Bro, the, 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 the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga is number one in regular playoff and finals in turnovers. What's his turnover ratio? What's his ratio? What's his ratio? He's the type. What's his ratio? Let me go search it up. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, 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 bro. Even with him saying with all this dumbass turnover shit, the niggas still made the finals ten times. So for so those, for those lost, wins, and, and lost most of them and led seven out of ten finals that he played. So, played in Lamar, the Lamar, you, so you, what's, you, the, what's the Lamar, point of that? Turnovers was a big deal. Hey, hey, nobody can deny that turnovers was a big deal and why he lost some his championships. He made a record in the finals for one of the most turnovers in the series. Lamar, Lamar, you can correct me for wrong. LeBron. Nigga not even getting ten assists. He don't even. He's not even averaging ten assists. Putting up them. Put, putting up the type of number with turnovers, man. He averaged a triple double. Listen, listen, listen. He, he listen, 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 listen. I'm not just saying. Listen, I'm not just saying. Listen, y'all can never explain that point. He's not just uh, just number one in one category in regular season in turnovers in the playoffs and finals. It's and in the been, playoffs, been. he's been there since what 2016. Can I give? Can I answer your question? 2015. So listen, that's that was before he went to the Yes, fam. I'm trying to answer a question. So you said bring up the assist turnover ratio, right? LeBron's assist turnover ratio for his career is 2.08. Kobe is 1.56. <laughs> bro, Her, bro, Herm is trying to tell you. Lamont is trying to tell you. If you're going to argue who's better, bro, stop bringing up stats. Is bro just stop it? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! The bro, stats don't the always go there, for bro. the stats don't always go for LeBron, especially bro, not in on, the clutch. Especially not, especially not in the clutch. Listen, 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 listen. Let me break them down. Look, 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 look. That's let me break film. down. That's when even when we break down his numbers in the clutch in the finals, they are shit. They are horrible. They he shoots seventy six points on thirty percent. That's shit compared to Kobe. They got forty five. They're shooting on forty five percent in the clutch in the finals with 76 points this nigga got 76 points on 30 percent you went to three more finals mm. that's mm. shitty that's mm. shitty mm. how about you boy that's mm. Mm. Him out. shitty at the highest mm. level he's not the he's not he's he's not kobe and mj in the clutch at the highest mm. level which is in the mm. finals. Mm. help out your boy help him out not 24 seconds Herm, where you at, bro? <laughs> Let's bring up the two minutes. We could go from 24 seconds to two minutes. Let's go to two. I'm going to tell you what it is. Two minutes is fine. Bro, you trying to get every metric to go your well, way. Like, he's points, giving please. you the yeah, fucking... Hold on, man. Hold on. Nah, he like, just put up postseason. I just put up playoffs. Hold on, y'all. 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 Postseason Damn. is playoffs, SFM. But I know. I know. Also, you just put up playoffs. I put up finals. Hold on, SFM. You said assist to turnover ratio. Did you know LeBron James is top 10 in NBA history? In assist to turnover ratio, <laughs> he's an idiot, bro. You know, I'm he, talking about he's in the combo, he's up there with the likes of John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Chris Paul, Steve Nash, and he's behind Mark Jackson all time in NBA history. Oh, oh, bro, bro, you bring up his turnovers, but when you but the way you determine a player's efficiency with the ball is you look at their assist to turnover ratio, especially if they're utilized as a point guard. Are they making more turnovers that hurt them as opposed to making winning plays? Because we all know that point guards are going to absorb a large number of turnovers. Why? Because even if a guy fumbles the ball, you could throw the greatest pass in the world. If he fumbles the ball out of bounds, that's your turnover as a point guard. So point guards, by just that definition, because they can get turnovers that aren't even necessarily their fault, they're judged on assist to turnover ratio. LeBron James is top 10 in NBA history. He's over Magic Johnson. I mean, Crick. come on, man. Like, that's why I say argue Kobe. Stay away from the numbers. Bro, does Stay that make him bro, how, how, how listen, 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 uh, listen. Okay, Lamont, you just put up this little 24 seconds and stuff in the playoffs and what when I brought up that. Now I brought up his final clutch numbers and and I and I brought brother brought because finals is at the highest level, and you try to bring the arguments so back down on a petty level of play of playoffs, bro. Like 
Hey, no, how do you want to do this? Listen, how do you want to listen, 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 the listen if you want to if you want if you want to bring up the last twenty four seasons, let's talk about LeBron in the last two minutes in finals as well. You don't have to read it. Just give me the Let's talk about the finals. Answer them. I told you how to do your argument, man. Shut the fuck up, bro. You digging my skill, homie. Man. Like, I really you know, know you, right? homie. I'm my mama, you boy. Right? I know I'm you, boy. To Stop you. talking like that, boy. <laughs> I'm my mama, boy. You finna make me on some ratchet right? shit. I'm my mama, boy. Everybody know You're Mookie. Everybody know you don't act the same way on every panel you own. You don't act the air the same on every panel you own. This Texas shit is real. That Texas shit is real. That shit y'all about that ain't authentic. Shut up. This Texas yeah, shit real. On my mama, Mookie, 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 everybody know what I'm saying, bro. On my mama, her. This ain't you, bro. On my mama, me and Mookie you talk every day. Nobody. Shut we up. We know you. It's a them. Me and Mookie talk every day. Cracker, shut the fuck up. Cracker, if I go rape your motherfucking wife. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Damn, can I make bro. a point? Actually, um, can I make? Yo, a yo, point? go ahead, Leva. Go ahead, Leva. Yeah, yeah. So the point I want to make Charles is White type stuff. So the point I want to mention is that when it comes to clutch stats, um, the thing is, so Kobe, um, in games decided within three and within two minutes left, um, Kobe is forty of eighty-six. Right now, what I also want to mention is that you see, here's the thing about Kobe. Right now, I love Kobe, but even I can critique Kobe. Yes, I'm a fan of Kobe, but that doesn't mean I'm blind. Right. So the thing about Kobe, now, now look, now the thing, the thing about Kobe is, in the finals, right? In every finals that he played, in the seven finals he played, won five, lost two. Kobe from the two, right, was 30 of 59. So he was above 50% from the two. He was 51%. And I actually watched every finals game. Most of those shots were from the mid-range, right? However, Kobe ruined his clutch percentage with his go-ahead threes. That's the thing that I always disliked about Kobe. Kobe from the two. If he's make, if he's missing one shot, he's making the other without fail, and it says it from his mid range stats in the finals in the um, in the last five minutes of the game. However, Kobe ruined his clutch stats when it came to taking desperation threes in the finals because he dropped his percentage from fifty one percent to forty. He went three of twenty four from the three in the clutch in the finals when from any other place on the floor he was over 50 percent that's the only thing i'll give to you about kobe kobe was clutch but when it came to the three he just made bad decisions that's the only thing i'll give you that's what i'll give you hold on that's when you break here's the here's the here's the killer for this when you break because the biggest narrative that's been pushed about lebron is that hold on if somebody has some background <laughs> <noise>. <laughs> Yeah, somebody. I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So the, here's the thing: like when you break down LeBron James's clutch numbers, and I and I actually found um, a metric that really breaks his numbers down because mm -hmm. nobody really has a true definition of what clutch is. I think this mm -hmm. is the best metric because it breaks it down into the last five minutes when the mm -hmm. game is within five points. It breaks it down to the last um, two minutes, uh, one minute or thirty seconds. Um, those are all clutch shots when you break it down like that. And then it has regular clutch, which regular clutch would just be the fourth quarter when it's still a close game. Yeah. The, the, the more, the, the, like the, the more clutch a game gets when it gets down, as we get closer to that clock striking zero, LeBron's numbers all skyrocket over his averages, all of them. There's all of his numbers from points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. All of his numbers skyrocket as the game gets tougher. So when you talk about the fourth quarter, his production's at a certain level. As the game progresses to the last five minutes, it raises. As the game progresses to the very end, that's when he plays his best on all levels. This is mm -hmm. already, and I can show you the chart right here. Yeah. But his, and here, I'll, let me actually put it on the screen so we can see. No, I like that and, you're mentioning and, that. Yeah, no, I like that you're mentioning yo, that. Hold on, as you, as, this as you is like, actual as you, basketball. That's actual basketball. So, on, you, like, so when, when we talk about now, I, again, I don't know whoever's <laughs> pushing for Kobe. I don't know if we can say the same thing for Kobe. Uh, when when it gets to it's like right here. So the, like right here, when we see regular clutch one is five minutes, clutch two is the 
the, the, the waning moments of the game. You're talking about two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. Look at his points. That In clutch two, his points skyrocket. In red, it's above his average. And this is just regular clutch, the fourth quarter, boom. And so really the only thing – and then even his field goal percentages really don't change that much in the clutch. They stay around – they stay around – 45% or higher right here. His regulars in the fourth quarter, he's shooting 55% and in the clutch moments, he sh- he's not shooting less than 40%. But if you look at re- rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks, his, his numbers skyrocket when the game gets, cr- when the game gets more clutch. So again, if you can show me the same thing with Kobe, maybe that can be the case. But the one thing we've seen Kobe struggle with, especially in the finals is perform- was well, not even just desperation threes. Hold on, Lamont. Let me. Let well, me, that's is, the main hold thing with. Hold on, hold on. Real quick, quick, quick. Real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go real quick, real quick. Real quick. It, it, Lamont, let's get deeper than that, bro. Like you mentioned before, for the regular season, right? Because the NBA considers clutch time to be um, within the game within five last five minutes of the fourth quarter. That's what the NBA considers clutch time, right? LeBron makes an average of 1.5 field goal percentage on 1.5 field goals on 46% field goal, right? And about that's on a 51, about 52% effective field goal. And in the playoffs, it's 2.4, 46% field goal. For Kobe, is 1.5 on 39% field goal. That's 44% effective field goal. And in the playoffs, it's 2.3 on 40, 40% field goal, which is still way less than LeBron. 40. 40% field goal in the playoffs compared to LeBron's 52% field goal, and that's just in the fourth quarter. For some people who say, I right, that's it clutch is a little more better than that. I, I prefer someone who has who takes or t- who wants to make that last shot, right? In situations in the playoffs to take to tie or take the lead in the playoffs, LeBron is 21 for 44, which is 48%. Then appears to Kobe was just 12 out of 41, which is 29%. God damn! Hold on, it, it gets yeah. deeper than that. It gets deeper than that. Some people say some people say clutch is what you do overall in crucial games. Some people like like the elimination games in particular, whether that be game four, seven, four, five, seven, six, yeah, or seven, yeah, yeah. right? In elimination games, not only LeBron is fourteen and eleven, he's averaging thirty three point five points, ten point seven rebounds, seven point five um, assists, <laughs> six point. 1.6 steals and 1.1 blocks on 49% field goals and 35% from three. When we go to Kobe, who is one, who is nine and 10 in elimination games, he's 22.3 points, 5.8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, 1.2 steals and 0.6 blocks on 41% field goal and 28% field goal percent, three point percentage. It gets deeper than that. Some people say, <laughs> some people say, clutch is what you do on that the biggest stage, the finals. LeBron's final stats is twenty eight point four points, ten point two rebounds, seven point eight assists on forty eight percent field goal percentage and thirty five percent from three. In comparison to Kobe, who's twenty five percent points per game, five point seven assists up the, on rebounds a game, and five point five. Um, assist per game on 41% field goal and 31% um, from three. Yeah, wow. okay. So let's, some so people, let's, some let's people make, might say, hold on, 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 LeBron is 34.9 points, 9.9 rebounds, 5.6 assists, and he's 7-1, shooting 48% field goal percentage and 33% from three. In comparison to Kobe, who's also who's 5-1, he shoots 22 um, points per game, 8 rebounds, 5 assists on 39% field goal and 30, I pay 37% three-point percentage. So by every definition of the word clutch he's better statistically yeah, so, anyway yeah so can i just mention something so i'm not actually disagreeing with you the thing is the only thing i'll disagree with you is if you say kobe was not clutch at all 
Now, if you were to say that, I disagree. Now, if you are to say by the numbers, LeBron is more clutch, look, that's fine. Nobody like, says some that, things LeBron... Nobody says Kobe's not clutch, bro. <laughs> no, I've, that no, is not even no, a real no, comment. That's not even a real no, comment. Hey, Levi, that's just the statistics, bro. We didn't just even get to moments. Me, no, it's bro. all they got. Just let me speak, right? I'm no, talking about right, right, right. conversation, conversation, right? Now... If you're going to say LeBron is more clutch, look, listen, I don't mind that at all, right? I still feel like there are other things that Le- that Kobe does that are better than LeBron. The thing about Kobe is I feel like at his peak, at his peak, he was more clutch. But over the course of LeBron's career, I would say that he was more. The reason why I say that is because at his peak in 2010, in my opinion, that was when he peaked out when it came to clutch statistics. In 2010... Because I watched that season myself all throughout. He put up six straight game winners that season. He had one against the Bucks. He had one against the Heat. He had one against the Kings. He had one against the Celtics. He had one against the Raptors. I can't remember the sixth team. But when I was watching that, he had six straight game winners. So I do feel like at Kobe's peak in clutchness, he was better than LeBron. But over the course of LeBron's career... I do feel like LeBron was a more clutch player over the course of his career. Now, mind you, when we're talking about playoff stats, the thing I always like to mention, or I have to mention, is that Kobe was in the playoffs when he was still playing on the bench, when he was still riding on the bench. No, no, so all this like, is all, all everything I just told you was during their prime. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they, no, that's fine. I'm not yeah, disagreeing yeah. with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I still feel like Kobe was clutch, but when it comes to numbers, I can't really say he was as clutch. And I will also say this. Kobe was clutch, but the thing I hate about Kobe is he himself ruined his own clutch numbers because Kobe otherwise had stellar numbers until he ruined it with bad decisions when it came to the three and stuff like that. The three really diminished his field goal percentage, and that's the reason why we look at it the way it is today. But from the two, he was phenomenal. So that's the thing. That's the thing I critique about Kobe the most. He was still clutch, but he destroyed his numbers because of that and lebron didn't make that mistake so that's what i will say that's what yeah, i will say Lamata, I, um, like, you, uh, like, I don't d- disagree with that i don't disagree at all not at all not at all not at all go ahead Khalil. go ahead uh, what's your name bro my bad i don't want to what's the brother's name what's up can i go levi uh my bad brother i don't want to mess your name up uh i just wanted to personally yeah, my name Blue is Khalil, Bo- I got way. you next, Blue Boat. My name is Khalil, by the way, uh, Levi. Mm-hmm. It's a pleasure mm-hmm. for you to meet me. Uh, Lamont, I appreciate you <laughs> kicking off Daffy Duck hollering and spitting on everything. You should have got him out of here a long time ago, bro. It's been a really good stream overall, though. I appreciate the stream. Go ahead, brother Blue Boat. Yes, sir. Salute, Blue Boat. Yo, I'm, yo, you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. What's going on, Panda? What's going on, Panda? Salute, uh, everybody. Yeah. Uh, this is oh shoot, nothing, man. Another day, another. You know what they say, but I, you know, I've been here in the stream. You know, what I mean, for the most part, and um, where I stand on it, you know, what I mean, um, okay, we're just talking about Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, okay? Kobe Bryant was a phenomenal player, all right? You know, what I mean, went from you know one of the trailblazers to go from straight from high school to the NBA. You know, he didn't come out the gates. Uh, everything but he made himself out to be a superstar you know what i mean but you know came off the bench his first couple of years and uh playing behind eddie jones and nick van Axel, you know what i mean but he played into his uh superstar status you know but me personally i got kobe ranked between seven and eight okay you know what i mean and not because a personal bias and everything when you look when you look at comparison to his peak and prime yeah it was great yeah, it was good, but in comparison to Mike, Kareem, LeBron, even guys like Tim Duncan, Shaq, and uh, Magic Johnson, he kind of comes up short, in, in particular with LeBron James. LeBron James came straight out of high school with huge expectations he had to live up to. You know, He uh, went to a team that didn't have no history of winning, you know? And out the gate, he made an impact. Now, I'm not saying Kobe didn't have an impact because he did. But LeBron came out of high school with the hype, the media press, and um, the expectations. And he, he exceeded those expectations. You know what I mean? And it kind of, it's kind of funny that people kill me with all this. Uh, make this long story short. 
he asked for all this help and he had all these super teams, right? The only case you could make that was a so-called super team on paper was the Miami Heat. You know, I mean, the first seven years in Cleveland, that's killed me when they try to say Antoine Jameson and Mo Williams had the same impact as Scotty Pippen. Get out of here with that BS. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, brother Blue Bowl. Okay, and Scotty Pippen was one of the most well-rounded, well-rounded, well-rounded. Scotty Pippen was one of the most well-rounded players in the league in the nineties. Probably top five when you think about Thank it. You. That you can't name yeah. like maybe ten or fifteen guys better than Scotty Pippen. You go put dudes right there with Mo Williams and Antoine Jameson. You gotta be kidding me, man. That lets you know people don't watch the game or it's personal bias with Kobe. And it, this is not me knocking Kobe. Like I said before, you know what I mean? In comparison, as far as like an overall all around player, LeBron is just better. You know? Now, you can say Kobe is a more dynamic, flashier score, but that's it. As far as everything else, Le- LeBron does better. Now, a couple of other things I want to uh, debunk, too, right? They say Kobe never played on a super team, but they try to build, they try to build, they try to build, they try to build a super team with this guy twice. With uh, Carl Malone, Gary Payton, in 2013 with... Uh, Injuries. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't say that. I'm talking about Where what actually happened. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's no. Uh, Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard. Yeah, Dwight Howard, yeah. Dwight Howard. yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, I, hate term, I hate the term. I hate the term super team, yeah, man. I hate the term. I know, team, yeah, man. but yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. stop. They, let's just say they had. They could try to build a stack team with Kobe nah, first time. Yeah, first time yeah, with uh, Kobe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First time with Kobe, it was uh, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, and all them guys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. Stop it. They were putting up productive numbers by that time. Okay, you know what I mean? And then, then you had... Uh, brother, brother, you had, the man finish. Okay, hey, okay. come on. Stop. Stop. No, stop, no, yeah, stop. no. I'll let Don't. you finish. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm saying, second time around, they had Steve Nash and uh, Dwight Howard, even though Dwight Howard was coming off a back injury. You know? You, you had them guys, and then you had uh, Paul Casal still. You know? But, but yeah, they failed to realize that they say LeBron had all this help in comparison to Kobe. But one thing they forget to mention, do any of those players, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Anthony Davis, come close to a prime shack? Hell no. Do they? Do they? Hell don't, no. They don't even take that to account. They don't even take that to account. And, and Shaq won the MVPs while they were playing together. Right? LeBron has been the best player on his team all four times he's won a championship. Mm. All four his times he's won a championship. Blue, blue That's what I'm saying. Career, right. That's career. what I'm saying. And even in the losses, right, right, right. Even in the losses, you really can't say LeBron folded when he was going against better teams. How many times was Kobe the underdog in the finals? Can you anybody ask, no answer that? Film. You ain't getting no link. Stay your ass in the chat, Daffy Duck. Okay, How many so, times was Kobe yeah. underdog in the finals? Can anybody ask that? Only 2008. Only 2008. Only 2008. Only 2008. Only 2008. Only 2008. That's one time. That's one time. That's one time. I'm going to tell you why, Blue yeah. Boat, because all these same motherfuckers that be talking about LeBron played in the weak East, they too stupid to realize that Kobe was playing against them weak teams in the finals. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. All this credit in the world that he beat all these teams that they deem this week, but they'll give him credit for those right. I know you hear me, right. SFM. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. But, like but what I'm saying is... Sense. Right. But how, yeah. but how, yeah. how is it, how is it, Kobe? Yeah. How, is, how is it? <laughs> how, how is it? How is it? How is it? How is it that, you know, LeBron underachieved when he wasn't even a favorite in the finals as many times as Kobe was, except for maybe one time? How do you under? So I said LeBron under the chief. So, okay, so I've heard. Well, LeBron was favored twice out of out of ten of finals. 
Uh, three bro, times, did you know times, that Kobe, Kobe got hurt in 2013? Oh, he come on. Play stop playoffs. it, man. Stop it. Stop oh, it. Stop it. Where this nigga come from, man? Get his ass out of here. No, listen, listen, listen. They got hurt. Hey, this, you got he got hurt you got two got days before the playoffs. Hey, 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 get out of here. That bullshit. You know what? Because you will sit here and talk about LeBron, 36 in the finals, but you don't take into consideration that Kyrie He was not. No contact. You got no Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Bro, bro, bro. Yes, I did. Bro, bro. Yes, I Bro, Khalil. 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 Kobe. You just blinded. You just blinded by Kobe's listen, mob is. Listen, and that's listen, all. Listen, this is, listen, this is what I'm saying. This dude with his deep voice, he don't really know what he's talking about. Kobe. What? I don't know what I'm talking no, about. Get, no, get the no. fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Shut up. Shut up. up. When Kobe was hurt, did he play good in the playoffs? Who? 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 2013, when he went to the playoffs. Did he play good? What do you mean? What do you he mean went to the playoffs? What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? If anybody don't know what you're talking about, it's you don't know who the hell you're talking about. Get out of here. But anyway, Kobe got hurt. Why would you ask me a trick question? Why? Kobe got hurt in like the 78th game of the Man, Lamar, why are you bringing this dude up here into the panel, man? This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. He got them it's to some the bullshit. Hey, he yeah, got them to the playoffs. It's, it's, it's all, it's all right. excuses, man. It's all that's excuses. I got a question. How, how is it an excuse, excuse when he wasn't right? there? He wasn't there, bro. You're not listening. He was on the court. He was he got them to the playoffs. If this was LeBron James, oh yeah, can we go one at a time? Bro, bro, okay, Lamont, Lamont, I'm trying to let him go, bro. But listen, this is what you're saying. You can't make up an excuse for a man that got his team to the playoffs, but he but but he couldn't play in the playoffs because he got hurt in the regular season in like the 79th or 78th game. That's what not that like? you can't. What that what that sound like? What that he just couldn't sound like? play because the injury he got. What that everybody, sound like? listen, everybody you remember. Every, listen, listen, everybody, listen, everybody, listen, yeah, everybody remember. Cody was crying. Listen, listen, what everybody remember after that game that he got hurt in. Everybody remember. When he was crying in the locker room and interview because he was hurt. He, he was fuck. mad as fuck that he couldn't go play in the playoffs because he got them to the to blah, the point to get to the playoffs. Blah, blah, so what does that this mean about you talking about 2013? That's this not That can't be an excuse because he wasn't I'm there. I'm talking about the totality oh of the careers, uh, genius. I'm talking about the totality of your careers, <laughs> man. <laughs> Right, you had brought up the 23rd. You had brought up, oh, he had a super team in 2013. Yeah, 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 that's not that's not that's not his fault. They so didn't minute, good, minute, be successful. How the hell, how, so that's how the not hell his fault. They didn't be successful. He got hurt. How the hell is the twenty? How the hell is uh the Cleveland like y'all say? Y'all say y'all say this uh bullshit. How was the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers a super team in comparison to that? How's the tw uh, 2020 Lakers a super team, so-called super team, in comparison to that? I, Answer uh, that question. Bro, bro, bro. You, that said, question. you said the 2016? You meant to say 2018? What you meant no, to say 2018? 2016. I'm saying 20... I'm, 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 I'm just repeating... I'm, I'm talking about the 2016... I mean, Kyrie is the one championship. Man. So, so Steve Nash is well out his prime here about 39, 38 years old at this time. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about on paper, man. Okay, I'm talking okay. about what they were Okay, you're talking okay, 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 like okay, like Lamont. Okay, Lamont Lamont just said earlier in front of everybody. He said he said you can't just go off because of a team's death of how good they are. You feel me? Like something like whatever he was talking about, bro. You you just looking at the names, bro. But Dwight Howard had just came off a of back surgery the year before. Steve okay. Nash was gave, Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Listen, listen. Steve Nash was well off his prime, and it's not like Kobe needed needed these dudes to go win another championship. These the dudes that he beat to go win championships. Like literally, just beat the shit out of these niggas in 2009 <laughs> and 2010 in the Western Conference to go win championships. Like, bro, he didn't play. He didn't play. He didn't play. He didn't play. excuses and bullshit to me. How is this? Excuses and he didn't play. That don't make no sense. He didn't play. In 2013, Dwight Howard was injured. In 2013, Steve Nash was injured as well. Like that's what happened. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. They did not play in that series. Yeah, we harping on this too long. Hold on, the easy answer to this is: Did that team with Nash and Howard did they did they turn out to be a great team? Because no. of injuries and chemistry, no. 
But the perception was when they first got put together, it regardless of And that's what I'm talking about. The perception when they first got put together, the common theme that you heard before they made the game is that they were like that of what we call what we would consider to be a super team. Now I always tell you, no, we don't consider that a super team. Hold on, SFM, hold on, bro. Bro, The perception at that time was that they were a super team. Did they turn out to be a very good team? No. No, that that happened. Not all super teams put together or perceived to be super teams work. We saw that with Pippen, Barkley, and Elijah Wan. Everybody's going to say they were old. But at the time, they were looked at as a super team. It didn't work. You know, you can't the, blame the, that on the Kobe. Garnett, he didn't play Garnett, the playoffs. Ray That's what I'm saying. Arnett, Ray Allen, and KG. I wasn't talking won, about 2013. I was talking about totality of their careers. Oh, hold on. What I'm what, saying what is... What part don't you understand, nah, man? Oh. You just brought up 04 in 2013. Shut the fuck up, dog. I'm cooking. You trying man, to backtrack what the nah, fuck I'm saying. You ain't thinking shit. Fuck out of here, retarded ass. You were meeting with motherfucker. Fuck out of here. I think y'all... um. I think y'all both saying this. I mean, like, like I said, fuck out of here, you well, retarded ass, ass man. Oh, you don't on, even got no ball fucking ball. speech. Man, you ain't cooking bro. shit over here. SFM, answer my question for me then, right? You you said earlier that the East was weak. You said that, right, when LeBron played in it. That's historically known, yes. Okay, so if... Kobe Bryant played against those same weak Eastern teams that you claim to be weak, and you give him all the heap of praise to win a championship. <laughs> oh, so by okay. Your logic, okay, okay, no. No, 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 no. I don't by your logic, then you shouldn't give him credit for none of those three. Why are you no. smoking that regular weed, man? Nah, nah, that's the throttle. Nah, it's the gas, whatever y'all call it out there. Cool story, bro. Nah, but nah, question, bro. but nah, but nah, bro. I'm talking about in the play in the playoffs where Kobe had to go through in his, through in his conference. That's not he what played. I asked you, brother. I asked you. He you asked. said that the East was weak, so we just talking about finals. I, I said you admitted that the East was weak. Okay, okay, okay. This is what Why I gave. Why would you this, give Kobe a lot of credit for beating those same weak East teams in the finals? <laughs> okay, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it right there. Keep it. Keep it right there, Khalil. Okay. If you talking about. I, okay, I would say just two finals. It was just two finals that was good. No, 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 no. I'm giving you that. I'm giving you that. I don't give him. I don't just say I give him credit because credit because I don't pay attention to the East. They were too weak. But in 2009 and probably just 2010, them the hardest teams probably he had to face just in the uh just in the finals in the East. But that goes back to Shaq, how y'all like to bring up Shaq. Y'all give Shaq all the credit for these finals MVPs in the East with the weak disadvantage with the big, big man. The West is where it was popping at. The West the Conference Finals was really the finals at that time. Oh you God, feel me? Man. So you just like, danced around that shit like Fred Astaire. He only you played, just, he, he, only played, he only played the, the finals. Bro. This dude, he don't talk no facts. You it's just did right, right. You didn't answer it directly. I asked you a direct question. You just went into a whole other soliloquy nah, about something totally different. I told you that the Browns Eastern Conference, you said that it was weak. Yeah. So I asked you, why do you give Kobe Bryant and you sitting here talking about he putting up all these elaborate numbers and he doing oh, all okay, this and okay. he doing I'm finna all tell you right that. Now. I'm finna tell you right that now. Same week I'm, east. I'm finna tell. I'm finna tell you right now. I thought you was about to do that no, already. No, no, I'm finna, I'm finna tell you right question. now. The reason, well, the reason why I give give him that credit because I understand that he played the most fifty plus win teams of oh all time. In a, listen, listen, <laughs> what listen. the fuck? No, fuck no, man. he's fuck telling no. Let, no, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I give him credit. You're telling me why I give him credit for beating those teams in the finals. I'm telling you why. Because he beat the most fifty plus win teams in the playoffs and played the most fifty plus win teams in, in the playoffs. You feel me? Yeah, uh, from in a three year from 2008 to 2010, nobody faced more 50 plus win teams just within that stretch. His road to the his yeah, road to listen, mind, his bro. road to go winning the ship was much harder than LeBron. It wasn't okay. Hey, LeBron, hey, LeBron, that's, that's LeBron, so, so hold on, hold on. Let me finish. 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 You want me to finish? LeBron had the pleasure of okay, okay. LeBron had the pleasure of being in the uh having the, in 2007 having to go against the Wizards. That was 41 and 41, a neutral record, and they were still able to make it to the playoffs without Gilbert Arenas. Okay, first off. Then in well, the second off, round, we never on, talked finish, about LeBron. Finish. Why you keep then, bringing LeBron Then in up? the second round, then in the second round, oh he faced another God. team that was He just asked you a simple question, bro. Listen, listen. I'm telling you. He told me to explain. He told me to 
Okay, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying simply like this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying simply like this. Kakobe road to the championship was much greater and harder. Okay, one more question to do you do that. So one more question for you, because that, I don't know what that was. That That's wasn't a good answer. answer. So no, that was you admit answer. that, that was, was the answer. That just wasn't the answer. All right, so let's move on to the next one. That's the fact, so, though. So that's the fact. You can't deny the fact. Okay, so, so let's talk about. All right, let me ask, let me ask yeah, my last up. question, and then I'm done with you, brother. So we all right. Detroit Pistons with Rasheed and all them on it. Would you admit that that was a better defensive team than any of those teams of the Western Conference? So, so was the the, the uh, Cincinnati. Not an old server, though. Not an old server. Not an old server. Not Yeah, but not an 07. You won't have no more Ben Wallace. What about the They didn't have Ben Wallace. So. They didn't have Ben Wallace. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. And if you're going to bring up an 07, okay, they didn't have Ben Wallace in 07. But LeBron had to face that team, uh, that same Pistons team in 2006, the year before in the playoffs, and you don't remember. And then he lost then. This time, they don't have Ben Wallace. Kobe ain't never get a second time to go against that Pistons team again. Yes, he did. He played them twice in the finals. No, he Did didn't. He, play him twice? he didn't. Oh, he didn't. 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 He Hold on, let me say this. Let me say this. What? Well, listen. What? What team? What? Line. What year? What year? Because keep in you're mind, you're talking about the Boston keep, Celtics. Because keep in keep in mind, keep in mind, we put him against the Spurs. That was them. That he talking about, about the Boston Celtics, nigga. Okay, what is he talking about the Boston Celtics? Was he better? Was they a better defensive team than any other teams that was in the West? In the West, yes. What? They was. The Celtics uh, were looked at as one of the best defensive teams uh, of all time. Yeah, they were. They yeah, were, they were. was in 2008. They had a defensive rating of 98.9. In 2010, they were top three. In 08, that had a 98.9 yeah. defensive rating. Number well. eight, they were number one. And still, 2010, they were still top five. What the fuck? That's all I got for you, uh, SFM. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Um, can I answer that question as well? So, uh, I think... Uh, it's, uh, hold, uh, on, hold, on. hold on. Hold on, Herm. Hold on, Herm. Hold on. First of all, mute your background if you got a whole bunch of background noise. One. Second, we got to get to Ralph because Ralph's. I've never seen Ralph with this much patience. Ralph ain't blurted nothing out yet, and he's been waiting patiently. I gotta let Ralph jump in on this because I don't even I don't know what what aspect he's gonna come from. He might come with a common sense take. You never know, but I gotta let Ralph get his take off. Yeah, Ralph, go ahead, man. Thanks for having me on, Sue. Everybody up here. Uh, I know you didn't ask me this, Khalil, but it, it was a simple question, and all he had to do is say. First of all, LeBron lost to the team that went to the finals in 09 in Orlando, which Kobe beat. And then the same same thing with the Celtics. So he had to say. Yeah, but I mean, right I think now, I think but I think they do the I'm saying the same way they do the war. Yeah, but bro, Ralph, I think I think when we when we talk like that, that's where we got to be careful because that's too small, simple, bro. You fuck this shit up. Hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, there's no such thing as LeBron beating a team. Or that, oh, the, the only the fault. only the only thing that could have beaten that Orlando team because that was a very deep Orlando team. That Orlando team was made of more than just Dwight Howard. That was right. one of the deepest teams in the league. Surrounded by the most shooters. It, no, it would have took teams. it would have took a great team to beat them. And at the time, it was easy to see that the Orlando Magic was a much deeper team. I mean, and they and they had the size advantage by. Uh, I mean, they were deep with the. I think Michael Pietras was on that team. He yeah, the was. was. I'm talking yep. about I'm talking about man. They had one of the deepest teams and biggest teams I've seen. And then you know what? They ran into a Laker team that could match up with them. Exactly. And, and at the depth as well. So again, when you when you say Kobe beat them, Kobe did not beat that team by itself. I promise you, it wasn't just Kobe by itself. It was a ton of help with them, along with the greatest coach. Ton of hell. Ton of hell. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on, listen, 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 listen. You know listen, how just because they was great, that's, was great. that's not a ton of hell. LeBron James was the best player on the floor. He averaged over thirty points in that series, but he didn't have enough help. 38 and not only that, but they got hot at that time because I, I remember that series. They got hot at the right time, they beat us, and then they went to the finals and lost. That's when they cooled down some. But like Lamont alluded to, the Lakers had depth as well to match up with them. And 
alleviate right. a lot of those three pointers that they was hitting because them motherfuckers was hitting yeah. everything. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we had to reflect. Yeah, we had. Yeah, we had, yeah, yeah, we had to reflect. Quick, after, go ahead, go we ahead. Had, yeah, Trevor Reza who was ball non control. Remember, he got the bag after that. Mm -hmm. He got the bag after that because he didn't play in no eight. We we found uh, Miner was more healthier, and we had Oldham playing point. We had Fisher hitting them, them shots. I like. I don't want to play no motherfucking point. Yes, he was running point, bro. What? I'm talking about oh, yeah, yeah. point Odom. forward. Odom. 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 Odom was point forward. Odom was the facilitator was. on the team. He was. Nah, he Colby. Was. Colby led us in assist. Colby that just. Period. That doesn't mean. Oh my, no. That doesn't mean, mean he was a facilitator, a facilitator bro. But he's, he's not. But nah, he said it. No, he said it like Lamar bringing up the ball. Dear, dear Fisher bringing his ball up. No, Lamar Odom was making plays for them, bro. He was. He was. Yeah, he yeah. Was but Kobe, but not yeah, every but single he, time, but he was bringing the ball. Up yeah, but what he, Ralph explained was the depth of that Laker team. Right. Was, That's what he was. Was that Laker through. team player for player? Just the most stellar names ever. But when you look at those names, those are very solid players. When you talk about Lamar Odom at that time. Easily the most versatile player in the league. Um, and when you talk about Derek Fisher, one of the one of the most sound point guards. You talk about Trevor Ariza coming into his own. We know how good he was defensively, and he was one of the best three and D in the league. And you know, Bynum, Bynum was looked at at a four period of time as one of the best centers in the league. He was top five. And so exactly. then you then you have then you then you still had uh Gasol. So that was one he, the Lakers were able top to match. Five. He ain't never the, been that the, the Lakers, one time. Yeah, he was. The Lakers he were was. able to hell match. No, boy. You crazy. Hey. Hold on, that's the film. Hold on. Y'all y'all harping on the wrong thing. The Lamont, I'm, matter, I'm going after you, bro. The fact of the matter is that the Lakers were able to match the depth of the magic. Right? That that's the biggest key. Yeah, that that's was something that's the icing that, on the, that, the that was something part, and it wasn't Kobe, Kobe right. beating Orlando. It was the Lakers and their depth and great coaching beating Orlando. It took more than because it I don't care if you would have put Kobe on that Cleveland team. They wasn't beating Orlando, right? The land, the, the depth just would have the, the depth was walking all of the Cavs down. And you can see bro, Kobe game, not LeBron, bro. Hold on, stop trying finish, to make brother. a scene. Like, let him finish, bro, man. No, I'm just saying, but let's, I mean, if you're being honest about it, you could easily see that. I, that's why when people say LeBron lost to the Magic, people say it that way to make it seem like LeBron's just choking. But they fail to tell you that LeBron was doing his part plus some. The man average okay. 38 okay. points. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now let me say this. Now let me say this. Kobe, Kobe as well had to play his part, had to step in, step up to other people's roles. Well, just mainly Andrew Byron roles at that time. Because um, Kobe Bryant averaged 32 that, that series, I believe, with like seven, eight rebounds. He 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 was second in leading his team with rebounds. He averaged more rebounds than his center, Andrew Bynum, that had averaged four, five, four, five, six point, four, five, six points. I think he had averaged like four rebounds. That. Not only that, uh, he led us in assists that series, steals that series. He was the best defender that series. He led us, yeah, points, assists, yeah, uh, yeah. He, Kobe had a lot of responsibilities. Don't keep it, keep it mentioned. Keep it, keep it mentioned. Hold on, keep it, keep, keep in mind. Kobe just came off of Western Conference Finals where he just averaged thirty four points, six rebounds, six six assists on forty eight percent uh against the um the Denver Nuggets in uh yeah in the Western Conference Finals. So just keep in mind, no, 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 no. Let me finish. No, no, let me finish. Let me, let me finish. When you say a ton of help, Khalil, because you said that a ton of help. Yes, Kobe. Nobody can win by themselves. Kobe had help. Everybody had. Everybody had help. Okay, but don't so never try to make this like on some LeBron level type help. No, no, because Kobe, no. he Kobe is not. Kobe, Kobe never needed Kobe LeBron. Needed Kobe, Kobe never needed the. That Kobe, Kobe never need to listen, to listen, win. listen, listen. Kobe never Fans needed a super it. team to win. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe never needed a super team. Hold on, hold on. So let me just just no, no, LeBron can't do what Kobe, Kobe can do. Le LeBron cannot repeat that, without a top 75 great oh, all time man, like Kobe man, did. Oh, God, Dude, you just said that he, he did a whole lot in that series. What was the final outcome of that series? Wasn't it 4-0 or 4-1 for the Lakers? 4-1, 4-1, 4-1. 4-1. So how the fuck did Kobe do all of this shit that you're talking about if, in a series that easy? Like, explain that. Cause, cause, okay, because I'm telling you that what actually happened. Kobe, Kobe averaged that. Kobe, Kobe led in assists for us that 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 finals. He led in steals for us that finals. He was the best defender on the team that, that finals. He averaged more rebounds than his center did, Andrew Bynum, and he averaged 32 
points. I'm not telling you a pain. I'm actually telling you what steals, actually happened. Bro. Bro, hold on, but, hold on, so but let me say this. Oh, yeah, he didn't lead his steals. I think it was uh, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor Reason, Reason. somebody. Trevor Reason. Trevor Reason led his steals. Yeah, I mean, I, in the playoffs, Kobe had just led in a total in think total steals and total points in the playoffs. He just came off of Western Conference Finals. He just averaged 34. Lamont, Lamont, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to. Oh, bro, like, Herm been trying to give y'all hints on how y'all should do this thing. Lamar been trying to give y'all hints. Herm on can't tell us. Boy, you crazy. Oh, here. bro, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, I got, let's just go. Like, let's stop yelling over each other. No, no, bro. But, up. like, why y'all keep bringing up narratives and, and, and just paint y'all selves in these corners with statistics where it just it just don't favor y'all? Like, I don't. And this, you know. This, know. This, hold on, hold on, hold on. And this what this what Lamont said early in the stream is like I think he alluded to this like the fact that yeah, I don't, don't think, use stats and I don't think I don't think I don't think specific don't Kobe fans what has been demonstrated the last four hours know how to explain Kobe's greatness <laughs> in, okay. in like in a in a in an efficient manner. Like y'all just don't y'all don't know how to do it without bringing up any type of narrative. Y'all know how to do it without bringing up anything that neither player can control. Sturdy, shut the fuck no, up. Y'all can't. Y'all it just y'all better defensively. Shit. LeBron. Man, y'all you here. Bro, you bro, just ain't trying to receive. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Just do that. Just do that. Who's better defensively? Let make Dev talk, man. Somebody asked you guys some IQ in this motherfucker. Lamont, Lamont, bro. Y'all all y'all all had y'all turn to get that same take off Mac Def is Posing the question, MacDef, if you pose a question, you got to answer it yourself. But let's hear your take on this. I said I think Kobe's de better defensively. Now I'm asking uh, everybody how no, how no. can you prove I, Kobe? I your, no, I just want to get your take on what you. Just, I mean, because you I, can because ask the, because no, get I your, think, let's get your overall take. No, let's get your overall take on whether I you want to go down. I got Kobe over LeBron. I think okay. he's a better defender. Now, how can any LeBron James fan say that LeBron James is better than Kobe defensively? Can I answer that? Go yeah. ahead. Do you Don't know say he Kobe... can guard one through five. He can't. No, no. Do you know of what Kobe's me. defensive rating is for his career? No, nah, what is it? It's 105.5. Do you know what LeBron's is for his career? What is it? 104, bro. Stop it. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Bro, that's not even me SFM, talking. That's so petty. This, bro. I got Stop. this. Paul, Paul, hold on. Paul, hold on, bro. Paul Pierce's <laughs> uh, defensive rating for his career is 103. Better than Kobe and LeBron. Is Paul Pierce a better defender than Kobe and LeBron, <laughs> sir? No, he's not. No. Oh, okay then. So next question. So next guy on the panel who's going with LeBron. Damn. Tell me how LeBron is better than Kobe. Damn. You said LeBron for so I can't. I can't answer this question. Hold on, MacDef. MacDef. Hold on, MacDef. This is mm -hmm. what I want you to do, MacDef. In your take, and as opposed to trying to ask everybody their take, I want you to tell us why, so, in depth, as much as you can, without going on a long soliloquy. I didn't. I'm not, going, have, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to go on the show. I just it's want okay. people to answer the hold question. Hold on, MacDef. Mac hold on. Pose the questions later. I just wow. want you to tell us why you want, why you selected Kobe. Because I don't care if you're going on the narrative of team or career or individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just tell us why you have Kobe over LeBron. And then I think the Kobe, I have, have Kobe over LeBron ranked high, ranked higher over LeBron. I think Kobe's a better scorer in the, in the defender. Now, now can on, anybody do, man give us a little bit more? No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't no, have. No, to hold on, hold on. SFM. No. Be, be because you can't be because <laughs> oh, when SFM, somebody tries on, to say no, no, no. Listen, listen <laughs> no, to me. SFM, the reason I hold on. SFM is trying to not say anything that we can debunk. So he's taking a safe route. Yeah, just meet me again, Lamont. Hold on, Every Mac time, bro. Hold on, Mac Every time, just, bro. Hold on, Mac Depp. This is a, a show where I want you to elaborate on your talking points. And don't be scared that you might say something wrong like Levi and that we're going to catch you. You stay muting me. Uh -huh. I'm just not <laughs> muting. No we hear you. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'm saying, Mac Depp, just elaborate. All right, I'm gonna put you on the big screen so you can elaborate and tell us why. Kobe's no, I'm not. E I'm telling you, I'm not exactly. elaborating. Get up on that screen. All man. I asked, all I asked was, can anybody explain why LeBron is a better defender? You're gonna tell us why. No, you're gonna tell us why, You can't tell me. 
No, so right if tell you us can't why. tell no. me why, then I'm going Mac with Def, the narrative that Kobe you need to is tell a better why. defender. Mac Def, hold on. It's, because this because is he has 12 all defensive teams and LeBron has hey, James hey, has six. And number one all time and first team. Bro, bro, that's bro, that's, 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 that's why I think you. Think you. Mac Def, you, you keep you posing these thoughts. Tell us why you think these thoughts. Because that's what I want Le- because Kobe has 12 all defensive teams and LeBron James has six. Okay, now keep cooking. Follow that up with something. No, else. that's 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 the narrative. That's why. That's I think all you he's got. Better. So that's all you got. Hey, that's all I got. Hey, LeBron, now somebody tell follow, me why he's better. I can follow LeBron up James on that defense argument too. I mean, I, I mean, look, yeah. Mac Def has had a okay, lot of bad so takes. Okay, so if you can't answer the question, can I leave made. off the panel then? No, no. Is this answer the question? Mac Def, it's just Mac, you know, Mac you they bias, just leave. You preface this, you preface this by saying, can any LeBron James fan answer this question? So is this open up to the entire panel now? Or you want more LeBron fans to answer the question? Go ahead. Anybody on the panel. Um, can I actually can I actually go ahead if you don't mind? Um, I feel like um I feel like Kobe is a better defender. But the thing is, it depends on do you but, def- but he do wasn't you talking prepare. to you then, Levi. Okay, he was so asking yeah. whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I can okay. answer that, bro. Ahead, hold on, ahead, hold on. Brother. Sturdy said he had an answer for it. I mean, I'm assuming Sturdy. No, no, that's fine. Like, that's fine. Go whoever ahead. feels like the Le- LeBron's a better defender, it's you that need to be speaking up. I, he posed I got the question you, to you guys. All right, go ahead, DJ. You muted. Go ahead. go ahead, DJ. I thought he said he got us, man. Yeah, that pressure. And real, and real quick, to the but people in the chat, Jay Mar, I didn't lie. He said LeBron James was better defensive rating, not win shares, in which Paul Pierce is, I, has a better defensive <laughs> rate, bro, we're not win about shares. LeBron so stop Kobe, saying I'm lying bro. and listen why, to what people are talking Paul about. Pierce, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, because he's giving you the metric. How let the him, metric let him, let him thing, answer the question, bro. bro. Answer. Like, you not understand. Now, now hold on. Now, he fixed hold his on. mic. Fix his mic. Hold on. Let me say one thing with Mac Death where you need to be careful. If you go down and using defensive analytics, then don't get mad when people bop you on the head with the offensive analytics that completely destroy Kobe. Because oh, you're I'm opening not, the I'm door. Not mad. So no, I'm hold not on, mad. no, no, no. Hold on, hold okay, on. No, we're gonna off, we're gonna go let DJ answer that question, but I'm saying okay, go ahead. you're opening so the door. So cut him off to get on me, but I can't. No, you go ask ahead. the question. I'm allowing him to ask the cool. question. I'm gonna let DJ go out. Oh, we got the door, you're gonna get in trouble. If you open that door, you can get yourself in trouble. Go ahead, DJ. But you can't answer the question. Go ahead. But what I was saying was, like, LeBron is all-time defensive win shares. LeBron is 11. Kobe's mm-hmm. nowhere near the list. In That's playoff right. defensive win mm-hmm. shares, mm-hmm. LeBron That's is right, second. Bro. Kobe's mm-hmm. not on the list, bro. So okay. how is he a better defender? That Please defensive win shares is great. That, no. that, that means okay. him, okay. him being bro, more him respond, than me. Bro. Let Mac Def respond, SFM. Damn. Okay. So defensive win, defensive win shares, I, I don't have the analytics or the science or math. To, to compute that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go by that metric and say, yeah, LeBron James has better win shares and regular season career playoffs. Okay, cool. My what I talk to LeBron James fans and we argue about who's a better defensive player. Uh-huh, LeBron up. James fans say that his peak was higher than Kobe's. Okay, so LeBron James peak defensively had to be from 09 to 2014 because that's the only time he made the all defensive teams. <laughs> During that, during LeBron James's peak defensively, a he didn't have more steals than Kobe. B he didn't have more first team all defensive teams than than Kobe Bryant. So his peak was only five years because he was only first team five years. His peak was short. Kobe's peak was not only longer; it was just as good. So you're telling me that LeBron James is better defensively because his peak of only five years is was better than Kobe's peak, whose peak not only lasted longer, but he was a better defender for an entire decade. And even if you want to hate on Kobe yes, and say sir. he didn't deserve those last couple of defensive uh, <laughs> teams because he was garbage, okay, well, motherfucker, take five away from him. He still has seven, which is more than LeBron. So, again, if I take an entire half a decade of defensive teams from Kobe, he still has more than LeBron. So his peak is longer, and he was just as good. Hold on. Let me ask you a question, MacDuff. For career, 
LeBron James is top fifteen in defensive win shares. Exactly. Can you tell, can you tell us where Kobe is? I don't. I don't know. Tell can me. I respond? Can I respond to that? Oh, no, hold on. Again, no SFM. With, again, Why y'all don't want me to debate, bro? Hold on. Hold on. Because for um, one, yeah. SFM. Because yeah. one, when you start yelling and we just, oh, I'm asking Mac Def a question because he was posing the logic of def- first of all, straight. you had all this time to talk about defensive win shares. You didn't. Mac but Def, I know the definition. I was trying to. He don't know the definition. Uh, SFM, you gotta go, bro. Like I said, man, people don't know how to shut the hell up. Please don't let him come back. Here's here's the thing. Mac Def is the first person to bring up defensive wind shares. Now that he's brought it up, defensive wind shares. Okay. You brought that up. Remember, you said, because you you brought up defensive wind shares because you felt like that was a better analytical stat to use than defensive rating. And LeBron's defensive rating is higher, but is LeBron's career defensive wind shares higher than Kobe's? Yes or no? No, I, I don't. I don't know. Go, go ahead. So go, why would go, you go bring? Ahead. So why would no, you? No, no, no. You couldn't. Win? You couldn't answer you my question. So why the fuck? Hold on, hold on, Mac Def. Mac Def, hold on. I'll tell you, Mac Def. I'll tell you. LeBron James is top fifteen in NBA history in defensive win shares. Kobe's not in that top fifteen. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so why would you bring up an analytic that doesn't support? I your didn't argument? bring up the analytic. He didn't bring it up, Lamont. He didn't. I didn't bring it up. You brought up defensive win shares. So why? Why would you? I didn't bring up defensive win shares. That was me, Lamont. So what what metric are you using to support this? Again, like I said, Kobe is a better defender based on all defensive teams. He was a better defender for a long period of time. If you want to go to advanced analytics and science, which numbers that want to support y'all, then cool. You can go ahead and do that. But I know 12 all defensive teams is a whole lot more than six. And if you guys want to say LeBron James was better at his peak, which was only five years, Kobe had a longer peak and was better during his run. That's all I'm saying. He's the youngest. He's the youngest defensive player to be named to an all defensive team at the age of 21. Yeah. Yeah, Can I answer this as well? If you want to go on defensive teams, I'm fine with that. But my thing that is that is that is that is that is that is, that is um, a fair point if if it was an accurate assessment, you know what I mean? Like if if I if after follow after if I agree that on loan, right? To say LeBron, I mean Kobe's a better defender strictly off of defensive team selections. That means I have to by logic say he's a better defender than Scottie Pippen. Exactly. That means by logic I have to say he's a better defender than Tony Allen. That means by logic, I have to say he's a better defender than Hakeem Olajuwon. That 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 what that means. So if we just go off that logic alone, just proving he's a better defender, which we all know all those guys I listed are clearly better defenders. That I'm just saying it's going. It's it's kind of kind of shallow. That reason is kind of shallow. That's all I'm saying. But I feel like using defensive win shares is also it, kind of no. But, but what what we're saying is okay. I think when you talk about defense, there's so much to it. Because if you're going to say he's a better defensive player, what do you favor defensively? Do you favor defensive versatility? Do you do you favor team defense? Do you favor a guy being a better on-ball defender? Because if you're just going to jump and say these things, and then also your position. I mean, at the shooting guard position, how many other shooting guards were really competing for those top spots defensively that you're losing out to? Like, so if I look at your position, if you're losing out to a ton of extremely strong defensive wings, like, you know, then I, then, you know, then that would make sense. But I think there's a lot to take into context there. I mean, I don't know if I wouldn't personally rely on just defensive teams, but if that's Mac Def, if, if, if his argument is, you know, if, if the most he can really, break it down is into defensive teams. I mean, that's fine. Some people can't really understand the game on that level. The past defensive but teams, past awards. The thing is, I still wouldn't use defensive win shares because um, defensive win shares is basically, it's calculated by estimating the number of points allowed per 100 defensive possessions. But the thing is, it calculates your teams, like generally how much points your team allows while you So what do you use, but- Levi? If you so, if, if we don't use can I just, share, point. just no no what we're saying is okay. let's how about okay. don't tell us okay. I don't want to hear people tell us why a certain metric is not good how about you tell us what metric is the best to use okay. if it's not any of these if it's not defensive rating if it's not defensive win shares what metric is the best to use if any and if we can't use any metric then why should we take just your word for it 
So what I use is what I use is it's not really defensive winches because I feel like it's skewed because with your defensive winchers, you can be a bad defender on a good defensive team, which will bring up your defensive rating and your defensive winchers. That's why I don't use that, right? So what I would use is how far you reached on the defensive player of the year voting, right? Per year. Now Kobe had now Kobe had two years where he was top five in defensive player of the year voting. Now I will say LeBron had one year at his peak where I feel like he got robbed the defensive player of the year. Yeah, two. But the thing is he has two. One, one where he was he robbed. Two. He was robbed in 2013. No, he, he has two when he finished second Don't defense player of the year. But in 2013, he should have won, in my opinion. In 2013, no, no, but I'm letting you know he has okay. two. He That's has two fine. finished top, top, fine. top five at the best play of the year second. And I'm going to double check that. I'm going to double That's check Kobe because I don't think Kobe did more than once. He did more than once. I've looked it up. He didn't do more than two. He you, didn't do you more can call line a few times, bro. I just got to double check. That's okay, all. well, check this one this time because I'm more than 100% sure. So the thing is, personally, I prefer – your defense, how good you were on defense over the course of your career rather than just a peak, right? Now, for example, it's the reason why you guys went at me before when it came to scoring because I mentioned peak years rather than prime years or basically the longevity of your career. Oh, bro, but by that point, logic, guy. the point I'm making is over the course of LeBron's, uh, sorry, over the course of Kobe's career, he was a better defender. Right, he was a better defender over the course of his career. And personally, I value uh, on-ball defense. Hold on, most. Levi. I when value you say a better defense. defender. When you say a better I defender, value defense. Break down mm -hmm. defense to me. What 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 so, what did Kobe do better? Like I said, okay, he was some, better on-ball defender. Better in on some defensive defender. in some defensive systems, based on coaching, you're asked to defend differently. So we've seen Kawhi Leonard be elite astronomically elite defensively with Toronto and San Antonio yet in the defensive system with the Clippers off ball all of a sudden his off ball defense has been atrocious he he does not look the same his on ball defense is 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 same but off ball he looks atrocious mm. so and it's primarily because of that defensive system so mm. what are you valuing and are you taking into context how LeBron was asked to defend within the team concept guarding our assignment that's all I care about Guarding okay, there's no such thing as guarding your assignment in the NBA. Your assignment, your defensive There's assignment. no such thing as guarding your guarding. assignment in the NBA. Defending especially assignments, especially, man -man defense. especially when about. we're now in an era where all you have to do to get a favorable mismatch is ball screen, high oh. ball screen, high ball screen, high ball screen until you get the yeah, worst defender on you. Like that, and now, that's, and no, now, that's now, that's now, now, at the, now, 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 are you saying that teams are Ball, high ball screen screening to get LeBron on them because he's a weaker defender. I mean, what what are we doing? Like, how we in what context is Kobe better in pick and roll defense or pick and roll efficiency, or is he better um, at rim protection? When we break down defense, how are we breaking this down? Well, if you because you just player, saying you Kobe just saying Kobe's a better, better defender. Right. Mac Def at yeah. least Mac Def on said ball, he he's a much better. Mac. Okay, we can give you that now. Off ball. Oh. Okay, I think, okay, I will say off ball, I would say LeBron, I give LeBron the slight edge off ball because he was a better chase down defender. That's Pick and roll defense. Kobe. Transition defense. LeBron. Do you have any other aspects of defense that we need to cover? So you gave me on ball, pick and roll, transition. Kobe beats It's not going to look for you, bro. It's not going to look good for one. I mean, we can go more. Sure, yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, what about drop coverages? I'll give you Kobe. Drop coverages. Well, yeah. well you can't put Kobe in drop coverage. He's too little. Exactly. <laughs> LeBron Christ. is not good at drop coverage. LeBron is not good at drop coverages either. Both what? of them are not good. Yeah, Both of them are not good. What? Both, of them, good. Both of them are not good. Both LeBron of them are under average. LeBron Both is like first in the he's NBA. Covered. He's like first in the NBA. Good. Both of them are not good. But LeBron is like I've number one in the NBA them. off Both drop of them coverage. Are not good. In his bro, peak. Okay, I'll give you bro, this. LeBron, LeBron right, right now at third. No, 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 Levi. Levi. Over the course Levi. of his career. See, I knew you was going to slip up and not know what you was talking about. LeBron is at 38 years old. He's number one in the NBA. In defensive you really drop think coverage. LeBron's defense is good at 38? Let's be honest. No, that's not Let's what I said. I said, you really said that. defense is good. Levi, do you know what drop coverage defense yeah, is? Levi. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what drop. First of all, no coach in his right mind is going to tell Kobe to drop coverage. Go into drop coverage. 
Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way. Dwight Howard would have would have would have bodied him probably 10, 15 if he's times. He's betting Easily. small boys, he can, but above that. Bro, there's no, hold on, bro. Do, I, I, so we gotta buy, we gotta let's move past drop coverage because he doesn't. Look, know I'm, I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to. Listen. No, no, I don't have time to explain it. But yeah, but whatever. But Kobe, Kobe is not a good in drop coverage. A, a coach is always going to tell Kobe to chase over, always okay. chase over, hmm. and you're going to send somebody else into drop. I you just, got, I, Lamar, I just want to mention, like you are right, sir. Kobe did finish twice in top five for defensive player of the year. Yes, he did. Yes, LeBron he did. finished. LeBron finished five oh. times. Oh, four, five times, yeah. I told five, four, times. five times. And his most recent time was in tw- um, 2017. Yeah. Allegedly, that's the year he stopped playing defense. But okay. Like, now hold on. Let me let yeah. me move on with let me move on with Levi. What about in zone coverages? Who's zone, a better defender? I couldn't say. I couldn't say because that's not something I paid wow. attention. Wow. I will never. Well, the thing well, is, I won't, run, won't, I won't. I won't. But, I won't talk but, about. But naturally, but naturally, on. if. Naturally, if LeBron's better off ball, that would probably make him better in the zone. Zone, exactly. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Okay, so that's LeBron, another aspect. Agreed. So what, what's happening now is time. what's happening now. If we break down defense, and then also just on versatility, you have to at this end who can guard more position positions at an efficient level. But it's not Kobe's fault. He's just not answer the now. question. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's just answer the question. But that's a bad argument. Okay, it's no, not, it's, just, it's just it's we're not we're not LeBron weighing everything. Is, LeBron can guard one through five, but that's well, not Kobe's okay. fault. Okay, but we're not weighing nah, everything. Nah, but, 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 hold on, hurt, 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 hurt. Oh, not, I just want to let him know we're not, not we're not weighing everything on versatility. I'm saying it's just one of the aspects because we've okay. checked the box yeah, off on off ball. We've checked the box on. I mean, we can go to post defense too. Who do you feel use a better post defender? I would say LeBron is a better post defender. Okay, so it sounds is, like we're checking off of on ball defense. That's it, one part no, of on no. ball defense. Hold on. I can't give it defending all in the post and defending on ball it's, on the perimeter is completely different. That's why you have post defense, and then you, yeah. when you talk about on defense, you're generally referring to perimeter defense. Exactly. Nobody said Gary Payton's a great on ball defender and then included the post in it as well. At guarding guards and small forwards, I'll give Kobe the edge in – post defense but everything else i'll give lebron i'll give lebron i think kobe the thing is while watching kobe one thing i'll give you is kobe was better at focused defense right in short spurts right if you're giving him in spurts of on ball defense because i watched them both play the thing about lebron is i feel like lebron was a better team defender because i'm trying to analyze both of them kobe was a better was a much better on ball defender but the only thing about kobe is he focused so much more on his assignment rather than focusing on team defense kobe was a better team no, no, there's no such thing as just your assignment Man. team defense is your assignment you're given a defensive assignment kobe was given no, defensive assignment bro, in the bro, 2008 bro. redeem team no, there's Levi, such thing as defensive Levi, assignments i play Levi, basketball i'm given defensive Levi, assignments Levi, every time Levi. i go on the court Levi, and no, there's there's no sis first row. When I tell my team to go out there, like I said, we just play, we just play easily the best, the best, one of the best programs in the country in overtime elite. And everybody knows who they are, the, mm. the cold hearts. So what we're saying is, and they got a ton of individually great players. I had to worry about I had to worry about individual assignments a ton. But yeah. I didn't tell any one of my guys to go out there and stop any one guy. There's no such thing as I can't tell my best defender to just go out there and stop one guy because if my best defender stops you, all they're gonna do is ball screen them off and then switch them in, and they're gonna attack somebody else. That that defense is a defense only works if the team is defended, not exactly. one player. But I don't care how good I don't care. Remember, I don't time, care how good you are individually. If the other four time. guys ain't locked in as a team, if you're not locked in with the unit, that's the team is gonna suffer defensively. The point I don't get that you nah, make. Uh, the point Levi, I don't get make, Levi, like, defensive assignments Levi, exist. Levi. Like, okay, if, what, okay, what, what would you consider? Point? What is the can defensive assignment to you? Like so when you, the last, assi- the last defensive assignment you got from your coach, what was? Yo, okay, okay, so the last defense, listen to okay, me, okay, okay, can I can I speak because I played? Go get some water. The last, true, so the last defensive assignment that I got was earlier this week. Um, we were playing a game, and number two, I had to guard number two. He was scoring a lot of points, so I had to stop him. From scoring, that was my defensive assignment. Were y'all I running a boxing one or something? 
No, originally we were playing zone, but zone wasn't working because he was scoring too much through. I, I know, so but if, that, we have to switch man to man. But the only way I tell one player to go stop one other guy is if I put my team in a box in one. Because there's no, there's I, other than that, because if you're just playing regular man, that means if you just, if your job is to stop one guy, what if you need to rotate over into help and you got to leave that man? Are you not going to rotate over into help? See, that's the thing. That's the point I'm making because my coach told me not to go for help. Not oh, to you just got help. a shitty coach then. Yeah. Man, that's, <laughs> that's, what my, that's what my coach <laughs> my, dude, That's my coach, yeah. man. That's, hey, hey, I, that's I, my I wanna, coach. I, I want to I, I wanna get that's my I want to get that's all that is. Hey, 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 that's my coach. Do that, man. Man. <laughs> Hey Levi, this is what you hey, could have done. Coach, you could have, you could have talked about moments Kobe Bryant had that he played great defense, deep defense on certain guys. Like in the Boston series, he played exceptional defense on Ray Allen. Ray Allen was really a non-factor that whole series in 2010 when 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 Kobe got his revenge on Boston. Kobe Bryant did a hell of a job running running over them screens, chasing Ray Allen all over the damn court. He played great defense on Ray Allen. Another, another, another moment you probably could talk about. Hell, those Russia Conference Finals, it, you know, series that he had, whether it's the Kings, whether it's the Spurs, you, you could have pointed out some individual efforts that he had against certain guys that you could have that you could have pointed out instead of just trying to use trying to use the metrics or. His, you know what I'm saying, yeah, his man. defensive accolades and shit like that. Talk about his individual performances that he had that, that could be rememberable that he had defensively that probably would help you all. But. Yeah, um, the last thing, because I'm going to leave now. Look, I'm going to leave now. So the last thing I want to make is, look, um, I still think LeBron is greater all time. He's number two on my list. Honestly, it's fun debating this, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. I don't really care. I mean, whoever you believe is better, I can't really give a rat's. I just think it's fun to debate. So, yeah, that's all. I don't really care, to be honest. It's just basketball. Like, they don't know me, so it's not like it really matters anyways. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Like, But it's fun to talk about. That's all. So no hard feelings at all, I swear. <laughs> We're just all right, giving you a hard right. time anyway. We just uh, Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, that's cool. I think there's a lot of good points there. Yeah, um, I think there's a lot of good points. I do feel like LeBron is still the second greatest all time. I think he's the only guy that can really surpass Michael Jordan at this point when it comes to um goat talks. But look, I don't think LeBron. Uh, sorry, I don't think Kobe is overrated, right? I don't think Kobe is overrated. I feel like personally, if you rank Kobe between four and six, in my opinion, you correctly rate him. And I'm not just trying to sound good like somebody's saying. That's what I genuinely believe. But I well, feel like overrated. You know, that's Man. not overrated because I feel like sixth is perfect because Kobe, in my opinion, falls in that tier with Magic, Bird, and Duncan. I think he's in that same area, right? So that's why I put Kobe around that four to six area because I think he's in that same area, in my opinion. So you got him over Duncan? I have him over Duncan. I have him over Duncan. I don't know about that. Don't, I mean, I can't. I can't knock him from it. I can't. The only reason why I have him over Duncan. The only reason why it's very him close. Him. By the way, between it's them close, two, it's, it's close. close. It's close. It's close. It's close. But the only reason why I have him over Duncan is because if you look at their head-to-head matchups in the playoffs, yeah, you can say, well, he had Shaq in the first part of his career. But what about when they met in the middle when? Tim Duncan was a defending champion in 07. He faced him in 08 and he got gentleman swept by Kobe. So when do y'all agree with the defensive comparisons? comparisons? So according to a Kobe scouting report, I'm gonna put it on the screen. They 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 can as a defender, I'm gonna tell you the players that they compare him to. I'm gonna put it on the screen. So, and I'm gonna show y'all. I, yeah. If some of y'all might be offended by it, I don't know. But defensively, they compare him to Marquise Johnson, Dan Marley, Steve Francis, and Trevor Ariza. <laughs> that's a weird. Uh, that's weird, though. I, I don't understand that. That's how you go from Steve Francis over, to Trevor Ariza. Yeah, that's all over the place. I don't know. Oh, that's all over the place. That's all over the place. I'm just telling you, bro. I mean, all over the place. I think Kobe was just a good value, Scottie Pippen, on defense. <laughs> Bro, he was not close to Scotty Pippen. He was he was hey, he was, hey, he was, he was, he was a cheap Scotty, I think. He was a cheap Scotty in defense. That's what I was what did you say? He was no. a cheap Scotty in defense. He was a good value Scotty. 
Nah. He couldn't do what he's he not do even what, a witch, Scotty Pippen. I didn't say he's as good as Scotty. Damn. Like, did you not hear what I said? <laughs> he, he is a better <laughs> basketball player than hey, Scotty. Pippen. To, um, he's a he's he's as good as a player. Hey, let me give one little yeah, shout yeah. out. Let me give one shout out, y'all. Uh, make sure, hey, y'all, when y'all if y'all send a cash out, try to um put your YouTube name in there because I don't want to be yelling y'all um y'all government names out. Um so but yeah, salute to uh k baldwin uh in the in the cash app i don't want to say your whole government name but salute man appreciate you for hitting the cash app yeah you know got them got them six to four to six that's the list that's overrated but yeah you know it's your list no but but my but my thing is what 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 guys got to realize when it comes to if you go try to do the Kobe and LeBron comparison, Kobe, if you on the side of Kobe, you got to avoid the stats. You got to avoid the numbers. So you got to break down his skill. You got to break you gotta down. Avoid, bro, you got to avoid the impact. You got to avoid the accolades. Everything. You got to avoid the stats. You got to avoid the moments. You got to avoid the sales. Like, like I don't know what else, bro. What? Oh, you know, some niggas do that shit. Some niggas, some niggas pull that yeah, shot. Duncan play. never led the league in nothing once. That MacDef wants the link. MacDef, hold on. Let me hit the link. He got the most defensive teams. What is he talking about? Yeah, MacDef, why'd you leave, MacDef? You was in here and you left. No, nah, like, 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 no, nah, you need him more research. You need, you need yeah. a comeback for that, for that all defensive yeah. point. Yeah, Tim yeah, Duncan. It's some it's it's guys that can make argument for Kobe Bryant. You just got to know how to do it, though. It ain't going to be easy, but you just got to know how to do it. You just don't do you it, might. like, like Herm. Like it's the same thing. Like, why don't people argue Kobe is better than Jordan? Cause they all know Jordan is better. So why, why would you do it with LeBron? Only reason why I do it is because I feel like people like disrespect Kobe a lot more nowadays because of it is too Kobe. much Kobe disrespect. I think the, I think the Kobe. But just say that then. No, bro, bro, y'all, this, say, no, hold just on, let me, y'all. Just let me say this. Just let me say y'all this, consider right? anything Kobe disrespect. That's Man. not anything. Bro, somebody say can say Kobe. Kobe, Kobe had a lot of turn. Kobe was disrespect. inefficient. Stop the Kobe disrespect. That ain't Kobe disrespect. Kobe outside the top ten is disrespect. Saying Kobe, y'all say, Kobe, y'all say anything is Kobe time, disrespect. Opinion, is disrespect. Hey, hey, bro. I don't think everything. Oh, I don't need is to do no a lot research, of the time, man. These things are the truth, but to say Kobe's outside the top ten, come on, that's disrespect. Hey, but not nah, the dude about Tim. The, the, the dude slow. about Timmy D. What you what you had said about Timmy D? Uh, he, you oh, has talking about Tim Duncan. But nah, bro, 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 he had he told me he said something about win shares, and I want to talk about rent shares. I was talking about bro, boys. them stats don't matter. Win shares. I know, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Tim Overrated Duncan. Shares. They, they Tim only Duncan. matter when you're favorite. No, 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 no. I'm just That's saying. No think, just think about this. Most of the top ten that led the led the league in something, whether it was, I mean, got the scoring, whether it was title and assists or rebounds or points. Uh, some shit like that. Or uh, blocks. He, Tim Duncan never once led the league in a regular season in points, rebounds, blocks. Uh, nothing. That. Kobe but Bryant. The- okay, now when we talk about that that box right there, Kobe Bryant checks that box because he led the led the league in scoring two years in a row. He had the pleasure of playing with four out of five times. You had uh Ginobili and Tony Parker on your team. Now, okay, we can say. Kobe won with Shaq four out of those two playoffs, but every time that the Lakers beat the beat the Spurs, Kobe led that series. In two thousand two, he had a rough series against the Spurs. Shaq he was two, had twenty one points on forty four percent. Kobe carried that series. I mean, I ain't gonna say just carry, but he had, he averaged twenty five points on forty five percent. He had a high field goal percentage than Shaq. And if you know Shaq shooting 44% or just a big man that's playing on the paint shooting 44%, that's like a guard shooting twice, 20, probably 30 some percent from the motherfucking field type type shit. That that that's what that look like coming from uh a big man that's playing up under the goal. You feel me? So in 01, uh, 01, 02, 04, and 08, all those times the Lakers and the Spurs met up in the playoffs. Kobe had beat the shit out of Duncan. Kobe led those series in points and assists. As a few of those series, I think he led in skills too. You feel me? When he beat him in 08, y'all just came off a championship. Kobe missing two starters, Andrew Bynum and Trevor Ariza. Trevor Ariza ain't played the last game five. Andrew Bynum ain't played the whole series. Kobe got a broken finger, and he beat you in a gentleman's suite. Average 29, <laughs> and Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol played shit. Paul Gasol that series averaged, what, 12 oh, points on 40, serious, on what, on 40? 42%. 
40 some percent. Kobe had a high field goal percentage to him, too. You That's feel me? That listen, Kobe dominated the shit out the Spurs. Uh, dom dominated the shit out the Spurs. He's on a whole nother level. Okay, get that understood. I already debunked y'all defensive rating, defensive win shares. It don't, y'all don't know. Yeah, y'all need to put it up. Y'all need to know the definition for defensive win shares. Y'all don't know the definition. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because you don't. Yes, you can. You can debunk it. Let make that do it. Because you can't debunk it. You for because you don't no, know the metric. Know, man, Straight, that's you that's talking that's to you don't even know what the metric is. You don't know the definition of you don't know the definition of it. It's really based off more of a team aspect. Hold on, let me help you out. SFM. Okay. I don't care what it is. Kobe and Tim Duncan played 52 times. Here come. Tim Duncan has a winning record. He's 31 and 21 versus Kobe. And when you go to the statistical stat lines, Kobe wasn't. Kobe, Kobe wasn't dominating Tim Duncan. Bro, the playoffs. Man. What? Hold on, let this me talk about on. regular. See, I'm talking. He on, ain't do the playoffs. Hold on, no, it's all combined. So, no, Kobe has a better record combined regular season and playoffs, Lamont. No, he doesn't, man. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, bro. Yes, he does. Thirty-one and twenty. You better look again. Thirty-one and twenty-one. They played two excuse games. Excuse you see, you see what's Third, going on. That's, that's, that's wrong, what happens, bro. When you concede, you you try to move the topic oh, on. Bro, Kobe, let him Kobe, talk straight, hold on, bro. Hold on, Kobe. If you, I'm if talking you, to her. Right, the playoffs by <laughs> the playoffs by themselves. Kobe is 18 and 12. It's a six. Oh, okay, game. okay. So you said by himself, okay, without Shaq. No, hold, hold on. What, what, what do you mean? What, what, I didn't, what do you mean? You this said Kobe by himself. versus Tim Duncan. Period. For their careers. Yes. It, it, yeah, Kobe. If you combine wins and losses, bro, both regular bro, season man, and stop it, man. All right, bro, man. Tim hey, Duncan uh, head to head with Kobe is thirty one and twenty one. He has a winning record versus Kobe. If you go to the stat lines, it's really not that. You said Kobe dominated him. Kobe averaged that's a twenty. Lie, Lamar. Co- hold on, Kobe averaged twenty three point eight points versus Tim Duncan <laughs> in the Spurs. He averaged three turnovers, four assists. Five rebounds, um, while Tim Duncan averaged 19 points, 11 rebounds, um, and two blocks. I don't really consider that dominating. I think Tim Duncan scored less, which we know Kobe's probably going to be the better scorer. He got took a ton more shots. What? Hold on, hold on. So we don't consider a man at 22 years old averaging 33, seven rebounds, seven assists on 51%. I'm just talking about the head to head. Hold on. Okay, okay. In the head to head, I'm finna tell you his numbers. Uh, numbers against the Spurs for his career in the playoffs. I'm finna tell you. Come uh, on, did, bro, got it right here. Bro, hold on. Let's just share the screen, bro. Yeah, let let just people read for themselves because you you be finessing. So, we'll just zoom in. And somebody mute your background because. You cannot have babies crying in the background because oh, that can get the that can get the stream taken down. So this is stat lines. And then you can go to the playoffs. Here's the playoffs right here for you. Yeah. Tim Duncan, 25 a game, 13 rebounds. Kobe, 28 a game, five rebounds, four assists. I mean, that's not dominating them. How the fuck is that dominating? And and, and then the the eighteen and twelve, Kobe has the bro, you know, head to bro, head. bro, two thousand one, the Western bro, Conference Finals, he dominated to, them. Stop trying to isolate years. Just that's so not isolate. I told you he dominated them. No, that's not. You, you're you're trying to it? make a different okay. argument. That's what I you're can, doing. I guarantee Nobody you. Asked, I guarantee, no, I made an argument no, SFM, of what you're saying. I guarantee you, I can isolate a year and make Duncan look better. <laughs> okay, 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 listen. Li- okay, listen, listen. It don't matter whether you bring up that two thousand. Listen, listen. Let- okay, when we talk about just straight dumb, well, it don't matter. Why are you, you, br- why are you bring- picking out two thousand? This, this no, no. Here. Bring up. We- okay, let's bring up two thousand eight. I mean, I do that over Duncan, He dominated them in no. two thousand eight series. Hold they on. lost in the gentleman sweep. He done that average yeah, thirty. Hold on. This is this is this <laughs> he is, done that average thirty. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Fifty some percent from the I'm field. Saying. They couldn't do nothing. And I had Bruce Vaughn. Hey, yeah, look, the stats are right in front of you. you see, what, what we're saying now, now you see the I'm, finesse. It's not a. It's not a finesse. It's not a finesse. You Tim finesse Duncan, by telling me it was domination. 
It Jim was. Jones, Jim, no, I don't know. was domination. Oh, one. The Western Conference Finals, 2008 Western Conference Finals was domination. Don't forget no, he what, beat him. What, what don't, what I'm saying, listen, listen, if you don't go forget, to head don't head forget head. he on, beat him in 2002 in 04. And that's 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 let me go, What happened to 2003? Let me go real quick. Five, real, two minutes. 31-21 in the regular season, but Kobe has the win-loss record in the the better win-loss record in the play, in the playoffs. The series head-to-head is 4-2. Kobe Bryant and he's averaging and he's averaging more points and he won with Shaq and he beat Tim Duncan without Shaq. Right. To to We're to me. To you. you said what? We're getting, We're getting to you. This is the overall right here. This is all of them. Yeah. If you want to go, if you want to combine Kobe regular season playoffs, and playoffs, Tim Duncan has the regular season. Kobe yes, has thirty-one to twenty-one. Kobe, Kobe has, has the score. Tim Duncan has every other statistic. Yeah, the playoffs is it yes, the he's highest supposed to have level. rebounds and yes. blocks. He it playoffs is at the mm-hmm. highest level, and at the highest assistant? level oh. when it was a series, he's, he, I he mean, was he's losing oh, mostly against Kobe. He's supposed to have all that, but, but Kobe. Oh, hold on, hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. So at the highest level, which what? which I always say is the finals, Kobe's numbers took a significant tumble most of the time. We're talking. I don't know. Kobe versus Tim Duncan. Tim and Duncan do got a Kobe better finals record. Than Kobe though. All right, he do got a better finals record. No, Kobe hold on. Got the, a better the, winning record. Right, right, hey, hey man, hey man. When, how did you I not debunk thing. the win shit? You got what are you talking about? Duncan never repeated. Kobe repeated twice. Duncan's five and one. Hey, he never repeated twice. He never repeated once. Tim Duncan is a top ten player, top ten defensive player. He is. Yeah, just about LeBron. How again? De- defensive rating. I, like I debunked that because y'all not gonna tell me because hey, Paul Pierce has a better good. defensive rating than LeBron and Kobe. He's a better defensive. Okay, player. so hey, Mac, Mac, what makes what makes Kobe the Mac- better defender to you? Outside I of told him. you. No, I told I, no, you. No, I'm talking about about like when, when you're watching the game, when you see certain things on the court. Kobe Bryant's a way better perimeter defender. What else? Break down, lock down, lock down, lock down defender. Lock down. Squat your ass. You could say LeBron's a better with the coach defender, tell you, put but I mean, ass down to the floor. Larry Bird was a great help defender as well. It, like, what I'm looking at is all defensive, <laughs> all is, defensive man. teams. Kobe has 12. That is accountable for 12 years of being an elite def- perimeter defender. The greatest over defensive a greatest player of all time that has the fewest defensive uh, teams. Okay, they didn't have defensive teams when Bill Russell uh, played. <laughs> What are we talking about? Hey, uh, hey, uh, that was a mute point, Lamont, bro. Come I'm just on, just messing bro. with you, Mac, man. Come yes, you so have 30, to. It's 30, my brother. So, Kobe's better than LeBron defensively. Thank you. So, 30. can I ask you a question, Mac? Uh, uh, but, but the problem with that logic, back go there, ahead, Herm. It's, go it's, ahead, it's, Herm. It's, like I said, it's shallow, bro. Like, if, no, if it's I not. Agree, it's though, the, if rate, I don't, the numbers I don't, don't mean like, anything. Mac Duff, Mac Duff, if I agree, hold on, Mac Duff, if I agree with that logic, right. Because the only reason why you said Kobe's a better defender than LeBron is because of all defensive team selection. That means I have to agree that he's a better defender than Scottie Pippen. That means no. I have to agree he's no, a better defender than Tony Allen. That means no, I have man. to agree he's a better defender than Akeem Olajuwon. And, and, and Michael Jordan. Is a better defender that's what that means. Hold on, hold and on. And Michael Time Jordan. Out. That's what that means. Can I finish? Can, can I finish? Okay, so based on that, that's what that's what you're saying. So let's see who's more. No, concrete. that's what you're saying. You're, let's see. Let's let let's battle then. Who's more? No, that's what concrete? you're saying. Who's more concrete? All defensive teams or all or the numbers? So based the numbers. on the numbers, I, hold on. You, you say numbers, I say defensive teams. Now, on based on your numbers, Paul Pierce is better defensively than Kobe and LeBron. I didn't bring a defensive on, rating. On, time out. I never no. brought up defensive rating. Time out. I, I'm, I'm That's going not my across numbers, the nigga. board. Could you stop hollering? Stop arguing with me and just listen. I'm going across the board. I'm not going to leave anything out. So defensive rating, I debunked that. Defensive win shares. You're basically saying LeBron is a better defender because of defensive win shares. I didn't say that. W- w- which he has, what, 15 to Kobe? What? what is, Kobe's not top 20. So Le- so based on those numbers, LeBron is better than than Kobe based on the win shares. Now, if you look at the win shares and everybody on there, Scottie Pippen is ranked 19th. Are you going to sit here and tell me that there's 18 players that ever walked the face of the earth better defensively than Scottie Pippen? No. 
So with that being said, let's go to all defensive teams real quick. Tim Duncan is number one all defensive teams with 15. He's top 10 all time defender. Kevin Garnett, 12 all defensive teams, second all time. He's a top 10 defender. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has 11 all defensive teams in which he played four seasons, which they didn't even have defensive teams. He's a top 10 defender. He's a top 10 defender. Tim, not Tim Duncan, but Scottie Pippen has all 10 these all players defensive. are hold on, hold on. Can, yeah, Mac Def, All these players are in the like top in off. defensive win shares. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I've been waiting. I've been trying to even let him finish with my, but he, he was on the roll. He was on the roll. Hey, hey Mac Def, No, hold on, these... hold on, hold on. Elvin, hold on, time out. Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes is uh, doesn't have the all defensive teams. You you can't tell me based on numbers. But he's number eight all time in defensive win shares. Yes, he is. I'm saying deep. Yes, he is number <laughs> he eight. Is. He is number eight, but he doesn't have the Hold all on. defensive. Let me ask you this question. Let me, on, let me finish. On, I didn't say win shares, Lamont. Let me finish. Uh, okay, let me Mac finish. Mac based on your based on your numbers, you guys are trying to tell me that Gary Payton is 47th all time. In defensive rating, are you going to? I'm Don't supposed to believe rating. based on defensive rating that Gary Payton is 47. You hold going on, back for between hold rating on, hold and defensive yeah, bro? Hold on, I want to. I'm going to name the players all time. See, the thing is, all these great players defensively are all look. All these players at the top of the defensive win share list are all looked at as some of the greatest defenders of all time until we get to LeBron. So number one all time in defensive win shares. No, because can I can I say something? Can I say Hold something? On. No, y'all gonna let me get through this. Y'all keep trying. Every time I try to get to a point, this is why y'all start talking. So when we go to the defensive win share list, I want y'all to tell me: Are these players truly the, one of the greatest all time defensively or not? Bill Russell, who stands at number one, yes. is he arguably the greatest defender of all time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Number two in defensive win shares of all time is Tim Duncan. Yes. Number three is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Do we agree he's a good defender? Yes. Number four is Hakeem Olajuwon. Do we all agree he's one of the best defenders? Yes. Yes. Number five is Wilt Chamberlain. Do we agree he was one of the best defenders? Yes. Karl Malone at number six. Do we agree he was one of the better defenders? Yes. No, I don't. He, he was good. He was he good. I, I underrated. Think his, he was I think underrated. His, no, I think his defensive effort was very inconsistent, but when he played defense, I think he was very good. Now, okay, let's go to Kevin Garnett, who's under. Do we all agree he was one of the best defenders? Yes. Yes. Mac Def just mentioned Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes at number eight, one of the best defenders. Yeah, he is a great defender. Okay. Hey, hey, we, hey Lamont, Bobby have, Jones ain't on there. Hold on. We have, hold on. I'm going to keep going down the list. We got Patrick Ewing at number nine. Do we agree he was one of the better defenders? Yeah, that was the best. Uh, David Robinson. Do we all agree? Yeah. Then at number 11, we run into none other than LeBron James. Now, all of a sudden, he ain't a good defender, even though he stands at number 11 all time defensive win shares. But then he's above a guy that won four defense, I think three or four defensive player of the year, Dwight Howard at number 12. LeBron is over Dwight Howard. Do we all agree Dwight Howard is one of the best defensive players of all time? No question. And then you got Jason Kidd, you got John Havlicek, you got Robert Parrish, you got Ben Wallace, you got Matumbo, you got Scottie Pippen. All these players are good defensive players, but LeBron somehow being at number 11, it don't count. He ain't a great defense. That's the weirdest thing to me, right? That's the weirdest thing. Mac Def can run off all the names of the great defenders of all time, but when you run at LeBron at number 11, that don't mean nothing no more. With Kobe being way down on the list, that don't mean nothing. I didn't Did, say that. All of a sudden, we have to disregard wind shares all of a sudden. The, the, the wind shares. No, that's not what I said. No, 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 no. No, no shares, but, Hold on, y'all. Wind shares is lying. accurate. Make that look to lying. you, Rick. Hold on, y'all. Wind shares is all of a sudden accurate with everybody else Let me go after until we get to LeBron at number 11. No, because I ranked. Hold on. Time out. I ranked two players that are in the top 10, Elvin Hayes and Carl Malone. Hell no. Nah. They're not top 15, top 20. They don't have the all defensive teams. That's a lie. Now, there's nothing down. There's no metric. I don't care what win share. Oh, is. There's no the metric that you can say that LeBron is better defensively than Dwight Howard just because he <laughs> has a better win share percentage. That doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. Hold on. Can I, can, can I make that? Let me say something real quick. Go ahead. Bro. Now, to the defensive win share things, uh, 
like I said, that's more of a team aspect. You can say that LeBron, who else was up there? Kareem, um, I think Michael Jordan, as a team aspect, they have had better defensive teams. I think Larry Bird was up there too, I believe. Yeah. They have had better defensive teams than Kobe Bryant. I'm just talking about as a team, especially Tim Duncan. Have oh. had better defensive teams. That's who more the, of a who team the as, 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 as thing. Kobe being at 40 really show it really kind of show how much a type how much lesser help he had on defense just as a defensive team. He was mostly always the best defender on his team every year, bro. You feel me? We you then when you go to Tim Duncan, then you could be like, okay, Tim Duncan, he had Bruce Bourne, Kawhi. Then you can't just say just oh, he was the best defender every year. He was clearly the bro, best defender. <laughs> we I'm not gonna say every year, bro. Tim, I don't know if Tim Duncan was the best defender on his team every year, bro. I don't know about that. It's, but, look, but look, uh, but look, whatever you say, that, that's what you say, bro. If you but believe any fucking any player that's a defensive, that's a listen, listen. Listen, that's a def- that's a team aspect thing, bro. That's a team aspect thing. Bro. And Kobe being at forty is really benefiting him more than more than what he's losing, bro. It's showing how much lesser help. It's showing how much lesser help he had on defense, bro. He didn't have the, the spe- that Bird, Tim Duncan, Michael Jordan, LeBron, LeBron, Scottie Pippen, all of them had overall better defensive teams than Kobe Bryant, bro. That's a fact. Yeah, what I know that. Rank, what that's is, not an opinion. That's a what fact, is Kobe bro. Rank, what is Kobe hey, hey, Mac hey, Jeff, you need to start. Mac Jeff, what you're not understanding is the definition of that uh, uh, of defensive win series. You need to go look that up, bro, and then you'll get a better understanding, bro. No, what, I, what is, I, I, what is I Kobe? get that. But I know you're going to know. You're break it down more easy. to be a metric of how to rate defensive players. Yeah, like, yeah. You can't tell me there's 15 because Gary Payton is not top 15 in defensive win shares. I'm supposed to believe that Gary Payton is not a top 15 Wait, defender is, all time. Is, so based hey, on his win shares, think, oh, and that's, what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just because just because Gary Payton on guard one through five, y'all going to say that LeBron, well, he a better defender than him, too. I just want to ask you something. Let's go to versatility. Hold on. Where does where does where does Kobe rank all time in defensive team selections? Number two. Number two, number two, number two, number two behind Tim Duncan. Listen, he's number two behind Tim Duncan. If we follow this logic, if we follow this logic, that means I have to say he's the second best defender. That only sound right, right? No, we're not saying that. See, now you're trying to take our argument to something we're not seeing to confuse these fans, bro. I see what you're you're trying to do. I'm still trying to give credibility. I'm still trying to use your logic. Let me get this, FM. Let me get this, FM. I know. I'm trying to use your logic. That's not our logic. That's not our logic. You see, you trying to put a stamp on more defensive things I see what you're doing, bro. Time out. You put up with these fans, bro. Yeah, let me let me let me let me get this. Let me get this. Where, this whole I, hold on, time out, time out. Based on, hold defender. on. Yes, yes, we said that. Now, now, I, when I, we I, said when we said defensive rating and the numbers that they're misleading, they're misleading as far as ranking Kobe and LeBron. When we went to defensive teams, we were ranking Kobe and LeBron, not all time. So don't try to sit here and say based on. 12 defensive teams, Kobe is seven. That's not what we said. We're debating who's a better defender between Kobe and LeBron. And that's all we said. Who's a better defender, Pippen or uh, Kobe? Pippen. Why? Kobe got more defensive teams. No, that's and see, MacDuff. Let me say something, MacDuff. No, he got more defensive teams. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. MacDuff. This is what he's doing to the fans. And and fans, hold on, MacDuff. MacDuff. This is what he's doing to the fans. He's using MacDuff's own logic. No, no, that's not his logic. That's not his logic. SFM. SFM. What are you talking about? Let me get Kobe sustained. Kobe sustained. Let me get this, bro. You've been on the panel for a hell of a while. Kobe sustained being a league defender longer than Scottie Pippen. That's cool. That's hey, correct. Man. Like that's a that's fact. correct. Scottie now, Pippen now, sturdy, now, sturdy, sturdy. Kobe's based defensive on my argument, hold on, hold on. The hold offensive on. teams. Based on based based on my argument, when yes. I start naming based on my argument, when I start naming those players that were all defensive teams. All them motherfuckers is top 10. Now, based on your numbers of win shares, I'm supposed to believe Carl Not Malone. No, 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 no. That does make sense. Not because you're saying, you're saying I'm supposed to have 
you supposed to think Kobe is better than Pippen because he has more all defensive. No, teams, I'm using your right? logic. No, I'm using co your logic. Co co yes. Correct. You but I'm what? ranking, but I was ranking Kobe versus LeBron. So why you're going to uh, so why you're going to other players? Everybody that has the all defensive teams that are that high are ranked top ten all time. Period. No. By everybody. Well, by Kobe everybody. Kareem. Hold on. Is that on. simple? Hold on. Time out. Time out. If you look at the if you look at the top ten all defensive teams, the top ten players who got all defensive teams. Well, Duncan. A, mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me. Duncan. Akeem Olajuwon. Uh, Pippen. Is it in that order? Kevin, Kevin, hold on, hold on. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Garnett, Kareem, Jordan, uh, was who, Gary Payton, Dennis Rodman. These guys, these eight guys that are ranked in the top 10 defensive teams all time, everybody has all these guys top 10 or top 15 all time based on that metric. Why now, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't ask who was better. I just I didn't told say you this guy was, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say this guy was better because he has all defensive teams. What I'm simply saying is based on the criteria of all defensive teams, which tells you how great that player was for not only that particular year, but how great that player was at his own position defensively. I like to go with that criteria. And based on that criteria, if you look at the top 10 players who got all defensive teams, everybody has them ranked pretty much top 10, top 15. Now, Based on your numbers, win shares, I'm supposed to believe that Carl Malone is top 15, top 20 defender all time. Not my numbers. Load of bull crap. I'm supposed to believe that Elvin Hayes is a top 15 defensive player all time. Bullshit. I'm supposed to believe that LeBron James is better than Dwight Howard defensively. Stop it. Your numbers don't are not concrete enough to tell not me who's numbers. better defensively, but all defensive teams are. That's the point. So I don't once care again, how you rank by your logic, by your logic, Kobe's ranked second all time in defensive teams. By your logic, that means you're still going, you're hold, still on, hold on, by your go logic, ahead. by your logic, the only guys that can usurp Kobe is the guys that's mentioned in the all defensive teams that's considered top ten all time. So let me ask you a simple question: Who's better defensively, Tony Allen or Kobe? Kobe. You fucking Ooh. insane. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? Tony Allen, bro, Tony Allen even had an interview. I swear to God, bro, I yes. remember the interview. I swear to God, I remember the interview, bro. He said, and the Carl, reason, and the I reason, did, I, and did, the I reason did, I did, was 20 years ago. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, bro. Be quiet, be quiet. Like, bro. Like be quiet. Like you don't know what you're talking about, bro. I like, I, like, I like this dumbass argument, bro. I'm but you could go ahead because you don't have any metrics. No, no, it, it is. No, it, it is. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Kobe be better defender than Mike. He a better defender than No, nobody. No, no, no. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, listen. Strut it, strut it. Strut it. I strut it. You are so ignorant, bro. You are so ignorant. That is ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. Stop trying to yeah, make it seem like that man is making a simple point of just it why. Is. Just okay, about? defensive. No, 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 because th that's not just it. Well, okay, no, that's he, what he just Mac, said. okay, make death, make death, make death. He literally just said, make death. Can I ask you a question? Make death, back the back. He mentioned Dennis Rodman, make death, make death, make death. He mentioned none of them. niggas. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, but now you, Kobe you, is who, who is the greatest defensive player? Team. Who is the greatest oh. defensive player of all time to you? Hold on, y'all. I got Bill Russell. Hold on, hold on. Let's not let's not go in circle. I want to ask y'all a question. This, I think this is a fair question. I believe this is a fair question. When we look at defensive rating, when we look at defensive box plus minus, when we look at defensive win Number. shares. Number. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike. Though. All I'm saying is, when we look at those three defensive measurements. Why in any of these measurements, why is LeBron always coming out ahead of Kobe? In all of them? <laughs> he comes out of Kobe ahead of a lot of No, no, no. Hold on, Mac Def. I just want to say, because the thing and is. And again, the, man, the defense of win shares is more, it's more hold on, beneficial. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Y'all got to just listen, bro. I, I like, first of all, I have, it'd be different if I had, if Kobe was ahead of LeBron in one category, LeBron was ahead of him in another. It. 
in all three of them, in all three of the defensive measurements that we have, LeBron is ahead. The only measurement that Mac Def has, which is one, it's one element that we can utilize, is that Kobe has more defensive teams. But LeBron is ahead all time in defensive uh, box plus minus, defensive mm-hmm. rating, and defensive win shares. That's three to one, LeBron. Why does your one you use LeBron's three? That's crazy. Now, now, all I'm asking is this, because my whole point is what is more concrete to to say who's a better defender? Is it the numbers, what you're saying, plus, minus, this, that, and the third, or is it all defensive teams? It's definitely the numbers. It's not. Well, the problem, the thing, thing is, is that just like Sturdy mentioned, it's one not. of the easily one of the best it's defenders not. of all time and it's Scottie not. Pippen doesn't have as many defensive selections exactly. as Kobe. And so that's so, not what I'm no and so that's not what argue, he's, that's what he's trying to make it as simple as that. That's not what he's saying, saying, bro. He, like I hate y'all. Hold on, let Mac try to make that. Hold on. You guys are listen, this is what I'm saying. You guys are trying to hold on, Mac Def. Hold on, Mac Def, hold on, Mac. First of all, SFM. You don't need to speak for Mac Def. He's been through multiple debates, he knows how to talk for himself. One. And I don't understand what he's saying because he keeps telling me Kobe has more defensive teams. What about – okay, if he had – what about those defensive teams make them that much more special than all of the analytics, Mac Def? It's on you, Mac Def. I think he fixed his um the alarm in the background. What I'm saying is, Lamar, I don't. If we can't, why can't we? Why can't, if we only can? Okay, there's a there's just so much wrong to that shit. But like, if I'm I, that means I have to say Jordan. That means I have to say Kobe's better defender than than Ben Wallace, Dennis Robin, Sony so, Allen. That's the flaw in it. That's why I, I say it's I, a flaw metric to you. No, that is not a that Ron is not a flaw because I never said. I never said based on all defensive teams. If you have more, you're better. I so never said using? that. I what I said was based on all defensive teams as a criteria. It is more concrete to decide who's a better defender. Okay, so Mike, and what I is the criteria you, that you're using? On, hold on, and I gave you an, an example. In bro, my example, I don't want any examples, bro. What is all the what is all of the criteria that you're using okay we know you're using defensive teams what else are you using to determine who's the better defender based on everybody that has all defensive teams what that's <laughs> that's the only measurement i'm teams. using so oh so we were right all you're using no, is defensive teams no but you're but based on defensive oh. teams you're trying to say okay so all if we use defensive teams whoever has the most defensive teams is the better is the that's better what defender. You're and using. i'm not that's not what i'm saying no, because look, I just asked him. Look, I was trying to ask him this on purpose. I asked him, what's, who is the greatest defensive player of all time to you? Bill, and he said Bill Russell. And Bill Russell don't have no defensive because they didn't even have that back then. You feel me? So I know he's not just saying it because our defensive team. Bro. Nah, so, it, it, okay, it's, it's, it's more concrete so because if argument, you go on your numbers. The argument, you, hold on, Mike, because you're dodging this question severely. No, I'm not dodging in the, the question. the argument with LeBron and Kobe. Why do you say Kobe outside of defensive teams? Why do you say Kobe's because he was a better LeBron? perimeter defender? He was a better lockdown defender. So let me ask you a question. Then, since you just said that, why didn't he guard Allen Iverson in the finals? Since he was that great of a defender, please tell the me. reason. The reason he didn't guard Allen Iverson in the finals, a because Allen Iverson was going to run him dog tired, and they needed Kobe's offense, but. No, but, they didn't, bro. Hold they on, time, time out. Time, can, let me finish. Let me finish because Kobe, I think, averaged 24 in that series. And he was the facilita- facilitator of the offense. Like, like eight so, rebounds. So, 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 hold, on, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Oh, but, oh. but, but two things. Number one, when Kobe did guard Allen Iverson in, ga- in game one, Allen Iverson didn't even score over 15 points. And Kobe blocked his shot four times and stole the ball. So he, he guarded Iverson good in game one, but 
it wasn't sustainable for an entire series because they need Kobe's offense. Now, number two, and I'll let you go, when Kobe did decide to guard Allen Iverson in a regular season game in the second half, Allen Iverson had 16 points in the first half against Kobe the whole entire second half. I'm talking about the the finals, bro. Didn't score score a point. The finals, bro. The man was 35. Oh, okay, so I, I answered your I answered your question directly, bro. You said why he didn't guard Allen Iverson in the in the f- first game. He did in the first game. He guarded him actually very well. But the reason it wasn't sustainable because they needed Kobe on the offensive end. Wow. Now, when you t- now when you talk about LeBron, why couldn't he guard Kevin Durant the whole series? Because it's freaking Kevin Durant. You need LeBron on the offensive end. It would be stupid. Kevin Durant would have fouled him out. Am I right or am I wrong? But I didn't. He still I, cooked that bitch. But for me, as a LeBron fan, I don't sit here and say LeBron is this all world defender like y'all say Kobe is. Like, that's some dumbass shit to say, bro. No, but like, no, listen, up, listen. No, you no, just no, don't no, get to no, say no, that he's no, an no, all time great talking, defender, bro. Talking, bro. We get to say that Kobe like, is an all time great defender. That's why you're you jealous. Finish, Nobody bro, is making like, it seem no, like, oh, we'll bro. That's you. So in your head, you fight Kobe. your demons. So why did Gilbert Arenas drop Just six on his bitch ass in the fucking building, bro? Why did he the drop reason six Gilbert on? Arenas Because he did. Oh, There's no need. Oh, Everybody have to game. You try to make it seem like he the perfect defender. Michael Jordan got cooked before. Scotty that got cooked before. Bill Russell that got cooked before. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me answer his question directly. Once again, allowing MacDef to escape really having to explain real defense. And I said he's a better perimeter. Was, def- no, I said he's on, a better perimeter and lockdown Mac defender. Def, Mac Let Def. me answer his question. Hold on, Mac Def, that, No, you're not escaping this because we all know that just I'll answer perimeter, your question. perimeter I defense got you, makes up about five percent of what I got you guys. in the NBA game. Mm-hmm. Perimeter defense. If you're if you're looking at defenders, mm-hmm. perimeter defense doesn't make up a ton of what you have to do defensively mm-hmm. to be considered great a great defender. Yeah. So I will. I would assume that you're talking about more than just perimeter defense. Yeah, I said all defensive teams, but you no, 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 don't accept on, that. I, so that I, I, all right, so we got idiots again. MacDef, see, MacDef is running from it because I think he knows this is something he's going to struggle with. Because I think he's just saying Kobe's a better defender, but he does not know why. And so when we say break down the game defensively, MacDef, and I'm going to bring you back in, let's do our due diligence. Let's talk about, the just like I asked Levi, let's talk about off-ball defense, Let's talk about in zone coverages, which Phil Jackson did run. Let's talk about, um, zone, like I said, zone coverages, off ball, um, post defense, all of these things, all of these elements, because you have to combine, do all of these things at a high level to be better than LeBron James defensively. Because LeBron James does all of these things at a high level. So you got you to gotta talk about all these things. It can't just be one. Lamont, I, I, Lamont, is it – if you if you you're a coach, who's the better defender? A guy that can play the perimeter lockdown or a guy who's off ball help defense? Who's the better who's the better defender to you? Depends on what I'm running. Thank okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Not answering the so, question, but you Thank didn't you. answer the question. Mac Thank Def, you, exactly. Us. Thank you, Mac you. Def, Mac Def, What is that? That, makes, not an that answer. makes perfect sense. Okay, hold on, Mac Def. Tell us why all aspects of defense, not just ball on ball coverage, why LeBron James is a better defend. I mean, why Kobe is a better defender than LeBron. I really want you to. I know you can break down the game, but there's a reason why you're avoiding all other aspects when you talk about defensive versatility, when you talk about post defense, when you talk about Zone coverages, when you talk about off-ball defense, why are you avoiding talking about that? I want to hear you talk about that because these are all vital aspects of being great defensively. Can you can you confidently say that Kobe is better at all of these elements than LeBron James? And if so, explain it. So I, I just think this is what Lamar was referring to, bro. This is this. We can't just you, everybody just came along. on. Bro, there. look, Kobe is a better defender on the perimeter and in the mid range where they're taking mid range shots. LeBron is. We're not. I'm not gonna say he's a good defender down low in the paint, 
a pay because he's not, but he's more reliable down there because he sees eight and he has just the size. But anything up from around the three to the mid range, Kobe is better than him in in, in defense. When we talk about lock lock down, squawk them knees, you feel me? Spread them arms, you feel me? Lock down your man one on one, you feel me? Kobe Bryant is that guy. You feel so me? He has been looked at that guy. You feel so LeBron, me? LeBron, so LeBron, 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 LeBron. Can we say a glimpse? Yeah, we had a glimpse, but that was a very short, short line of period. We saw a decade of Kobe making first team defensive selections down there every year. Kobe hey, defense. Kobe, hold on. Kobe defense was very impactful in every championship that he won. He was the best defender on the on the court for his team. You feel Did me? You Get this straight. Uh, so yeah, okay, from, so from from the from the three true. to the mid range, Kobe. Kobe That's not is, true. That is not true. Because when he had Ron Artest, Ron Artest, he was, he was not better. When he when he had Trevor Ariza, he was not better defensively than Trevor Ariza. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is where. I, oh That's my God! Fair. That That's was the worst. I swear to God! I swear Listen. to God! That was horrible. Watch Listen, this. SFM. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's okay. Hold Listen, on. SFM. SFM. Watch this, Lamont. That's stick, that's stick right there. Don't run from that, cause I'm finna cook you. Bad. That's a film. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Y'all gotta. Kobe, Kobe, defensive responsibility changed throughout his career. Throughout his prime, it changed. With Shaq, he was able to exert more effort on defense. That's why he was such an elite on-ball exactly, defender, bro. Because he didn't have that much responsibility offensively, from chasing, from ducking screens to picking up on. Um, for picking up and he was always elite. This is nothing. Why y'all don't ever bring this up about Kobe's game? His his defensive IQ. He was always elite. Bro, I do. Stop talking like we some nigga, random fans. Talking, nigga, this is me. Nigga, this is this, film. Bro. Nigga, none of y'all know more about Kobe nigga, than nigga, me. Nigga, nigga. nigga, stop acting like nigga, I don't talk fuck like fuck that. Nigga, you won't be fuck, trying bro. to receive that. Shut the nigga, fuck up, up nigga. nigga damn, you can't bro. tell me nothing about Kobe. Like, you trying to school me on nigga, Kobe. You so fool ass on so what, boy? Bro, bro, ain't no motherfucking goofy, boy. You finna get me started in the car. Bro, damn. Fuck. Emotional, man. Like I said, bro, his, his defense responsibility changed. So when they got Trevor in two thousand from two thousand eight specifically to two thousand ten, Kobe, um, offense responsibility changed. He had to a b not only facilitate at times, but also his off ball movement was severely increased. Hold on. So all of these metrics right here are lying to us. So when we talk about Kobe Bryant's defensive uh, rebounding. When you talk about his block percentage, he's not ranked. We talk about his steal percentage, he's 159th in the league when he played. We talk about uh, defensive rating, he wasn't ranked. Uh, defensive block plus minus, he wasn't ranked. Defensive win shares, he was 33rd in the league. But all of these metrics, we just supposed to say, nah, who cares? He's Kobe. He's the best defensive player. He's better than Tony Allen. He's better than Bruce Bowen. He's better than Trevor Reese. He's better than Ron Artest. He's better than all these. We just, just the, all these numbers is just lying to us, right? E even though these numbers mirror other shooting guards who also struggled defensively, these numbers struggle the likes of a Ray Allen and a T Mac. But that's just how team games work, Lamar. Like the more offensive possibility you get, the more defensive personnel you need. It, it, no, what I'm saying is, why when it comes to these de defensive metrics? They're all accurate about everyone else. Bro, I just brought up defensive win series. It benefits Kobe more than it benefits LeBron. We're, we're Even not. though Kobe, like, what are you on, not understanding? That's the team shares. aspect. Did you, do you read the screen? This is not just defensive win shares. Oh, I'm not looking. I'm just hearing what you're saying. But I, I, I thought know. you said defensive win shares. No, that's one. Remember, we're talking about all aspects of defense. If we're talking, about, if we're talking about if we're talking about all aspects of defense, how come when we look at all aspects, all these categories, when we look at the numbers, none of the numbers support what you guys are saying? Now, do we, do we know in certain moments or times if Kobe was great on ball? I believe he was. But it, it's hard for me. To, I, I've only seen one player in NBA history be as elite, be the best offensive player in the league, and also be the best defensive player in the league legitimately. And that was Michael Jordan. He's the only player I've seen do it legitimately, and the numbers support it. So when when we say Jordan was the best defensive player of the year, 
all these numbers, defensive rebounding, box block percentage, steal percentage, defensive rating, box plus minus, defensive win shares, all those numbers support also support Jordan being the best in the league defensively um, at that position. So it's easy to say that because the numbers support it. And when y'all just say these things about Kobe, y'all have absolutely nothing to support oh, 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 Okay, okay, okay. This is what I was going to say too. It, before 2014, all defensive selections, all of them, was voted. Listen what I'm saying. No, let's go over here. It was voted amongst the NBA co- it was voted amongst the NBA coaches. All the NBA coaches. Before mm-hmm. 2014, right? Mm-hmm. So before so for most of Kobe, which I know all of Kobe defensive uh defensive selections were voted amongst all of the coaches, bro. You feel me? Now we just need to start. We we need to stop being fair. Now I give you that he has the steals. He I said he was better off ball. He got it, well in his peak. He was better uh, better off ball. That was mainly to me and man man in the block in the blocks too. He better than that. He gonna get that chase down block. He will run run out there getting the steal. But with the thing is that's a very short span. What you don't understand is Kobe has nine first team all. NBA defensive selections. He tied no one all time with GP, KG, and motherfucking uh, I forgot who else. Jordan. And he number and he number two in all NBA first league selections with eleven, only behind LeBron. With LeBron got with twelve, thirteen. All the, all his first league selections combined to twenty. Nobody has more all league first. Uh, selections than Kobe Bryant. He had the longest consistent prime on both sides of the floor. For most of his career, he was the uh, best defensive player on his team. Now, I will correct you. 2010, he won the best defensive player on the team. But uh, 173 players said that he was the third best defensive player in the NBA, though. You feel me? They said that Ron Artest was the best defensive player in the NBA. But you say Trevor Ariza was better than Kobe on defense and I stopped. And those Stop. numbers you put up was flawed like a mug. I don't understand. What was the what point was of those? Flawed? They, they were totally it, it says that T Mac and Kobe were neck and neck, one spot off of each other as far as defensive rating and win shares. They're a hundred spots apart. It don't make sense. What are you talking about? The defensive rating Kobe's one oh five T Mac is 104. They're 108. Like they're neck and neck all oh, defensive. Ray Allen's then, 108. 108. Ray Allen's yeah, 108. they're all neck and neck on defensive rating. Then you go to defensive win shares. They're not even. Cl- they're not even close. It doesn't make sense to what me. What are you talking about? They're not yeah, because that's what I'm saying. You got such a definition, bro. It's, you yeah, just, bro, you got, it doesn't. It doesn't make. Okay, sense. what what is not making sense? How can you be so close on one stat then far away on a whole nother stat? Because you're just, not looking at the definition, bro. Defensive member, like as y'all say, we, we all know that defensive win shares is more of a team defensive thing. So when you say it's easy to wait, it's, what? Oh, hold on, Mac Def, let me explain. Defensive win shares is more so team than individual. Okay. Defensive rating is I'm glad you admitted that. Defensive rating is going to be closer to individual, but it's still flawed. And then you have defensive box plus minus, which determines your impact on how the good the team defense actually is. So you have defensive rating individual, defensive win share team, defensive box plus minus your impact towards the team being good at good or bad at defense. And uh, so, and then, and, and, and again, all of these analytics have their flaws. There's no analytic that's not flawed. Okay, but okay. The, the issue, the, the the thing with analytics is it's called it, it's like a preponderance of evidence. Like when you have so much circumstantial evidence saying that, like you committed the murder. I mean, circumstantial evidence individually is not very strong. But if I had a ton of it pointing to you, that is going to indict you. So what I'm saying is when LeBron James beats Kobe out in defensive rating, box plus minus. Defensive win shares, steal percentage, block percentage, and defensive rebounding. It's kind of odd. It's kind of hard for me to just say, man, he keeps beating him out in all of these metrics, and I still have to say Kobe's better. Even even if you just stick with accolades, like they did with all defensive teams, right? LeBron got more all de- um, defensive player of the year votes. He finished in top ten and top five more than Kobe. So if you want to go to accolades, that's part of defensive accolades too. 
So is, uh, the, is that a wash or do we dismiss that as well? Bro, this is what we're saying, bro. No, we give no, LeBron, wait, wait, listen, bro, wait, wait, we give time LeBron time the steal. Did you block. say it's a Le- wash defense? Listen, 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 no. strutty, strutty. No, no. You, strutty, you said, know, strutty, strutty. As a lockdown <laughs> defender, bro, as a lockdown defender, bro, you worry about steals and block. We talk about lockdown, bro. I saw my me, me and my man, Imano, Imano. <laughs> what is you talking about? We talking about Imano Imano. Listen, you will you will much rather Kobe Bryant to go guard Stephen Curry than LeBron to go do that shit. For shit, sure. You will really much want Kobe Bryant to go guard motherfucking uh let's say probably even fucking KD than motherfucking LeBron would. Let's like let's let, let's be honest. Let's so be honest. Because he's gonna Mac shoot the ball. He's gonna play around the perimeter. Uh, fuck uh, well, fuck the height. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe already got a series uh, against KD when he made KD shoot 38%. That whole motherfucking series, 38% from the field, that whole series in 2010 with the help of Ron Artest. With the help, Mac with Mac the Mac help Mac of Ron Artest. Oh, with the help of Ron Artest around the perimeter. Yo. You feel me? I mean, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're going on the tangent, man. I got, we got your point, though. You're going off in one of them ranks. Mac what I said, what I simply said was, right, all defensive team is an accolade. So is defensive player of the year. Are we going to dismiss LeBron finishing top five, top ten, and even top two more times than Kobe in defense player of the year? No. Is, that, is, is that a wash? No. Are we, are we going to dismiss the fact that majority of his prime, he was listed top ten in defense player of the year wards? Are we going to dismiss that? No. That's an accolade, too. So, uh, so, Macbeth, what I'm simply saying is, bro, even if, even if I was going to use that, even if I was going to use that, bro, I'm not, I'm not using that, bro. It's not a, it's not an accurate depiction. I got a question for you, Lamar. It's not an accurate depiction of what that player does defensively. So when Lamar keeps she's just simply asking, what does Kobe do defensively? You can't just simply vaguely say he he's a lockdown defender. What makes him a lockdown defender? Hold on, what makes him a lockdown defender? I'm not asking you, SFM. When did they bring the zone into the NBA? In the early 2000s. By 2001, 2002. Uh, it was, I think, a couple seasons after that. McDuff, you oh, see that? Jordan yeah. did have his own. He played his little ass. That's, 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 Lamont, that's, that's, that's when Lamont was simply been asking, bro, because what makes Kobe a lockdown defender? You can't, bro, if I, if, if I tell you, this person never watched basketball before. Can you please describe Kobe's game? <laughs> describe how they play defense. You can't just say he's a lockdown defender. Kobe, Kobe, not even that. I'm not. Kobe was good. This question is not for you, SFM. Oh. oh. What do you, so if you try so to explain, make you describe how, what is a lockdown defender? No, yeah. What makes Kobe a lockdown defender? A, a, lock, a lockdown defender is somebody who could play on the perimeter, guard their uh, player man to man. And stop them from scoring. That's it. <laughs> wow. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lockdown. Yeah, that's a lockdown defender. So, so Mac, is a perimeter. Is a perimeter. What did your player? eyes see on TV, sir? Macduff, hold on, hold on, Macduff, listen, bro. Defense, <laughs> defense is not just you guarding a man, bro. I didn't say that. Of- you asked me a lockdown defender. That's the definition of a lockdown I'm, I'm, defender. I'm getting to that point. I'm getting to that point. Defense is not just your assignment, bro. It's is you. It's you. Um, executing defensive scheme on a string. Kobe was so cerebral, bro. There would be multiple times where he would literally break up the play, jump in the the um, divert a back line cuts, jump in the pass lanes, anticipating because he knew the play. Early in his career, he was better getting around screens. He was better at at, at guarding um, point guards than opposed later in his career when he had more offensive responsibility. What I'm saying is, MacDev, you do Kobe disservice when you don't mention what he does off the ball. No, no, I don't because I know Kobe's Kobe's um, good off the ball. I'm not saying he's garbage. I can, he I can just, agree. He just, just reached for the steal. He, Hold on, he just time out, time out. I can sit here. The thing I'm not being biased here. I can sit. I can sit here and say 
yes, LeBron off the ball was a better help defender. I, I have no problem saying that, but I'm not going to just – and everybody should obviously know that Kobe wasn't no slouch off the ball, but everybody understands that a lockdown defender on the perimeter is better defensively than anybody who's off the ball help defense unless that motherfucker – is a rim protector like that, but well, LeBron is not that. Le- so LeBron I'm, I'm sorry if I'm going LeBron off. Of, a, I'm sorry if I'm going off of my knowledge and logic that people hey, would understand that. Hey, but damn, why do I have to say that? Look, Kobe this is, is off topic. Great off the ball. This is off topic, y'all. This is this is off topic. You about to mention right. it, aren't you? No, 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 no. This is something completely different. I know this you about to. I think I think I think SFM. It's wild and crazy as he is with his debate style. Yeah, it is. I think SFM could be in the Fab Five, man. What is that? For, Hell cer- no. for certain topics, especially a Kobe topic. Man, what is that? It's it's the debate. It's like if if we go if we put our together our team, FYF Sports versus Players Choice. If we had a if we had a Kobe topic, I out. I I could easily throw SFM in to defend Kobe over anybody. That man will go crazy. Oh my! Oh hell no! I trust him. <laughs> I have so what down. you what you gonna do it, Strutty? Talk about hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, y'all. You can't take that away from him. No, as crazy as he might be, if he takes off the cussing and, and they're going crazy, it in in a, in a in segmented in segmented time. It'd be hard to out debate because he knows too much. He tells too many numbers and stats. He put and he puts it all together in such a quick time. He'll overload voters' minds and he'll have so much information in the head. See, he can see Lamar, debate anybody. I'm not surprised from you because it's just you, a strategy. You, hold on, Lamar, I'm not surprised for you, come on, because you you have these sports depictions of like Westbrook isn't as erratic as people may seem. He's he really has a smart IQ and crucial moments certain times. <laughs> and you have this optimism, and you know what I'm saying this naive optimism. Draymond like, Green is near Magic Johnson. Get like, the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, you call it you call it SFM Russell Westbrook? Or, 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 oh or hell yeah! <laughs> Damn! Oh hell! Shreddy, 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 shreddy! You acting like you can fuck with me, shreddy? You can't fuck with me. And the Linux ruined basketball. You, can't fuck you saw with that me. play? You saw that play last night, my nigga? I mean, last game with the Lakers. Well, oh hell well, yeah! Well, well, hold on, you saying SFM gonna be start off with the triple double, but he gonna finish with the brick. With the turnover brick at the end, wow. man. With two timeouts left, we got two timeouts. <laughs> Ain't no reason why you picky with dribble, still trying to score and be. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think no, 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 no. I can't do SFM. Like I don't think he. Russell <laughs> I ain't saying Russ got a bad IQ. I'm just saying this times when Russ hit the button. That was a foul, though. But hold on, but well, hold on. I give you that because because SFM does get off the rocker a little bit and just go on a tangent, and go crazy. But if you can tone that down and you get him to take out the custom, man. It'd be hard. It'd be hard to out debate him because he throws so much at you in a short amount of time that you won't be able to rebut all Lamont, of them. Lamont, thank you, Phil Jackson. He just he just put the collections <laughs> crazy-ass niggas. Hold on, SFM, am I wrong for that? I Can mean, I show I, I, that's, that's Look, me and SFM disagree on the ton, but for me to say that, that's just me. It, that's I gotta I gotta be humble about it, man. Well, like, Strutty think he can fuck with me. Like, you can't <laughs> fuck with me. I'll like, be shit, tight as fuck if like this nigga Lamont. You can't fuck we had if we had a nigga like if we had if we had a nigga like Chris Paul, um, Isaiah Thomas, like Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, like Lamont is the type of nigga that nah, I'm going Westbrook as my starting point. You you <laughs> nah, are the type nah, of nigga nah, nah. to do that shit. Nah, but hold on, but SFM will be a curveball that it'd be hard. Like if you put if you put SFM up against somebody like uh you could do Marsh, but if you if he caught somebody like Fluent, I got the question before analytics. How does you view basketball in an analytical way? Lying ass. <laughs> the line lying like ass a motherfucker. Ass. He's the lying. Problem is, the problem is <laughs> I don't, I don't way. Know, way. Get the, the problem is here. I don't know how to answer that question because but about time I was born, analytics. Was no, you season. didn't. Hold on, hold on, If you want to, no, if you want to be Jerry Krause, if you want to, if you want to know history, Jerry Krause was one of the originators of bringing analytics to the game of basketball. Yeah, I've been using analytics since like 2010. Like, what the fuck you talking about? 
Nobody give a fuck about it. It's been part of the game since the 90s. Well, shit. Give a fuck. No it's, it's street shit, Lamont. It's, it's dumb ass nigga street shit. Like, no, it like, wasn't. It's dumb ass hey, I, I got a quick I got a quick question. What what is Tony Parker's win and Lennox ruined basketball? Rating? Real quick. Let me see Tony Parker's defensive rate and 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 win shares. If his is like great, then that just means he just played on the, the San Antonio Spurs a good team. Because everybody I mean, knows Bruce Ball. Hold on, but, but well, are you gonna look at are you gonna look at his defensive rating, win shares, and the, box plus what, minus? What we just what we just seen. Yes, the analytics of Tony Parker defensively. You gotta pull we it. We know up. Tony Parker won shit Bro, defensively. You, you want us to do all the research for you, man? Okay, so you ain't, you ain't got I'll look it up later then. Here we go with that again. What? Man, look up. That man looked up. Kobe, you, hello, Ray Ma, Allen, and all them niggas. I understand. Yeah. I understand the audience, like in terms, of, like why you ain't show them certain stats, but why? Why are you using the real stats, bro? <laughs> why? Are you, why are oh, you bro, listen, bro, listen, no, listen, listen, y'all listen. Just this, said this, analytics this, this is, is kind what of I know. Flawed. Hold on, hold on. Hold this, on. this is bro, this bro. is how I know it's for the stats, bro. This is yeah. this is how I know this shit is flawed. Paul Gasol is higher than Kobe on defensive wins here. Chris Paul, Larry Bird. See, this is what I'm saying. This is Chris a Paul was a good ass. defender in his prime. But okay, okay but good. but this he also had good. Chris Paul was one of the best team. point guard defenders in his prime. Listen, this is a team Bird, one aspect. Of that, of this is a team aspect because we're not gonna dare say that Kurt DePaul Gasol like even try to even make a debate for that, bro. This Too the definition clearly showed this is a team aspect, bro. bro hold on, you like, know what though, Mac Def, Here's the one thing that I can give you. Analytics do favor bigger players. That is the one thing that I've seen. Or the players that play bigger defensively. Um, I think the players that get punished in the analytics, at least the way they're measured now, are the guards. Like you said, the Kobe's and the Gary Payton's. That would have been your best argument. It don't hurt None Jordan. Y'all said that. It, it, it hurts Jordan in some of them. So when you go to defensive box plus Sweet. minus, I think Jordan is down there. He's not even in the top 20. So it hurts. Sometimes it hurts the guards, but for the most part, Jordan was so good defensively. Relative to, Lamar, you know for a fact, relative to error, Jordan was in the 90th percentile. And on top of that, it's basketball. Basketball is stable to the bigger player. Like, no, what, no, no, what, no, what about about this, this, no, about this show how much this show how much this show how much <laughs> Kobe that would have been their re- best this, argument. This, this show how much just how much Kobe just really just had to carry my dude. Like, look at the shit. He's 47. On this list, Paul Gasol is higher than him. I think I, I think I even see motherfucking come on now, Shaq over this nigga, bro. Like, bro, di- bro, he, he was always basically the best defender on his team. This is yes, a team that's, aspect. That's the the Lord said, it is, but I just said how much help you said, and how much help in a half court game. But I just helped y'all out, bro. I just said that a lot of these analytics sometimes give a little bit more favoritism to the bigger player. I just told you that. So if Shaq's a little higher than you think, then like I said, the numbers do give favor to guys that get more blocks and steals combined. So, I mean, maybe it is flawed somewhat to a certain degree, but the problem with the analytics is if all analytical markers have a player over another player is a problem with that. All of them. If Kobe is as good defensively as you guys say, he should not be behind LeBron James in all of these analytical markers. (laughs) Not all of them. That's the problem. <laughs> He's literally behind LeBron James in all the defensive markers, analytically. That's the problem. So, I mean, I don't know how you fight that one. You get, well, you, LeBron in defensive win shares, I know he played with better defensive teams than Kobe did. He did Lamont, not have better defensive Lamont, teams. Why didn't you, Lamont, yes, why did. didn't you show, Lamont, why didn't you show the isolation? But he's still a better player. Why didn't you show the isolation um, defensive metric? And Kobe's still a better player, you're right. On, which one are you talking about? I know on Synergy, they on Synergy. Oh, I was they, trying um, to pull it up, man. I was having trouble logging in. Like uh like pick and roll efficiency. They separate all that. Shit. They oh, separate pick and, pick and roll. They separate pick and roll, um transition. Oh no, hold on. I, Synergy Synergy has within five ball. feet of the rim, ten feet of the rim. All that. Feet. So give a fuck about nine. Yeah, all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Hey, yeah, look, I Tony, Tony, Tony Parker, Parker is all time great. No, I understand, Lamont. Let's do this again. Lamont, I bet you don't want to see it. And, and let's not forget, and let's, but since we've been talking about numbers, we'll algebra two. From, we'll the algebra. Test, from the eye test, from the eye test, too, this Kobe just better, bro. So we no, that's not a very good test. 
No, nah, I'm just saying. It's I know. Not I'm just, even based I know. On the, I, that's what I'm saying. I I, I, I respect y'all debating skills and the analytics and the numbers, but bro, y'all know Kobe is a better defender than LeBron. Y'all know that. Yeah, like they know, know that. that. They want to fight that so they much. Mad. They want to fight that so much. If, no, no, if, not. It's not even close defense. No, it's y'all can debate scoring. Y'all can debate scoring, like but because look, because look, throw. and then it'd be like a friend, yeah. and then like it'd be, and, and then look, it'd be somebody to say, "Well, come in here," and they'd be like, "Some people, most of the time, or most of the time, they they simple debates for Kobe versus LeBron. Like LeBron, like LeBron, like LeBron like got that. more Finals MVPs. LeBron got more like M- M- MVPs. All right, like so, I'm so young, far, right. I mean, hold on, let me break this down. Let me break this down. Get the fuck out of here, Let me break this down. Simple. Let me break this down. Simple. All right. In the game of basketball, protecting the rim is the most important aspect of the game. That's valuable for every position. The only reason why I'm I'm let, I'm gonna get a little secret. The only reason why Jordan is a better defender than Kobe, because to be honest with you, at their peak, they're the same on ball. They're the same. But only reason why Jordan is better because he's a way better rim protector and he's a way better player in transition and he's a way better player in helping on the post. All those things are things that protect the paint. It's just how the game is designed. All your the most impactful defenders, your best defenders, are guys who help protect the paint. Rudy Gobert, sturdy. Prime the reason is sturdy. That's just as how the game is designed. No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, Nick. That's not how you speak, that bro. That's just how the game. No, designed. it's not. That, that's that's not. That's not. That how is. I feel. No, it's not. No, it's not. To say that – who did Jordan play in the, the post? The game was different when Jordan was playing. <sighs> the, the, thing, the thing is, is that – hey, hold on, time out. The thing is, cool. the thing is, I, uh, tell me who Jordan played in the post, number one. Number two, Magic. as far as Kobe – as far as Kobe – Magic, that's it. Three, that's, all, that's it, bro. Hold on, hold on, time Magic out. Magic not even at his position. Magic not even at his position, bro. Yeah, there's only six of us on the panel. Let's go one at a time. As far as Kobe in his air, guarding one through three, we're talking about Iverson, T-Mac, Vince Carter, Kevin Durant, LeBron, Paul Pierce, Pierce, Carmelo, Anthony, Dwayne. We're talking about all these great players, and and I love Jordan, but damn, Joe Dumas offensively, Six three, six three. What are you trying to say, Magda? Uh, uh, what are you trying to say? I, mean, come, I think he's saying. I think he's saying. It is not the same, he's saying. bro. No, but what are you trying to say? That Kobe had way tougher competition at his position. In so, his so, air, yes. So he's a better defender than Jordan. No, no based on what you well, said, well, hold Jordan hold is on, better. That's yeah, not what I, competition. Hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. Ask me that. Ask me that. Yeah, and I might say yes. Hold on, hold on. Ask me that. I might say yes. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. He got all the defensive Go teams, and Kobe was able to sustain Go his ahead. two-way impact longer than Jordan. These are facts, right? These are all facts. Yes, that's facts. Sturdy, I'm answering your question. You said they, the reason Kobe – Jordan hey, is better is because he was loaded. better in trans because he was better in transition. No, nigga, I said he helped defend the rim. The paint. He was and a I'm way like, better rim protector. Nigga, he didn't have great guards and full p- perimeter players to protect the paint against. He had a fucking big man sitting there with no three second rule. Lamar, he, it wasn't hard was back then. Lamar, the two thousand, the two thousands. Kobe with all those players that he had to guard, yes, it was a little bit tougher for Kobe yeah. to guard his heirs than Jordan. That's all yeah, I'm Yeah, that just common sense. So like, just, that's say, just, just say he's that's better than like, that. Sense. doesn't see that. Your logic of just say a what? Just say defender. what? He was a just better post defender, defender against defender. Ron Harper. He probably but, was but a better defender. I would say probably a better defender. I said just well, the only thing. I say the only thing. I say the main thing. That I'm, I'm just saying the main thing to separate the mid defense from what Kobe did and his size other. and his frame is defensive player. Is Le- Michael Jordan got defensive player of the year? Like, that's the main thing to separate them from in defense to where we can say no, that no, he is better than mid defense. No, we can't say because we can't because, like, because no, it's like this, like this, hold on, it's like this. You cannot say Scotty Pippen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Hold on, bro. Let me just say this. Let me say this real quick. As a fan, we all we both know the greatest defensive era between the 2000s and the 90s is the 2000s. We you not both know 
that the 2000s had more all-time great defenders in terms of variety than the 90s. So in, ter in terms of getting defense player of the year, you and I will admit that there's more competition to get it in the 2000s than it would be in the 90s. Yes, so why would the defense player of the year when we both know when you just submitted tougher competition, more defensive teams, and tougher assignments? No, there were better saying, defenders in the that, 90s. He's just saying oh, that. He's Lamont, just saying could you please look up longer. Kobe's size and his frame? Sir, you're lying. The, the, the defensive players in the 90s were way better. What are you talking about? In the 2000s? You want to you yes. check this? No, McDuff, no. that's a bad take. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Who, no, no McDuff, no, McDuff, no, McDuff. Don't go down that road, McDuff. Don't do that, The 2000s is better than the 2000s is the greatest defensive player of all time, man. Stop that, man. Who's in, who in the two thousands is better than Akeem Olajuwon? After Akeem, who's who's better than Tim? Le, oh, hold on, let me say. This. Let me. Okay, can I say this real quick? I say no, this real quick. Not. Yeah, let me say this real quick. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me say this real quick. Okay, back down, back down, back down, back Hold on, look, 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 look back down. Scotty oh. Pippen. Hold on, Scotty Pippen. Okay, listen, lying. listen, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. With Scotty Pippen being on that perimeter with you, this is what I'm saying. He's Kobe Bryant. Listen, Kobe Bryant never. Kobe Bryant never had the pleasure. Of having another run artist, but run artist, but he never Elijah had the Wong. pleasure of having another dude like Scotty on the perimeter with or perimeter with him Christ. in his prime. He never had a, a leap, a, another leap perimeter player on his prime, in, like right on the wing with him, bro. He never had that that pleasure to take that little press off him off the wing. So, like I kind of understand, bro. Michael Jordan had more help on defense on the perimeter, like. Bro, like, let's be real, bro. Uh, crazy, Talk your shit, bro, SFM. Bro. Talk your shit. Let that nigga know. Like, you got Scotty Pippen on the perim or perimeter with you right there. Kobe, the ma the best defender right there on the perimeter. They could have been said. Some people say that Scotty Pippen was arguably the best uh, defender of the 90s. Like, I can't say that about Kobe. Yeah. I can't say that about Kobe, man. I can't bro, say that. Yo, who you gonna, who you going to say that? Listen, who you going to say that about Kobe that played on the wing? wing? 30, your top 10 you list consists of Answer that man players, question. Man. Man, that man just asked you a question. I can't hear. I'm driving. What you say? Who would you say that was on the level of Scottie Pippen that played on a team with Kobe on the wing? For his championships, because Prince probably had to run our tests, right? Hey, look, here go the here go the percentages um with on ball defense. For I guess the closest player to Pippen that Kobe played with defensively would probably be Ron Artest. Wasn't in his prime though. Yeah, he wasn't even in his prime. Trevor, what? Trevor, Gary Payton, bro. They had Gary Payton. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me go over these cap, numbers bro. real quick because I got two numbers I want to show y'all. Well, so I, I don't know. I can't. I can't even answer that question. If, Nobody if, was on. If, if we talking about if we talking about on ball defense, so here are the percentages. The percentages are very eerily close, and and it's hard to say that they were playing against different competition because their primes kind of existed around the same time. So when it comes to Kobe Bryant, uh, five to nine feet from the rim, um, players scored on him uh, at a thirty-seven percent clip with LeBron James. At that, at five to nine, five to nine feet from the rim, players scored on him at thirty-nine percent. So Kobe beats him out there. Um, when you go less than five feet from the rim, so basically rim protection, um, Kobe's at fifty-eight percent, LeBron's at fifty-six. So LeBron beats him out of there. You go 10 to 14 feet from the basket, Kobe's at 37%. LeBron's at 38. Kobe wins out there. So right now, Kobe's up at two sections, two sections of the court. Um, when you go 15 to 19 feet, uh, Kobe is 39% to LeBron's 40. When you go 20 to 24%, uh, 20, 20 to 24 feet from the rim, LeBron beats out Kobe at 37 to 38. And then when you go 25 feet and out, um, LeBron wins out by a small, a few percentage points. So if you go on, if you section the court off, as far as the percentage at which players score on you from a certain area, I mean, Kobe wins out, I think, by one spot. So it kind of helps y'all when y'all say, as far as on ball defense goes. And this, this doesn't really account for off ball defense. I think your off ball defense is more so in the analytics. But on ball defense, Kobe does beat him out, and I don't think anybody's going to say LeBron's a better on ball defense team, be defender than Kobe. No, no one said this shit for hours. 
And then when you go here, and this is where Kobe kind of loses out because these are the metrics that support more so LeBron James because these count – these talk to more towards off-ball defense, zone coverages, uh, pick and roll reads, drop coverages. So LeBron's going to beat them out in defensive win shares. He's going to beat them out in defensive box plus minus. And he's going to beat them out in average defensive rating over a 10-year period. He's going to beat them out. Um, and, and, you know, that's where – the separation begins. So it's how you ever you want to label it. How LeBron James doesn't have more defensive teams, I don't know. But you know, it is it's a media is. perception, bro. Like the media No, it's not, bro. I just bro. said yes, listen, is, listen, bro. listen. Bro, bro. Listen, bro. listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen before you talk. I just yeah, said it. Bro, I literally just said before twenty fourteen, right. the defensive team true, was bro. voted. Go find was voted. Made listen. Up. Listen, the defensive teams before 2014 was voted amongst the uh, amongst the NBA coaches. All the NBA hold coaches. On. Let me, it let wasn't me go, a media vote. Hold, on. hold, hold right. on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me read. Here's the summary. This wasn't a media vote. Here's the summary. Here's the summary written amongst the coaches. So Synergy also did a comparison. Um, and I wish I could share my screen, but I can't because it has my profile number on there, and I can't get that out. Uh, but it says right here. As the summary, I'm not going to read it all because it's pages and pages of it. But it says, if you add in the diamond... Who is Synergy? All right, I'll tell you that afterwards. I'll tell you that afterwards. So Synergy basically stated, add in dominance and defensive win shares, which is plus 46% for LeBron James. He says, they basically say it becomes clear that the defensive impact of LeBron James far outweighs that of Kobe Bryant. He said, plus there's the fact that he's probably he, he's probably could go down um, as one of the greatest defensively versatile players in NBA history. That's the summary from Synergy. For those who don't know, Synergy, all the NBA scouts use it, all the GMs use it, all the coaches use it, and even the NBA.com uses it. So, yeah, it's official. Yeah. Oh, they got paid off. Here, here's another. <laughs> hold on. Here's an, here's another. I think this bro. is another good one right here. <laughs> says, hold on, y'all. It says right here. I think I like this one too. It says, right. It says all of this aligns with what we saw on and off the court. Um, on an on off court team defensive ratings give a strong indication that between the ages. That's of why the league messed up now. All right. So. It says this aligns with what we saw in on and off court defensive ratings. It says this gives a strong indication that between the ages of 19 and 31, Kobe Bryant's teams performed slightly worse defensively with him on the floor, while LeBron James's teams performed significantly better while he was on the floor. That's what the numbers support. Yeah, that benefits Kobe more than LeBron because Kobe had less hit that. That that benefits how much more he had to carry on defense. He said the team, he worked how less the team defense was. So imagine what it is when he's off. Tell me what it is off the court. Come on, man. Tell me what it is off the court. SFM. Hold on. Kobe's off the court. First of all, first of all, let me explain what it meant. First of said when you're comparing. Do you really believe that? Hold on, hold on. I don't, it's not my, I can't get my feelings involved. If the numbers support it, I have to go with it whether I like it or not. Yes, yeah, supports Kobe. No, it doesn't. I support no, it. No, it do Yes, it does. It's a, listen, I just told you defensive. I just told you defensive win shares, bro. The Kobe is ranked it with 47. <laughs> LeBron ranked it like one or two. One or two. He that had more help on defense, bro, through his career. That is a team aspect, bro. That is a team aspect, That's bro. It's determined. Bro, That's go look at the definition. Bro, what Bill the fuck? Jackson, the, so you LeBron believe just this, said it. Dumbass nigga. Too, right? What the fuck? Kobe Kobe had to be Kobe had to uh, help. Kobe had a load on defense, bro. That's you feel lie, me at one on one time, bro. You That's feel me? Lie. Run our test one there one time, bro. You feel me? Run our test one there at one point, bro. The defensive win shares, bro, is as low as he is, bro. It shows how much like how much less he, help he had on defense, bro. That's a lie, bro. LeBron had more help on defense. So he's, That's not hold on, SFM. On, I man. think you got these these metrics determine the player's impact when he's on and off the court. 
It doesn't determine how much help you have. It determines how much do you contribute to the defense being elite. Yeah, and your team, and, and how good no. is your team doing on the no. floor? Hey, on, hold on. First they can all, be no, wrong, no, no, too. No, bro. That's not what the, the, these numbers these numbers tell us. Well, I'm talking about how the best valuable, of is. How valuable are you? Towards the individual, I'm not talking about all the others. I'm just talking about the defensive win share shit. He didn't mention defensive win shares. They don't tell the whole story. It's based then, on your then team. he, man, bro. It's based on your team. Paul Pierce no, played with know, one of the greatest it's not, defensive it's teams. It's not of all based time. on team just because you <laughs> say so. Hold on. Hold on. Just say oh, the definition clearly. Oh, oh, that could be a lie. What is y'all talking about? Defensive win shares. What y'all talking hold about? Hold on. Hold on. None of these. Hold on. My bad, MacDef. Actually, muted. None of these metrics. None of these metrics are truly just a team defensive rating. These metrics. Mo the majority of these metrics determine your impact towards the team's defense being good. Now, defensive rating counts about for more individuality. As far as your impact individually, so but it, like I said, we, it's still so we can scrap uh, defensive rating. And go to defensive. No, you. Players. What I'm saying is, you can't scrap defensive rating because no matter how you slice up defensive rating by the end of the year, defensive uh, rating, if you put it from first to last, usually the best defenders at the top and the worst defenders are usually at the bottom. Sometimes you'll have some anomalies, like when you have Luca and Steph. But we, as we even saw with Luca and Steph. <laughs> when we saw Luca in the top of defensive ratings for a short portion of time last year, the numbers eventually balanced out. And but can you back. say you don't know where they got these numbers from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Matt, hold on, on y'all. Look, yeah, the one thing that is consistent, y'all. The one thing that is consistent no, is that numbers, whenever we at the end of the at the end of the year, the best defenders in the league are usually at the top of these rankings with these defensive metrics. It would be different if we had – if J.J. Redick finishes at the end of the year fifth in defensive rating. We just have a humongous flaw somewhere. But at the end of each season, it's usually pretty accurate with all of these defensive metrics. And, and then – and when we tell you the guys that LeBron James is right in the thick of things with most of these metrics, and then you guys try to tell us these flaws all of a sudden just because LeBron James's name is – it just sounds like y'all mad that LeBron James's name is there as far as instead of just accepting, damn, this motherfucker actually Except might have a large impact defensively. No, Especially God. during his prime. Bro, numbers don't matter. Like defensive win shares, defensive rate. Bro, rating. why do these numbers not in matter now? In it, it doesn't these, matter. These in 2016, numbers. in 2016, Steph Curry was great defensively. He led the league what, in steals. He had, a, he had a great defensive what, 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 rating. Hold on, what was his the nigga didn't make no defensive team. No, 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 no. Don't lie, MacDef. What was his defensive rating in 2016? Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Stay muted. Not muting you. I hear you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed in y'all, bro. You're trying to Steph, use stats. Steph Curry's yeah. defensive ratings. Steph Curry's defensive ratings. So, what year did he lead the league? Am I am, am live? Did he unmute me? Yes, bro. You've been unmuted for like the last two minutes. Nigga, you keep on muting me, so I don't know. We're muted. We heard you mumbling in the background. Mute me and shit. What do we. I can't finish with Curry. I can't finish with Steph Curry. Has Steph Curry ever made an all defensive team? <laughs> Hell no. Okay, then. But the, you mean to tell me a guy who led the league in steals did make an all-defensive team, right? So, no. obviously – Okay, okay. so what I'm simply saying is that voters, coaches, look don't obviously look at numbers. They're looking at the player, what he does. All you guys are doing is giving me numbers and trying to justify oh, LeBron's better defensively. Yeah, facts, sports panel. We he keeps saying he was muted. We can hear him complaining about being muted when he when he said he was, thought he was muted. Like we we trying to help. So what's a, so what is a good defense? Use... What's a good defensive rating? 
In the nineties. It's relative. It's relative to your era. Be honest with you. It's relative to your then era. What the fuck? Then, then they both garbage defensive. Real talk. It's relative to the nineties. Why are we having this kind so of hold on, conversation? Ma- Ma- they both hold on. garbage. Then. Mac Def. Hold on, Mac Def. Hold on, Mac Def. The lower the number, the better. But when you said Steph Curry, so the thing, the reason why we know this is not flawed. What year did Steph Curry lead the league in steals? Twenty sixteen. 2016, 2017. When he won the, uh, the unanimous MVP. All right, 2016, 2017, he had a defensive rating of 104.9, which is league average. That's probably average. <coughs> okay, in 2016, he had a defensive rating of 102. Okay. So he was – man, I'm just saying, bro. It's I, really not, error. Ain't it's nobody well, finna say – ain't nobody finna sit here and say that – I, I don't get it. The nigga, all, the nigga, all I'm saying is the man led the league in steals and get it didn't get an all defensive didn't get an all defensive team and we're like no he wasn't sliding. <laughs> well, and we know, all finna sit here and say he wasn't sliding. He hold wasn't on, even sliding. He didn't deserve an all defensive team. Hold on, hold on, Mac Def. No, Mac Def. He probably didn't get an all defensive team because he had a 104.9 defensive rating and he probably was flawed in other areas defensively. No, he had a 102 defensive rating. You just said 2016, 2017. Does no. getting. In 2016, in 2016, he led the league in steals, had a defensive rating of 102. But nobody, I'm saying, and I'm saying, he wasn't even slighted. He didn't deserve a defensive. Hold on, Mike. This is all. This is another aspect you have to look at when you're talking about defensive teams. There's only a first team, and there's only a second team. Only two players in the league can snatch grips on these on these awards. So what I'm saying is. You you have to be a serious media darling to get these. Oh my god! Exactly, oh my, my whole god. fucking. This thing, no, no, you do no, not no, a no, media no, darling. No, no. Hold on, hold on, time out. <laughs> there ain't no motherfucking media darlings defensively, nigga. What are we like talking that. about? No, 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 Nobody was amongst the coaches. No. A media darling defense. Come on, bro. That like was that. a bad take. Are you saying? Are you saying? Joe Dumars ain't no media darling. Are you saying if you don't get a defensive team? You're not the lead defender. No, that what what I'm simply saying is the man had an all time great MVP season, led the league in steals, and didn't get an all defensive team. Allen Iverson did he led deserve the it? Steals? No, he did deserve the all defensive team because he wasn't one of the best perimeter defenders in the game. I know. I'm Listen, trying to make well, a Mac point Def. is that we're not just looking at analytics well, and Def. numbers well, to, to, to even put up. A, a defensive team. But you Def, have to be but Mike great Def, Your point is odd. You're making a very odd point. First of all, nobody uses oh steals God, per game to bro. determine who's the defensive player of the year Hell or no. defensive team. What 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 more so? The they numbers use, don't matter. Hold on. What what, what they, they use put up more great so? Great numbers. De- defensive no, Mac Def, what, Mac Def, defense what they grade, use, the and steals. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Mac Def. That don't mean you we can look to make to, a defensive team. Don't I can promise you, Mac Def. I promise you this. We can look to defensive rating. And correlate that to defensive player of the years more so than any other metric. Usually the player in the league with the lowest defensive rating is gonna either be top three in defensive player of the year. Hold on. Gee, Henderson, you got background noise. Mute your mic or get off. Come on, man. Y'all got these stuff going on in the background. Y'all killing us out. So when we look up all the defensive players of the year, I guarantee you they were like top five in defensive rating. You can correlate. The best those, defender those with, with sure. the best defensive rating. You can correlate the best defenders who have the best box plus minus and the best defensive win shares. That's a fact. But you act like these don't have a connection, though. What are you talking about? How did I dodge a question? What are you talking about? All I'm saying is all defensive teams is just – you just need more no, – no, to it's not. Of players, you can't that. you you can't say nobody didn't deserve an all defense. That's what I'm saying. You can't you can't do that. All the people who got yeah, who are top ten all defensive teams, you're not gonna say he didn't deserve that or he wasn't a great you defender. Just, I, I, bro, we we constantly say Kobe don't deserve the last two defensive teams. We constantly say oh that. Lord, Hold on, bro. look look. Let me do this right here. We just go to this year in the NBA, the league leaders in defensive rating. Let, let me is, ask you a is, question. Uh, hold on, Real hold on. Let me let no. We're gonna you can get to the question in a second. Well, Joel and B answering all y'all. No, 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 no. I'm just, question. I'm just making a point because we got to correlate defensive rating with the best defensive players. So, is Joel and B one of the best defenders in the game? Yes. yes. All right. 
Hold on, I'm just messed up my list. Yeah, you answered it. Go ahead. Okay. Is Giannis one of the best defenders? He's number two in defensive. Yes. Race. Is Jared Allen one of the best defenders? Yes. Evan Mobley. Yeah. Brooke Lopez. Yeah. Bam Adebayo. Yeah. Yep. Brooke Lopez is one of the best defenders. You say Brooke, Brooke Lopez, Lopez is up for a right, defensive player of the year? What are you talking about? Yeah, he's about to win defensive player of the year. What's he talking about? about? Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, hold on. We got Rudy right, Gobert. Yep. Yes. All right. We got Jonas Valanciunas. Who? Jonas, Jonas Valanciunas. Valanciunas. Nah, I ain't with that one. Nah, I ain't with that one. Are we talking about strictly this year? This year, I, he been good, but I wouldn't say he's one of the best defenders. Okay, the okay, we can, okay, we can say that there's one anomaly so far. All right, we got Jason Tatum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. best defender on his team. Go ahead, Marcus Smart. Yeah, yeah, Raymond Green. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy yeah. Butler. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when we look at this defensive rating, it seems to correlate with the best defenders in the NBA. And we only had one player that we thought was questionable. Two. So, so that tells us right there, it's not a highly flawed statistic because usually the best defender, if I left out one of the best defenders in the league, y'all let me know. Because I feel like we touched on majority of them right no, there. You could have uh, said, said Ben Simmons. You could have said Drew Ben Simmons Holiday. this year is not one of this the best year, right? defensive players. This is this year, right? Yes. What's the what's the minimum amount of qualification? What's the minimum? Said Andrew Wick, man, there's a whole ben, bunch ben Simmons of this year is not one of the best defensive players. He's not because only the only two guys I would say is Jaron Jackson and, and Clapson. Jaron Jackson getting foul trouble too much. Jaron Jackson's on this list. He's just lower down. That's what I'm saying. What's the like? Because but it's, it's, we're not going to debate who deserves to be on an all defensive team. Is what I'm simply saying. There's no debate on that. That's the that's the two names I would say, Lamont. If you ask me what two names is missing, I would say Claxton and um and um. Oh, Claxton's on here. Claxton's on the list. What's your name? Like twenty fifteen dudes. What's your name? Oh, look. Here, here, I can keep naming the names. So we still got. So also on the list, you got Jaron Jackson. You got Dylan Brooks on here. You have Desmond Bain. Mm. What? Who? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you have Paul cool. George on the list. You have Tobias Harris on the list. Nigga barely play. Who? I'm just telling you who's on the list, bro. <laughs> and and you got to tell me if these players aren't looked at as defensive players because everybody that I named is looked at as a defensive player. In some way in some yeah, I, I wouldn't say Valanciunas, and I don't think Tatum is is should be ranked that high. But I yeah, guess. That's what, but remember, defensive rating usually by the end of the year after 82 games looks more common. Just like when we saw Steph Curry at December in the top 10 in defensive rating. By the end of the year, his defensive rating bloomed to 107 and he fell back down to where he normally was. Oh, that nigga missed 11 games. Paul George missed a bunch of games. But, but, but all I'm saying is that that's cool. But whoever wins first team all defense. And, and get second team on defense. Who won defensive probably, player of the year last year? You said who? Yeah. You said offensive player of the year. Oh, who won defensive player of the year last year? Marcus Smart. All right, he was number two in defensive rating. We can go. We can go year by year in this. We can go year by year, and I guarantee you, the defensive player of the year is generally one of the top defensive ratings in the NBA. I don't think that's. I, a, I, would, I would. I would. I would hope so. Go to. Uh, go to. Um. Rudy Gobert's answer. Rudy Gobert but was st- number sturdy. one. My question, my quick, real quick, my sturdy. My question to you is: Where do you have Carl Malone all time as defenders? Is he top twenty five? Be honest. No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> nah, for, hold on for a second. But we got to get out of this myth that LeBron don't play defense. Though we got to get. I'm out not of even. That, I'm not even saying. I'm not. I, I know. I'm just saying. Like, but Ma- but Mac Def, I, once again, I've been trying to say this for a while. You can't. There's no one, especially for defense in basketball. There's no one stat for everything. So it's it's a collection of everything. So like, correct. For example, I agree with you. Yeah, so that's it, what I'm saying. So like, is Carl me Malone personally? Me personally, I, I just said no. But me personally, okay, thank you. me personally, I wouldn't. Me personally, I wouldn't use strictly defensive rating. I like to use like, um, I like to use adjusted defense plus minus, and most importantly, ice, iso, isolation um, stats like if opponent fits the field goals and like deflections 
and shit like that. That's just statistically, but no matter what, you still got to watch the game to get a full aspect of what they do defensively. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but when you like, start pulling up stats like deflections and all that boring stuff, then people start getting mad. Like if you said, if you told people LeBron would have led the league in deflections, people who don't understand it or understand the value of deflections are gonna laugh at you. That's actually more valuable. Hold on, real talk. Like, that's actually like like more valuable than steals. Yeah, deflections are more valuable than steals, but you can't convince nobody of that who don't understand the game. They don't understand that coaches have designates. They will literally hire somebody just to sit there and count deflections because it's not a stat that's naturally tracked um, by the NBA. I, I think LeBron. I think LeBron was a, was a. I, I think he was an elite defender in his at his peak in his prime. My whole thing was his peak and prime as a defensive player. It wasn't. He didn't have the longevity at it, and it's not. An all-time great peak or prime. So, like, Lamar, so, so MacDev, the saying. problem is the problem is MacDev. The problem is MacDev. And Longevity counts. Bro. The Niggas problem is MacDev. Being right? an elite defender for after, ten years. That's bro, hard to MacDev. MacDev. After after twenty fourteen, the the all defense teams were from coaches and GMs and some media members to most to primarily media members. Right. Those some of these same years, media members have LeBron ranked. As a top ten defender, but he still didn't make all defensive team. So I'm letting you know if you just go with just yeah. accolades, bro, it's shallow. It's it's no, most. I can see, hold, but hold, I can see that. Defender. And you know this more than anybody. Accolades, especially criteria with the media, is so inconsistent throughout NBA. Exactly. So I don't and like when I say when people say LeBron stopped playing defense after Miami. I'm like, that shit don't add up if you're going to say because he don't make all defensive teams. But the same people that vote for all defensive teams have him as a top 10 to top five defender. I'm not I'm not saying no, that. No, no, no. I'm not. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like, Def, these are problems that you're going to come across. Well, I just think it'd be like this. Defense. You using the defensive stuff would be me, like, saying, just, just saying, I think LeBron James is the better player because he has more MVPs. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's not. Well, why why can't I say that though, Mac? That no, it's, no, it's that. But is it you true? You can't say that. Nah, you nah, you can say that's fine. You can say that. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Hold on, hold on. But, okay, but that don't make him the more impactful so, player. No, Kobe no, is no, the but, more impactful. We're not, we're not. I don't. I don't care about impactful. I said who's the better player. So if my conclusion, you don't care about impactful. You don't care about shape. Hold on, Mac. That let me Go listen ahead. to this summer. When I say MVP is called the most valuable player, that means mm -hmm. impactful. Mm -hmm. So, if I say, if just to dumb it down, if I say LeBron mm -hmm. James has more most valuable player awards than Kobe, then I right. say that leads me to believe LeBron James is a better player. Would that be enough for you? The re No, and the reason it wouldn't be is because I can look at those particular seasons that LeBron won MVP, <laughs> and I can put Kobe's seasons up against those, and they're better. But why That's does why. but why does two of those why, seasons he won hold on, hold on. MVP? No, what you guys are doing are trying to put context in. The the thing is, what? you guys aren't trying to hear any defensive context. You guys are you just strictly saying defensive teams that makes them better. No, the longevity of the defensive teams. I bro. can say would, you would can't you say you're Def? better than me because you because you were you, at your peak you five years. And I was at my peak for 10. Mac, Mac Get the would, fuck you, out of would you agree that LeBron James is better in the finals? He has four finals MVPs to Kobe's two. I would say I would say LeBron James is better in the finals, yes. Okay. LeBron James is better in the regular season because he has more first team all NBA at 13 than Kobe's eleven. LeBron James is a better debate, player. I can debate that. No, 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 no context. I'm just using the award. Is he a better player? Because you're using those defensive first teams mightily strong for Kobe. So I just oh, use these accolades. I, is LeBron I, James I, better because he has more Lamont, first teams? I put I put context in, in front no, of you what didn't. I said. No, you didn't. It, yes, okay. I did. I if said you, I, you at the not. beginning of the – I'm sorry. At the beginning of the stream, I said if you look at LeBron no. James' peak – can I, let me finish. I said at the beginning of the stream, if you look at LeBron James' peak – defensively from 09 to 2014 when he made the all defensive teams he had over right. 700 right steals kobe's six best seasons right he down. had over 800 that's not what steals. you said 
What you said. That's what was, I said at the beginning of Kobe the stream. More, it's been five you hours. You said Kobe has more defensive first team selections than anybody in NBA history. You said those defensive first team make Kobe a better defensive player than LeBron. So I can no. then conclude LeBron James has more all first team NBAs than Kobe Bryant. That makes him a better player. And I could just end right there. Okay, right? cool, cool. Let's just go. All right. So with that being said, let's just go off that. Let's just go off that. So Kobe's no, no, a more, that, better that, winner. That, no, this, let, let's just go this, off that. No, 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 hold Let's on. just go if off that. Use... That's what I said. So I think no, no, Kobe's no, no. a Mac better Mac defender. No, 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 hold on, Mac hold on. Mac I think Mac Kobe's, Mac you're Mac right. Mac you're Mac right, Lamont. I'm agreeing with you 110%. If we use your you're logic, you're right. That That's my logic. That's my logic. LeBron is the better player because he has more first team all NBAs. Yeah. Everybody, Mac Def's logic helped us in the argument. LeBron James is the better player because he has so, more so based on my NBAs. Co correct, Lamont. So let me finish. So based on my logic, since you want to bring that up and debate that, Kobe's a better defender because he has more defensive teams. I think Kobe's, based on my logic, is a better Le scorer because he was... has more scoring titles. Okay, I think Kobe's a Wait, better. I think hold Kobe's on, a better on, winner Mac because Def. he has more Mac championships. Hold on, Mac Def. At the based end of the on day, my logic, that you're trying to say. So so if he's a Mac Def, hold on, hold on. What is the ultimate achievement award to win in the NBA as a as an individual player? The MVP award. LeBron James has more than Kobe. This conversation has been ended by Mac Def. <laughs> wow, bro. Everybody. LeBron James has <laughs> more did. first team all NBAs. Only oh, five of those man. players are selected every year. We're going with these totals. Mac Def ended the conversation and the argument with his logic, you guys. We are going to be shutting down on Mac Def's conclusion that LeBron James <laughs> based, yeah, is based the on better logic, player. Lamont, that you that, said. Look, Great. Mac Def helped us understand. Look, you guys, we're going to end the show. Mac Def helped us figure it out. Mac Def says LeBron James is the better player. He has more first team All NBAs. He has more MVPs. Nothing else needs to be said. We give Kobe the defense, but at the end of the day, MVP and you got to give him scoring and championships. At the end of the day, no. At the end of the day, the yes, you do. Based on my logic, oh, Mac Def. At the end of the day, the pinnacle award, the award that exactly. The most, so he's the best exactly. player in the league gets the MVP trophy. We don't care about none of that other stuff. LeBron James has more of them than Kobe. This is we we use your logic. You don't have to add or try to take away from it. <laughs> your logic has your logic has solved it. So you know what, everybody, man, look. We appreciate oh, yeah. it. We've been we've been at it for six and a half hours, and Mac Def's logic helped us end it. LeBron James is the best player. We're using his logic to end this. If anybody has any problems with that conclusion, bro, you can reach out to Mac Def. <laughs> no, you need to reach out to my cash app. That's what you need to do. <laughs> reach out to Mac Def. You need to reach out to my cash app, bro. Cash app. I did hit your cash. Yo. Man, stop playing with me, though, Lamont. <laughs> you owe me, bro. I got you, bro. I got you on a, I got you on a 200 day payment plan. And, and <laughs> for real, <Yo. laughs> so, Lamont, bro. Right there, right there. Lamont, let me get tomorrow, my money, bro. You lost. You the one who set the bet. I got payment number four for you tomorrow, man. All right, Mac Def. Come on, bro. Don't don't put get my verse up out of your. Intro, All right, Mac Def, I got you, Mac Def. I'm gonna take care of you. Now. No, you don't, bro. I just said I'm gonna take. Bro. All right, we'll see. Oh, All right, I got you. Oh, no more payment plan for Mac Def. He don't like he don't like the residual income that I'm giving him. So I just went. nah, fuck that royalty shit, nigga. <laughs> well, mine up front, nigga. <laughs> I'm used to getting paid on consignment. You heard me, nigga. You know what it is. Okay, hey, hey, everything up front, hey, Mac Def. You know what? This might be the greatest accomplishment that you've done on FYL Sports. You helped. No, us. it's not because oh, you. Hold on, Mac Def. You gotta go, Mac Def. So Mac Def helped us solve it. Hey, y'all, if anybody has any problems with this conclusion, y'all need to reach out to Mac Def. Look, I will be putting his email in the community chat, and y'all can email Mac Def directly if you have a problem. I like his logic. His logic simplifies everything to the most finite level, basically. He's, he, first of all, Mac Def logic, he wasn't budging. Kobe's a better defensive player because he has more defensive first teams. By that logic... LeBron has more first teams, all NBAs, which we know the only players that get on first team all NBA are the best players at, at, the, at their position in the league. LeBron's done it 13 times. LeBron has more most valuable players. Mac F said impact. Most valuable player. It doesn't say best player. doesn't say most skilled. It says most valuable player. So, again, all of these wars are always handed out perfectly. There's no media bias, according to Mac Def. There's no narratives associated with them. All of these awards are handed out fair. 
Kobe's one MVP throughout his 20 year career is fair. According to Mac Def, he solved a ton of things here. So we're going to end this show on Mac Def and salute to Mac Def for helping us solve it. Mac Def, I would let you back in, but the show is over. Um, I'm going to take care of you after the, um, after the show ends. So I got you there, man. So uh, salute to Mac Def for helping us solve one of the most difficult questions on FYF sports, man. Sturdy, what you got on it? Sturdy, the, 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 um, rankings going to come out tomorrow morning. Um, we got the debate rankings. Um, I want to see Jared get into the debates. Hey, DJ, you're going to have to hop in these debates, man. Oh, definitely. You got to get into the debates, man. I want to see you get in the rankings, man. I think, I think you would be a, a formidable opponent to somebody. Um, if somebody can debate you head up, man. Oh, I definitely go. Dante, oh, Dante, you missed a good one. Mac Def came through with an ether at the end, bro. He solved a <laughs> he solved a question that's been very, very tough. And that's crazy because Mac Def is a Kobe fan. So for Mac Def to come to a conclusion that LeBron James is a greater player than Kobe, that takes a lot of humility. Uh, for somebody that's been a Kobe, a avid Kobe fan, a Kobe fan out in Oakland too, you know. This is LeBron James, more finals MVP. Facts, real raw. According to MacDef, more finals MVPs, more, more MVPs, more first team all NBAs. LeBron James is the better player. He solved it. All this all this time, us trying to put context to it was a complete waste of time. All right. George Henderson, man, why are you getting so mad, man? Why do you gotta do that, man? Oh man. Yeah, I'm, that's, gonna, that's, that's, I'm gonna go lie tomorrow. Yes. I'm gonna go lie tomorrow. This 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 was entertaining. This was um <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in Kobe fans. Like I knew they was getting emotional, but like this was man, we couldn't get through opening takes. <laughs> we couldn't get through opening takes. So I'm like, but like either way, like you lost your patience, then you just start spazzing everybody, which is good. Which is good. We need more of that. But I, I but if anything, this um a this you definitely gotta do that stream of um you know a resume, you know, ranking based off resume. You definitely gotta do that stream. Hold on, what'd you and say? Then, oh dude, yeah, um yeah, I gotta I gotta get all the graphics together for it, but I wanna I gotta find a way to do it in a manner to where because I know with some players they when you see their resumes, um it's like I said, I, I need to exclude like the 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 consensus top five. Cause I got, I got, I got one idea. Like, but it's going to take a little extra step. You don't, you don't do it based off careers. You do it based off prime. Oh, they won't know the prime. Yeah, they even won't Kobe fans don't know what Kobe stats are. It, if it's it'll prime. take me some time to put them graphics together, but I think it'll be worth it to put them together. Yeah, and we rank them and then see what we come up with. Because I guarantee you that top ten, especially if you start throwing in careers like Giannis. You start throwing in careers like Kawhi Leonard, um, mm -hmm. you know, because Kawhi Leonard blind could confuse some people if you don't really know what you're looking at. But I think that'd be different. That'd be a good one right there. I think I think that re that'll come out a lot different. We believe, especially if you take away them names. I think that's, I, I've been thinking about that show since we talked about it the first time. So I think that'd be a good one. That one, and um, at some point you're gonna have to. You got to get in your coaching back a little bit. I, I don't think you can do this during the live, but I'm talking about for your videos. Just like just break down basic concepts of like fundamental defenses from a team aspect, also sort of to an offensive aspect. I've done a Most few like back in the, like I, I, I did back when I first started channel. I did a video breaking the Miami Heat zone defense down, which I probably feel like I could do a little bit better now with, with you know with with the graphics and stuff, but um. Now I'm going to get to it. And now I got a little bit more time. I can do some different types of videos. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Is it, um, I'll say that because now, now the new narrative now, because the, ex the scoring explosion, um, apparently this era don't play any defense. Yeah, I know. And that's, that's a lie. But, but that but, just tells you right there that, 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 that tells you, and this is why, like when I listen to players choices, one of the things that, when I hear people over there say it and nobody can test them on it as much, like people just defer to it. And it's just like, why do you let people say that? Like, why do y'all say no defense is being played just because these players are getting so elite offensively? You know, why, why are they not playing defense because they can't hand check and they have to really sit down, think, play angles, you know, you know, why, why? I mean, it's just hard. Like they don't, I don't think they understand that. 
in the off season, these players are spending 99% of their time working on their offensive game. And it's not a few, it's not a lot of players working on defense in the off season, right? They're, they're working on how to get better offensively. And so even the best defenders are going to struggle with the best offensive players consistently. Um, no matter how good you are. It's just like we see some of the most contested shots. Go. Like some of the shots that I see these players making is ridiculous, man. Just con- highly contested shots, and they're making them with ease. I, I'm not going to lie, Lamar. I'm trying to um, – one thing I'm trying to work on is like conveying my message in like in a way where it's more digestible to the masses. So um, shout out to Lowe because I think Lowe has – his recent video does a great explanation – or why that is for this era. And I put it backstage, like, in case you didn't see it, it's a, it's a good explanation. And also, it's, it tell it it shows another side of LeBron's impact that is not going to be explored until he retires. Like, a lot of people don't know this yet, but, like, I've been noticing now, players, even players are starting to hit, it's starting to hit themselves, like, yo, yeah, LeBron really about to get 40K. He, damn, he, about, he got 40K, 10 and 10? He might be the goal. Like well, you, but the, 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 the one narrative that I'm hearing now is all of a sudden, like, like the overall points leader meant something. The overall assist leader meant something. But now all of a sudden that LeBron is getting closer and closer to eclipsing these. Now all of a sudden, it ain't that big a deal to be the all time scoring leader. It ain't that big a deal to crack the top ten in assists. It ain't the big a deal to crack the top ten in three pointers made or steals and things like that. And it's just like all of that mattered before but now that lebron is doing it if you the only way they can find a way to diminish it is to try to tell us one he stat padding and it was never a big deal in the first place and it's just like i don't know how you stat pad to the tune of forty thousand points i don't know how you do it i don't know how you stat pad to the being top 10 in assists and steals and you know three point shots made and all this crazy stuff i don't know how you do it but i mean but think about what you just said lamont like Think about how insane that is. Like, the man got 38,000 points. Think about if he didn't pass the ball, what those, what his points would be instead of those 10,000 assists, bro. Like, I don't think people realize how insane that really is. Like, for real. Well, just to be real, bro, he still averaged about 20 <laughs> shots a game. And much as he do pass, he still shoot the ball, too. So Yeah, because don't, he, don't, because, don't, don't get it twisted. Like because that's his pass, responsibility, bro. He's that's always the, had the nah, but That's one of the biggest bro. myths. That's one of the biggest myths that a lot of people put out there. He is not a pass-first guy. He is yes, a pass-first player, no, bro. He's not. What are you talking about? He can't be a pass-first player. Oh, my God. You sound like Skip game. Bayless, bro. No, he's I'm a pass-first player, bro. If you shoot 20 shots a game, how the hell you a, how in the hell you a pass-first player? Because he has to. Who the fuck else going to shoot Nah, the how in the hell you a pass-first player? Oh, my God, bro. Can you, you please answer the question, bro? So, so, and ain't so no answer to no question. Uh, how uh, you could do that? So how, his first se- how you can be on, a bro. pass first guy shooting twenty shots a game. Hold on, bro. His Nobody first seven don't say years. he's gonna distribute Damn, the ball, bro. but he's not a pass first player. Bro, his first seven years in Cleveland, who else shooting the ball, bro? Ah, uh, you you prove my oh, okay. point, nigga. Oh, okay. You okay, prove okay, my great. point, okay, dumbass, exactly. nigga. Okay. It even even in Miami, bro. Like if he don't shoot the he ball, he's not a pass times, first player. You want to know how I know if he don't shoot the ball twenty times, they don't win. Because of 2011. He shoot 20 what times you, his whole career. What you no, talking he, about? Uh, okay. He averaged 20 you, shots for his not, whole career. You're not career. listening, bro. And ain't no, you're I don't not, have to You're listen. not listening, bro. I don't have to listen to understand that he's not a pass versus blind. Okay, so so how do you get 10,000? I'm going to show you what tells you. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you. Uh, her, <laughs> this is what tells you he's a pass versus blind. I don't understand. Like, these people kill me, And bro. like I said, I know you hate <laughs> seeing stuff like this, but this is his scouting report. When you look at his offensive load in his creation, right? <laughs> it says the number of open shots created for teammates. He's at a 95. That's higher than Magic Johnson's box. Wait, what is he talking about, bro? Right. So it tells you right here the number of open shots created for other teammates. LeBron James is at a 10.2 at a 95. Right. You don't create open shots for your teammates if you're not a pass first guy. That's almost impossible to do. <laughs> And then when you go to his offensive load, right? This is assist. Um, this this is this this also talks about this incorporates your assists and the effectiveness of your assists. So your offensive load, he's at a 97, bro. 
Bro, that's ridiculous for a guy that you if you say he's scoring first and his 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 offensive low and his box creation is this high. So basically what you telling me is that he is he he's basically the Thanos of the NBA. Exactly. He has all the infinity infinity stones and he's just he's superior because if he's Hey, hey, you want to know something about Thanos? He got his ass whooped. Remember, you know Thanos. Thanos yeah, got his no, ass no, 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 no. So don't bring up Thanos. No, 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 no. They didn't get his, bro. He got his they, ass whooped. They, they did some. He bro. got his ass whooped. So basically, what you're telling me is you got to get a motherfucker who can reverse time and do some damn near impossible shit to beat this motherfucker. Like not the really. KD going to the goddamn. Did he get a no, not really. It took, it took it took a no, player it in KD. It took a player in KD pissing the whole world off to go to the Warriors to beat that man. Exactly. It but took the Boston Celtics. Nah, cause, 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 cause the beat, because no, no, the beat, because to be Boston honest, <laughs> go to state without to be Cleveland in the first place if it wasn't no, for Andrews. So don't sit up there and like no, go to state with bro, this no. all world great. No, Cleveland bro. was better than them from the jump. Cleveland was better bro. than Golden State from no, the jump. Yes, today, they were. So they so they went out of one in 2015 today, and they was hell. So they went out of one in 2015 and they was hell. Today we're ending the show with your logic. And ain't no logic. He just your not logic, a pass for a crown. I mean, it means take some otherworldly powers to beat this man. Oh man. Because you could create, nigga, you could you oh, could create her, shots with your teammates her, without her. passing the damn ball. Right here, right here, right here. Pass the ball to create her, shots. You said, for her, you did you know say, that? you did say, this is LeBron James scouting report right here. They got him listed as elite passer, elite on offense, and he's a star. You could be, you could still be a guy. Hold on, not, 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 You could still be an elite pass without being a pass first player. Lebron, come on, Lebron, come on, man, come on now. I don't think you understand where these numbers are. When his offensive load and creation are above a 90, these are numbers that are both higher than Magic Johnson and John Stockton. He don't understand, bro. That's the problem. I don't understand it, nigga. I've watched the fucking game. So what I'm saying is if if you're trying to convince me that he's not a pass first player, but he's, he's passing at a, but he's passing at a level that's better than Magic Johnson and John Stockton, he has a top 10 assist to turn over. Lamar, what you can you can Hold on, so this man is going to be top 10 in the season. He's going to be the number one scorer of all time. He's going to be top 10 in steals. He's going to be top 10 in three pointers made. Come on, bro. Y'all be killing yourself. No, no, I nobody don't kill themselves, nigga. Come a fucking sense. I could be a lead pass or still be a nigga. That's a that's a shoot first type of guy. Bro, hold you on, know, hold, hold on, uh, hold on, Herm, Come Herm, on, Herm, Herm. Bro, I like that's not possible. Herm, hold on, Herm. Being an elite passer does not help your creation. So when your creation, this nigga, is I can create, I can create because no, everybody collapses it on me. I make an extra on, pass. No. I make a pass to one and nigga make no. another pass. No, that's still me creating. Herm, that's not what it means. Man, it's not I'm just like, saying it's still I can still create Herm, just like that. Come Herm, on. Creation ain't what you say it is. Creation is what it says here. This is so basically you're telling me. He's a better passer than Magic Johnson and John Stockton, and he's going to go down as the one of the greatest, if not the greatest, scorer of all time because he's going to have forty thousand points to end his career more than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So you basically telling me he's the the Thanos of the NBA, and only teams that have found a way to beat him it ain't no damn Thanos. How not? He does everything offensively at an elite level, and you no, admit it. So, 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 and, so, so, and you so. admit you just said he's not even a pass first guy. Yet he's still he's not even a pass first guy. Yet he's better than Magic Johnson and John Stockton in passing, according to the scouting report. That tells me right there this man is goddamn. So so scatter, so every, so everybody scatter reports is a one just just a one like I could go off every every scout in the world is is a great scout. Well, how would you That's scout out if you had to? No, if no, you had no, to, no, I'm I'm, I'm, no, asking, no, no, I'm no, asking, no, so no, every no, scout no, in the world is no, great no, scout. No, That's no, what I'm gonna, asking you. Could have that the case? That the case? Shit, the league be even. That's the case. Hold on, her. Hold on, her. We're going to let you be the scout. How how would you defend LeBron James? Let's see what team we're going to give you. We're going to give I'm, you I'm gonna tell the you, Brooklyn I'm Nets. Tell you. No, 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 no. Because you because we're going to make it. We're going to make you. Straight. No, I'm going to give you a blue. No, 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 no. You don't get to choose your team. I'm going to give you the Brooklyn Nets. 
Y'all got to play LeBron James and the Lakers tomorrow in the NBA Finals. What's your defensive scheme with that lineup? We're going to see since it's so easy. What's your scheme with that roster? How you going to defend LeBron? We don't, we don't, we don't want LeBron. We don't want LeBron to get everybody else involved. So we want LeBron to take, take. How him. do you do that? How you do that? Shit, you, you, you let LeBron get in. How? How do you? How you do you execute LeBron, that? That's what San Antonio how? used to do. No, hold on. San how Antonio do you ex? To- hold on. How do you execute it with that roster? Let's. I want you to be a coach. Come on, we coaches. We remember, like like Levi said, we need a defensive assignment. What are you telling Nicholas Claxton? What is he going to do on pick and roll coverages? What are you telling Kyrie Irving so he don't get switched off on the LeBron too much? What are you telling? What are you telling Kevin Durant? Is he playing help or you want him on ball? What what is going on here, man? Oh, KD this is so easy. Play help. KD this is, is so easy. Help so KD playing help. Regardless. Nah, bro, that ain't gonna cut it, bro. You got to <laughs> give me some <laughs> details. Help. So, so you and you now you act like KD wasn't the help defender at Golden State. Okay, hold on. We he was a great the help defender at Golden State. So don't no, sit up there like KD can't help, can't play no, his no. defense. No, no, bro. we're going to pull up their roster because we, we're going to pull up their roster because you're going to have to give everybody. You're going to have to be able to tell one or two, baby. I want to have to tell shit because I game. dare that nigga to average 40. That oh, here it is right here. I'm going to dare that nigga to average 40. Okay, so I hold on, hold on, hold on. I no, but that's not a defense. Or, but, but you I can't. Do hold on, but Herm, you can't walk in the locker room and say, Herm, you can't walk in the locker room and say, we going to, our defensive plan is, LeBron can't LeBron LeBron can't feel it facilitate. And they're gonna look at you and be like, well, what the how the fuck are we supposed to stop this man from facilitating? <laughs> so how do you how do you execute that, uh, Herm? Lamar, we've seen we seen it numerous of times before. But how do you execute it with this roster? With the roster of the month. Sometimes, bro, you don't have to have the direct personnel to execute a goddamn game plan. You know who you're playing against. I know I'm playing the guy in the seven-game series, and we know his strengths and weaknesses. We know LeBron would rather distribute to get his teammates involved. We know he'll rather do that than to be a guy that's taking 25-plus shots a game. I would rather for the first time to think okay, so, so hold on, Herm. Here's my strategy, Herm. Then the hold on, hold on. Shoot hold on, Herm. Hold on, hold on, Herm. Hold on, Herm. I'm gonna tell you a more real. I'm going to tell you a more realistic strategy, Herm. This is how I know you just be talking and you don't really be. No, nigga, I I just ain't doing what you want me to do. So you know what I would do? This is what I would do on LeBron. Whenever LeBron touches the ball, and it's gonna be hard. I'm not trapping no nigga. Hold on, hold on, Herm. Hold on, Herm. I'm just hold on, Herm. I'm just telling you what I would do with this roster. First of all. You're not going to be able to play straight up man with this roster against LeBron James and Anthony Davis because you got to look at all the threats on the floor. So straight up man is going to get you burned. Hold on, on, Herm. Hold on, Herm. Herm, I know you mumbling and bumbling right now because you couldn't. Ain't got to worry about no damn Anthony Davis. Hold on, hold on, Herm. You say that, but that sounds stupid. He was one of the best (laughs) players in the league before he got hurt. So Herm. So this is what we do. Let's say we know this is not going to happen, but let's say the Lakers in the next matchup in the finals, and we got to find a way to slow down LeBron James. The first thing that I'm doing is. The best way to slow him down, the first thing, I got to put my, all of my length, all of my length um, in help. All of my length has to be in help because what Herm said is we got to find a way to take away his facilitate. So you got to put all of your length in help. I would go into a man-to-man matchup zone and I would put, depending on what my starting lineup was, I would have to find That's how the Spurs did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, you don't even know what the Spurs did. <laughs> That's you a damn lie. Hold on, hold on, Herm. Stop it. My Herm, you cutting into my coaching seminar. And you don't it even know did what that in 2007. What you talking Herm, about? Herm, hold on. Come on, Herm. Why are you bringing up the Spurs? And I'm trying to tell everybody how I would slow up LeBron James. If I had, remember, it's it's going to be hard to coach against them in the playoffs. So my main thing was. Shit, the nigga ain't going to make it. So you ain't got to worry on, about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm putting as much length as possible. My Nicholas Claxons, my Kevin Durant's, I got to put them as my arms on my one, three, one matchup zone. Cause I would go one, three, one matchup zone. That the one, three, one matchup zone means I have a trio of three guys facing LeBron James whenever he has the ball at all times. And whenever that ball moves away from LeBron James's hands, let's say he swings it and rotates it to, uh, you know, one of the lesser guys, you Troy Brown jr. Or some or Austin Reeves, I would have them shift and switch into a natural man. That means you guard the man closest to you. But every time LeBron James touches the ball, I'm going to shift into a 1-3-1 matchup zone where whoever's closest to LeBron, I don't care who it is, you're going to be what is called a point defender. 
That means you are aggressively up on LeBron and your job is to force him to drive one way to up, one way or the other. You need him to drive into that trio of long, lengthy wings. So when he does attempt to play make, maybe you can get deflections on ball, right? And then if Russell Westbrook on, is on the court, you can shift your defense farther away from Russell Westbrook, especially if he's on the perimeter, because you might want to allow passes to Russell Westbrook on the three-point line. And that might be the only player where you're not aggressively playing the pass and laying in. But that would be my strategy based on this particular lineup because they're, this this particular lineup, as we already saw this year when they played the Lakers, struggled to defend the Lakers. So, I mean, Herm, that's what I say. Come up with a, like some of the things y'all say on how to stop LeBron. <laughs> it's not very realistic because it's harder, easier said than done. Y'all say, don't let him, don't, don't let him play make. Well, how, how, how well, how the fuck do you stop LeBron from playmaking? This is one of the greatest playmakers of all time. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't say just stop magic from playmaking. Do you know every coach in NBA history was trying to figure out how to stop magic from playmaking and they couldn't? I Joel mean, Brown's fuck. looking. Joel nah, Brown says LeBron has to make fake narratives of the Lakers going to the finals. Cause I know I'm not, I'm just giving an example of stop. Dude, bro. bro, y'all be just taking this stuff. Yeah, to the yeah, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar making an example, man. That bro, was... man. Yeah. He look Joe and Joe yeah, Brown man. probably going to go off and tell his buddies, man, I heard some dude on YouTube saying the Lakers going to be in the finals, man. <laughs> he probably going to tell somebody that tomorrow, man. Just come on, Joe Brown. It was just an no. example. Man. Yeah. Lamar know that he's not going to the finals. Oh, you know, the Lakers ain't going no damn well. Yeah, was wild, man. Herm, Herm said, we just going to stop him from playmaking, man. Bro, I would hate to be on your YMCA team. Man, nigga, there ain't no YMCA team. I seen it done. If I ain't never seen it done, I'm going to say what they But how did they do it? I mean, they did the man-to-man matchup. Hold on, hold on. If so Herm's going to tell his team, I need y'all to go out there and do what the Spurs did. Just go out there and do what the Spurs did. <laughs> Claxton gonna look up and be like, "Well, I'm not Tim Duncan. I don't care, man. Just do what Tim Duncan did, man. And you know what? And then Kyrie gonna say, "I'm not Mano Ginobili. Well, just go ahead and do what Mano Ginobili did. Oh. And then, and then, and, and then you gonna have Steph Curry look. I'm not Bruce Bowen. Well, just go ahead and do do what Bruce Bowen was doing. It's just, it's just that easy. Just just stop the man from playing. Man. It wasn't like the Spurs were one of the greatest defenses of all time. Y'all just replicate what the Spurs did." It's not like Popovich I, 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 wasn't the greatest I constantly, of mine. And, and I constantly make the bro dry left because I know I how? know when he tries left. How no, do you I'm constantly? Saying, saying, how do you tries constantly? Left, he always spins oh, to the first. Of all, how do you do that? Always spin Herm. Back to you. Okay, Herm. Kyrie Irving gets switched off into the LeBron. How do you tell look Kyrie to stop LeBron from going left? I mean, you know, LeBron. Number one, number one, it. the one thing you need to understand is that a, Kyrie Irving. Well, there's no player. There's no player in the NBA that can stop LeBron from going anywhere he wants. That's exactly. what you have to understand. So when you understand that, then you say, "Well, we want him just to make sure he drives into the heart of our one-three-one matchup zone. That way, we got three bodies clogging the lane and linked killing the passing lanes when he does go wherever he wants." That's why you go into this matchup zone whenever he touches the ball, and then we shift in the man when it goes to Russell Westbrook and the other guys. Oh. I mean, that's the only strategy. Now, is it hard to pull off? Yes. The Mavericks pulled it off, but it was it hard? Yes. It took extreme discipline for an entire series, but they made it work. And even like Mark Cuban said, he said that motherfucker LeBron was making all the right reads. Had them other dudes been, make, been making the right reads, we'd have been cooked. But because y'all don't want to listen to what Mark Cuban said, we we'll just go with y'all narrative that LeBron James chokes, which I believe that they did. They should have found a way to win. And well, explain, explain, explain what Golden State did for us when Iggy had when Iggy when they inserted Iggy and Iggy changed that whole damn series. Well, for first of all, one, that's off of making him play. work, hold making on, LeBron on, work hold, for every damn thing. Hold on, hold on. first of all, first yeah. of all, what you have to understand is. The Warriors had the per- defensive personnel because exactly. you're, looking at, you're looking at elite defenders in Iggy who still had it and Draymond, who was arguably the best defender in the league at that time, and Klay Thompson, who was great perimeter. And then they had bigs like Bogut and these guys, even Kevin Durant when he came over. These are guys who, who, who could be very good at their job defensively, especially in a team setting. So to tell these guys to do that is much easier when you got great defensive players on the court. And the only player you really got to coach up is one player in Steph Curry. But everybody else is great. And even Steph Curry is great off ball playing passing lanes. Bro, it's not that hard because it's easy to teach these defensive concepts. 
But when you got a team like the Brooklyn Nets, a lot of these teams, it's the, the teach the defense. Teaching hey, defense hey, against hey, elite hey, talent, it's not y'all be making it seem like it's just hey, that you clown you clown the Brooklyn like that defense have a dramatically improved since they fired Steve. I, Mack. I, I didn't say it didn't the way improve. better defensive team I'm than what they were. I'm not saying it though. didn't improve, but what I'm saying is it's different when you have to schematically sch- game plan for a guy like LeBron James. I know that I know the Lakers are losing now, and and that, and everybody's getting their laughs and rocks off now. Um, but one thing I promise you. And, and I've been saying this about the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. Nobody want to play. Them. No, I I guarantee you Memphis is praying that they don't have to see the Lakers exactly. or the Warriors in the first round. Because if they see the Lakers or Warriors in the first round, they're going to be a, Grizz, a Grizz one or two seed that's going home. Grizz is scared of the Warriors, but they're not scared. Bro, okay, you can say that, but I know that they're scared of the Lakers. I, I know for sure they not. I know you don't know for sure. I know for yeah. sure. No, you don't. You can put your money where your mouth is. That matchup happened too. You can put we'll your money up. We'll be better. I, I bet you a thousand members will whoop yeah, you. I'm not all I bet you Bro, I'm not betting no thousands no more, no, because y'all ain't going to pay. No, nah, exactly. I'll send you the money. That series, no, I cash no, at the team soon. No, if if they get in the playoffs, I'm going to cash hey, at you that no, money no, for you to hold. For you to hold right then no, and there. No, if that no, series no. We're betting. No, I learned my lesson. No, nah, I'm going to send my I'm money to you, though. Check this out. I won every bet over $500, and I ain't got paid a dime. Now, Lamar, I'm going to send my money to you in the series. We, we, Man, we're going to bet $50. No, when we find yeah. that the series is happening. that way you don't got to unsub when you, you lose, man. I'm going to send you a thousand hey, Lamont. before the series. Yo, what up? What, uh, what up, Wes? If hey. we know they playing. What up, bro? Hold on, hey. Wes, Wes. Don't Wes. get scared, nigga. Hold on, Wes. Don't get it's, it's, scared. I'm going to send on, you the money. Herm, hold on, Herm. Herm. All right, send me the thousand now, Herm. No, I'm talking about when we know they match it up, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, okay, we'll see. All right, hold on, Wes. Yeah, the nigga, I ain't scared. Hold on, Wes, do you teach? I'm, I'm trying scary? to speak, but but I ain't gonna go against Herm since he and his he and his flow. But I'm actually his in flow. Vegas. I actually am. A, I'm actually a, yeah. He and his flow. I didn't say flowing right, but he and his flow. But I I actually uh do sports bet, and I am a sports handicapper out here in Vegas. Oh. So if you do want to take a challenge and you want to meet me at the West Gate and you want to put up a thousand, I put up a thousand, and we see. Who's the best sports better between I, I the two of us? You know, hold on. You know, I got a um um over there at the uh Go Jays and Wonder Woman. You put your fucking money up too. Oh, I ain't hear my damn. What's the outburst for? <laughs> yeah, we try, we try to talk to you, man. I took your money. Yo. Damn, he just be having outbursts to the ch- chat. Bruh. Damn. damn. <laughs> hold on. Uh, nah, um, I have a um, what do you, I have a hostess over at the uh. Bellagio and at the uh, what's the other one? The Aria. So I'll be out there every mm-hmm. now and then. I got a host out there. Um, so yeah, we can definitely Nothing, get out. There. The one thing I haven't done in Vegas, I haven't done sports betting on Vegas. I've always just done my sports betting on my app on Hard Rock. Well, if you do your research on Jim Feist, I used to be a, a sports chowder for Jim Feist. So I, I sell sports pit. Wes, we might have to do a show, man. You, you we gotta do because I've been wanting to put together, I got another guy named Fontaine. Um, uh, I've been wanting to put together like a a, a, a sports like prediction show, like you know maybe once a week or something, man, where we kind of predict what bets are gonna be best. Cause I, I I I I feel like I got a strategy, man. I'm talking about like on on my on my hard rock. I put right. some of them. I put some of them on my community post. Let me tell you the ones I've been winning. Cause I've been betting more smarter. Like before, I was doing these humongous parlays where I could never win because some dumb upset would happen. But I'm gonna right. check check out check. This is what I've been doing lately. So do you know the mean, easiest the easiest way to sports bet, Lamont? You said the easiest way to what? Sports bet. Nah, it's in progress. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's what I hit them with. This is what I got my best wins on. So yeah, that's like, the well, this is what happened, right? I'm gonna that's tell you my best question. one. I, I feel like I feel like they might have been upset on this one. Hold on, let me do this. That's always the best way to bet, bro. Damn, yeah, this. you get to see what's going on. And then if you losing and you take the other side, you can use your insurance. Cash with out your, early. With your end yeah. Yeah. Hold, yeah. On, hold on, hold on. Here, I'm about to pull it up right here. These are the ones I just recently hit on. And this is one that I call in progress. Check this out. So the one that I call in progress right here was, okay, so I ended up betting $50 twice because 
Uh, so it, it was a game over in China. So wow. it was a team called the Ningbo Rockets versus Shanghai. And so I went to the game and I saw that the Ningbo Rockets was like a plus 2,200, but they was up 19 points. I said, what the hell? Bro, I immediately, <laughs> bro, I yeah, I, immediately, need to jump on that. Bro, I immediately, bro, this is what I did. I used my $500 free play. I bro. need to learn something from you because I ain't out. never seen that. Bro, check this out, bro. I was up in the middle of the night, bro. This shit blew my mind. Bro, the Ningbo Rockets was up 19. And this other team, and I actually, and it allows you to watch the game on here too. So I hit view the game. So this other team had like four former NBA pros, right? Like Antonio Blakeney and all these guys. Um, but this Ningbo Rockets team, was up 19. I put two $50 bets and I don't even know why I did two separate $50 bets. And I did my $500 free play, bro. And then I got worried because man, brother, in the third quarter of that game, this guy, Shanghai team, these motherfuckers came back and took the goddamn lead. So I just turned the shit off. I stopped watching, threw my phone down, bro. I woke up in the morning, bro. Bro, that $500 hit, that was that was two thousand something dollars, and then the two fifties were like two hundred and eighty seven dollars each, bro. Them motherfuckers won by three points. I don't know how they came back, but but I said, yeah, the in progress games is where it's at because you can catch them when they mess up the odds. I don't know if they messed up the odds or forgot to adjust them in time, but yeah, I hit them yeah, we there. We used to catch. We used to yeah, catch the in progress games. Up sometimes. We used to catch them in person. Like I caught. When the Raptors was beating the Warriors in the finals, I'm a Warriors mm. fan, but in Vegas we go against we go with whoever's the money, whoever's gonna win. Yeah. I seen that the Warriors couldn't score, and then the odds they were just because they changed the odds at every timeout and every time the the ball stuff, every timeout or every time there's a a, yep. a quarter change or, or whatever. So they just kept on thinking that the Warriors was gonna come back. And I was like, nah, they can't score. They can't score. Everybody's done. Cleaned up. I hit one. I hit one like that when um the Warriors was playing the Blazers last week. I think like a week and a half ago, something like that. And I caught it in progress. And I think it had the Blazers that took the lead like late. Something crazy in that game happened where the Blazers that took like a six point lead. This is game when Steph wasn't playing. And it and I and it was at Golden State. And I'm like, hold on. I know my team is the Blazers. And I'm saying, man, it don't feel right. I feel like the Warriors is gonna win this. I ended up just throwing a quick hundred in there. Hundred on the Warriors. Getting against my team. Well, that motherfucking Jordan Poole activated on the motherfuckers. And them motherfuckers came back and won that game. So I hit that one in progress too. I didn't hit all my big hits being in progress games. That's all my all my big hits. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, Lamont. It best to do college basketball like that in park. Bro, I did, I did, bro. College basketball is the easiest, bro. Easy. That's the easy. easiest one. Thank you, bro. Bro, I just hit easy. Purdue today. I hit Purdue, Michigan State today because they actually had them motherfuckers actually had in progress. They had Purdue at like a plus like three fifty. Yep. Bro, I said the number three team in the country, and that's my team. I know Matt Painter in that group. I said, hold on, let me bet that real quick. So I put a hundred on that. I also bet um. See, I could I don't know how I know how to predict the upsets like the other day when UConn lost to St. John's. Like if you yeah. understand college basketball, I said, man, St. John's has been on a roll. I predicted that one. There was another one I predicted. I predicted um Washington State over Arizona. I just know how to call the college basketball upsets, man. College basketball. How is it so it's so much easier because you know how certain coaches coach and certain teams play. And they're gonna play their same right, system. That's how I know he know what he's doing because anybody college basketball is the easiest place to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I like to do college basketball in progress. I love doing bro, college, college basketball. College basketball is just the easiest, bro. Like I can look up to the games for tomorrow and I can tell y'all if there's gonna be any upsets. Like I can look at them. Let me see what's live tomorrow. Man, you could be a broke motherfucker if you just got your down to your last hundred dollars. I advise and I would I definitely don't advise you using the last hundred, bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm just saying the joke. I don't advise that now. No, no, no. 
Hey, I've been, say, I've been saying in general, though. Hey, y'all, don't listen to her. It's that easy, man. Right? Yeah, you will be sad. Yeah, go you will be going to your last hundred dollars five times in a row. Like, damn, why can't we? <laughs> oh shit! Make them call me out, man. It's a debate. Debate on Wednesday. What time, uh, Make them? What Mac Def? What, what time, what? Mac Def? What, hold on. What y'all debating, Mac Def? Yeah, come on the panel right quick. All right, hold on, hold on. I dropped the link for him. Hold on, I dropped. Boy, George Henderson put bubbles champion. Bubble ship don't count like twenty times in the chat. <laughs> he ain't let that one go. We been off that man. For a minute. Yeah, like like NFL football is the hardest to win. Oh my College God, basketball is easy. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Oh, look, 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 here go the live. Here go the football. games for tomorrow. Look, check this out. So I'm looking at the games for tomorrow, right? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna bet. So when I see Ole Miss versus South Carolina at home, and I see South Carolina is a plus two hundred at home, I'm going with South Carolina on that. That's an upset all tomorrow. Day. That's not necessarily an upset, but to me, just if you understand. Like, like, first of all, home teams in college basketball have a humongous advantage. That home, like, even if they are the underdogs, especially in the Big Ten, if you see a home team at a plus in the Big Ten, home teams in the Big Ten did not lose, bro. That's, like, some advice you could just take. Like, you might not win every time, but you could win seven times out of ten just using that advice. Home teams. Just consistently. Yeah, home like even if Purdue is not ranked number three, like like even last year, but Purdue don't lose at home. I don't care who they could be playing the number one team in the country, five, they don't lose at home. And a lot of people can get tricked by that seeding. But if you understand conferences and how these conferences play, like right now, I see Butler at a plus two forty at home versus Creighton. Butler has a whole bunch of high level transfers. They got Purdue, Eric Hunter. They got Purdue yep. starting point guard from last year. I mean, Creighton's solid, but to win in Hinkle Fieldhouse on the road, that's a tough environment to win in. I might have to bet Butler at home versus Creighton with a plus 240. I got to take that. And you could parlay it up and just have an upset ticket. Um, hold on, so we got. Um, so look, you at got that Gonzaga, look at that Gonzaga at home against LMU and – Georgetown on the road, you know, Georgetown's horrible. Bro, I can't fuck with Georgetown, no, bro. Oof. No, no, no. You fade Georgetown. You bet against Georgetown. Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, bro, you don't. Don't. Well, Georgetown. I don't know how Patrick Ewing still has a job, bro. That because he's Patrick Ewing. That's the Patrick, only reason. No, another one. I mean, who, who the hell? Who the hell? Hey, that hold on. I'm going to tell you one right here, uh, West. I'm going to tell you one right here that might be tricky for some. But if you bet it right. I think you can win some money. They got Florida State on the road versus Notre Dame, and Florida State's been having a down year. I but still Florida go State, Florida State. Florida State is much better than their record. And Florida State on the road versus Notre Dame, they're plus 180. That could be a sneaky one right there where a lot of people could go with Notre Dame, and Florida State could very well win that game. Um, here's a here's an upset that I think is brewing that ain't nobody talking about. Um and again, it's a risky one. Um, Tulane over number one Houston. And I'm telling y'all here right now, you can bet the points. You might not win too much off the point spread, but Tulane upset in Houston could happen tomorrow. Tulane Two- always play Houston tough, though. So, and, and then obviously, number 13, Kansas, 13 at home versus number two, Kansas. I got to rock with Kansas State at home. That home advantage kills them being the number two. That home advantage is strong in college, man. Um, it is strong. Bro, tomorrow and might that's be the a beautiful deep thing about That's the beautiful thing about in progress. You can wait and see yep. what happens. You can see the flow and of the game. Jumping. But see, some yeah. of the, <laughs> Hard Rock been real good about adjusting the, the – the, they've been real solid about adjusting it on the fly. So sometimes you got to catch – on hard, on this app, I got to catch them before they change it. I got to catch them before the game. Like, I, I believe – now, I'm not – I don't trust this one as much, but Mississippi Mississippi State at home versus Tennessee, number nine, Tennessee. I have a funny feeling – I have a funny feeling about power five teams playing at home. 
power five teams like Mississippi State playing at home, them motherfuckers know how to pull off some some shit out. They they just know how to get upsets pulled off. I don't know what it is. Um, but I can't think of what my biggest one of the day would be. I don't see Vanderbilt beating Alabama at home. I, I don't think Vanderbilt's that strong. No, I don't see Vanderbilt beating Alabama at home at all. Yeah, I don't but see Alabama's it. minus eight and a half. You know? but, but for me, there there ain't no money in betting to, to spread. You got to bet the money line on it. Um, oh, you take the money line. I'll be taking the money line, bro. I'll be going for it all because the money line the is. Money line, the money line is minus four twenty with Alabama. Hold on, yeah. Let me see. yeah, on mine's is minus four fifty. Oh, they got shit, Vanderbilt. That's nothing. You got to bet four fifty to win a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so, but, but, but I'll be looking for. I'll be looking for the games where I can parlay them up into like a three ticket, three part, like a three game parlay. Three teamer. Three teamer. Like, like, like with like, because if you hit, if you hit on three upsets in one parlay, which is very possible in college basketball, you can, you can, you can, you can go to the bank. You can go to you can you looking out. at seven you looking at looking at seven to one odds on that. yeah but I'm saying but I'm saying with college knowing the ebbs and no but I mean you'll clean up so oh, for bro. example if you put if you put five hundred down on that you'll get thirty five hundred back plus your five hold on let me see if I pull it up right now so if I the three upsets that I was talking about so if I go with Tulane boom which again that's a risky one I'm I'm telling y'all don't go bet your money on Tulane tomorrow but if you can. If you feel like making a risky parlay, throw Tulane in there. If I go with Tulane, Kansas State, and I forgot what you like other. Kansas State over Kansas. Yeah, bro, I like Kansas State over bro. That's already a rivalry game. Kansas State at home, oh, they number thirteen in the country. So if I go, if I parlay up, Mississippi, Kansas State is plus one hundred and six. I, I, on I wouldn't even throw. I wouldn't even throw Mississippi in. I would just leave it at. I would just leave it at um. Tulane and Kansas State to win. If you put fifty on that, um, if you put fifty on that, you win five hundred dollars. As a but let me answer this question for this uh this goat James Wonder Woman cat. Let's go, Mike, bro. Let's go, Mike, bro. Oh, uh, uh, I fell back the mess with it. Uh. Hold on one second. <laughs> Make that for him. No. Nah. Yeah, I'm sure with the debate him, but yeah, go Mike. Since you want to ask that dumbass question, hell, he had more opportunities than the nigga. Since you want to go there, yeah, he been in more of those situations than Mike. So the difference is, shit, Mike teams, Michael Jordan and his team wasn't in wasn't in those situations as much as LeBron and his team. And that, that, that's it just how come down. That. It just come down to preference, man. People got their preference. My preference is Kobe. Uh, Lamont's preference is uh, LeBron. Um, a lot of people's preference is LeBron. I just look at things a little bit different because not only do I, I sports bet, when I'm looking to put my money on somebody, I want to know what it is. But there's certain things you can bet on LeBron to put up a certain amount of points. You could clean up on that this year, the way he's been scoring. Yeah, 48 tonight. Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. LeBron, like if, if you took LeBron on a prop bet just to score a certain amount Ooh. of points, man, you'll clean I, up this year. I've been low key kind of hitting on LeBron props as far as scoring because you can kind of predict what the games where he go go off, especially home games. And all, really, you just read like a, I have an app. I don't know if you use it. I'm gonna show you how the name of it. it's called Line Star. So this Line Star app does a good job of telling me how many points certain teams allow at certain positions. So if you run into a team that's Ooh, that's weak at defending, that's a nice one. I like that, bro. It's this line star is on point with it because it'll literally break teams down. Like this team allows point guards, you know, certain X amount of points to game. So if you run into a team like the Sixers yesterday, they struggle at guarding a small four position. If you would have prop betted LeBron, you could have came up. Um, but I mean, line star been helping me on the props. On the prop bets with the players, I, I could parlay them up. I could parlay a couple different of them up and, and win. Yeah, I just look. 
Good yeah, looking. download good download looking. Line Star. I just bookmarked that. Bro, <laughs> good bro, looking. Line Star, Line Star, because I got they got one for every one. I just used the one for FanDuel because the numbers are pretty consistent. But like I look on there, like right here, I'm looking at it right now. It'll give you like extreme details. Like it talks about James Harden for tomorrow. So basically, their their prediction for James Harden tomorrow is um that he's gonna do actually pretty well. They got him doing giving four four point six times valued. They got him going over twenty five points tomorrow. Um, for whatever reason. So it says right here. Um, it says the Clippers on the first game of a back to back. Um the James Harden and Embiid have the top assist combo in the NBA. Um, so you might want to do any props in regards to James Harden that involve assists. Um, and it says the Clippers are allowing 7.8 field goals per game to shooting guard starters. So that means they susceptible to allow a shooting guard to go ballistic on them. Wow. So, so you, you now is it always accurate? No. No, not. it can't be. It ain't always accurate, but it gives you a general idea that mo most about 60, 65, 60 to 65 percent of the time is usually accurate. But it, it look, it's like a little app, man. It breaks down. You can just click on the player name. It, it I'm talking about it breaks breaks it down. So, like, if you got any questions about players tomorrow, like tomorrow, it's tell it's saying for Joel and B, that motherfucker's a go on everything. They said, Who the Sixers said, play tomorrow? So it says the Sixers play the Clippers. They said they said the <laughs> so they said the Clippers, the Clippers have been giving up an average of 29 points per game to starting centers over the last five games. It says Clippers are giving up 10.2 field goals per game to starting centers. This season, um, they're going to look to feed on the ball because Harden and Embiid are the top assist combo in the NBA. And also, the one thing that's hurting the Clippers is that they're on the first game of a back to back. This game, man, if you're on the if you're on the end of a back to back, boy, they they think that some team's about to walk in and blitz you, which they're usually right about it. And then all of the experts on this app love Joel and B for tomorrow. So this motherfucker be breaking it down. Let me see. Let me see his matchup. Let me see his stats. So tomorrow they get they predict Joel Embiid tomorrow. Um, they got him at 34 points. They got him to go over 10 rebounds. They got him over, they got him, they got him over two assists. So sometimes you can bet that prop if he goes over two assists. So, bro, bet Joel Embiid That's tomorrow. That's a freaky one. Him getting over over two assists. They got, they got him going over two assists. If you see that prop, you should bet it. But they actually got him at going over two point eight assists, so close to three. So if you see something well, where they, get three. they might put two and a half assists, and you know how they throw that point five in there. So. But they are predicting all the experts, all every expert on this app is predicting Joel and B to, to go ballistic tomorrow. So he probably will, because they're in LA. They're in LA. He probably will. Now, a player that is telling you to avoid on all the props tomorrow is Kawhi Leonard. Of course, they saying avoid Kawhi Leonard tomorrow, and then you go up to his matchup, right? So they said Philadelphia is allowing the fewest points in the game in the league to small forwards, the the fewest amount of field goals per game to small forwards. Um, also, they say the Clippers on the first game of a back-to-back, -back, which probably means Kawhi Leonard is, might be on a strong minutes restriction or may not play. So, bro, they, they down on Paul George. They're down on tomorrow. Just just, just so y'all can have y'all notes, they're high on – they're really high on – Ben Simmons tomorrow for all his player props. So Ben Simmons versus the Spurs tomorrow. I don't know what his player props is going to be. But if you want to bet Ben Simmons' points, they got him predicted to go over 16 points tomorrow. Uh, I, I might fade that. I might go in. I'm telling you, bro, this is all green. All of his stats for tomorrow is in the green. 
Ooh, they predict. They, 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 they go in big. <laughs> oh, shit. So, hey, yeah, but hey, I need to and check out line stuff. Check it. Use all the resources you can, man, because you, if you bet smart, if you if you do it strategically, you can actually make money. Like I yeah, said, no, don't do not do like Herm and don't bet your last 100. Don't do that. No, but, you can't do that. I've been in Vegas over 30 years. You won't last out here doing that type of shit. You can't do that. Now, you got to have a bankroll. You got to play with a bankroll. You're only supposed to bet 20% of your uh, bankroll. Yeah. So just just keep keep a clock on your keep watching your bankroll and be smart with it. Start best small to start until you get a feel, get comfortable with it, and definitely take advantage of any uh, free plays they give you. So yeah. I loved boy they they messed around and gave me a five hundred dollar free play one day. That's good, bro, <laughs> you're not stupid than a motherfucker. Bro. I can't believe you found a game in Japan. Man, bro, I found bro. I was in, bro because I look like you can go to the app right now, bro. And the best thing about it, that's that's this is what makes it more entertaining. At least using the Hard Rock app, is like when you click on one of them late night games, like you go live, you can click on a live game. They have a thing on there where it says you can watch now. You hit that button. You said I'm sitting here watching this game in China, bro, and I'm actually See, sitting here rooting for. Them. I got the Stations app. I don't have a Hard Rock. Yeah, I use the Hard Rock Sportsbook. I put my uh, link, I put the link in the community chat because every time somebody sign up, shit, I get another free play. I've only had yeah. 10 people click on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and click on that for you, man. Let you get that free play. Put the link in there. Nah, the, the best thing about the free play is they have like a mystery wheel. So I don't know what my free play is, but I get to click this button on my phone where I spend the mystery wheel. That motherfucker, that thing landed on $500 at one time. I'd have had a ton of hundred dollar free rolls, but when whenever I get that, that's basically free money. That's free money because all you got to do is just be smart with your bet. I was up one night. I used my hundred dollar free roll on uh, Rafael Nadal in the middle of the goddamn night. He hit too. He hit. He won. He playing some scrub. <laughs> he breaks off. Of and 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 Rafael Nadal was like a plus like one fifteen or something because he was down in the first set. So he's like a plus fit one fifteen. I said, "This is easy right here. That's easy money." See, that's the stuff that I won't do. I won't. I won't bet on stuff I don't know like that, bro. But the, all I know is that when I looked at Rafael Nadal's record versus this dude, this dude was like sixteen and zero versus this dude. He ain't never lost to this what, dude. What, what was the odds on it though? So he was a plus at the time. So when I caught it, it was in progress, and Rafael Nadal was okay. down in the first set. He was down oh, like okay. he was down like two zero. He had broke. He had lost his serve and everything. He's down two zero. And he and he and was favored. Plus? Yeah, so he was favored to start, but when he got down two zero in that first set, the eyes shifted, and they had Rafael Nadal at like a plus like one something, like one thirty five or something. That's and, crazy. And because and remember the match, the tournament he was playing in. Normally, the men you have to win three sets. They was playing in a tournament right. where you only had to win two. Whoa. And so I'm like, man, I start doing a herb, whole bunch of research real quick. I was like, let me just go ahead and go with Rafael Nadal for this hundred dollar free play. Yeah, that was a smart one. I would have took Nadal. So, so the free plays are good because you don't you don't win that hundred dollars you put in, but you win the extra to kick back off of it. So. No, it is what it is. But we gotta, we gotta. I, I want to be. I want to do a, a fantasy show one of these days. I want to do a fantasy show. I don't really mess with fantasy no more. But I'm, I'm on as far as the sports book and the well, sports yeah, it's like a sports book show, like like a sports bet book bet, book show. That's what yeah. I'm trying. I want to get into that, but that'd be solid. You'll see. You'll see the uh, notification up for one and for one of these days. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna run it one of these days. See how it go. Yeah, let me know, bro. I'll he says, there, if you have proof. What do you mean if I had proof? I got proof of it. I put, I, I took screenshots of all my winnings. If you're talking about the sports bet stuff, I put it on the community post. Boy, all you got to do is, you can just scroll through all my community posts. You'll see a, a, a couple community posts with big green. Just big green <laughs> screenshots. Because it's that green mean you hit the money. Shoot, bro. 
Yeah, it's big money, man. Hold on, Nicholas Brown. How many likes we got, Nicholas? We got nine sixteen, man. Damn, I ain't even paying attention to the likes. All right, salute, man. People came to Salute, I'm going to get at you, bro. Yep. All right. All right, West. Um, A Sturdy, man. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I'm going to drop you out. Salute to Sturdy as well, man. Salute, salute to, Sturdy. Yes, sir. Uh, salute to West, man. Appreciate y'all pulling up, man. Look, y'all. Great show, man. Um, Great show. Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James. I don't think we really came to nothing conclusive. But at least everybody got their debate points off, man. That's the, that's all that matters. But uh, salute to everybody that hit the like on this video, man. 900, you know, that's, that's up there. I don't know if that's the most likes we've ever had, but I think it might be the most likes we've ever had to end a live stream. Normally, we end it with around two, 300 likes, something like that. Yeah, Joe Brown said, yeah, it's better. You know, people got different strategies. You know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, just... Oh, you said low explaining. Oh, okay. Let me write that down. I'm glad you put that in there, uh, Wes. I just saw it. I got to write it down. Man, where's my pen at? Ah, I'll write it down after the stream over. I got that link from Sturdy. All right. Salute y'all, man. Hey, y'all. Great show today, man. Appreciate everybody pulling up. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow's show is going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, but... Like I said, we'll we'll come up with something interesting to talk, chop it up about. I think I'm I think tomorrow's show we're gonna bring it back to the current NBA. I think it's time to kind of discuss trade scenarios, where certain teams are at, how teams can get better, what what teams are in the hot seat, right? There's a couple teams in the hot seat that makes need, need to make some improvements, right? The Lakers are on another losing streak. I don't know if they won tonight. Um, did the Lakers win tonight? Yeah. How'd the Lakers do tonight? Be very unfortunate if they lost. Okay. Phew. The Lakers somehow figured out how to win tonight, 140 to 132. Um, and I think that 140 to 132 should scare the Lakers. Um, oh, yeah, the Lakers covered on your parlay. Yeah. Whew. Boy, because I actually put them on one of my parlays, but I actually lost my parlay today because – um. There was an upset. Something happened today. I think it was uh, Harvard. I picked Harvard to beat Dar Dartmouth, and um, Harvard lost at home to a, a team with a losing record. That was a big-time upset that threw off my parlay. Um, so salute to y'all for winning that. But the Lakers still – like, look at the Lakers, man. The Lakers still have that problem. Those second and third quarters, for whatever reason, the Lakers cannot get it together. That's what's killing the Lakers. Those second and third quarters, you know, they lose. You know, they win the second quarter, but then they immediately come out and lose the third quarter. I don't know if the Lakers have played a complete game all year. I think they might have one, but we got to talk about that as well. So tomorrow we might just do an NBA recap show, man. Just bring it back to the day, man. Just, you know, we've been we've been debating players doing all that stuff. It's time to just talk about what's going on. He said the league is releasing the documentary once LeBron retired. The title is the last flop. I don't know. I think LeBron gets a bad rap for flopping. You know, um, I mean, when you look at LeBron's career, if you're being honest, I mean, there's a ton of fouls that he just doesn't get uh, because of his size, because he just really just sometimes doesn't even react to getting fouled. Um, does he flop? Yes. He has flopped from time to time, but, you know, you know, part of part of being in the NBA is gamesmanship. I, I consider flopping gamesmanship. If you played at any high level, there's going to be certain players that use game gamesmanship to beat you. You know, exaggerate charges. You got some guys that will start falling down before you even hit them. You're driving for a layup and you don't touch them at all. But if they know how to use gamesmanship to deceive the ref into thinking you fouled them, you know, I know some guys that, you know, when you drive and you stick that back arm out, some guys, as soon as they see that arm come out, they'll just throw their head back and fall down. Ref think you didn't hit them in the face. Foul. That's called gamesmanship, you know. And, you know, players like Mono Ginobili, LeBron James, right, uh, James Harden. These are the players that use gamesmanship, man. That's part of the game, y'all. It's These basketball games is like chess. It's a mental game as well. 
because part of gamesmanship is also how you react to it. You know, sometimes gamesmanship, like we saw this the other day with the, when the Pistons played the Warriors. They knew they knew Draymond Green already had one tech. So what did they do? Isaiah Stewart just grabs Draymond Green, causes a little tussle. Now Draymond Green's ejected. They can finish the game without Draymond Green on the floor. That's called gamesmanship. So, I mean, y'all got to understand that the flopping, Vladi Divac did it. Players in the 90s did it as well. Gamesmanship is all a part of the game, y'all. It's all a part of the game. Thank you, I really hope. Sell the foul. Like, people that really play, like, I really hope plays, people that really play understand that aspect of it. So while people say flopping, this is why you don't hear this flopping sentiment from actual players. Because they understand that's part of the game. And good players who know, and, and gamesmanship is not easy. It's hard to fake like you took a charge and then sell it to the refs. Because there's a risk there too. If you do it wrong, you're looking at an and one. You're looking at getting dunked on. You're looking at all types of bad repercussions. Right? If you shoot a three and you kick your feet out for that foul, now you can get called for an offensive foul. So there's a risk in bad gamesmanship if you don't know how to do it and you don't know how to finesse it the right way. You said it's basketball. On TV, it makes the games look tacky. No, it doesn't really. Because to be honest, it really only happens maybe once a game. See, name Smith, like you really don't see it happen that often. Y'all act like we see in flops on every possession. It really don't even happen that often. And so the few times it does happen, now you're going to act like it's bad. You said the NBA is boring now? No, it's not. No, it's not. The NBA was boring in the 2000s. When games went, when games were seventy five to seventy eight, the games were starting to get boring in the nineties. When you would see two teams play and you didn't see any stars touch the court, right? When 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 the when the Vancouver Grizzlies first came into existence, and and, and they would go play the Boston Celtics of the mid nineties, that's a boring game. Those are like y'all talk about boring. Do y'all want to go back to those days when some teams didn't even have a star player or at least even a promising rookie? Like, I want y'all to tell me who was the best player on the Celtics in 1995? Who, who was that star player that you was really buying tickets to go see? Who, who was the star player on the Los Angeles Clippers in 1996? Or let's go to like 94 or something. Right? And and how desolate were the Dallas Mavericks for a long time? They didn't have no stars until they were able to draft Jason Kidd and they had a, a small big three, but they couldn't even get them three to get along. Everybody has a star now. Facts. Like when you, Brooklyn Nets just saw, when you go play OKC, you got to go deal with one of the most elite scorers in the NBA and Shea Gilters Alexander. When you go to Sacramento, you got to deal with De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Simonis. Both guys are all-stars. When you go to Houston, maybe no all-stars, but you got to deal with a ton of young stars that potentially could blossom into all-stars or superstars in this league. Like, this league ain't no joke. Yeah, Josh Giddey and them boys, yep. Like, yeah, be, like people be making it seem like this league is just sweet now. Like, I heard Elder on Ask Elder talking about, he said, man, I don't really see no t teams just dominating and taking over. I said, you don't see teams dominating because there's more parity. When, when you go on that eight-game win streak, that eight-game win streak can get, get ended by one of the worst teams in the league. Like, Brooklyn's been rolling. They run into OKC and lose. Is it because Brooklyn's trash or because there's a lot of parity in the league? It's parity in the league. It's more talent everywhere. You got to come to play every night. If you're looking to be a if you're looking to be a 60 win team, you got to be coming to play every night. And then the flip side of that, the only thing we've seen happen is the teams that come out and play at that higher level every night, they ultimately be get punished because by the time the playoffs come around. Players are starting to break down. Injuries are starting to happen. 
And this is what we, they talked about the Warriors going 73 and nine. They were chasing the 73 and nine. You know, they start breaking down. You know, and we really saw it when they played Toronto. You say goats don't flop. All right, you can call it whatever you want. You call it whatever you want. Jordan flopped too. So that means you better not have Jordan as your goat because Gordon, Jordan would flop too. He did it a lot. And don't say he doesn't because I got the video of all his flops. I got the sound bite of Jordan going to the scores table, asking what his stats are so he can chase triple doubles. Jordan stat pad. You said, he says, talking about boring air, when LeBron and his team stand around staring at opponents running around. Um, what? I, I don't get that. I don't get that. What do you mean they're just standing around running around? I don't, they don't do that. A hey, spooky. You haven't seen a compilation of MJ flopping because you haven't been over here to FYF Sports. All you got to do is sort through my you my my um YouTube shorts. It's on there. J- just like I have a comp- compilation of all the little, little hand check fouls that people would call on Michael Jordan as soon as you laid a finger on him. And it wasn't this physical error. Just like I got a compilation video of refs calling hand check foul as soon as a guy would stick that arm out. There was no hand checking in the 90s. That fake stuff y'all be trying to say. All the stuff that y'all say the the 90s was, I got a video that tells me something otherwise. Oh, I got plenty of videos of Jordan crying to the refs. Plenty. I know, but Rick King, Mono could be the greatest flopper ever, but people going to give Mono all the praise in the world. And the reason why Mono gets all the praise in the world, because Mono was a part of that San Antonio Spur team that was able to beat LeBron. So Mono can be the biggest flopper in the world. Flopping is okay if you're, if your name is not LeBron James. Vibe Star said, here we go. <laughs> How was the 80s the best era? The 80s, if you, if, yeah, the 80s was a fun era to watch because you had the highest pace and the least defense. There's a myth that's, there's this myth that people say the 80s was this defensively filled era. There was, the 80s was probably one of the worst defensive eras. It was, the pace was just too high to play legitimate defense. Hey, man, it, all these things is proven, man. I hate to burst your bubble on it. I'm sorry, man. These are all facts, though, man. But look, y'all, we're going to shut it down, man. Look, we've been live long enough, going on seven hours. Again, another day where I didn't expect to be live this long, and then the live, it just turned into a whole monster. It is what it is, man. I'm seeing new names, too. Rick King, make sure you hit that notification bell. I see you in there, crazy ghost. I see you in there as well. He says, I'm new here. Hey, what date are your shorts? Is- ah, bro, I got so many shorts out. I don't know what date it was. It's it's in there. I just don't know the date, bro. It's in there. You sort through it. And it might be on my other channel. I got FYF Sports Debates and I got FYF Sports Debates Live. Um, It could be on either channel, but I know it's on one of them. You says, no, you're a basketball guru. I don't know what that means. But salute, Crazy Ghost, man. Yeah, I'm seeing new names every day. We got Rick King. Salute, man. Make sure you, like I said, man, all y'all new here, Joey Chaz, I see you here as well. Um, Spooky, you new here as well. I mean, some of these, and y'all might not be new. Maybe it's just my first time seeing y'all names, but hey, y'all new to me. We got Name Smith. I think you might be new. Um, Who else? We, who? What, what are the new names I just saw recently? Richie. Rich says Rich D'Amato. That's a new person right there. So, look, man, like I said, I've been, these, we've been, I've been really grinding on really pushing content out, man. So I see a lot of new names popping up for Nam. I don't even know how new you are for Nam, but um, I don't remember seeing your name before. So, again, salute to Phenom and Super and Phenom became a member of the channel. And I always tell people the easiest way to not miss a video or a live stream is just to become a member. Because whenever you're a member, 
no matter what's going on with the algorithm, you always going to get a notification when I go live. So look, man, if you could become a member of the channel, man, um, the perks, well, the only perk we have right now is, um, when, when I do my player interviews, um, over on news break, I'm going to open up the stream yard and I'm allow you guys to sit in during the interview. And, and after interview is over, we could do a live Q and a, that's only going to be for members only. Cause I can't put those videos on YouTube cause they belong to news break. Um, and then we can also do, um, uh, NBA ticket giveaways in your city. Um, and that's going to be once a month. We got our drawing for this month coming in uh, the last week of January. So if you're a member of the channel, you'll be eligible for those drawings. You win, you, we're buying you two tickets to the NBA game in the nearest city. A game, NBA game is your choice. So just one of the small ways we can give back. I mean, it's not a ton of ways we can do it. You know, I'm not going to be promising a whole bunch of cash giveaways and nothing like that. But, you know, that just gets confusing. And then people get to complaining about, you know, the winners and all that. And I've done a couple giveaways. And I've been struggling to get a hold of some of the winners sometimes. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But again, I, I appreciate everybody pulling up, man. Uh, salute to the people that can support the channel, man. We had multiple people to hit the cash up to support today. Uh, if you would like to hit the cash up on the way out, man, I'll drop it in here. You said I'm new here. I saw you. I, oh, yeah, yeah. See, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you saw the live stream, man. That means that the lives are being visible to new people, man. So spooky, man. Uh, you know, everybody is welcome to come on the live panel. So when I drop that link in the chat, don't feel like if you've never been up here before, you can't click that link and come up, man. You know, we don't have any crazy requirements when you pull up. You don't have to have your camera on and none of that crazy stuff. I know some people say that you got to turn the camera on. I understand not everybody want to have their face all over YouTube and stuff like that. All I ask is that, you know, if you do, you do turn your camera on, be respectful. Don't do nothing crazy. We've had, we've had over the two years, two and a half years we've had this channel. We've only had one incident. Um, of some dude that was kind of beefing with the channel. He owed us some money. He lost a bet. So when he turned his camera on, he did, he went nude and did some crazy stuff. And so we ended up having to take the live stream down and, and, and editing out that portion of the video. But you know, other than that, for the most part, man, we really don't run into too many crazy people. Salute to CC in the chat with, with the hand claps. You said, tell him to kick rocks. <laughs> I mean, salute to the name Smith. So, I mean, for the most part, like I said, we don't have no strict requirements. I just be want more people to pull up, man, just to, to make the conversation more diverse. Um, we don't be doing a whole bunch of blocking and kicking people out and none of that, man. So, you know, we just try to, we, we, I invite the heated debates. I don't mind if they get a little spicy, but you know, I'm not going to go as far as blocking you and kicking you out. Cause you don't agree, man. I, I think that's just kind of petty right there. Um, when you get that caught up in what people say that you got to block them from the channel, man. Like I don't believe in blocking the people that give you your ad revenue and watch time and the people that are going to sign up to be members and they go support you in the cash. App. Why the hell would I block you over some words? I just think that's highly emotional. Um, but again, oh Dante, well, I see you in there, Dante, man. Appreciate you um, being consistent, man. Always here. Salute to Dante as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and shut it down for the night, man. Again, I appreciate everybody. It's been a great stream today, man. Like I said, I love the debates. We got we got a, a week, a very interesting week of debates coming up. So make sure you guys stay tuned. The debates will be epic. We're going to have debates. Debate night is going to be Thursday of this week. We will have debate night. So if you have anybody you want to challenge to a debate, you need to reach out to me either on Instagram or something, or you need to find who you debating and y'all just pull up the FYF sports. No matter how you slice it, man, we're going to get some debates done next Thursday. We're going to, we're going to see what the rankings shake out to be um, as we head into Super Bowl weekend, man. But as FYF sports, man, it's been another great podcast episode, man. We're going to be back with more sports and news, y'all. Until then, it's FYF sports. And we out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't talking about nothing, right? Watch this. We gon' break that pressure.
Just a little FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? They been hating at first, now they calling us the best Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check Just a FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? Woo, fuck your feelings We all know who the real is I been getting to it, ain't wasting no time Walking straight in, we ain't waiting in line Fuck your feelings, you don't care about mine You a YouTube gangster, don't be yelling out slime Or you talking LB, talking Tiki TV Ain't nobody watching them, all the viewers be sleep Five years in, all your subs is your friends Tiki TV, watch the cars again Dang. Just a little FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? They been hating at first, now they calling us the best Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check Just a FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? Woo, fuck your feelings We all know who the real is They all know, shop don't close Working 24, trying to make the channel grow Look at them, pointing fingers, hating on the low You can't compete with our podcast show Couldn't make it in the league, so we got on TV Crying by LeBron like a little baby You must be crazy, trying to ever play me Or you super tough, tough until it's time to say cheese Just a little FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? They been hating at first, now they calling us the best Hit up YouTube, tell them cut the check Just a FYI, FYF 20k sub, 6 months, what's next? Woo, fuck your feelings We all know who the real